After taking a look at the six Yuan recruitment order in his hand, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows. A piece of 100,000 soldiers, or C-level elite soldiers, will start, and even B-level soldiers will come to Reincarnation City, which is directly A in level. Even S grade. Thinking of this, Ye Chen chose to use it without hesitation. Ding, player Ye Chen uses a recruiting order and the strength of Samsara City has increased by 100,000. After six consecutive reminders sounded one after another, one after another flashes of light instantly appeared on the school field. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When the light dissipated, 600,000 soldiers instantly appeared in the school field. After a brief period of confusion, the 600,000 soldiers looked at Ye Chen together. Hey! The 600,000 soldiers knelt on one knee in unison, and said in unison, Well, see the Lord. The sound is like thunder, shaking the world. Seeing the 600,000 reincarnation recruits recruited by the recruiting order, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth. These soldiers are all A, grade and even some of them are S-grade. The quality of all aspects is far beyond the ordinary recruits. They are undoubtedly elite soldiers. If they are replaced with equipment, they can immediately go to the battlefield. The heavenly recruitment order is really extraordinary. Thinking of this, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then shouted. From now on, you will all be soldiers of reincarnation. Everyone will be allocated a house, five acres of land. If you have a family, you can pick up the City of Reincarnation, and the travel expenses will be reimbursed by the City of Reincarnation. Those with family members will also divide the fields, according to the population, five acres per person, marching and fighting, rewards for merit, and punishment. The war dead are buried in a thick, children are raised by the City of Reincarnation, and the parents are taken care of by the City of Reincarnation. The family members can receive a pension per month, tax exemption for three years, and ten acres of fertile land are allocated for life exemption. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the 600,000 reincarnation recruits stayed together, and then you looked at me and I looked at you, all showing unbelievable expressions. Ye Chen was stunned when he saw this. What's the situation, don't believe me? Just as Ye Chen thought of this, a soldier suddenly plucked up courage, looked at Ye Chen, and then bowed and asked. Dare to ask the Lord, but it took an hour to break the right beeping city, kill the rebellious Zhang Chun, and even the Han Empire Ping Bei general, General Ye Chenai, who beat Wuhuan in one day. Ye Chen suddenly realized when he heard this. Fuck. It turned out to be like this. Thinking of this. Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, then nodded, and said, Yes, it's me. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the 600,000 reincarnation recruits opened their eyes wide, and then there was an expression of ecstasy on their faces. Reincarnation City We are soldiers of Reincarnation City. We are soldiers of General Ping Bei. Great. The Lord is a peerless military commander of the Han Empire. He has made great achievements in battle. It is a great blessing to be able to follow the Lord. Of course. The Lord is brave and the world is unparalleled. Ever since I heard about the Lord's deeds, I can't wait to arrive at the City of Reincarnation immediately and follow the Lord to fight to kill the enemy. I didn't expect to be here today. God has eyes. Me too. The Lord's prestige has spread throughout the world not only loves soldiers like a child, but also uses soldiers like a god, and the force is unparalleled. After I heard it, I wish I could grow a pair of wings and fly to the city of reincarnation, but the journey is far away. There are old mothers, wives, and children in the family. Oh, I'm in the same situation, but it's better now. I'm in the city of reincarnation. As long as one month and the salary is paid, I will be able to take over my family. Brother, the Lord has said that we will be reimbursed for the travel expenses, 
and now we can receive the reincarnation city in the family's wife and children. It is a great blessing of heaven to be a soldier of the Lord, how can it be costing the Lord? Yes, yes, you can't ask the Lord to spend money. The soldiers discussed enthusiastically, telling the excitement in their hearts. Because from now on, they will follow Ye Chen, the unparalleled general of Ping Bei, who has made great achievements in the Han Empire. Ye Chen's prestige was already well known at this moment. It was because of this that they knew Ye Chen's name, Ye Chen's deeds, and news about the city of reincarnation. Once a person is famous, even in ancient times, all kinds of news will be unearthed. Therefore, when Ye Chen stepped down Wuhan, all the news about the city of reincarnation and Ye Chen spread throughout the big man. And this is also the fundamental reason why the 600,000 reincarnation recruits were dumbfounded on the spot after hearing the three characters of reincarnation city. They couldn't believe that they came to the city of reincarnation. They couldn't believe it. From now on, they would follow the incomparable Lord, Ye Chen. As a result, they were ecstatic, they really came to the city of reincarnation. Moreover, it was Ye Chen who followed. Ye Chen listened to the discussion of the samsara recruits and couldn't help but smiled, then raised his hand to signal the samsara recruits to be quiet. When the 600,000 reincarnation recruits calmed down, Ye Chen shouted. You don't need to worry about the cost. If you are a soldier of samsara, you will enjoy the treatment of a soldier of samsara. If you are a soldier and fight, if you have to remember your family, isn't my lord negligent? When Ye Chen said this, with a wave of his right hand, sixty piles of gold coins appeared in front of the 600,000 reincarnation recruits instantly, and then he continued. You can now use the teleportation array to teleport to your hometown and take over your family members, even brothers and sisters of the same race, or cousins, as long as they are willing to come and settle in Samsara City. How much does it cost? Come forward. Just get it. However, you must remember that anyone who believes in the Taiping Dao will be excluded, because the Taiping Dao is a demon way, and there is only one dead end when you come to my reincarnation city. Ye Chen is willing to pay for the simple purpose, to gather the hearts of the reincarnation recruits, and secondly to increase the population of the city of reincarnation. Each soldier can bring three to five family members, which is still rare, most of them have more than five family members. This is ancient times, but not modern times when family planning is implemented. As long as the situation is not special, the population of each household will exceed five or even ten. If you bring relatives like cousins, it will be difficult for the population of reincarnation city to rise even if you want, and this business is very cost effective. What's more, Ye Chen is not short of money at all. As for emphasizing that Taiping Road must not enter the city of reincarnation, the reason is also very simple. The chaos of the golden turban is about to begin, Ye Chen didn't want the golden turban of the peace road to appear in the city of Samsara, and then the mists of smoke that stirred the city of Samsara. As for these 600,000 new recruits, because they were called by a recruiting order, there would be no such thing as a peaceful road spy, so Ye Chen was relieved. Otherwise, Ye Chen would definitely not use the recruiting order now, and would only use it after the Golden Turban Rebellion. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the 600,000 reincarnation recruits looked at each other, and then bowed in unison. Follow the Lord's order, we will never allow the Taiping Dao demon to enter the city of reincarnation. Obviously, the families of these reincarnation recruits didn't have much hardship, and they all knew the Taiping Dao but they didn't agree with the Taiping Dao. Very good. Go forward and collect the toll. Bring your family here. Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction, and then shouted. In the next second, cheers echoed one after another, one after another. Thank you Lord. Long live the Lord. Soon, the soldiers began to collect gold coins, and after taking the toll, they bowed their farewells to Ye Chen one by one. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yunzhen at this time and said, Yunzhen, go and prepare. 
the 50,000 soldiers who came back first will be included in the Bama Yakong. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen heard this, then bowed in response, and then left the school grounds. Ye Chen looked at Guo Yi and asked with a smile, Feng Xiao, what reward do you want? Master, 30 bottles of 100 flour stuffed rice. Guo Yi's eyes flashed abruptly when he heard this, then he bowed and said. Okay. Ye Chen laughed, and then said. Guo Yi was immediately overjoyed when he heard this, and as he was about to bow and thank him, Ye Chen's words sounded again. One bottle a day, give it out in 30 days. When Guo Yi heard this, his face suddenly stiffened, the corners of his mouth twitched involuntarily, and then he bowed and said, Yes. Lord. Guo Yi naturally knew that Ye Chen was thinking about him, but he was a little greedy, and he really wanted to drink more, especially the Baywanian in Reincarnation City, which is still the best wine in the world, and he still wants to drink it. Ye Chen looked at Guo Yi's tangled appearance, shook his head helplessly, and then said, Feng Xiao, you must have a degree of drinking. After the country soars, I will not restrict how you drink. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi couldn't help but warm up when he heard this, and then nodded heavily. Ye Chen patted Guo Yi on the shoulder, and then said. So far I have not been able to get the equipment of the Heavenly Military Division. When you have it, I will compensate you. As for the official position, when you have the right to open a mansion, you will be regarded as the sacrificial wine for the military division of the Reincarnation City. Hearing this, Guo Yi was taken aback for a moment, and then bowed in gratitude and said, Gia, follow the Lord to the death. Military division, every general of the Great Han Empire will have, and there are many, but there is only one military division offering wine. Now Ye Chen has given Guo Yi this position. Naturally, he values Guo Yi. How could Guo Yi not be able to tell? Guo Yi not only heard it, but also knew that the future of the city of reincarnation would not have fewer military divisions. But at this moment, the position of the military master's offering to wine has already become his Guo Yi Guo Feng Xiao, how could he not be excited, how could he not be moved? Ye Chen looked at Guo Yi, who was moved inexplicably, and smiled, then looked at Zhao Meng and said. Zhao Meng, your weapon should also be replaced. When Zhao Meng heard this, his eyes suddenly lit up, and he hurriedly bowed and said, Thank you, Lord. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, with a move with his right hand, 58 heavenly weapons appeared on the ground instantly. These were all obtained during the northern expedition, and most of them were scimitars, long, spears, maces, and a scorpion. Ye Chen pointed to the heavenly weapons on the ground, and then said. If there is something you like in it, use it. If it doesn't fit, use it, melt it, and rebuild it. In addition, a set of heavenly weapons is also prepared for Nian Xiong. The blacksmith knows Niang Sheng's needs and just talk about it. Diane Xiong had already rebuilt the weapon at the blacksmith's, but the grade was relatively low. Now that it can be replaced with a sky level 1, it is natural to use a sky level 1. Master, this. Zhao Meng was stunned when he heard this, and then hurriedly bowed and said. Master, the smelting of heavenly weapons will cause a great loss of materials, and you will just pick one at the end. Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and then said, It's okay, weapons are dead, they can't be used, they are waste. No matter how high the grade is, how can you better fight against the enemy without taking advantage of it? Yes. Lord. Finally, I will go to the blacksmith to rebuild the weapon. Zhao Meng was stunned for a while. After recovering, he bowed in gratitude and prayed. After speaking, he picked up all the weapons on the ground. And then left the school. Ye Chen thought about Zhao Meng and Dian Xiong. How could Zhao Meng fail to tell? If it weren't for the fact that the number of heavenly equipment wasn't that many, 
Ye Chen would definitely have created the armor for Zhao Meng Dian and the others. Seeing Zhao Meng leaving excitedly, Ye Chen smiled slightly, then looked at the reincarnation soldier under the stage, and shouted. The whole army carnival for three days, once applied, the city lord's mansion will be reimbursed. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the reincarnation soldiers shouted in unison, Long live the lord! Long live! Long live! Seeing the excited soldiers of the reincarnation, Ye Chen smiled slightly, then raised his hand to signal the soldiers to be quiet. When the soldiers calmed down, Ye Chen shouted, Follow General Zhao Yunzhen Zhao Yunzhen, go out of the city and gather. Yes. Lord. When the 50,000 soldiers of reincarnation heard this, Qi Qi eyes lit up, and then he bowed and worshipped neatly. The words were full of surprises and excitement. These 50,000 soldiers all knew what Ye Chen's order meant. They are going to become members of the second special army in reincarnation city. If the strength of the reincarnation city is divided, the reincarnation legion is undoubtedly the strongest. Because the Samsara Legion was the first to be established, and it was also the first legion to follow Ye Chen's birth and death. However, none of the soldiers in the reincarnation city didn't want to be a member of the reincarnation army, but unfortunately they couldn't get in. And now, the second army of reincarnation city is about to be established, and they are about to become a member of Bema Yakong. Since then, they are no longer ordinary soldiers, and their status and status have changed immediately. How could they not be excited, how could they not be proud? At this time, the 50,000 soldiers all turned around and lined up to go out of the city. The remaining reincarnation soldiers showed envious eyes one by one, and they also wanted to be a member of Bema Yakong. Seeing the reincarnation soldiers on the school field with envious eyes, Ye Chen couldn't help but smiled, and then shouted. The Reincarnation City Special Army is definitely more than this one. You are all veterans on the battlefield. After the establishment of the new Special Army, you will all join them to serve as the Corps Leader, the Commander, the Centurion, and even the Commander. Confidently qualified for this position. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the eyes of the remaining Samsara soldiers lit up, and their breathing became heavier and thicker. In the next second, a uniform and uniform drink sounded instantly. Enlighten the Lord. We are confident. The voice was filled with excitement, excitement and deep anticipation. Very good. Remember. If you want to be competent for this position, you must constantly hone your martial arts and have a strong body, so that you can fight the enemy courageously on the battlefield. Set an example for the latecomers. Only in this way, you can let later convinced. You can understand it. Understand. 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 The tidy drink sounded again. The remaining Samsara soldiers cheered loudly and excitedly one by one. Their future is no worse than the white horse just now, so they are excited, they are excited. Moreover, they know that this is true and not false. Because what was promised to them was that General Ping Bei of the Han Empire took them to victory after victory, the unparalleled lord, Ye Chen. Very good. Let's start the carnival. Ye Chen laughed, and then shouted. Long live the lord. Long live. Ha ha ha, today I will be drunk or not. Quickly, go buy beef and mutton. Today, I'm having a carnival in the military camp. The province is drunk and harassing the people. Yes, right, go, buy beef and mutton. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen looked at the inexplicably excited soldiers of the reincarnation, couldn't help but smile, then looked at Guo Yi, and said. Bong Xiao, go. Go outside the city and witness the birth of Bai Ma Yakong. Lord, at this moment, we should arrange manpower in advance to receive the coming people. Guo Yi hurriedly bowed and said when he heard this. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then he realized that Zhao Hung had been sent to develop the expedition village, 
and the position of deputy city lord of Samsara city was still vacant. Zhao Hung used to manage this matter, but now that Zhao Hung leaves, no one manages it. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but twitched. Special, there are still too few people. After going to Luoyang this time, I have to search a batch of them. Thinking of this, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, then looked at Guo Yi and said, Bong Xiao, go call me Zhu over. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi nodded, then bowed in response, and left here after speaking. Not long after, Guo Yi returned here with Mi Zhu. As soon as they met, Mi Zhu bowed and said, Zhu, see the Lord. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then said, Zhiz Hong, the position of Deputy City Lord of Reincarnation City is vacant at this moment, are you willing to take up this position? Thank you for the Lord's trust and willingness. Hearing this, Mi Zhu hurriedly bowed in prayer. Okay. From now on, Zhiz Hong will officially become the Deputy City Lord of Reincarnation City. Ye Chen laughed and said. Congratulations to Brother Zhiz Hong for becoming the Deputy Lord of the Reincarnation City. Guo Yi said with a fist with a smile at this time. When Mi Zhu heard this, he hurriedly clasped his fists and said, Thank you, thank you. Ye Chen looked at Mi Zhu without arrogance or rashness, nodded in satisfaction, and then said, Zhiz Hong, there will be at least three million people coming to the city of reincarnation in a short time. Make sure to register the newcomers within a day. In addition, step up the construction of houses and ask the first 50,000 soldiers to come back to gather outside the city. Hearing this, Mi Zhu nodded heavily, and then bowed in response, Yes. Lord. This matter should be done sooner rather than later, let's leave the humble position first. Well, let's go. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, then nodded and said. Mi Zhu bowed and saluted again, then gave a fist to Guo Yi, and hurriedly left the school. Brother Zhiz Hong is extremely capable, and he must be able to resolve this issue soon. Guo Yi looked at Ye Chen at this time and said with a smile on his face. Indeed, Zhiz Hong's ability is indeed very high, but he can't control the construction of houses and the registration. Ye Chen was taken aback when he said this, and then his face became stiff. The Lord is thinking, will brother Zhiz Hong misunderstand the Lord and use him? Guo Yi couldn't help but smile when he saw Ye Chen's expression, then bowed and asked. Well, I haven't thought about it before, but now I have realized that to complete this matter, if Zhiz Hong doesn't transfer artisans from Zuzhou, it would be impossible to do it. Ye Chen sighed, and then said. Don't worry about the Lord, Brother Zhiz Hong learned that the city of reincarnation had added 600,000 new soldiers, and each of them had to bring his family to the city of reincarnation. Little problem. Guo Yi said with a bow when he heard this. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, and then his heart warmed. Because Mi Zhu came here and didn't mention this matter at all. Obviously, Mi Zhu wanted to downplay this matter, and didn't want to use it to claim credit with Ye Chen. There is a good subordinate, just save worry and effort. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and then said. Zhiz Hong is loyal and loyal, and when he is successful, I will never treat him badly when his hegemony is achieved. The same is true for Feng Xiao. Ka, thanks to the Lord. Guo Yi bowed in prayer with a smile on his face when he heard this. Ye Chen laughed, and then said, Let's go, go outside the city and witness the birth of Bama Yakong. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi said with a smile, and then followed Ye Chen to the outside of the city. Outside the city of reincarnation. As soon as Ye Chen arrived here, he saw 100,000 pure white war horses standing quietly in the distance, and 50,000 soldiers were already standing beside the white horses waiting quietly. Zhao Yunzhen stood at the gate of the city, looking at the 50,000 soldiers and 100,000 pure white horses in the distance. Seeing Ye Chen's arrival, Zhao Yun was hurriedly bowing and praying, See the Lord. Meet the Lord. 50,000 soldiers knelt on one knee and shouted. 
Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Zhao Yunzhen and asked, Yunzhen, the captured Wuhuan war horse, but there is no better white war horse. But Ye Chen saw that the white horse next to Zhao Yunzhen was still the same one at the beginning, and the grade was nothing more than an exquisite product. When Zhao Yun heard this, he was slightly taken aback, then bowed and said, Enlighten the Lord, there are good pure white horses, but there is only one. One horse? Why not use it? Ye Chen was taken aback for a while, and then asked in surprise. Master, Yun has an order for the transfer of Bema Yizuo, how can he be insatiable? Zhao Yun hurriedly bowed and said when he heard this. When Ye Chen heard this, he couldn't help but glared at Zhao Yun Zen, and then said. Yun Zheng, don't do this in the future. No matter how good the horse is, it depends on who will ride it. Besides, you are the commander of the white horse Ye Kong. How can you not have a good horse? Having said that, Ye Chen immediately looked at the reincarnation soldier on duty at the gate of the city, and said, Go, bring that war horse. Yes. Lord. The soldier hurriedly bowed, and then hurriedly left the gate of the city. It didn't take long for the soldiers to bring a snow-white warhorse with no half-hairs. After seeing the appearance of the snow-white warhorse, Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned. Because the horse has a strong physique, and the horse has piercing eyes, it is not an ordinary horse at first glance. This is... Zai Jade Lion. That's right, it is Zai Yu Lion. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile then looked at Zhao Yunzhen who was very excited, and said. Yunzheng, this should be Zai Jade Lion undoubtedly, from then on, it will be your mount. Thank you for the Lord's gift. When Zhao Yunzhen heard this, he was overjoyed and hurriedly bowed in prayer. After speaking, he led Zai Jade Lion over. Seeing Zhao Yunzhen's joy, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile. At this moment, the soldiers who went to pick up their families from the city of reincarnation ran towards here in twos and threes. Because they knew one thing, the first 50,000 soldiers who returned to reincarnation city would become a member of Bema Yakong, the second special army corps in reincarnation city. Therefore, after learning about this one by one, they ran away without saying anything, for fear that they would run slowly and miss the opportunity. The soldiers ran to the gate of the city one by one. After meeting Ye Chen, they ran to the group of white horses in the distance, and one of them chose a white war horse. A little bit of time passed, when 100,000 soldiers of reincarnation appeared beside the 100,000 white horses outside the city, Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yunzhen and said, Yunzhen, it's time to start. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen bowed and responded and then took out the special army transfer order, by Ma Yikong, did not hesitate to choose to use. In an instant, the light was bright, and then 100,000 soldiers and Zhao Yun were enveloped in it. A completely different breath instantly rose from the 100,000 army. Killing, majestic, iron-blooded, and then getting thicker and stronger. Zhao Yun Zen opened his eyes violently at this time, then turned on his horse, and with a move with his right hand, the silver spear and gentian appeared instantly. Hey! 100,000 reincarnation soldiers also turned on their horses at this moment. Zhao Yunzhen glanced at the 100,000 soldiers in reincarnation, then raised the silver spear and gentian, and shouted loudly, White Horse Righteous! Boom! The 100,000 soldiers in reincarnation beat their chests with their right fists, shouting loudly. Where righteous comes, life and death follow each other. The sky is a lesson, and the white horse is proof. The oath of 100,000 soldiers in reincarnation rose instantly and resounded throughout the world. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, forming a special army, the white horse is righteous. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. White Horse Yakong, Special Army. Grade, SSS. Commander, Zhao Yunzhen. Number of people, 100,000. 
Legion characteristics, wherever righteous comes, life and death follow. The sky is a lesson, and the white horse is proof. Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows as soon as the system's prompt sound ended. Zhao Yunzhen is right. Bai Ma Yi who was supposed to be SS grade has really been upgraded from, to SSS grade. At this moment, the system's world announcement sounded instantly. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for the second establishment of the special army, Bai Ma Ye Kong, special reward of one million reputation. Three consecutive world announcements instantly detonated the entire world channel. Hold a big grass. Great God Ye Chen, you are so awesome, how long is this, it's a world announcement again. Nima, let people not live, another special army. From the beginning of this special game, there have been two special army groups in total. Ye Chen's people who returned him are strongly demanded that the system restrict Ye Chen. This Nima can't play anymore. Fool, boss Ye Chen is getting in your way. If you didn't rob you, you didn't strike your territory, you really treat yourself as a person. Don't pay attention to this idiot. Boss Ye Chen doesn't bully others casually. It's different from gang bosses, leaders and mayors who pretend to be forced every day. That is, no matter how awesome the boss Ye Chen is, I am not worried. I hope that boss Ye Chen can kill all those pretending guys so that we can play the game well without worrying about being oppressed. What I hope most is that Ye Chen Z and his like, as well as the leaders, gang leaders, mayor, etc., all hang up. This is better. Ha ha ha, brother, when you say it's in my heart, they are all dead, this is our world. Don't be so special, don't you know what Bama Ye Kong is? Hey? You said that, I seem to remember that the special Bai Maiyi was never created by Gong Sun Zan? How did it become Ye Chen's? Could it be that Gong Sun Zan was also taken away by Ye Chen? Fuck. Did you make a mistake, that is the future overlord of Yu's Hu, Nima, I am still waiting for Gong Sun Zan to take care of Ye Chen. Grass. That's what I thought, Nima. Now only the natives in the game have the ability to fight Ye Chen. If Ye Chen harvests Gong Sun Zan, wouldn't Yu's Hu become Ye Chen's bag? Impossible. If Ye Chen accepts Gong Sun Zan, there is a world announcement on the cliff, and no world announcement, it means that Ye Chen has confiscated Gong Sun Zan at all, but where does this special white horse righteousness come from? Damn. Let me just say it. Ye Chen knows the secret of the game. What's so special? From the beginning of the game, Ye Chen has been making world announcements. It is simply a world announcement maker. This is so special, I also want to know. The secret of the game. Boss Ye Chen, look, you're so awesome anyway, it's useless to keep secrets, tell us it, tell us, we can also improve our strength quickly. Now the monster race outside the real world is getting more and more. The more violent we get, our speed can't keep up. As long as the boss Ye Chen is willing to tell the secrets of the game, we will all recognize you as the boss. Yes, yes, as long as Ye Chen, boss, tell the secret, otherwise we humans will be weaker and weaker than the monsters. By that time, not all of them will be eaten by the monsters. Now the protective shield is getting weaker and weaker. A safe city will not last too long. As long as the boss Ye Chen tells the secret, we will become the younger brothers of the boss. No matter what the boss does, we will fully support it. Yet, yeah, boss Ye Chen, for the future of mankind, you can't be selfish. The world channel was very lively. From the initial shock and speculation, to the back, it became Ye Chen to tell the secret of the game. Ye Chen looked at the constantly refreshing world channel, and curled his lips in disdain. These people said that they were grand sounding, and even put their posture very low, and they said they were willing to be little brothers. In fact, the starting point was still for themselves. They want to be more powerful and more powerful. The strength of the monster race is improving quickly, but the human beings are not slow. If you work hard to fight monsters and level up, 
it will not be much worse. If it is really for the sake of the future of mankind, they should work together to brush all kinds of large cottages, giant cottages, and do large-scale plot tasks. For example, in the northern expedition, you can explode weapons, exercises, order to build a village, and even order to transfer the legion, and so on. These are what all players already know, attacking these places, you can get good things, and quickly improve your strength. Although their ranks are low, they definitely have an advantage in numbers. Coupled with some tactics, how can they get a lot of good things? But as a result, this situation did not appear at all. The slogans are loud, for the sake of mankind, but no one cooperates. After all, they are all nonsense. Because they are selfish and unwilling to sacrifice their own interests, fearing that things will be acquired by others, and fearing that they will end up in vain. This is the truth. Ye Chen had seen too many despicable human nature, shameless human nature, and filthy human nature in his previous life. He knew this very well. Therefore, Ye Chen will not be shaken by the loud slogans on the World Channel. Talking about the destruction of mankind and for the sake of all mankind is nonsense. Regardless of the reality or the game, there is only one law, the law of the jungle. If Ye Chen becomes weak, or no longer the strongest, then Ye Chen faces only one result. Be attacked by a group, and then robbed of everything. Ye Chen naturally knew this, so how could Ye Chen be a good person? Ye Chen has only one thing to do and that is to keep getting stronger, and then getting stronger, so strong that it scares and despairs sentient beings. These people began to force Lao Tzu to tell secrets with a strong attitude, and now they are soft again, it is really ridiculous. Thinking of this, Ye Chen smiled coldly, then looked at Bai Ma Ye Kong, and his mood immediately improved a lot. Hey! Zhao Yun was taking the white horse righteously, rolled over and got off the horse together, then faced Ye Chen and knelt on one knee. We will follow the Lord to the death. The soldiers of the white horse Ye Kong shouted in unison. The shocking oath, instantly resounded throughout the valley of reincarnation. Looking at the soldiers of Bema Ye Kong with completely different mental outlooks, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction, and then shouted. Go to the carnival, within three days, free of charge. Long live the Lord. Long live. Long live! The trembling cheers sounded immediately. When Ye Chen saw this, he couldn't help but smile, then looked at Zhao Yunzhen and said. Yunzhen, after three days, step up the practice of Bema Ye Kong. After the diamond level equipment is built, the number of replacements is completed. If there is any need, please mention it. Then you can find Ms. Hu to solve it. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yun was hearing this, his face instantly became extremely serious, and then he bowed and responded loudly. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yun's and solemn expression, smiled and nodded, then looked at Guo Yi and said. Feng Xiao, tomorrow, I will go to Luoyang to meet with your majesty. After that, I will walk around the big man for seven or eight days as short as twenty days as long as twenty days, and then I will return to the city of reincarnation. You are right with Yun. Reincarnation city has a strong foundation at the moment, but it can't help but guard against small scraps. As far as Ye Chen is concerned, Xiao Xiao is the lord player with ulterior motives. In the group of players, Individual players have long been scared by Ye Chen, and basically won't play the idea of Reincarnation City again. But the Lord players are an exception, because they don't need to play in person at all, they only need to send troops. Before Ye Chen expedition to Wuhuan, and brought the trophies to the Samsara forest, someone followed Zhao Meng and his party. It was just solved by Zhao Meng. As for the purpose of their tracking, it is nothing more than to confirm the exact location of Reincarnation City. And to confirm the location of the City of Reincarnation, the purpose is self-evident, some people want to make the idea of Reincarnation City. 
it doesn't matter whether you dare or not. The important thing is that someone has this thought, and Ye Chen already knows how it is possible not to take precautions. Although Ye Chen was not afraid, Ye Chen would not be so arrogant that he was not even prepared for it. Moreover, the road in the reincarnation forest has already begun to be paved, and it will not be long before it is officially opened to the outside world. At that time, Samsara City will officially enter the player's sight. Those who want to play the idea of reincarnation city are likely to start acting immediately, or they may continue to hold back and wait for the opportunity. No matter which one, Ye Chen didn't care, as long as they dared to show up, Ye Chen would ruthlessly destroy everything about them. As far as Ye Chen is concerned, those who dare to make their own decisions are all enemies and enemies. Ye Chen only chooses one method of treatment and kills without mercy. It's just that the precautions that should be taken are still there, and in any case cannot be given a small opportunity. Jieting should go all out and don't let any crumbs have a chance. Guo Yi nodded heavily, then bowed in response. Ye Chen patted Guo Yi on the shoulder, and then walked towards the city lord's mansion. With the leader away, and staying away for a long time, to have a little free time, Ye Chen naturally wanted to accompany his woman. City Lord's Mansion, Back House As soon as Ye Chen arrived here, he saw Zhao Yu, Diao Chan, Cai Mayor, Mi Zhen, and Huang Wanner who had changed their clothes, sitting in the pavilion chatting. The five women chatted very speculatively, and they didn't realize Ye Chen's arrival until Ye Chen came to the pavilion. In the next second, the five women stood up together and shouted sweetly, Husband. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then asked, Are you all ready? Zhao Yu, Diao Chan, Cai Mayor, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner glanced at each other, and then said in unison, All are ready. Don't resist, take you to my world, and think about it later, as long as your mind moves, but remember, there is no better than this, don't just go out of the city. Ye Chen nodded, and then said, Ye Chen's tone was a little serious, and the five women who listened to Chi Chi were taken aback, and then invariably nodded in response, Yes. Husband. Ye Chen couldn't help but smiled when he saw the five girls' behaved appearance, and then took Zhao Yu's hand, Diao Chan, Cai Mayor, Mi Zhen, and Huang Wanner also held each other's hands at this time. After Ye Chen saw that the five women were all grasped, his mind moved and he went offline instantly. Also disappearing with Ye Chen were Zhao Yu, Diao Chan, Cai Mayor, Mi Zhen, and Huang Wanner. Real World, Reincarnation City, City Lord Mansion. Five light groups appeared out of thin air. In the next second, Zhao Yu, Diao Chan, Cai Mayor, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner appeared in the hall. Wow! An extremely happy tiger roar sounded instantly. The five women who opened their eyes were stunned, and then saw a fiery red shadow rushing into Zhao Yu's arms. Little Tiger Zhao Yu's surprised voice immediately sounded, and then he hugged Yan Hu's huge body and rubbed Yan Hu's head vigorously. This is the husband's spiritual pet that my sister said, Yan Hu, he has grown so big. Diao Chan couldn't help but stared at Yan Hu's huge body, and then said in astonishment. Wow! Yan Hu raised his head at this time and let out a triumphant cry. It is showing off in every way, it is the most powerful. With a creak, the door of the diamond level game warehouse opened, and Ye Chen then stood up from the game warehouse and walked out. When the five girls saw Ye Chen, they all smiled together, and then shouted sweetly. Husband! Ye Chen smiled and nodded, but then when he approached the five girls, he said apologetically. This is my world, and this world also has a reincarnation city, but there is no population yet, so it's a bit deserted, and I'm wronged you. What Ye Chen said was also the truth, the real world city of reincarnation was indeed very deserted, without even a single inhabitant. The five women came to the real world, without the maid to take care of them, they had to do everything by themselves. As for the use of two world stones for several maids, Ye Chen hadn't thought about it, but he immediately rejected the idea. Before there is no power to despise everything, 
everything is based on improving the strength, and it is completely undesirable to waste the two world stones on the maid. And this is exactly what Ye Chen feels guilty about Zhao Yu, Diao Chan, Cai Mayer, Fan Zhen, and Huang Wanner. When Zhao Yu heard Ye Chen's apologetic words, he gently shook his head, and then said affectionately. Being able to come to the world of your husband, and being with your husband all the time, your concubine is already very satisfied. Yeah, husband, as long as you can be with your husband, it doesn't matter if you are a little deserted, what's more, in this way, the concubine and sisters and sisters can also be alone with the husband. Diao Chan said this, her little face instantly red, then lowered his head. Husband, we don't care about this. Husband must not feel guilty for this. This is not what we want to see. Cai Meyer took Ye Chen's hand at this time and said seriously. Huang Wanner, Mi Zhen nodded vigorously at this moment, and then said in unison. Husband, we are already satisfied if we can come to our husband's world. All we want is to be able to see and stay with him from time to time. Ye Chen listened to the affectionate words of the five women, looked at their affectionate and serious eyes, and the warm current in his heart rose one after another. If I change to a woman in the real world, I'm afraid I would have started fighting. Thinking of this, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then solemnly said. After the goal is achieved, I will take you to travel around the world. Hmm. The five women responded softly. Ye Chen listened to the five women's crisp voice, and he couldn't help but kissed. After the kiss, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the small pool he had taken away from the cave appeared instantly. When the five women saw the small pool where the regiment appeared, they all stunned. Ye Chen smiled and said. This is a thousand-year-old stalactite. You didn't come to this world before and couldn't give it to you. Now that you are all here, you can't use it. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Zhao Yu, Diao Chan, Cai Mayer, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner was taken aback when she heard this, and then shouted in surprise. Millennium Stalactite Obviously, the five women all know the existence of the thousand-year stalactite, and know the effect of the thousand-year stalactite, otherwise they will be so surprised. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then took a photo with his right hand. Five groups of thousand-year-old stalactites flew out instantly, and then flew towards the five women. Seeing this, the five girls opened their mouths and swallowed them without any hesitation. Because they knew that they had to follow Ye Chen's footsteps, otherwise, they would be thrown far, far away. Regardless of this, whether it was Zhao Yu, who first followed Ye Chen, or Huang Wanner, who had not followed Ye Chen until now, he knew and understood. Reincarnation City was built by the God Level Village Building Order, Gathering Heaven and Earth Fortune, and it will inevitably rise across the country in the future. They don't know the world after the ascension but they know that there is absolutely no week in the world after the ascension. At this moment, none of them has reached the transcendence realm, and their physique is also a mortal body. Even ascending with Ye Chen, they will become vases. Because of their characteristics, their help to Ye Chen will continue to weaken as Ye Chen's strength grows stronger. They don't want to be vases, they want to be useful and helpful to Ye Chen. Therefore, they are also eager to improve their strength. Only when the strength is improved, their characteristics will continue to help Ye Chen. And now that the thousand-year stalactite can help them, they naturally want it. Besides, it was their husband who gave them the thousand-year stalactite, Ye Chen, how could they bother, sorry. Ye Chen naturally saw what the five women thought, but Ye Chen would not break it, let alone persuade, but would support it instead. In the prehistoric world, the lich races are powerful. The stronger their strength, the safer they are, even Ye Chen is no exception. Therefore, the five girls have a strong mind, Ye Chen agrees with both hands and feet. Not long after, the five women opened their eyes together, then looked at Ye Chen and yelled sweetly, Thank you, husband. 
Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then said, Wait, I will take you out of the city for a look. Yet. When the girls heard this, they all smiled, then nodded in response. They are also a little curious about the real world, and want to see what Ye Chen's world is like. At this moment, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the spirit pet qualification advance scroll instantly appeared in Ye Chen's hand. After seeing the scroll in Ye Chen's hand, Yan Hu's two tiger eyes instantly glared at the boss, and hurriedly ran to Ye Chen's side, rubbing Ye Chen's trouser legs affectionately with the tiger's head that was one size bigger. Obviously, Yan Hu could see the benefits of the advanced scroll of spiritual pet aptitude at a glance. How else would you please Ye Chen so hard? Seeing Yan Hu who is constantly selling cute to please him, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and his right hand slammed the scroll of advancement of spiritual pet aptitude. In the next second, the spirit pet qualification advance scroll turned into a ball of white light, and then rushed towards Yan Hu, instantly enveloping Yan Hu. Oh! A tiger roar with excitement sounded instantly. As time passed a little bit, a powerful pressure instantly rose from Yan Hu's body, and then covered the city of Samsara, spreading towards the distance. At the same time, the hidden monster race soldiers around the city of reincarnation were awakened one by one, and then they went offline from the game world, and then stared at the beast's eyes, staring in the direction of the city in disbelief. They were all monster soldiers who had escaped by a fluke last time, and did not participate in besieging the city of reincarnation. The Black Tiger Gang uprooted by Ye Chen, although they used human blood to attract the monster clan soldiers, they would not be so stupid as to draw the monster beasts from four directions. In this way, the Black Tiger Gang would not even want to run away. It is for this reason that around the city of reincarnation, there are still some monster soldiers who have not been attracted by human blood. At this moment, they are all stimulated. Because in the city of reincarnation, there is a coercion that makes them feel afraid, which is constantly coming, and it is getting stronger and stronger. Then, what's there, why is it so strong, just coercion makes me feel scared. Damn. Why am I afraid? It's him, what kind of existence is this? Is it the powerhouse of the monster race? Why is there still killing intent in this coercion? Asshole, you are strong, I will persuade you, because Mao wants to let go of this coercion, and I am afraid that you will not succeed. The demon clan soldiers shouted and cursed in shock. After a few breaths, the monster's miscellaneous soldiers turned from unbelief to fear, and then to fear. Because the pressure is getting stronger and stronger, their souls begin to tremble. In the next second, the monster clan soldiers left their nests in horror. Soon, the monster clan soldiers appeared outside the city of reincarnation in pieces. After they appeared, they didn't stay at all, let alone watch the city of reincarnation that made them feel terrified, one by one, they rushed in the direction away from the city of reincarnation, rushing wildly, cursing with gritted teeth. It's him. It's the fairy beast. This coercion belongs to the fairy beast. It's not our monster race. A dashing black bear suddenly remembered something, and then shouted angrily. Damn it! How can there be fairy beasts in this world now, isn't it a spirit beast at most? A rabbit roared with a grim look. I don't know who is he, run quickly, if you don't run out, it's him, don't live. When I get stronger, I have to come and clean up this fairy beast. And that first person in the human race, Ye Chen. The coercion of the fairy beast comes from his broken city. Don't talk nonsense about him, run quickly, that coercion has become stronger again. The real world, the city of reincarnation, the city lord's mansion. Wow! A roar that shook the world and the earth instantly sounded, and then spread to the distance. The powerful coercion also rose to the peak in a moment. The light dissipated, and a completely new Yan Hu appeared in front of Ye Chen's eyes. Seeing Yan Hu who had completely changed his appearance, Ye Chen was stunned. This is... White Tiger. It's not right. I saw that Yan Hu's body still had a tiger head, 
from the previous fiery red to black and white, but the tiger ears and four tiger claws remained the same as before. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at Yan Hu's attribute panel. Yan Hu, Fairy Beast. Techniques, White Tiger 7 Kills Ju, Yu Feng Ju, Ye Huo Ju. Skills, 1. Fireball 2. Blazing Fire Starting a Prairie Fire 3. Tigers Roar in the World 4. Tenjiun Rides the Fog 5 6. Owner, Ye Chen. Seeing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. I have advanced into a fairy beast, and I have directly comprehended three kinds of exercises and a skill, and I can continue to grow. Yes, yes, the stronger the better, the more varied, the better. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Yan Hu opened two tiger eyes at this time, and then ran to Ye Chen's side, rubbing Ye Chen's trouser legs affectionately with the tiger's head. At this moment, Yan Hu was very excited, and very excited, because it became a fairy beast. It is very grateful to its owner, Ye Chen, for everything he has brought to it. Although it is still young, it is not stupid. It knows one thing very well. If it develops slowly by itself, not only will its strength not increase so quickly, it will also depend on chance to become a fairy beast. And during the growth process during this period, it is extremely likely to encounter dangers of one kind or another. And now, with the help of Ye Chen, it has advanced to become a fairy beast in a short time, becoming a fairy beast that many spirit beasts can never reach even if they have spent their entire life. Looking at the excited Yan Hu, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile then rubbed Yan Hu's head, and said. Since you are a fairy beast, you can try the high-grade spirit stone, but don't eat too much. Even if you are a fairy beast, you will be blown up if you eat too much, understand? When Yan Hu heard this, the eyes of the two tigers flashed fiercely, and the Hareza flowed out in an instant, and then nodded the tiger's head vigorously. Seeing Yan Hu's greedy mouth, he shook his head helplessly then looked at the girls and said. Let's go, go out for a while, with the coercion of Yan Hu, there will be no monsters appearing around the city of Samsara for a period of time. Hmm. The women nodded in response, and then followed Ye Chen to the outside of the city. The real world is full of towering giant trees, tall weeds on the ground are everywhere, alive and free of virgin forests. However, unlike the real virgin forest, there are no dead leaves accumulated on the ground for countless years. The scenery in reality is more primitive than the game world, but in this primitive, there is a strong sense of disobedience. Because of the existence of the Yezu and the shrinking of human beings, even if the land is covered by trees, it cannot cover up the torrents hidden in the dark. When the rapids broke out, the movement of death would sound. Ye Chen took the girls around in the real world for a while, and then returned to the reincarnation city with the girls, and then back to the game world. The next day, Ye Chen was dressed in the service and attendance of Mitch Hen, and then went to the front yard after having breakfast with the girls. Santos Mansion, Living Room As soon as Ye Chen arrived here, he saw Guo Yi, Zhao Yunzhen, Cai Yin, Mi Zhu, Diane Xiong, and Zhao Meng who were already sitting in the hall waiting. Meet the Lord when everyone saw Ye Chen's arrival, they all bowed in prayer. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then walked to the main seat and sat down, then looked at Mi Zhu and said, Zhiz Hong, how were the family members of the reincarnation recruits yesterday? Hearing Ye Chen's question, Mi Zhu hurriedly got up, bowed and said, Master Qi, the family members of the recruits have been registered, and they have all moved into the new house, the field and the division begins today. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. More than three million people need to register and complete the construction of houses in one day, which is a lot of work. It has only been a long time since Ye Chen issued the order yesterday. In Ye Chen's view, Mi Zhu was able to complete the task at the moment with five or six achievements. Unexpectedly, Mi Zhu has now directly completed the resettlement of the people. 
Mizu was afraid that he had moved all the servants of Zuzhou to the city of reincarnation. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but sighed, then looked at Mi Zhu, and said, Zizhong, you have worked so hard, and I will keep your credit in my heart. It is Zhu's happiest thing to be able to worry about the Lord's centimeter. How can Zhu work hard? When Mi Zhu heard this, his heart suddenly warmed, and then solemnly bowed. He paid so hard for Ye Chen, nothing more than to get Ye Chen's approval. After all, he is a newcomer. He has just followed Ye Chen and has not done anything, so he naturally wants to do something as soon as possible. It is good to prove that he is not a useless person, and he is also capable of serving as the deputy city lord of Reincarnation City. And Ye Chen's keep it in my heart undoubtedly told Mi Zhu one thing, Ye Chen recognized his credit and recognized his ability. This is the biggest reward for Mizu. Because only with Ye Chen's approval, his efforts were not in vain and his status would be stable. This is human nature, Ye Chen knows and understands. How could Ye Chen fail to see that his subordinates were loyal and committed to doing things for themselves? Seeing Mi Zhu's solemn expression, Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Dian Xiong and said, Nian Xiong, from now on, step up the training of reincarnation recruits. Lord, let's go to Luoyang with the Lord, lest you have the idea of ignoring the Lord. Dian Xiong was taken aback when he heard this, and then hurriedly bowed in prayer. Dian Xiong is Ye Chen's guard leader, so naturally he wants to be by Ye Chen's side at all times to perform his duties as a guard leader. The last time Ye Chen went to Luoyang, Many players had the idea of Ye Chen, and Dian Xiong had seen it with his own eyes. Ye Chen looked at Dian Xiong with an anxious look, his heart warmed, and then he said. It's okay, this world can hurt you and me. It doesn't exist yet. You can concentrate on training soldiers. Samsara recruits have not been on the battlefield. If you don't step up training, how can you form combat strength on the battlefield in the future? When Norio heard this, he suddenly became entangled. It is Diangsheng's duty to protect Ye Chen, but if the reincarnation recruits don't practice, they will be taken to the battlefield by Ye Chen soon, and if the mental quality of each person is not enough, the trouble will be serious. Although Dian Xiong wanted to protect Ye Chen more, the recruits had to practice. At the moment, reincarnation city is Zhao Yunzhen training with him the most. It's just that Zhao Yun is about to practice Bema Yikong, and the rest can only be brought by Nian Xiong. At this moment, Guo Yi got up, then looked at Ye Chen, and solemnly bowed and worshipped, The Lord is the Lord of Reincarnation. How can there be no guards around me, so courageous, I implore the Lord to bring General Zhao Meng and the Army of Reincarnation. When Dian Xiong heard this, most of the entanglement disappeared, then he looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said, the final general begs the Lord to bring General Zhao Meng and the Samsara army. The humble post begs the Lord to bring General Zhao Meng and the Reincarnation Legion. Cai Yin, Mi Zhu and Zhao Yunzhen bowed in prayer at this time. Ye Chen was taken aback when he saw this, and then said with a smile. You are worried about my safety, how can I not know, but this world really hasn't hurt the existence of your Lord and me. When Ye Chen said this, he couldn't help but twitched the corners of his mouth when he saw that everyone was still bent and refused to get up, and then he continued. The Samsara Legion can take it, Zhao Meng doesn't need it. The subordinates are concerned about their own safety, Ye Chen can see clearly, but also see clearly. But now, Ye Chen knows one thing better. It's absolutely impossible to go to Luoyang without taking people. Maybe afterwards, these subordinates will come to a deadly remonstrance. As for the reason, it is very simple. Ye Chen is the lord of the reincarnation city and the lord who led them to create a hegemony. Anyone can die, but Ye Chen can't die, that is, he can't even cause any harm. After all, at this moment, the Taiping Road is starting to move, and there are dangers everywhere, and with the eye-catching player lord, it can be said to be dangerous. Guo Yi, Zhao Yunzhen, and others naturally did not want to see Ye Chen go out alone. 
The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Master, the last general. Zhao Meng hurriedly bowed and said when he heard Ye Chen want to keep him. But before he finished speaking, Ye Chen interrupted him. Zhao Meng listened to the order. Zhao Meng was taken aback for a moment, then knelt on one knee and responded loudly, The end is here. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Meng with a dazed face, smiled slightly, and then shouted. From now on, there are 100,000 troops. How to match the equipment and arms depends on you. Do you have confidence? When Zhao Meng heard this, he was in a daze. He didn't expect that Ye Chen didn't ask him to follow, but instead asked him to be the commander-in-chief, or the commander-in-chief of 100,000 soldiers. This is something he never dreamed of. Zhao Meng. I have confidence. Ye Chen suddenly opened his eyes and then shouted. Yes. I will have confidence at the end. Zhao Menjiao shouted loudly with choking. At this moment, Zhao Meng was very excited and touched because he became the commander-in-chief of 100,000 soldiers and because of Ye Chen's reuse of him. In fact, Zhao Meng himself is quite talented, and his qualifications are not bad. In addition, Zhao Meng took the spirit of Chu Lehu's military commander, not only became an emperor-level military commander, but also became a first-rate historical military commander. Commanding 100,000 soldiers is not difficult for Zhao Meng. There were not so many soldiers under Ye Chen before, and Zhao Yunzhen and Dian Xiong were two super-class historical generals above Zhao Meng. There was no need to hand the soldiers to the commander-in-chief of Zhao Meng. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Meng who was inexplicably excited, nodded in satisfaction, and then said. Very well, you will be the second commander of Samsara City from now on, so you must train your troops with all your strength. Yes. Lord. Zhao Meng tried his best to stabilize his excitement, and then replied loudly. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Cai Yin, and said, Father-in-law. The city of reincarnation has a new population of more than three million, of which there are many children. Please ask your father-in-law for enlightenment and wisdom. Yes. Lord. Cai Yin hurriedly bowed in response after hearing Ye Chen's order. Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Zhao Yunzhen and Guo Yi, and said, The defense of reincarnation city is up to you, and Yunzhen don't slack off, step up to practice Bema Yakong. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen and Guo Yuki bowed in response. Ye Chen smiled slightly, then got up and walked outside. Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, and others hurriedly got up to send Ye Chen a favor. As soon as Ye Chen arrived at the teleportation formation, he saw the reincarnation legion that was fully armed, holding a war horse, and waiting here, as well as the unique Tian Maziajin in front of the reincarnation legion. Hey! The reincarnation legion all knelt down on one knee, and then said loudly. Meet the Lord! When Ye Chen saw this, he still didn't understand why the Samsara legion had been arranged here early in the morning. Guo Yi bowed and said with a smile, Don't blame the Lord, don't blame. When Ye Chen heard this, he glared at Guo Yi, then looked at the Samsara legion, and shouted, Leave, send Wo Yang. Yes. Lord. Then they shouted in unison. In the next second, the Samsara Legion lined up to enter the teleportation array, a flash of light, disappearing in batches. Serious loss. A thunderous neigh sounded. Golden Pegasus Xiajin came to Ye Chen's side at this time, and the horse's head gently rubbed Ye Chen. Ye Chen smiled slightly, patted Xiajin's horse's head lightly, and then turned on his horse. When the Samsara Legion had completed its teleportation, Ye Chen immediately stepped onto the teleportation formation. Guo Yi, Zhao Yunzhen, Cai Yin, Mi Zhu, Zhao Meng bowed and bowed together, send the Lord respectfully. Ye Chen nodded, then disappeared. Outskirts of Yang, 50 miles, teleportation array. As soon as Ye Chen appeared, a scream reached his ears. 
General He Xian, don't fight, don't fight, oops. Ye Chen opened his eyes when he heard this, and then he was taken aback. Not far away, the young San Deza was being beaten violently on the ground by a young man. And the group of small eunuchs around, tremblingly surrounded by a group of family generals, did not dare to move. Damn it! What's going on? Wait! He Xian seems to be He Jin's son. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, He Xian's roar rang. Lao Tzu killed you as an and dared to block Lao Tzu's way. Do you know what a military order is? Boom bang bang. The sound of punches and kicks sounded again. General He Xian, this is a misunderstanding, misunderstanding, the miscellaneous family was ordered by your majesty to welcome General Ping Bei, not to stop General He Xian. San Deza screamed while desperately protecting the vital points. The little San Deza was beaten with a bruised nose and swollen face, but he dared not resist at all, only dared to cover it. He is a eunuch, but not Zhang Lizzi and his like. If he dares to resist, he will end badly. At this moment, the young San Deza saw Ye Chen and screamed for help. General Ye, help, help. He Xian suddenly slammed a heavy punch, which instantly hit San Deza's head. With a sound of bang, San Deza passed out in a coma. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyes suddenly narrowed, and the cold light flashed away. This is running to give me a set. The strategy is good, the idea is also good, but unfortunately, the method is too stupid. Ha ha ha, General Ye, fortunate to have a good time. He Xian turned around to look at Ye Chen without looking at San Dezi at this time, then clasped his fists and laughed. He Xian's face was full of arrogance, it looked like he was courteous, but his eyes were full of contempt. He is the son of He Jin, a distinguished position. No one in Luoyang dared to provoke him. Of course, Zhang Lizzi and his ilk did not dare to take action, but ordinary eunuchs, he had never learned a lesson. This time, he ran here for the purpose of giving He Jin a good breath. Who told Ye Chen to slaughter He Jin's generals last time, he lost the face of He Jin, and also caused He Jin to take out countless money, and his pocket money was reduced. In order to retaliate against Ye Chen, he specially asked someone to study Ye Chen, and then found out that the relationship between Ye Chen and Zhang Li was unclear and seemed to be on Zhang Li's side, but the Manchu civil and military officials didn't think so. Therefore, after learning that Ye Chen was coming to Luoyang to meet Lu Hong today, he set up such a set. Regardless of whether Ye Chen can make a move, he will win in the end. Ye Chen's reputation will be tarnished by the action. When the time comes, all civil and military officials will look down on Ye Chen, and then begin to target Ye Chen. If he didn't make a move, Zhang Li would definitely doubt Ye Chen, and even hate Ye Chen. No matter which one, Zhang Li would not help Ye Chen, and Ye Chen could only choose where to enter. When the time comes, he can toss Ye Chen as he wants, unless Ye Chen doesn't want to be an official, otherwise he can only stay next to him. Because his father He Jin is a general, and he is the only son of He Jin. Ye Chen glanced at He Xian coldly, and then shouted. Boldly rebel against the thief, dare to beat the angel in broad daylight. Such evil deeds are regarded as conspiracy. You. He Xian's expression suddenly changed when he heard this, and then shouted angrily. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. He Xian never thought that Ye Chen would dare to say that. This was slander at all, how could he rebel? But what Ye Chen said about beating the angel was true. Although San Deza didn't carry the imperial decree, he also came to spread the word. If it is really pursued, he is just hitting Lu Hong in the face. When he thought of this, he Xian's whole person was not good, and he hurriedly shouted. This general is here, no one can stop it. Military order? The military order can ignore your majesty, He Xian, you are so brave. Ye Chen smiled coldly, and then shouted. I never said that. 
He Xian tremblingly pointed at Ye Chen, and roared angrily. Ye Chen smiled coldly, waved his right hand, and then shouted. Take down all the anti-thieves. If you resist, you will kill you without mercy. Ye Chen would naturally not kill He Xian when the Han Empire hadn't collapsed. This was not advisable. However, there is no problem with catching, and as soon as He Xian is caught, He Xian's trivial tricks are all beaten up. In the end, He Xian would definitely have to be dealt with. As for how to deal with it, that was Lu Hong's business, Ye Chen didn't care, and it had nothing to do with Ye Chen. Of course, what Ye Chen likes to see more is that He Xian resists. If He Xian dared to resist, it would be even better. There were so many eunuchs watching, and there was a reason to kill him. At that time Zhang Li would definitely come out to help, Lu Hungna also said in the past, because Ye Chen's reasons were fair. Blame He Xian for being so stupid and arrogant that he even dared to beat the who gave Lu Hong a message. If Ye Chen really killed He Xian, he would have completely offended He Jin and the Queen. For Ye Chen, this was not in his eyes at all. Ye Chen gave an order. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion drew out a shining long and spear one by one, and then shouted in unison. Kill! 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 The terrifying cry of killing sounded instantly. The extremely tyrannical killing intent also rose up at this moment and directed towards the generals He Xian brought. The 500 generals He Xian brought with him changed their expressions and shuddered one by one. That killing intent was too terrifying, tyrannical, ruthless, and hit their souls directly. They unanimously thought of one thing, that is, if they dare to make the slightest move, there will only be one end, death. No matter it is He Xian or He Jin, no one can save them. At this moment, the soldiers of the Samsara Legion rushed towards He Xian and He Xian's generals. He Xian saw that the soldiers of the Samsara Legion really wanted to arrest him, he was furious, and then sternly shouted, Ye Chen! You dare! Ye Chen smiled coldly, his violent aura instantly locked He Xian. He Xian's pupils shrank abruptly, and at this moment a clang sound came. Then he saw a middle-aged man carrying a long sword, and instantly came to He Xian's side, and then took He Xian to the distance. What a guts! Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply, and then shouted angrily. At this time, Tian Maziajin instantly brought out ten afterimages, and chased after the middle-aged man. The middle-aged man held He Xian, but he was very fast. After a few breaths, Ye Chen caught up with the middle-aged man who took He Xian away. Without even thinking about it, with a move with his right hand, the gunkiller appeared instantly, and then stabbed in the past. A simple, rude shot, and it came in a flash. The middle-aged man's expression was still very indifferent, he suddenly changed wildly, he hurriedly threw out He Xian, jumped, and quickly dodged. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyes suddenly narrowed, then stopped Tian Maziajin and looked at the middle-aged man. Being able to break free from the lock of the killing spear is definitely one of the top ranks in the Three Kingdoms. And this is exactly why Ye Chen was strange and didn't continue to attack. This person is definitely a super historical figure. Special, when did He Jin have such awesome men? Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at the middle-aged man. At this moment, the middle-aged man bowed his face calmly and said, Liao Duong King Yu, meet General Ping Bei. Wang Yu, the number one sword master in the Three Kingdoms. So it was him. Thinking of this, Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply, and then shouted, Wang Yu, you are so brave, how dare you take the counter thief? Wang Yu frowned when he heard this, and he was interrupted by He Xian when he was about to speak. He Xian, who was thrown out by Wang Yu, got up and shouted at Ye Chen in anger. Ye Chen! How dare you deceive me like this? My father and aunt will never spare you. He Xian has ever suffered such a big loss, this is how He Xian cannot be angry. He Xian, you beat the angel, and the sin is unforgivable. How to deal with it, your majesty decides. If you know you, you will be obediently arrested, otherwise, you, 
a dead end. Ye Chen smiled coldly and then shouted. You are despicable. Shameless. I will enter the palace now and sue you. He Xian became even more angry when he heard this, and then roared with a ferocious face. Ye Chen smiled coldly, and then shouted, You can try, I dare not kill you. He Xian, who was just about to leave here, suddenly stiffened, and hurriedly stopped. He was afraid that Ye Chen would really kill him, and he felt the ruthlessness in Ye Chen's words. After a while, He Xian looked at Wang Yu frantically and shouted. Wang Yu, don't you want to be an official? Kill Ye Chen and kill him for me. I will keep you safe and let you be a high official. When Wang Yu heard this, his face suddenly changed. Because He Xian's words sound harsh, he wants to be an official, but when He Xian shouts out this way, his face is very embarrassing. Wang Yu glanced at He Xian, then at Ye Chen, clasped his fists and said. General Ping Bei, General He Xian is just stubborn for a while, please also General Ping Bei Hai Han. He Xian on one side, his face suddenly sinking when he heard this. However, he held back, did not speak, just gave Wang Yu bitterly. Ye Chen glanced at He Xian, then looked at Wang Yu, and asked. Wang Yu, the wrong person is chosen, isn't it uncomfortable? When Wang Yu heard this, his face suddenly changed. Ye Chen suddenly smiled when he saw this, and then said. At the moment, there is not a sword master in Samsara city, Wang Yu, do you understand what I mean? Ye Chen. You are despicable. Shameless. How dare you openly dig the corner of my He family? Wang Yu. Get started. Kill this chaos. Kill him, my aunt and my father will definitely recommend you as a second rank military officer. He Xian's horrified roar came instantly. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, and he glanced at He Xian with disdain, then looked at Wang Yu, and said again. You have heard of the name of Tong Yuan, and soon, he will also serve in the city of reincarnation. When Wang Yu heard this, he was taken aback. Obviously, Wang Yu had heard Tong Yuan's name. After a few breaths, Wang Yu bowed and said, General Ye, General He Xian, did not intend to collide, and I asked General Ye to expose this. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes when he heard this, and his violent killing intent rose instantly. At this moment, Ye Chen had completely dispelled his desire to subdue Wang Yu. For Ye Chen, Wang Yu wanted to be an official, it was nothing, human nature. Wang Yu didn't choose Ye Chen, and Ye Chen didn't care. He was just a superb historical figure, not a military commander. If he were a military commander, Ye Chen might have to spend a little more time. At this moment, Wang Yu insisted on preventing Ye Chen from taking He Xian in order to become an official. How could Ye Chen continue to be patient? Feeling the tyrannical and merciless killing intent from Ye Chen, Wang Yu's expression changed again and again. He had never met anyone with such a terrifying killing intent, and now, he has met. A feeling of extreme danger appeared in Wang Yu's heart instantly. In the next second, Wang Yu's eyes opened sharply, and the long sword in his right hand immediately shook. A sharp sword intent burst out instantly, and then he hardened Ye Chen's momentum. Wang asked General Ye to expose this matter. In this way, the general and any queen would be grateful to General Ye. Wang Yu looked at Ye Chen and said in a deep voice. You really treat yourself as a person. For Ye, the ones who block Ye are all enemies. For the enemy, there is only one word. Ye Chen said, his eyes opened sharply, and then he shouted. Kill. Hey Lulu. A thunderous neigh sounded from Tian Maziajin's mouth, and then he saw Tian Maziajin, instantly bringing out ten afterimages and rushing towards Wang Yu. Wang Yu looked at Ye Chen who rushed over, and Tian Maziajin who was carrying Ye Chen, his expression changed again and again. The aura on Ye Chen's body, 
at the moment Tian Maziagen rushed over, rose again, and again, reaching an extremely terrifying level in the blink of an eye. Domineering, arrogant, unmatched, is the feeling Ye Chen brings to Wang Yu. Ye Chen's aura was so brutal that he was transformed. How come? Wang Yu shouted in surprise. He considers himself the world's number one swordsman, even if he encounters a fierce general on the battlefield, he is not shocked. But now, he actually gave birth to the feeling of ants in front of Ye Chen. This feeling made Wang Yu tremble. Suffer to death! Ye Chen yelled loudly, and shot the sharp spear with his right hand in an instant. As soon as Wang Yu wanted to avoid the idea, he was abruptly stopped. Lao Tzu is the number one swordsman in the world. Wang Yu opened his eyes sharply, and then pierced out with a sword. Dang came. The killing spear instantly hit Wang Yu's long sword. Wang Yu's face changed wildly in an instant. Originally, what he thought was to remove the power of killing spear, and then stab the golden pegasus with a sword. In this way, it can be guaranteed that He Xian can be taken away without being charged with attacking the imperial court commander. However, Wang Yu discovered with horror that the power contained in the stabbed spear was endless. Wang Yu hurriedly dropped the long sword and jumped. However, Wang Yu who was in the air, his eyes shrank sharply. The sharp spear that stabbed at him changed direction as soon as he jumped up. How can it be so fast? Wang Yu shouted in horror. Puff came. The killing spear pierced Wang Yu's body without hindrance, and then pierced Wang Yu through. There was a bang. Under his gaze, Wang Yu's body burst into countless pieces in an instant. The golden pegasus changed its direction directly, avoiding the sky of fragments of limbs and blood from internal organs. At this moment, the system prompt sounded immediately. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for killing the super-class historical figure, Wang Yu, because of his special status, I will be rewarded with X20 innate attribute points. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he heard the system prompt. In the same camp, there is no merit or prestige after the beheading. I just gave 20 innate attribute points which is not bad. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the world announcement sounded. Ding! Congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for killing the super-class historical figure, Wang Yu, because of his special status, extra bonus innate attribute points x20. After three consecutive world announcements, the world channel was in an uproar. Fuck. Did you make a mistake and kill super-class historical figures? Is Ye Chen crazy? Damn. It seems that Wang Yu was the first swordsman in the Three Kingdoms period, so he killed Ye Chen. The boss of Ye Chen is awesome. If you see it, the super-class historical figures will kill them if they say they are. Kneel to beg Ye Chen to look down on historical figures, no matter what level, as long as Ye Chen is willing to sell, the price will be raised. Plus 1. Plus 10,086. Nima. It's 10,086, the mobile phone can't be used anymore. Buy at high prices, historical figures, third rate, second rate, first class, super class, as long as there is stock, the price is free. Ye Chen glanced at the world channel, and then stopped paying attention. As for selling historical figures, Ye Chen didn't even think about it. Not to mention that it can't be sold at all. Even if it can be sold, Ye Chen will not sell historical figures. If you sell historical figures, you get nothing more than money. How can there be rewards such as innate attribute points? Yeah, General Yeah, I, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. A scream of horror suddenly came. He Zion Zen's eyes widened and he looked at Ye Chen with horror. He was shocked by Ye Chen's shot. He Xian knew what Wang Yu's strength was, and his swordsmanship was superb. But this is Wang Yu. In front of Ye Chen, he didn't go through a single move, and instantly killed him, and his body was torn apart. The more he thought about this, the more scared He Xian became, and the more he regretted. Afraid of being slaughtered by Ye Chen, 
I regret coming here to trouble Ye Chen. It's a pity that there is no regret medicine in the world. He came and found Ye Chen's trouble. He Xian naturally didn't want to die. How could he dare to pretend to be forceful in front of Ye Chen? At this moment, He Xian only thought about one thing. Honestly, I was arrested by Ye Chen to see Lu Hong. Only that way, he can survive. If he dares to continue to pretend, he will definitely end badly. Ye Chen glanced at He Xian, curled his lips in disdain, and then drove his horse towards the place where Wang Yu died. When he came to the front, Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned, but Wang Yu only broke out a blueprint. Wang Yu is a swordsman, not a military commander, and has no military commander's soul. It is understandable, but how could a blueprint come out? After Ye Chen thought about it in doubt, he took a photo with his right hand and took a picture of the drawing. He Xian, who was standing on the side, suddenly changed his face when he saw the drawing in Ye Chen's hand. Ye Chen opened it directly at this moment, and then frowned. The drawing was not the architectural drawing in Ye Chen's imagination, nor was it the forging drawing of the weapon armor, nor was it a secret recipe. This is, a map. Where is the map? Why is there no system prompt? After Ye Chen thought about it in surprise, He Xian's voice suddenly came over. General Ye, this is the map of my He family's ancestral mausoleum. No wonder I couldn't find it before, but the king became bolder and stole it, and asked General Ye to hand him over. My father must thank General Ye again. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen squinted his eyes when he heard this, and then slid his horse to He Xian's side, and pointed the gunkiller towards He Xian, and the extremely tyrannical murderous aura instantly rushed to He Xian. He Xian, who was still strong in his composure, suddenly shrank his pupils, his face suddenly turned pale with a swish, and then screamed. That is the map of the secret realm of the underground palace. Where did He Xian endure Ye Chen's violent murderous aura, he collapsed as soon as he touched it, and where he dared to continue hiding. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, and then suddenly realized. It turned out that Wang Yu was the publisher of the secret realm map of the underground palace. After completing his task, he could get the secret realm map of the underground palace. It's just that I didn't take Wang Yu's mission and killed him directly, so the map that came out was in a sealed state. The secret realm map of the underground palace is hidden deep enough to be in Wang Yu's place. No one has ever obtained this in the previous life. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the system prompt sounded instantly. Ding, the special activation conditions are fulfilled. Congratulations to the player Ye Chen for obtaining the map of the secret realm of the underground palace. At this moment, the secret realm map of the underground palace in Ye Chen's hand suddenly flashed, and then completely changed. The original mountains, rivers and trees were gone, and they became a floor plan of the underground palace, with various buildings, roads and traps marked on them one by one. After hearing the system's prompt, Ye Chen glanced at the map of the underground palace secret realm, and raised his eyebrows involuntarily. The secret realm of the underground palace was one of Ye Chen's goals. There were Juding Zhenkuo and Ye Chen had to get it no matter what. But now that the map of the secret realm of the underground palace came out, the difficulty of the secret realm of the underground palace for Ye Chen naturally reduced a lot. After all, in addition to the pre-Chin terracotta warriors and generals, there are a huge number of traps in the secret realm of the underground palace. With a map, you can completely avoid those traps. He Xian didn't tell the origin of the map, I am afraid this map will remain in a sealed state. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and then looked at He Xian who was terrified. He grabbed He Xian's collar and moved towards the teleportation formation. After arriving at the teleportation formation, he Xian's home would be captured by the Samsara Legion without exception. The little eunuchs who were too scared to move, punched and kicked at He Xian's generals one by one, yelling. San Desi, who was knocked unconscious by He Xian, 
was awakened by the little eunuchs. He was the one who beaten the most fiercely, like a madman. Flowering, twitching all over, howling miserably. Because Sandeza used real power against He Jin's crotch, it was fierce and fierce. Seeing Ye Chen holding He Xian back, Sandeza suddenly stopped, and then burst into tears, bowing in incomparable respect for Ye Chen's wrongfulness. General Ye, thanks to you, if you don't come, the miscellaneous family will be killed by this beast. When Ye Chen heard this, he smiled slightly, and then said, He Xian openly beat the angel, it is no different from rebellion. Since the father-in-law is the suffering master, you might as well take it with the father-in-law and give it to your majesty. When the young Sandeza heard this, his eyes flashed sharply, and then screamed, General Ye is right. Only your majesty can convict such anti-thief, and the miscellaneous family will arrest him to see your majesty. No. General Ye. Don't hand me over to the dead eunuch, he is wrong, he is wrong. He Xian's face changed a lot when he heard this, and he hurriedly shouted. Ye Chen ignored He Xian, and fell to the ground with a bang, He Xian was instantly thrown to the ground. For the miscellaneous family, catch He Xian. Seeing this, San Desi opened his eyes sharply, and then screamed. A group of little eunuchs swarmed up, taking off their robes, and directly tied He Xian to a firm. San Desi glanced bitterly at He Xian, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed in prayer with a smile on his face. General Ye, the Zajia is really not suitable for taking General Ye to the palace at this moment, so Xiao Shunzi will lead the way, and I ask General Ye not to hate the Zajia. It's okay, it's okay, let the father-in-law have something to do. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily when he heard this, and then said. San Deza was beaten by He Xian with a bruised nose and swollen face. In fact, he was more suitable to see Lu Hong. This would allow Lu Hong to see how courageous He Xian was, but San Deza would not go. He obviously wanted to see Zhang Li first. After Zhang Li knew about this, it would be strange if Zhang Li didn't take the opportunity to attack He Jin. After hearing Ye Chen's words, San Deza was taken aback for a moment, then smiled knowingly and bowed again and said, Thank you, General Ye for your understanding. After San Deza finished speaking, he looked at the little he called Xiao Shunzi, and screamed, Lead the way to General Ye, if you dare not do your best, Zajia will turn around and take your skin off. The slave maid did not dare, the slave did not dare. Xiao Shunzi hurriedly bowed in prayer, and ran to a war horse after speaking, and turned on the horse. At this moment, Ye Chen looked at the Samsara Legion and shouted, Withdraw ten miles west, camp and wait, and forbid anyone to approach. Those who don't listen to dissuasion, kill. Those who dare to attack, kill. Yes. Lord. The Samsara Legion replied in unison, and then went westward. General Ye, the maidservant will show you the way. Xiao Shunzi said flatly, looking at Ye Chen at this time. Ye Chen nodded, and then followed Xiao Shunzi towards Luoyang City. At the gate of Luoyang City, when Ye Chen arrived, he was recognized by sharp-eyed players. Fuck. Ye. Ye Chen. That's Ye Chen. Damn. Ye Chen really, why is he coming to Luoyang again? Have you forgotten? Ye Chen put down the Yuzhu Rebellion, and even pacified Wuhuan. This time he came to Luoyang to receive the reward. This Nima has the third rank, and it's still promoted. Envy no, no jealous, there is nothing special, Ye Chen is too awesome. The discussion of the players was quickly heard by a native and then he looked at a player in surprise and asked. Dare to ask Xian Tai, what Ye Chen you are talking about, but General Ping Bei of the Han Empire, Ye Chen. It's not him or who? The player being questioned asked angrily. After speaking, he was taken aback, then hurriedly looked at the indigenous and said. What's your name? No matter what your name is, take refuge in me. I'm the mayor of Xiaoao town and my strength is the leverage. When the players heard this, they hold up, 
rushing to send out invitations one by one. Take refuge in me. Take refuge in me. As long as you take refuge in me, there are wine, meat and beauty. Don't listen to them, take refuge in me, come to me, and I will give you a deputy mayor directly. Obviously, these players regard this native as a historical figure. It's a pity that the natives didn't pay attention to these people at all, pushed the players straight away, ran to the side of Ye Chen who turned over and dismounted, bowed and said. Gao Shun pays homage to General Ping Bei. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen naturally saw the natives when the players surrounded the natives. It's just that the aboriginal dressing is nothing extraordinary. He is a very ordinary poor boy, and Ye Chen doesn't know him. He thought it was just an ordinary citizen, so he didn't pay much attention. However, as soon as the native's words fell, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened, then looked at Jace Hun, and asked, Are you Jace Hun? Gao Shun was taken aback for a moment, but he didn't expect Ye Chen to seem to have heard his name, but Ye Chen was asking, Gao Shun didn't dare to delay, and hurriedly bowed in response. General Qi, it is Gao Shun underneath. Very well, take my punch and try your skills. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then said. When Gao Shun heard this, he was taken aback again, and then his eyes opened sharply before he bowed in surprise and responded, Yes. General. Gao Shun is naturally not stupid, how could he not hear what Ye Chen said, this is to test him. As long as he passes the test, he will be recognized by Ye Chen and then accepted as a subordinate. And this is also his fundamental purpose for meeting Ye Chen. Fuck. Jace Hun. It's Jace Hun. A player stunned his eyes when he heard the natives declare their home, and then roared aloud. Damn. Gao Shun follow me. Follow me. I'll give you gold and thousands of beautiful women. A player gasped coldly, and then hurriedly shouted. Follow me. Follow me. Gao Shun, as long as you follow me, I will give you what you want. Gao Shun, you will be the deputy mayor of Jifeng Town. All the soldiers will be brought to you. As long as you are willing to follow me. You want money and money, and you want people. The players yelled frantically, rushing towards Gao Shun while yelling. Ye Chen glanced at Xiao Shunzi, but before he said anything, Xiao Shunzi screamed at the guard at the gate of the city cleverly. Blind? I didn't see any rioters rushing into General Ping Bei. Don't hurry up. As soon as Xiao Shunzi's words landed, the guards at the gate of the city were all stunned, and then picked up the weapons in unison, and stepped forward to drive the players away. If they didn't obey orders, they stabbed them with one shot. Ye Chen looked at the gate of the city that was emptied in an instant, smiled slightly, then looked at Gao Shun, and shouted, Fist! After Ye Chen finished speaking, he threw a punch, and instantly attacked Gao Shun. Gao Shun's original calm face suddenly changed after seeing Ye Chen's simple and rough punch, and he hurriedly defended with all his strength. There was a loud bang. Ye Chen's fist hit Gao Shun's arm directly. Ping ping ping. After several sounds, Gao Shun took a dozen steps back. Oh, General Ye is so amazing. The little eunuch, Xiao Shun's praise sounded instantly. Ye Chen smiled slightly, then looked at Gao Shun, who was shocked and sad, and said, You are very good, the general of Samsara City is waiting for you, are you willing? Gao Shun who was upset for failing the test, was taken aback when he heard this, and then looked at Ye Chen. He wanted to confirm whether Ye Chen had lied or whether he was teasing him. However, what Gao Shun Kong Ye Chen's face and eyes saw was all appreciation and sincerity. After Gao Shun confirmed that what Ye Chen said was the truth, he was immediately moved, but soon, shame and guilt came up, and then he bowed and worshipped. General General Shun Lian couldn't take a single move, this. Don't be conceited, my 50% strength is enough to prove your strength if I can't hurt you. 
Ye Chen couldn't help but smile when he heard this, and then said. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he grabbed the void, and the stainless steel longsword on the waist of the city gate guard captain flew into Ye Chen's hand in an instant, and then flicked his finger. Dang came. The tip of the stainless steel longsword broke instantly, and then flew towards the city wall with a whir. After a puff, he plunged into the city wall completely. Gao Shun was stunned when he saw this. This move of Ye Chen undoubtedly told Gao Shun one thing, Ye Chen's force was very powerful, to a terrifying degree. After regaining consciousness, Gao Shun bowed and said, Gao Shun, worship the Lord. Ding, a first-class historical military commander, Gao Shun wants to recognize you as the master, do you accept it? Nonsense, definitely accept it. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, for gaining the allegiance of Gao Shun, a first-class historical general. Hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen laughed, then quickly stepped forward, lifted Gao Shun up, and then said. Gao Shun, from now on, you will be the general of the reincarnation city, commanding 100,000 troops, do you have confidence? Master. Gao Shun was taken aback when he heard this, and then cried out in shock. Don't be conceited, let alone with talent, you can sit firmly, don't you think you don't have this talent? Ye Chen glared at Gao Shun, and then shouted. When Gao Shun heard this, warm currents in his heart appeared one after another, and his body began to tremble slightly because of the touch. If it weren't for Gao Shun's forced control, she would definitely cry because of being moved. Working hard to stabilize the beating heart, Gao Shun knelt on one knee with a bang, and then shouted. Shun, have confidence. Shun is here to swear to the sky, Shun, swear to follow the Lord to the death, and will never betray, if you violate this oath, the heaven will die. Gao Shun didn't expect Ye Chen to value him so much and trust him. Originally, Gao Shun thought that Ye Chen started to talk about the position of generals as generals or generals. Even this is enough to make Gao Shun grateful inexplicably. After all, he had just been following him and he was given a general position. Although it was the lowest class, it was also a general. It was enough to show that he valued him. Whoever thinks, Ye Chen gave Gao Shun not a partial general or a Pai general, but the commander-in-chief of 100,000 recruits. If it were placed elsewhere, it would be impossible, but Ye Chen really appeared here. Only with 100% trust and 100% value can this happen. Gao Shun is not stupid, and naturally understands this truth. It was precisely because he understood that Gao Shun was so excited and moved, and then swears in the street to follow Ye Chen to the death. Ding! Jace Hun loyalty plus 10. Ding, Gao Shun's loyalty reached 100, and he is a diehard loyal. Hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen laughed, then lifted up the grateful Gao Shun, and said solemnly. Gao Shun, send it to Reincarnation City now, find a military strategist to worship Guo Feng Xiao, and officially start commanding 100,000 new recruits. Remember, step up training and don't slack off. Just find Mizu when you need it, whether for food or equipment, anything. Hearing this, Gao Shun nodded heavily, then bowed and said, Yes. Lord. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, just about to speak, when he suddenly saw Gao Shun's clothes, and then realized that Gao Shun's family situation is not very good at the moment. Thinking of this, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, ten purple gold coins appeared in his hand instantly and then handed the purple gold coins to Gao Shun. Master, this. Gao Shun was taken aback, and said hurriedly. Take it, take your family to Reincarnation City and arrange them so that you can train with peace of mind. This is a military order. Ye Chen glared at Gao Shun, and then shouted. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Yes. Lord. Gao Shun tried his best to stabilize his excitement, and then bowed heavily in prayer. After speaking, 
he took the ten purple gold coins given by Ye Chen directly to the teleportation formation. Gao Shun, First Class Historical Military Commander Features, Trapped Qualification, SSS Level Loyalty, Dai Loyal Force, 95 Root, 93 Spirit, 100 Fu Yuan, Hidden Gongfa, King Kong Ju Holy Level Skills, 5 Tiger Soul Breaker Equipment, None Ye Chen looked at Gao Shun who was leaving, and the corner of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. The reputation is big, it is really good, no, Gao Shun automatically came to vote. The surname Ye has fallen into the camp. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the world announcement sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for winning the second class historical military commander, Gao Shun's allegiance. Because of his special status, the player will be rewarded Ye Chen reputation plus 10 million, gold 10 million. It's him, he really took Gao Shun. Reckoning. Nima, Lao Tzu's Gao Shun, is by my side, but Ye Chen robbed him, this one who killed a thousand swords. Fuck, where are you? Ye Chen ran to you. Luo Yang, Ye Chen ran to Luo Yang again so he took Jace Hun before he even entered the city. Damn. Boss Ye Chen is awesome. I just killed Wang Yu before and took Gao Shun back. Hey, it looks like I discovered some big secret. Those nights, Boss Ye Chen looked down on. Nonsense, the mainstream in this world is the confrontation between the two armies. Finding a knight is a good idea. No matter how awesome, is there an invincible army? I bet a dime, if Gao Shun doesn't follow Boss Ye Chen, Boss Ye Chen will definitely kill him. Nima, everything that doesn't show up has been followed in such a way, so what if it is nonsense? In other words, when Ye Chen went to Luo Yang, in addition to receiving the counterinsurgency reward, did he look for Tang Zhou for the Golden Turban Rebellion? Damn. It's really possible, but Tang Zhou is not so easy to find, right? Many people started to act, but they just didn't find him. You forgot. Ye Chen knows the secret of the game. No one can find it. It doesn't mean that Ye Chen can't find it. Don't be nonsense, what's the use of finding Tang Zhou and handing him over to the Emperor? Ye Chen will take the credit for the report. The World Channel is raging, constantly refreshing its screen. When Ye Chen saw the discussion about Tang Zhou, his eyes suddenly narrowed. Just like the previous life, some people want to start the Golden Turban chaos in advance. Tang Zhou was a disciple of Zhang Jiao in history. After coming to Luoyang, he informed the Han Empire, which caused the Golden Turban Rebellion to erupt in advance. As long as you seize Tang Zhou and get Tang Zhou's secret letter, you can exchange for meritorious service and obtain an official position. The official rank is very low not even the rank, but there is no doubt that this is a way for players to take shortcuts. With the official position, the status and status will change accordingly, and it will be easier to recruit historical figures. Ye Chen naturally knew the benefits of finding Tang Zhou, but that point was just as the player said, so I really didn't like it. What's more, Ye Chen has just come to Luoyang and he hasn't received the reward yet. If the Golden Turban Rebellion breaks out, isn't it because the basket is empty? I didn't say anything, I had to run to calm the chaos, this was not what Ye Chen wanted to see. As far as Ye Chen was concerned, Ye Chen only planned to participate in the Golden Turban Rebellion as a side force, instead of becoming a subordinate of a certain current general. Although the rank of General Ping Bei was not low, when the Golden Turban Rebellion broke out, he would definitely be restrained such as Liu Zhi. Ye Chen was planning to smash the Golden Scarf and the monster race that was about to appear soon. He was restrained and smashed his fart. Not to mention, Ye Chen still wanted to search for more talents before the Golden Turban Rebellion. Therefore, Ye Chen would never make Tang Zhou's idea. I don't know if it will be even earlier this time, or no one has found Tang Zhou like the previous life. 
As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, Xiao Shun's flattering voice came over. General Ye, let's go quickly. The early morning is about to start. Don't let your majesty wait long. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, then nodded, and followed Xiao Shunzi towards the palace. On Ye Chen's way to the palace, the young San Desi returned to the palace directly through the teleportation formation, and then hurriedly found Zhang Li and told Zhang Li about He Xian. The palace, somewhere in the main hall. After listening to San Desi's narration, Zhang Li's face instantly became gloomy, and then she screamed. He Xian is such a daring dog. Even people from the family dare to beat them. Chong waiter, you have to be the master for the slaves and maids, then He Xian has no control over the slaves and maids. Usually, if it weren't for General Ye, the slaves and maids, the slaves and maids would be killed by him. At this moment, Deza bowed sadly and said. Relax, this time not only He Xian can't run away, but he also has to lose the skin. Zhang Lian said ruthlessly, stood up suddenly, and then shouted. Go, and send more people. He Xian must not be allowed to escape. Yes. Master Chong Waiter. Hearing this, San Deza hurriedly bowed in prayer. The palace, outside the palace gate. After Xiao Shunzi came here with Ye Chen, he hurriedly bowed and said, General Ye, you are affected. Please wait here for a while. When your majesty summons you, the slave and maid will take you into the palace. The little eunuch, Xiao Shunzi, obviously regarded Ye Chen as his own person. Not only was he flattering, but he was also respectful and outrageous. Ye Chen glanced at Xiao Shunzi, then nodded, and said with a smile, OK, there's a father-in-law. Oh, General Ye, you are a slave servant. You can do things for General Ye, but what is the blessing of the servant? Xiao Shunzi hurriedly bowed when he heard this. When Ye Chen heard this, he couldn't help but smile, as he was about to speak, Man Chao Wen Wu walked over, and it was He Jin who took the lead. The moment he saw He Jin, Xiao Shunzi shivered involuntarily, and hurriedly looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said, General Ye, the maid servant has returned to the palace for life first. Ye Chen nodded, and then said, OK. Xiao Shunzi hurriedly bowed, and then hurriedly entered the palace. At this time, He Jin took a few steps, the first one came to Ye Chen, took a look at Ye Chen, and then hummed coldly. Collusion with thee is disgusting. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyes suddenly narrowed, and he yelled without hesitation, to be pampered by the crowd, shameless villain. Just now, Ye Chen talked to Xiao Shunzi, with a gentle face and no expression of disgust. He Jin suddenly said, What is the purpose? How could Ye Chen not know? He Jin wanted to locate Ye Chen in the same position as the eunuch. If he didn't fight back or panicked, Ye Chen couldn't clean it even if he jumped into the Yellow River. Therefore, Ye Chen counterattacked without hesitation, and he didn't leave any affection to He Jin. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen. You are so brave. He Jin was furious when he heard this, and then pointed to Ye Chen and shouted loudly. Ye is not brave enough, Yu's Hu Rebellion knows it. Wuhuan Alien knows it too. Ye Chen smiled coldly, and then shouted. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the Manchurian civil and military who came by were taken aback. He Jin's expression suddenly changed when he heard this, and then shouted angrily. She will want to change the subject, Ye Chen, let me ask you why you are humiliated to me. Is there no respect and inferiority in your eyes? Honor and inferiority? Shameless villain deserves to talk about inferiority and inferiority. Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain, and then shouted. General. Please respect yourself. L Yu Zhi came to Ye Chen's side, gave He Jin a cold look, and then shouted. L Yu Zhi. He Jin suddenly changed his face when he saw L Yu Zhi dare to come over and say to him, 
and then shouted angrily. General! Don't get angry, there must be some misunderstanding in this. Another military officer spoke to each other, but the words were much gentler. Shit misunderstanding. Didn't you see that this thief was talking and laughing with the eunuch? Who dares to say that he didn't collude with the eunuch? He Jin was furious when he heard this, and then he shouted. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and then shouted. He Jin Lao. If you feel that your majesty punished you last time, you don't agree, even if you say it clearly, don't be clever, such despicable behavior is disgusting. Yellow-mouthed kid. The old man killed you. He Jin heard this, his anger surged into his heart, and then roared. Lao He Jin, you treat yet as afraid that you won't succeed. Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened, and then he shouted angrily. The extremely tyrannical murderous aura, with Ye Chen's explosive drink, instantly rose up, and then rushed straight into He Jin. The tyrannical, domineering, and unmatched aura also broke out at this moment. Just as He Jin was about to scold Ye Chen back, he opened his mouth wide in shock by Ye Chen's extremely brutal murderous aura, and then sat on the ground with a puff. At this moment of Manchu civil and martial arts, without exception, their eyes widened, and they looked at Ye Chen with the look of a monster. Ye Chen's aura was too terrifying. Tyranny, domineering, and unmatched are what the Manchu civil and military thoughts at this moment. The feelings of the Chinese officials are the deepest, because they have no force. In fact, if Ye Chen hadn't locked his murderous aura, he had only locked He Jin and hadn't released it elsewhere. None of the civil and military ministers standing here could still stand in place. Ye Chen is not stupid, how could he casually put on murderous aura, that would offend all the ministers of cultural relics here? If you offend everyone, wouldn't it be troublesome to see Lu Hong this time? Okay. It's worthy of an hour to flatten you beeping city, and destroy Wuhuan's great Han Empire Ping Bei general in one day. L. Yu Zhi recovered at this time, applauded, and then laughed loudly. General Ping Bei's bravery, dominates the world, it is no wonder that he can achieve such a feat. This is the joy of the great man, the joy of your majesty. A general exhaled at this time, and then stroked his beard with a smile on his face. Said. That's natural. General Ping Bei bravely won the three armies. It is the champion Hofushan. I am afraid that it is not as good as General Ping Bei. A civil official glanced at He Jin on the ground, and then said with a smile. One after another, the ministers of the court, you say, I say Ye Chen's bravery, Ye Chen's merit, praise Ye Chen, rare in the sky, unparalleled on the ground. Because they really admire Ye Chen, no one knows better than them the difficulty of quelling the Yuzhu rebellion and smoothing down Wuhuan. At the beginning, Lu Hong gave Ye Chen three months to put down the Yuzhu rebellion. No one thought Ye Chen could do it. But Ye Chen did it. What's so special is that Zhang Chun was slaughtered in one hour. Even more terrifying is that Wuhuan was uprooted in one day. Replaced by any of them, they would think that Ye Chen couldn't do this. And now, Ye Chen's tyrannical aura has even more convinced a large group of people. That kind of aura can only be possessed by a person with extraordinary force. At that moment, many people came up with the idea of Ye Chen not only uses soldiers like a god, but also leads the world with force. Originally, many people didn't agree with He Jin's behavior. Nima and Ye Chen had done a lot of credit, so how could they be a figure that An could win over? This kind of character can be added to the ranks by himself, and he can't stop him. There is no need to take refuge in Zhang Li and his like. He Jin was good, and as soon as they met, he kept slandering Ye Chen. It's all right now, Ye Chen was furious, letting out his momentum, and He Jin sat on the ground in fright. Is this him also a general? The military commander's disdain, the civil servant's disdain, so many people don't shy away from where to enter, and directly praise Ye Chen. In fact, if there are superb historical generals in it, the real situation will be discovered immediately. Ye Chen's murderous aura was only given to He Jin, 
otherwise He Jin would not be scared to sit on the ground. That terrifying murderous, tyrannical, and ruthless, even some third-rate historical generals, or even second-rate historical generals, had to kneel when they encountered them. And He Jin was just a butcher, and relied on his sister, Empress He, to become a general. There is a certain amount of force, but how can he compare with those third-rate and second-rate historical generals? Of course, there are people who praise Ye Chen, but there are also many people who keep their mouths shut. These people either look down on the generals, or He Jin's dog legs. However, at this moment, none of these people opened their mouths to ridicule Ye Chen, because they weren't stupid and didn't want to be scolded. Everybody knows Ye Chen's military exploits. Even if the general Nima doesn't appreciate it, he still finds faults, and it's shameless to spread this special. Ye Chen listened to the compliments of the civil servants and generals, clasped his fists, and then withdrew his murderous aura and momentum. After taking a look at He Jin, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain. Stupid stuff, trouble me, I can't scare you out of stock with a hole in your head. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, He Jin suddenly let out a terrified scream. Ah! Save me! Save me! Yet! Ye Chen wants to kill me! He Jin shouted as he crawled towards the ministers of civil and military affairs, his face pale as a ghost, his eyes completely out of focus. The next second, He Jin rolled his eyes and fainted instantly. He Jin's dog legs look at me and I look at you one by one and their faces are ugly. Nima, this time I am embarrassed. He Jin's dog legs hurriedly stepped forward, helped He Jin up, patted the back, and pinched the people among the people. After a while, He Jin let out a squeak, took a sharp breath, and then opened his eyes. General, if you feel unwell, why don't you go back to your house to rest? Wang Yun sighed at this time, then said with a fist. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. He Jin heard this, the godless eyes gradually gained a little look, and then shuddered abruptly. In the next second, He Jin's face suddenly turned red. Because he saw the weird look in Man Shao Wen Wu's eyes, which he never wanted to remember. Many years ago, at that time, he was still a butcher, and he always acted according to people's faces, living humble and lowly. Sometimes if you don't do well, you will be beaten, insulted, offended, and even worse to be repaired. Whenever this time, someone will show this weird look. Mercy? No, it was mocking, it was gloating. He hates, he hates all those who oppress him and humiliate him, even those who are bystanders, he also hates. Finally, his luck came. His younger sister, Empress He, was taken by Lu Hong, and his brother became a great general of the Han Empire. He cleaned up all the people who oppressed him, humiliated him, and those who were bystanders. Since then, he is unspeakable and unstoppable, under one person and above ten thousand. Today, he saw it in the eyes of Manchu civil and martial arts, the look he had forgotten for countless years. The intense stimulus irritated He Jin one after another, and his anger surged one after another. Ye Chen. A crazy roar came from He Jin's mouth in an instant. He wants to kill, kill Ye Chen, must kill Ye Chen, it was Ye Chen who told him to revisit the humble and humble back then. However, when he looked at Ye Chen again, Ye Chen's cold gaze, like a blade, instantly plunged him into the abyss. He Jin felt the icy chill whether it was his body or soul, he felt as cold as death. Ye Chen's cold eyes stunned his soul. It was a pair of eyes he didn't dare to face. General, why don't you go back to your house and rest first? Liu Zhi saw that he was furious, and he immediately got stuck. Then he didn't dare to see Ye Chen's He Jin, shook his head helplessly, and then said with a fist. After He Jin heard Liu Zhi's words, the fear he had just borne was suppressed again by hatred. He is a magnificent general of the Han Empire. How can he be frightened if one person is less than ten thousand? 
How can you shrink back then? How can you not get revenge? Thinking of this, He Jin gave Liu Ji a bitter look, and then said hoarsely. No need to. After He Jin finished speaking, he raised his leg and walked towards the gate of the Imperial Palace, never looking at Ye Chen again. Because he didn't dare, he was afraid to see Ye Chen's icy eyes like a knife again, and was afraid to be frightened by Ye Chen again and make a fool of himself. Liu Ji frowned involuntarily at this time, and then returned to calm. Manchuman and martial arts saw here, one by one you look at me, I look at you, and then walked into the palace gate. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows as he looked at the leaving Manchu cultural relics. He Jin, this old man is really wicked. If he knows what He Xian has done and whose hands he has, he doesn't know what to think about. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but he stood quietly at the gate of the palace, closing his eyes to rest. Royal Palace, Court Hall Not long after the civil and military men of the Manchu dynasty stood up, Lu Hong came to the main hall with high spirits, and after sitting on the chair, he directly shouted. Go, call me General Ping Bei. He Jin's originally normal face, after Lu Hong's words were finished, suddenly turned pale with a hui. Lu Hong's meaning is obvious. This early morning, basically, it can be said that he drove for Ye Chen. Otherwise, if Lu Hong didn't ask this or that, he would ask Ye Chen to enter the hall. Yes. Your Majesty. Zhang Li glanced at He Jin, then bowed to Lu Hong and said, after finishing speaking, he got up and looked at the entrance of the hall and shouted. Xian, Ye Chen, General Ping Bei of the Han Empire, enter the hall. The little Xiao Shunzi who was on duty at the door bowed immediately, and then hurriedly ran out of the palace. The palace, the gate of the city. There was a creak. The little eunuch, Xiao Shunzi, hurriedly came to Ye Chen's side and bowed in flattery. General Ye, your majesty is summoned, and the slave and maid will bring the general into the palace. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then followed Xiao Shunzi towards the palace. The palace, the main hall. When Ye Chen came here, he looked directly at Lu Hong, then bowed and said. Why can, see your majesty. Long live my emperor, long live, long live. After seeing Ye Chen's youthful appearance again, Lu Hong was taken aback for a moment, and then laughed loudly. Okay. What a general Ping Bei. At a young age, he used his soldiers like a god. He broke Yubaping city in one hour, and even flattened Wuhuan in one day. I, I did not misread you. You are the pillar of my great man. Lu Hong was so happy and kept complimenting Ye Chen. In addition to Ye Chen's amazing achievements in combat, what's more important is that the money that Ye Chen sent to Lu Hong is simply massive. As far as Lu Hong was concerned, none of the courtiers could understand his emperor's heart, and pestered him to ask him for money every day. There is a famine here, disaster relief is needed, the river channel is unstable, and the river needs to be repaired. Either there is an earthquake or road construction, and there is a lot of chaos. The Han Empire was clearly singing and dancing, and the country was stable, but it made up such a bunch of nonsense reasons to bother him. Look at Ye Chen, who is also a minister of the Great Han. Not only does he need no money, but he doesn't even need food or grass. He sent troops to quell the rebellion, and put down the rebellion in such a short time. It even uprooted Wuhuan, and finally paid send him so much money. This is a good courtier. Thank you for your majesty's praise, the minister was able to successfully defeat the rebellion, thanks to your majesty, wise and martial arts, sitting in Luoyang, and shocking all the demons in the world, otherwise, the minister is afraid that he will come home. Ye Chen heard this, hurriedly. Bow in prayer. Ye Chen's words were sincere and his expression was serious and solemn. Listening to Ye Chen's words, Lu Hong couldn't help being taken aback while looking at Ye Chen's appearance. No minister had ever told him about this, and now, there is, still the Ping Bei general Ye Chen who has won the magnificent military exploits, and he said it sincerely and not falsely. 
At this moment, Lu Hong's heart was called comfort, and that called indulgence. Ha ha ha, Ye Chen, tell me quickly, whatever rewards you want, even if you mention it, I will agree to it. Hearing this, Ye Chen hurriedly bowed and said, Your Majesty, it is the duty of a minister to fight against the rebellion. How can the minister dare to take credit? Ye Chen is not stupid. If he really says he wants any rewards, not only will Lu Hong feel uncomfortable, but even this Manchu civil and military will also jump out a bunch, accusing Ye Chen of this and his responsibility. Lu Hong's eyes lit up when he heard this, and then he laughed and said, OK. What a courtier's duty. When Lu Hong said this, Zhang Li looked to one side and said, Procedure. General Ping Bei Ye Chen, who has made great achievements in the war and won the three armies, is the pillar of the country. He is named General Ping Bei, General Huzar, and the champion. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. When Ye Chen heard Lu Hong's words, his eyes suddenly lit up. Originally, Ye Chen thought that Lu Hong would give himself a second-rank official position, but he didn't expect to directly give it to the second-rank Huzar general. The Huzar general is a second grade, second only to the existence of the general. With this official position, Ye Chen didn't have to worry about being restrained in the plot of the Golden Turban Rebellion, he could just lead his troops to fight the rebellion. Coupled with the title of a champion Ho, Ye Chen's reputation is sink and rise. At that time, Ye Chen would go to subdue historical military commanders, historical civil servants, and he would surely get twice the result with half the effort. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, a loud shout came. Your Majesty! No! He Jin walked out with a righteous look, and then bowed to Lu Hong and said. Why not? Lu Hong frowned, and then shouted. For Lu Hong! giving Ye Chen the official position is not at all distressing. Because Ye Chen gave too much money, far beyond the price of General Hussein in Lu Hong's heart. And when Ye Chen spoke, Lu Hong liked to listen very much, and was happy in his heart, but as soon as the reward was finished, He Jin jumped out to object, how could Lu Hong feel comfortable in his heart? Enlighten your majesty, Ye Chen holds the soldiers for self-respect and intends to rebel. The Wiccan implores Your Majesty to quickly decree that Ye Chen will be dismissed from the official position and sent to the Sky Prison. He Jin heard this, then bowed and shouted loudly. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyes suddenly narrowed. He Jin knows that there are 600,000 new recruits in Reincarnation City. At this moment, the number of soldiers in Reincarnation City has seriously exceeded the 300,000 liter limit of General Ping Bei. He Jin said that Ye Chen respected himself, but he was actually using the topic to slander Ye Chen. Of course, Ye Chen was not worried about this, because he could turn the extra soldiers into villagers at any time. When it's needed, just call it back and use it, and this time won't be very long. It's just that this will disrupt Ye Chen's previous plan, and he must return to Samsara City as soon as possible to resolve this matter. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes flashed with a cold light. He Jin, you'd better pray that you die in Zhang Li's hands as in history, otherwise, Lao Tzu will tell you why the flowers are so red. Zhang Li, who was standing next to Lu Hong, knelt on the ground without waiting for Lu Hong to speak, and burst into tears. When Lu Hong saw this, he couldn't help but was taken aback. The idea that he was about to ask Ye Chen was immediately dispelled, and he hurriedly asked. Father, why do you cry suddenly? Lu Hong shouted let father out of excitement. Everyone in the Manchu dynasty frowned, but no one dared to speak. Because this is something they all know, to admonish Lu Hong for this, it is to make them trouble themselves. Your Majesty, you have to be the master for the servants. Zhang Li's tears flowed wildly, and he shouted incomparably wronged. Father, who is so bold? dare to insult you. Lu Hong was taken aback when he saw this, and then shouted angrily. Your Majesty, General He Jin He is going to kill the servants. 
Zhang Li cried louder when he heard this. He Jin's expression suddenly changed when he heard this, and then looked at Zhang Li furiously, and was interrupted by Lu Hong when he was about to speak. How dare you enter? You can't rebel if you want. Lu Hong stared at He Jin angrily, as if he was going to kill He Jin no matter how he looked at it. Your Majesty, the welcomer is loyal and loyal. Why do we want to rebel? Zhang Li is slandering the welcomer. Please don't listen to the nonsense of such treacherous people. He Jin looked at Lu Hong's expression and his face was wow suddenly it turned very red, and then bowed in prayer. He Jin was so angry at this moment, he didn't expect Zhang Li to say that. More importantly, Lu Hong had a special letter. Your Majesty, there must be a reason for the incident, please observe it carefully. Wang Yun walked out at this time and bowed in prayer. Your Majesty, please observe. Yuan Kui also went out at this time, bowing in prayer. Your Majesty, please observe carefully. Manchu Wen Yu then bowed in prayer. Lu Hong's face suddenly sank when he saw this, then he looked at Zhang Li and shouted. Father, let the matter go as it is, as long as the matter is true, I must take He Jin's skin today. When Zhang Li heard this, he suddenly choked and responded, Yes. Your Majesty. After Zhang Li finished speaking, he immediately looked at He Jin with a look of fear and took three steps backwards, then pointed at He Jin and shouted sadly. He Jin dog thief. You hide so deeply, if it weren't for General Ping Bei, how long would you have to hide it? When Ye Chen heard this, he was taken aback for a moment, and then his eyes suddenly opened. Damn it! Zhang Li's special thing is to zoom in. Yes, yes, it's better to go to this idiot to death, he, he sent someone to investigate the city of reincarnation secretly, this shit. Zhang Li, you bastard! What did the old man hide? He Jin was furious when he heard this, and then roared loudly. He Jin! In front of me, you dare to be so presumptuous, you can't make rebellion. Lu Hong stood up suddenly, pointing at He Jin and shouted angrily. Your Majesty, He Jin is really going to rebel. Zhang Li now looked at Lu Hong with rain, and then shouted in horror. Bold eunuch, dare to openly slander the general, don't you want to learn from Zhao Gao, and the chaos is impossible. A civil servant was furious when he heard this, and then pointed to Zhang Li and shouted. Come here. Pull this out for a hundred. Lu Hong's anger was instantly detonated by the civil servant, and he shouted without hesitation. Your Majesty, no. Yuan Kui was shocked and hurriedly bowed in prayer. Your Majesty, no. Wang Yun also bowed in prayer at this time. Pull out. Lu Hong gave Yuan Wei and Wang Yun a fierce look, and then shouted in a loud voice. Soon, the two imperial army rushed into the hall, grabbed the civil official, and pulled out of the hall. Fun Jun. Fancy Jun. The civil minister who was framed out roared angrily. One hundred stick blame, his farts and stocks were absolutely beaten, and he might be beaten to death directly, how could the Wenchen not be angry? Kill him. Ling Chi put to death. Exterminate the Nine Clan. Lu Hong kicked the case before turning over and shouted with fire-breathing eyes. The civil and military officials of the Manchu dynasty kept silent for an instant, and several of them wanted to go out to persuade them, and they were immediately dragged by the people next to them. Nima, the emperor is really angry, and he has a hard top, it is an act of seeking death. The only one who pretended to be forced was about to be executed by Ling Chi and annihilated the nine clans. Being a loyal minister, you can't take your life. This is the mentality of most officials. Lu Hong glanced at the court officials, snorted coldly, then looked at Zhang Li and said. Father, you say, He Jin really rebelled. Zhang Li choked, nodded heavily, and then said. Yes, Your Majesty. He Jin sent He Xian to the teleportation array to intercept General Ping Bei who had come to Luoyang with an order to kill General Ping Bei, because he felt that General Ping Bei was a threat. Safe, he could not rebel successfully. However, 
he Xian met Sandeze who was ordered by His Majesty to meet General Ping Bei's Sandeze. He Xian was afraid that things would be revealed, so he directly killed everyone except Sandeze and Xiao Shunzi. Fortunately, General Ping Bei arrived in time and saved Sandeze and Xiao Shunzi. To survive, Your Majesty. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Lu Hong heard this, he was taken aback, and then asked, What's the matter, such a panic? Zhang Li stumbled and came to Lu Hong, then bowed and said, Your Majesty, He Xian, He Xian committed suicide in fear of crime. Zhang Li's dog thief. Give my son my life. He Jin heard this. His eyes suddenly turned red with swishes, and he opened the two Yulin army soldiers and rushed towards Zhang Li. He Jin. Lu Hong was just stunned at why he died. Now he saw He Jin rushing over like a madman, he was shocked, and then he shouted in surprise. Guardian. Escort. Zhang Li hurriedly stood in front of Lu Hong, shouting sternly. General, no. Manchu civil and military stunned for a moment, and then shouted one by one, and some generals hurried to catch Hejin. At this moment, Ye Chen's figure moved, and instantly came to He Jin's side, grabbed He Jin's neck, and pressed it towards the ground. There was a loud noise of bang. He Jin was pressed to the ground in an instant, his eyes fainted. Come here. Drag He Jin to me. Ling Chi put to death. Lu Hong looked at He Jin on the ground with a grim expression, and then shouted. At this moment, a scream came. Your Majesty! Don't! I saw a beautiful woman wearing a luxurious dress, holding a child's hand, and came to the hall with a sad expression on her face. Why can pays homage to the Queen? Manchu Wen Wu bowed in prayer at this time. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment then followed the Minister of Civil and Military Affairs to see him. The moment Lu Hong saw Empress He, his anger dissipated for a while. After seeing the children beside Empress He, his anger disappeared mostly. Although the anger was still there, it was not as strong as before. Urchin, pay homage to the Emperor Father. The boy stepped forward and bowed to Lu Hong to see him. Bianer, why do you want to intercede? Lu Hong was silent for a moment before asking. The boy was Lu Bian, the young emperor of the Han dynasty soon after. Father, it is impossible for your uncle to rebel. If your uncle rebels, Bianer is the first one to refuse. Lu Bian heard Lu Hong's question, looked at Queen He, and then whispered. Obviously, what Lu Bian said came from Empress He, otherwise he would not have made such a move and he had no confidence in saying it. Your Majesty, the eldest brother is doing his best for Your Majesty. There is no reason to rebel. The concubines are willing to guarantee their lives. Empress He pairs bowed in prayer at this time. When Lu Hong heard this, he sighed for a long time, and then tore the confession in Zhang Li's hand to pieces before speaking. He Xian acted boldly and beat the angels, his sins were unforgivable, thinking that he had committed suicide in fear of sins, and dismissed his official position, except for his knighthood. Although He Jin roared at the court and had no emperor, it was because of his son. Don't go unpunished, order him to think behind closed doors for a month and fine him for ten years. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he heard this. Damn it! He Jin really deserves to be a key figure, he is not so easy to hang up unless he kills him. Fortunately, He Jin died, the historical plot behind this, Dong Daji's chaos, I am afraid that the taste will change. After Ye Chen thought about it, he followed the Manchu civil and martial arts, bowed and said, Your Majesty Sheng Ming. Lu Hong nodded, glanced at Empress He, then looked at Ye Chen, and shouted. Ye Chen, General Ping Bei of the Han Empire, won the three armies with outstanding military exploits, was named the General Huzar, led Yu Hu Mu, and named the Champion Ho. Ye Chen suddenly opened his eyes when he heard this. He Jin this dog day, really good, without him, 
this reward must be the same as before. It's all right now, and suddenly became a general hussar. Also sealed a use whom you. Especially, with this official position, this title, Lao Tzu has officially become a prince. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but glanced at He Jin, then at Lu Hong, extremely excited bowed and said. His Majesty Long Jin, long live my emperor, long live, long live. As soon as Ye Chen finished speaking, the world announcement sounded instantly. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for being promoted to the great general of the Han Empire Huzar, leading Yu Zhu Mu, winning the three armies, and winning the champion. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, detonating the entire world channel in an instant. Wow, Kaka, Ye Chen's mighty and domineering boss is unbeatable. If you see it, I will ask you if you see it. General Huzar, use whom you, this is a big boss. Fuck. 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 Did you make a mistake, Ye Chen is the General Huzar? He is also a use whom you. Doesn't that mean Ye Chen has the qualifications to contend for the world? Nonsense, it's a special Yuzhu animal husbandry. The entire Yuzhu has become Ye Chen's. The military and political power is in Ye Chen's hands. This special is a prince. As long as the Han Empire is over, Ye Chen will be able to contend for the world. Nima, did Ye Chen take Dolly pills? Suddenly became a prince, this Nima. Lao Tzu was in Yuzhu. Hu. I just want to ask, will Ye Chen drive away the players from Yuzhu? Hu, Nima, Ye Chen never accepts the younger brother, this Yuzhu Hu has become Ye Chen's, so why not drive all the players out? Damn. If Ye Chen drives out the players, it's really reasonable and legal. Yuzhu Hu is now Ye Chen's territory. Whoever dares to resist will be arrested immediately and locked up for ten days and a half months or even for a lifetime. Great God Ye Chen, don't drive away the players in Yuzhu. Hu, we finally managed to save some money here. If we are gone, how can we go wrong? Yet, yeah, Boss Ye Chen, don't drive us, as long as Boss Ye Chen doesn't drive us, we will do what you want us to do. Boss Ye Chen shouldn't be so unfeeling, and we won't make trouble. You are worried that those who have a bad use to catch up with the players, it depends on how Ye Chen decides, I just want to know one thing, if Ye Chen succeeds in contending the world, Nima, we still have a way to survive. Damn. If he succeeds, then, Numa, don't we have to bow down when we see Ye Chen? Wouldn't we be a fool if we didn't bow down? Resolutely can't let Ye Chen succeed in hegemony. Lao Tzu kneels to the sky, it is absolutely impossible to kneel to Ye Chen. What about those awesome lords, you guys are so hard to catch up. Don't tell Ye Chen to dominate the world alone. Fool, those awesome lords will definitely fight for supremacy in the world in the end. Nonsense, do you have the heart to fight for hegemony, do you have the strength to fight for hegemony? In front of Ye Chen, everything is scum, or how could there be only one reincarnation city now? Beauty Town Congratulations to General Hyuki Ye Chen for taking the charge of Yuzhu and becoming the overlord of the party. Shengtang Town, congratulations to Mu Yechen of Yuzhu, you are in charge of Yuzhu and become the overlord of the party. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. World Channel is noisy, shocked, envious, worried scared, hostile, congratulations, and constantly screams. Ye Chen took a look, and then stopped paying attention. No matter what other players think, Ye Chen will only do what he wants to do. Those who dare to make trouble for themselves are all enemies, treat them without it, but kill them. Lu Hong looked at Ye Chen who was excited inexplicably, nodded in satisfaction, and then shouted in a deep voice. Ye Chen, Yuzhu Hu will be handed over to you. Give me a good guard of Yuzhu. Hu. I will give you the right to do things cheaply. If you hear a small rebellion, you must get rid of it as soon as possible. You understand. 
The generals who followed He Jin heard this and their expressions suddenly became unnatural. Ye Chen's Hyuki general was not much worse than He Jin's general, not to mention that Ye Chen also led Yu Su Mu, his status was no different from He Jin, and his power was greater. Of course, these are not important. What is important is that Lu Hong actually gave Ye Chen the right to act cheaply. This Nima, if they were considered rebellious by Ye Chen, then they would get some facts, and then have a chop and then play, they would not have time to cry. Why did He Jin become enemies with Ye Chen, and they followed He Jin? When Ye Chen heard this, he was stunned slightly, then he glanced at He Jin, and then he bowed heavy in response, Why can? Follow the decree. How could Ye Chen couldn't hear what Lu Hong meant? Lu Hong was afraid of He Jin and wanted to use Ye Chen to contain He Jin. So Lu Hong told Ye Chen vaguely that as long as He Jin dared to rebel, He Jin would be killed immediately. And this is also the fundamental reason why Ye Chen's award has been promoted again. When Lu Hong saw this, he smiled on his face without a smile for a long time, and then he came to Ye Chen and patted Ye Chen's shoulder heavily, and said. Ye Chen, govern Yu Su well for me, as long as you are loyal to me and loyal to the big man, I will not treat you badly. Wykin will follow your majesty's will, and Wykin swears, no matter who it is, dare to go against your majesty, and disobey your majesty, Wykin will behead his dog. Ye Chen heard this, then bowed and shouted loudly. Ye Chen seemed to be loyal, but in fact, only Lu Hong was mentioned in the words, but he didn't mention the Han Emperor after Lu Hong, let alone the Han Empire. Ye Chen didn't plan to fight for supremacy while Lu Hong was alive. The fight was for sure, but that was after Lu Hong died, and this time has not been long. Okay. I believe you. Lu Hong suddenly opened his eyes when he heard this, and then laughed aloud. If there are players here, they will definitely stare. Nima, what Ye Chen said was sincere, but there were a lot of loopholes in his words and Lu Hong even regarded Ye Chen as a good person. Ye Chen is the first player to play, and now he has become the Yu Su Mu, who's our general, he is honest now, but it will not take a long time before he will show his fangs, and he will not be loyal to the Han Empire at all. Of course, Ye Chen was the only player in the entire court, and no one knew how history developed, and how could he hear the meaning hidden in Ye Chen's words. In the ears of all the ministers of civil and military affairs, only one heard, the Huzar general Ye Chen and Ye Yus who were the loyal ministers of the Han Empire. At this moment, a hurried in and bowed as soon as he entered the door and said, My Majesty, there is a citizen named Shen Wanzhen at the gate of the Imperial City. I beg to see Your Majesty and say that someone is going to rebel. Ye Chen frowned when he heard this. Rebellion. This is the arrest of Tang Zhou. Unexpectedly, the progress of this life would have advanced. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth. It's okay, just ahead of time, it's okay to collect historical figures while playing. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, the Manchu civil and military were in an uproar. Who is so bold and dares to rebel, he must be arrested and executed by Ling Qi. A civil servant shouted with a furious expression. There is no king, watch Shirji, let's kill. A military commander shouted in a deep voice. This kind of rebellion must be killed and smashed. Your Majesty, you should call this Shen Wanzhen over immediately and ask for the details. If it is true, use thunder to wipe out all the anti-thief. Wang Yun looked at Lu Hong, whose face was turning red at this time, and bowed in prayer. When Lu Hong heard this, his anger broke out instantly, then looked at the eunuch, and shouted angrily, tell him to enter the hall. After speaking, he went back to the dragon chair and sat down again, his face was green. Previously, Zhang Li sued He Jin for rebellion, and Lu Hong dispelled the idea of slaughtering He Jin because of Lu Bian and the queen. Of course, this has something to do with He Jin's great military power. Lu Hong was also worried that if He Jin's rebellion was true, he would have mutiny if He Jin was killed. But Nima, just letting him go, someone came to tell Lu Hong that someone was going to rebel, 
how could Lu Hong not be angry? Yes. Your Majesty. Two listening here, hurriedly bowed in response, and then ran to summon Shen Wanzhen. Before long, a middle-aged man wearing a luxurious robe followed the into the hall. Ye Chen glanced at the middle-aged man, then raised his eyebrows. Shen Wanzhen, seems to be the second advanced king-level general. With that said, he is also one of the humans who have obtained the game warehouse. At the beginning of the game, he logged into the game, watched Pangu Kaishan, and obtained the innate technique. It's a pity that there is no his name among the powerful in later generations. Who should kill it? As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, Shen Wanzhen came next to Ye Chen, then looked at Lu Hong, bowed and said. Kamen, Shen Wanzhen, see your majesty, long live my emperor, long live, long live. Say. Who is going to rebel? If you lie, I will punish you of the nine races. Lu Hong looked at Shen Wanzhen with his eyes fiercely, and then shouted in a deep voice. At this moment, Lu Hong is very reluctant to hear about rebellion, which means that someone is trying to grab his throne and that he is incapable of governing the country. His Majesty, it is the Taiping Road Zhang Jiao who is going to rebel. There is Zhang Jiao for his disciple in the grass-minded people. Tang Zhou's secret letter, please read it. Shen Wanzhen frowned involuntarily when he heard this, and then bowed and said. After Shen Wanzhen finished speaking, with a move with his right hand, an unopened secret letter appeared in his hand. Seeing this, Zhang Li hurriedly walked down the steps, came to Shen Wanzhen, took the secret letter, checked it back and forth, and after repeated confirmation that it was non-toxic, took it back to Lu Hong and handed the secret letter to Lu Hong. Lu Hong. After Lu Hong took it, he tore it open, then took out the secret letter and looked at it. Not long after, Lu Hong stood up suddenly and shouted angrily, Zhang Jiao. I want you to have cramps and peel your skin, and Ling Qi will put you to death. Your Majesty, Zhang Jiao has heard of this person, but it is rumored that he is willing to do good and is not an evil person. A civil servant frowned at this time. Come here. Catch this chaotic official and thief, and put him to death. Lu Hong was immediately irritated when he heard this. He pointed at the official who spoke without hesitation, and shouted angrily. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Your Majesty. What is the crime of the ministers? Why do you want to kill the ministers? A loud shout came from the civil minister just now. The voice was full of anger and panic. He didn't expect a word to provoke Lu Hong to kill him. When Lu Hong heard this, he was furious, and then he shouted. You want to know the reason, I will tell you, you and Zhang Jiao are in the same foul. If you speak for him, you are an anti-thief. Why can't you kill it? When the minister heard this, his face suddenly changed, and then he hurriedly shouted. Your Majesty! Zhang Jiao's anti-thief matter has not yet been determined. Waikin does not know the specific situation, but inferred based on rumors, not speaking for Zhang Jiao. Boom boom boom. There were rushing footsteps. After hearing Lu Hong's furious voice, the two Yulin army quickly accelerated their steps and soon came to the hall. You dare to say no, I have already said that Zhang Jiao is an anti-thief, and you dare to speak for him. You say you are not an anti-thief, you are a good deception, right? Lu Hong said angrily, and then pointing to this civil servant, he shouted. Pull out, Ling Chi put to death. Fun Jun. Fuzz Jun. Kui Mao refuses. Dissatisfied. Wen Chen heard this and suddenly jumped up and shouted. Two imperial soldiers hurried forward, grabbed the civil servant, and drove him out of the hall. Punch him. Don't keep one. Lu Hong heard this, and the anger in his eyes surged upwards, and then he shouted. Your Majesty, can the minister take a look at this secret letter? Wang Yun asked when he stepped out and bowed. Show them. Lu Hong heard this, then looked at Zhang Li and shouted. 
Yes. Your Majesty. Zhang Li hurriedly bowed, then went down the steps with the secret letter, and then handed the secret letter to Ye Chen. General Hyuki, this is a secret letter from the Zhang Jiao thief. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, but he didn't expect Zhang Li to give it to Wang Yun, but to himself first. While waiting for the secret letter, Wang Yun's face suddenly sank, looked at Zhang Li, then at Ye Chen, and then frowned. Not only Wang Yun, but also some ministers frowned, especially the generals who followed He Jin, whose faces were distorted into bitter faces. Nima, Wang Yun said he wanted to see it, but Zhang Li actually gave it to Ye Chen first. It would be weird if there were no ghosts in this Nima. If Ye Chen Zhen and Zhang Li were in the group, they would definitely not have a good life in the future. A with power in his hands, a master of Yuzhu with a heavy hand in his hand, your uncle, how can you play with this? Ye Chen glanced at Zhang Li, and then said solemnly, Thank you, Chang Chang. After speaking, he opened the secret letter and looked at it. In fact, Ye Chen knew the contents of the secret letter without reading it. It was Zhang Jiao who ordered Ma Yunyi to rise in Luoyang. Even though he knew that, Ye Chen still had to do something to show everyone. Otherwise, Ye Chen is likely to be thought that he knew the contents of the secret letter early in the morning. In this way, didn't Ye Chen become a golden turban chaotic party? When Zhang Li heard this, he glanced at Ye Chen with an open eyebrow, then turned back to Lu Hong's side. Ye Chen didn't show Zhang Li's face in front of Man Sheo's civil and military faces. Thanks to him, Zhang Li was naturally happy, and this was his goal. He wanted to tell everyone that the newly promoted Huzar general of the Han Empire, Yuzhu Mu Yechen, belonged to Zhang Li and his group. Because no one of the other ministers, even in the court hall, had given Zhang Li a good face, and one by one, they wished to deprive Zhang Li alive. Ye Chen is not. Although his expression is serious, the situation at the moment is not serious. Isn't that uncomfortable? Zhang Jiao wants to rebel, Lu Hongzheng is angry, you are awesome, please take a look. It's strange that Lu Hong didn't kill you. Ye Chen naturally saw Zhang Li's thoughts, but at this moment, Ye Chen had become a party prince, had no previous taboos at all and did not worry about any troubles from the ministers of the central government. If you ask for trouble again, Ye Chen is not afraid, because Ye Chen has become a general Huzar, or Yuzhu Mu, already has the foundation needed to contend for the world, and he is the first one to achieve it. What's more, Ye Chen's treatment of Zhang Li in this way does not mean that Ye Chen is Zhang Li's group. This can only mean that Ye Chen is polite, rather than in the same way as the eunuch. Otherwise, the civil and military attitudes of Manchu and dynasty would have been consistent. Ye Chen read the secret letter for a while, then handed the secret letter to L. Yu Zhi behind him without looking at Wang Yun. To Ye Chen, Wang Yun was an existence that wanted to be slaughtered early in the morning, making him feel aggrieved, and Ye Chen was naturally happy. Just as Ye Chen expected, Ye Chen's move instantly changed Wang Yun's face again and again. Lu Zhi didn't care about Wang Yun's face. After receiving the secret letter, he immediately looked at it. After reading it, his face suddenly sank, and then he handed the secret letter to the military commander next to him. When the civil officials saw this, they all blew their beards and stared, and they were furious. Because of such important events, the military officers didn't even show them first. This is how they can bear it. Since ancient times, civil and military have been opponents. For the Han Empire, because of Zhang Li and other eunuchs, the civil and military began to unite. But now, it was broken by Ye Chen casually. Before long, the anger of the civil servants burst out one after another. Because the secret letter didn't reach them until the last military commander finished reading it. And Wang Yun, who was the first to speak had the most ugly expression on his face. At this moment, Shen Wanzhen gave Ye Chen a weird look, and then continued to remain in a waiting posture without saying a word. He heard Zhang Li call Ye Chen General Husbandry, and immediately confirmed the identity of the man next to him, 
who was no different from the ancients, who was the number one player of the human race, Ye Chen. And now, he finally found another abnormal place in Ye Chen. This Nima's method of playing with people's hearts is simply easy to come by. Ye Chen's purpose, how could Shen Wanzhen as a player not know? It is to mess up the officials of the Han Empire, and let the officials fight harder. The harder the fight, the faster the Han Empire is finished. When Wang Yun read the secret letter with an iron face, he immediately went out and bowed in prayer. Your Majesty! Zhang Jiao must be eliminated as soon as possible, otherwise the world will be in chaos. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding! The player Shen Wanzhen arrested Tang Zhou and handed the secret letter to the Han room. The Taiping Road conspiracy leaked, the wheel of history started, and the time was advanced to February 184 AD. Ding! In the last years of the Eastern Han Dynasty, natural disasters continued, eunuchs chaotic politics, people are not living, thieves are rushing, the big man will be exhausted, great wise teacher Zhang Jiao, self-proclaimed Tian Gong General, Zhang Baio self-proclaimed General General, Zhang Liang, self-proclaimed General General, Yu Jilu rises up. Ding! The historical plot, the golden turban chaos, officially opened. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Unfortunately, these people think so well. After joining the Golden Turban, once the Golden Turban is defeated, those who choose the Golden Turban will definitely be punished extremely severely. The real world game world attributes are halved, and they become criminals of the big man, unable to upgrade, unable to purchase any items, and unable to sell any items. Even if you trade with other players, don't even think about spending a penny. And those village building orders, recruitment orders, and territory upgrade scrolls from the Golden Turban will all be invalid. At that time, players who use the village building order given by the Golden Turban in reality will inevitably turn their territory into dust, and all the summoned Golden Turbans will die. Of course, if the Golden Turban wins, players who choose the Dahan camp will also be punished. Ye Chen didn't know exactly how to punish it, because in the previous life, the Big Han camp won. And in this life, Ye Chen will not let the Big Han camp fail. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the world announcement that had just disappeared sounded again. Ding, the great man will be exhausted, the Kyushu barrier will fail, and the Yeazu will officially enter the world. The world announcement three times in a row, like a spring thunder, the explosion of the world channel buzzed. Fuck. What's the situation? He, how come the monster race? Haven't they been in other worlds all the time? His demons have come out, so humans are miserable? Those demons in reality are very powerful, and they must be stronger in the game. Paralyzed, why did the monster race in this dog day jump out to join in the fun? He's, honestly messing around in their world, it's fine, just run out to find something. I think it's better for the demon race to come out. Although the demon race is human's mortal enemy, it is still useful. Don't forget, who is the first person in the human race? Fuck. You are a scam, you actually want the demon race to kill Ye Chen? Ye Chen was killed, so who else in our human race can stop the demon race? Stupid, if Ye Chen died, this world and the real world would be the world of the monster race, so do you want mankind to be extinct? Grass. Don't you understand? This is his game world. Ye Chen would be dropped if he was killed, and he couldn't die. But don't want to keep his reincarnation city. As long as the reincarnation city is flattened, Ye Chen is the polished commander, don't we have a chance? Nima, it sounds good, the monster clan came here, Ye Chen fell, and if humans can't hold the monster clan, the game world is still the world of the monster clan and this place can improve the strength. Short time is nothing, as time goes on, our strength cannot be improved, but the monster race is getting stronger and stronger, so how can he survive? 
who said that you can't hold the monster race, don't forget, there are golden scarves, and big men, I don't believe they will be indifferent to the monster race, besides, the monster race is also a special monster for our human race. There must be some experience in killing, and even a lot. Even if the world becomes a monster race, how can everyone become the same starting line, I feel more fair. Fuck, it seems to be the case. Even if the monster race replaces the big man and replaces the golden scarf, it doesn't matter what is special. Anyway, we can continue to fight monsters and explode equipment and continue to upgrade and become stronger. Damn. What you said seems to make sense. On the World Channel, the players' discussions kept refreshing the screen, Ye Chen glanced at it, and then smiled coldly. The players hope that Ye Chen can resist the monster clan, and hope that Ye Chen will be killed by the monster clan, and they are divided into two factions. People who don't want Ye Chen to fall do not want to see the monster clan taking charge of the world. In that way, they may not be able to level up or become stronger, and they will have a miserable life in reality. Those who hope that Ye Chen will fall and the city of reincarnation will be flattened, hope that Ye Chen will be greatly weakened. In this way, they can also compete with Ye Chen instead of being suppressed by Ye Chen everywhere. However, no matter which faction, in fact, 90% of them are thinking about themselves, not the so-called survival of human beings. Those who really worry about the survival of mankind basically do not exist. After the meteor fell, this kind of person with a kind heart was killed in the first place. Only some hypocrisy remains in the world, and behind the hypocrisy are endless desires and hopes. This is an age of the weak and the strong, and the law of the jungle of nakedness, nakedness and nakedness is pursued. All that kindness can bring is death, and there are few exceptions. If the monster race replaces the human race and takes control of the world, the players can continue to grow stronger without endangering their security in reality. So it can be said with certainty that 9999% of people will have the same idea. That is, the Yeazu quickly killed Ye Chen, whether it was a game or reality. Because Ye Chen was too perverted, too powerful, and robbed too many good things. Even if everything Ye Chen obtained was Ye Chen's own efforts, no one thought it was Ye Chen's. In everyone's eyes, they also had a chance to get everything Ye Chen had obtained. However, because of the appearance of Ye Chen, everything they had had a chance to get was robbed by Ye Chen. This is in the hearts of the players, Ye Chen is very clear, and understands very well, but Ye Chen doesn't care at all. No matter what others think, Ye Chen has only one thing to do. Keep getting stronger. Strong enough to make the world tremble, strong enough to make the world desperate. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the world announcement sounded again. Ding, the world is inhumane and everything is the dog, the demon race is present, the human race is in danger, I, conscript the world's heroes, slay demons, and slay demons. For notarization, special merit list. Kill the monster clan to gain merit. Those who possess merits can redeem exercises, weapons, armors, architectural drawings, precious props, and other items on the merit list. The world announcement was repeated three times, detonating the world channel again, but this time, it was obviously different. Ha ha ha. I finally came out, he, the human tribes, quickly wash them up, Grandpa Pig wants to eat all of you. He he, the monster race is finally ready to appear. I have waited for this day for a long time, thinking that I can't meet humans. Now it's okay, I'm going to kill the quartet. Ah uh, ha ho ho ho. Quack. The people who go to Nima, the demon clan's chores, they are also slaughtered when they come, wait, I want you to see, what is so much power. Funny. Stupid humans, do you think my demons have a very small population? Tell you, in terms of population, humans are no rivals at all. Why don't you talk to them, come on. There is a village of a human race here, flatten it, and all the people in it will eat it. Ha ha ha, brothers of the monster race, let's kill, eat as much as you want, the more we eat, 
the stronger we will be. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Reincarnation City, City Lord's Mansion, Hall. Ye Chen looked at the speeches of the incredible monster players on the World Channel, and smiled coldly. The number of monster players is huge, and individuals are generally better than human players. However, they don't understand the madness of human players at all. For the monster race, human beings are the elixir of movement. After taking a big tonic, they can quickly increase their strength. But for human players, Yezu is not a mobile treasure house. It not only has a high level of experience, but also bursts out many good things. The elixir, the exercise method, the village building order, the recruiting order, and all kinds of weird props to increase the strength of the force all carry the word true. In addition to all kinds of good things, killing the monster clan also has merits, and it is possible to exchange items in the merit list. Because at this moment, the protagonist of heaven and earth is human race. As long as someone kills the Yezu and discovers this secret, it will immediately cause everyone's madness. This is the game world. As long as it is not slaughtered by Ye Chen, it will only drop 10 levels after death, and will not really die. However, this is not important. What is important is that as long as human players can continue to kill the monsters, their strength can be continuously improved, and they can also obtain scarce skills, weapons, armors, etc., and various items. This is a great opportunity for human players who have been eager to become stronger, but have always moved forward slowly. Of course, the monsters that can explode good things are those monsters in the monster race, each of which is powerful. However, this can't stop the crazy players at all, one person can't do it, even ten people, a hundred people, and the monster can be killed by the mill. As long as it is killed, a true technique will definitely be released and it is at least king level. No one is not excited, no one is not crazy. Thinking of this, Ye Chen immediately looked at his attribute panel, and then counted the 40 innate attribute points obtained by beheading Wang Yu to the soul. An unspeakable sense of refreshment instantly spread from Ye Chen's soul. After a few breaths, Ye Chen opened his eyes and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. Yes, yes. The range of Yuanchen's perception has increased again. Ye Chen, Champion Ho. Title, Spear God, Holy General. Level, Level 98. Merit, Zero. Merit, Zero. Transcendence, One. Fairy Bone, One Star Fairy Body. Yuan Chen, Ninety. Fu Yuan, Profound. Techniques, Nine Turns Xian Gong. Shen Xiaoyu Leiju. Skill, Reincarnation Spear Technique. Equipment, Killing Spear, Fire Spirit Orb, Lobeo Money, Black Cloud Armor. After taking a look at the property panel, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. I am a champion now, in the year of General Hussein, and use whom you, the reputation of meritorious service is of no use to me. No wonder these two items in the property panel are gone. Thinking of this, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and a black armor appeared in Ye Chen's hand. The black cloud armor was obtained very early, and it was a lot of help before, but at this moment, my physical body is strong enough to resist heaven-level weapons, and I don't need this armor. Thinking of this, Ye Chen suddenly cut off the connection with the black cloud armor, and then threw it into the storage space. The merit list is also opened, plus the merit list, the time to brush the merits, and the merits has arrived. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the sound of hurried footsteps came. Boom boom boom. I saw Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, Dian Xiang, Zhao Meng, Gao Shun, Mizu, Cai Yin, Qi Qi came to the hall, and as soon as they entered the door, everyone bowed and said. Meet the Lord. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, as he was about to speak, Guo Yi hurriedly bowed and said. Lord, outside the city of Samsara, 
a large number of golden turban troops are gathering outside the city. Because there is no order from the Lord, no one dares to act without authorization. Please make the decision quickly. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyes suddenly narrowed, and then he shouted. A group of ants dare to be so rampant, who is the leader? Master Qi, the person here calls himself Zhou Zhang. When Guo Yi heard this, he bowed in response. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. As soon as the Golden Turban Rebellion begins, the Golden Turban Army will appear in all town-level territories. Reincarnation City is a city, and naturally there is no exception. However, what Ye Chen didn't expect was that Zhou Zhang, a famous Golden Turban general in history, came up outside the city of Samsara. Although he is not a powerful figure, he is also a second-rate historical general who later became Guan Yu's guard. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, then looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, and asked. How is the training of the recruits in Reincarnation City? Master Qi, the 600,000 recruits have been trained, and they can go to the battlefield at any time to kill the enemy. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, hearing Ye Chen's question, bowed in prayer. When Ye Chen heard this, he nodded in satisfaction, and then said, Very good. After speaking, he looked at Mi Zhu, and then shouted, Zizhong listens to the order. Hearing this, Mi Zhu hurriedly knelt on one knee and said loudly, The end is here. Lead 300,000 soldiers, guard the city of reincarnation. Ye Chen glanced at Mi Zhu, and then shouted, The final commander. Mi Zhu was taken aback for a moment, and then responded loudly. He knew that Ye Chen wanted to lead troops out, but he didn't expect Ye Chen to leave 300,000 soldiers to guard the city of reincarnation. It is not so easy to enter the city of reincarnation. It is not so easy to climb on the overbearing city wall at the entrance of the valley of reincarnation. Not to mention, there are 15,000 bed crossbows in reincarnation city and the lethality is almost exploding. Ye Chen naturally saw Mizu's doubts and understood what Mizu was thinking, and then solemnly said, Zizhong, the city of reincarnation is our foundation, and at this moment, there is not only a golden scarf rebellion in the Han dynasty, but also a monster race in this world. Arrow. Hearing this, Mi Zhu's expression suddenly changed, and he hurriedly bowed in response. Yes. Lord. The final swears that no golden scarf or demons will enter the Valley of Reincarnation. They want to enter the valley unless they step on the corpse of the final. Mi Zhu naturally knew what the Yezu was, and it was precisely because of his clarity that he realized why Ye Chen had to keep 300,000 soldiers in the city of reincarnation. In addition to the beasts, the monsters also have birds. There are not many soldiers left and it is impossible to live in defense. Ye Chen looked at the extremely serious Mizu, nodded in satisfaction, and was about to speak when the world announcement sounded instantly. Ding, Liuyun Town was captured by the monster clan, and Liuyun Town was removed from the novice zone of the Three Kingdoms. Ding, Luyu Town was captured by Jinjin, Jin, and Luyu Town was removed from the Three Kingdoms novice zone. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ding, Tianying Town was captured by the Yezu, and Tianying Town was removed from the Three Kingdoms novice zone. Ding, Fengxiang Town was captured by the Golden Turban, and Fengxiang Town was removed from the Three Kingdoms novice zone. A series of world announcements didn't stop at the moment they sounded. Countless people's player territories were captured, and the Golden Turban and the Monster Race, without exception, opened their fangs. And at this moment, the World Channel also followed the clamor. Fuck him. The Golden Scarf is too awesome, aren't they peasants? Why are they so strong? No, a Golden Scarf can beat ten of Lao Tzu's soldiers. Is there any reason? There is no king's law. He is paralyzed, there are too many monsters, overwhelming, 
how can he fight? Don't be afraid, brothers, hurry up to join Typing Dao and become a Golden Scarf Thief, ha ha ha, there are so many benefits to join the Golden Scarf, I am now the lord of the town. There are three thousand younger brothers, all of whom are elite soldiers. I'm going to your uncle. I've chosen all the camps. How can I get there? I knew I would choose the Golden Scarf from the beginning. It's him, is there anyone who wants to unite? There are too many monsters and their strength is too strong. They can't beat them at all. If they don't unite, they will die. Yeah, everyone is united, otherwise you will be killed again and again, your level will become lower, let alone deal with the monster race. Ha ha ha, human beings are just loud us rations, all wait obediently, Grandpa Xiong wants one by one, and eat you all. Ho ho ho. Ah ha ha ha. Hey blind man, you can continue the ink, your grandpa monkey is going to the next place. Tisk tisk, human heads are delicious, and grandpa monkey will eat human heads in the future. You turtle grandson, it's a waste. If you want to eat it, you have to eat the whole thing. Just eat your brain and not waste it. Brothers of the human race, let me tell you one thing. The monster race is a special mobile treasure house. After killing it, the experience of the thieves is high, and the experience of the village master of Bitma is ten times higher. This is still a beast. In addition, killing the monster clan also explodes good things, don't blame me for not reminding you. Fuck. Brothers of the big man camp, please make an alliance. Make an alliance. Let's brush the monster race together. Damn. Brothers from the Golden Turban Camp, gather and go to fight the monster clan. It's about this time to dominate the king. Ye Chen glanced at the hustle and bustle of the world channel, and then looked at the merit list, the merit list. The highest merit is 1002, and the highest merit is 110. Obviously, there are many players who kill the Golden Turban, but very few players kill the Yezu. It's time. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at Mi Zhu and Cai Yin, and said, Reincarnation City will be handed over to you. Yes. Lord. Mi Zhu and Cai Yin bowed in response. Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Dian Xiong, Zhao Yunzhen, Zhao Meng, Gao Shun, and shouted, Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, listen to the order. The last general, here. Dian Xiong, Zhao Yunzhen, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng heard this and hurriedly knelt on one knee and responded loudly. From now on, Yunzhen is the general of the bandits, Dian Xiong is the general of the bandits, Gao Shun is the general of the bandits, Zhao Meng is the guerrilla general, each lead 100,000 soldiers, go out with me. Ye Chen shouted in a deep voice. Ye Chen is already a general Hu Xiao, Yu's Hu Mu has the right to open a mansion, so he can naturally confess his official duties to his subordinates. Of course, Ye Chen couldn't accept his fate with too high an official position, so Lu Hong would need to nod his head. But Ye Chen gave his subordinates an official position below rank 6, and that was no problem. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, and Dian Xiong suddenly opened their eyes when they heard this, and then responded in unison. They all have the right to command the troops given by Ye Chen, but they don't have official positions, and some of them are not righteous, and they don't speak well. There is nothing in the city of reincarnation, and no one will recognize it outside. The military will live on the battlefield and die for the battlefield. The glory of life comes from the battlefield, and the level of official position is one of the glory. And now, Ye Chen has given them formal official positions, and they are still from the sixth rank. How could they not be excited, how could they not be excited? Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Guo Yi, and said, Feng Xiao, you have officially become the sacrificial wine of the reincarnation city military master. Set out with the army. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi's eyes flashed when he heard this, and then he bowed heavily in prayer. Ye Chen nodded, 
then turned to go outside the city lord's mansion. Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, Dian Xiang, Zhao Meng, Gao Shun, Mizu, and Cia Yin left the city lord's mansion with Ye Chen. The moment Ye Chen left the city lord's mansion, Zhao Yu, Diao Chan, Cia Mayor, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner walked out of the former housemaid's room. Looking at the leaving Ye Chen, the five women said in unison, Concubine, I wish my husband a triumphal return. Their voices are so low that they can only be heard by themselves. Because they didn't want to disturb Ye Chen's state of mind when Ye Chen went on the expedition. In the city of Samsara, outside the city, banners are hunting and hunting, long and spears are like forests, and the breath of killing is constantly wafting. As soon as Ye Chen appeared, a swish came. Seven hundred and one hundred thousand soldiers in the reincarnation city knelt on one knee neatly. See the Lord. Seven hundred and one hundred thousand soldiers shouted in unison, and the sound shook the sky, instantly resounding throughout the valley of reincarnation. Ye Chen nodded, and then shouted. Today sent troops to conquer the golden turban anti-thief, as well as the demon clan who wrecked the world and killed the human race, you can have confidence. Kill. 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 Seven hundred and one hundred thousand soldiers raised their hands and spears together, shouting loudly. At this moment, everyone in the city of reincarnation learned about the rebellion of the Golden Turban and the news of the Yeazu's present life. As soldiers in the city of reincarnation, they naturally know their responsibilities. They not only want to guard the city of reincarnation, but also follow Ye Chen to the battlefield to create their own glory. No one is afraid, no one is worried, even if the legendary monster race appears in this world, they are still confident. Because they were led by their lord, the great general Huzar of the Han Empire, Yu Su Mu and Ye Chen. Ye Chen looked at the high-spirited soldiers of Reincarnation City, nodded in satisfaction, then looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Zhao Meng and Gao Shun, and shouted, out of the valley. Meet the enemy. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Zhao Meng and Gao Shun all bowed in response, and then each led 100,000 soldiers toward the Samsara Valley Tanaguchi. For a time, the light of diamonds kept shining, because at this moment, all soldiers in the city of reincarnation had all changed into diamond-level equipment. This is due to Mizu. Without Mizu's help, it would be impossible to complete the diamond level equipment so quickly, and it far exceeded the 100,000 sets ordered by Ye Chen, reaching 710,000 sets. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he looked at Qing's reincarnation soldier wearing a diamond level equipment suit. Diamond grade. Those golden turbans, monster races, they will cry when they meet the soldiers of reincarnation. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Diamond level equipment is still a three-piece suit, and it is equipped with 700 and 100,000 soldiers in reincarnation city. Not to mention the golden scarves, even the imperial forest army of the Han Empire, not so extravagant. The tyrannical defense and tyrannical offensive power doomed the soldiers in the city of reincarnation to be a group of perverts. Not to mention the soldiers of the reincarnation city, all qualifications start at A and grades, there are 100,000 soldiers who have learned the king level exercises, and 10,000 soldiers who have learned the emperor level exercises. Once the message of the soldiers in the reincarnation city was spread, it would be enough to make everyone dumbfounded. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, a thunderous neigh suddenly came. Serious law. A golden figure came to Ye Chen's side instantly. Ye Chen looked at the golden Pegasus Xiajin who ran over by himself, smiled slightly, and then turned on his horse. Soldiers of the Samsara Legion, seeing this, made a move with their right hands. Boom boom boom. A series of heavy objects fell to the ground instantly. I saw 10,000 wild rhinoceros suddenly appearing on the ground. They are savage beasts, and they are the top existence among the brutal beasts. Today, they will serve as mounts, 
follow the Samsara Legion, and follow Ye Chen on the battlefield. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion, at the moment the wild rhino appeared, Chi Chi stood up and rode up, waiting for Ye Chen's order. A little bit of time passed. When Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, and Zhao Meng each left the Valley of Reincarnation with 100,000 soldiers, Ye Chen waved his right hand and then shouted, Go! Yes! Lord! The Samsara Legion responded in unison, and then followed Ye Chen towards the exit of the valley. Reincarnation Valley Tanaguchi, under the city wall. When Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, and Zhao Meng rushed out of the city gate with 100,000 soldiers, the golden turban soldiers outside the city opened their mouths unanimously, and stared at the soldiers of the reincarnation city stunned. There, the diamonds shone, joined together, dazzling. This, what kind of equipment is this? A centurion of the golden turban army shouted with a dull look. Isn't it just an alien's territory? How come there are so many soldiers wearing diamond-grade equipment, right? I have silver on my body, and there is no reason for heaven. After seeing the equipment on the soldiers of Reincarnation City, he instantly recognized the grade of the equipment, and then roared with a flushed face. Damn it! This is a diamond-level equipment. Our weapons can't be broken at all. A golden turban commander shouted angrily. The little leaders of the golden turban army, you are telling the unusualness of the soldiers in Reincarnation City in a word, and there is a strong lack of self-confidence, anger, and growing worry in your words. As for the soldiers of the Golden Turban Army, their faces became increasingly unnatural and unconfident. Looking up at the soldiers in Reincarnation City, they are dazzling. Look down at their own equipment, their clothes are ragged, they don't even have a decent cloth armor, and some even hold rakes and dung forks. The visual impact strongly stimulated their nerves. Humble, weak, and afraid to fight, it is in the heart of the Golden Turban soldier at this moment, and this feeling is getting stronger and stronger. Because the number of soldiers rushing out of the City of Reincarnation is getting more and more, it's fine, and the all-in-one diamond-level equipment can't be broken no matter how to break it. They were afraid before fighting, and then they began to panic. Shut up all of you! Zhou Zhang yelled with a wave of his spear and gun. After seeing the equipment of the soldiers in Reincarnation City, he was equally shocked and inexplicable. He didn't expect that a territory of a foreigner would not only have strong soldiers and horses, but also very good equipment. However, when he returned to his senses, his men had already begun to yell. This is a battlefield, so yelling will definitely affect the morale of the soldiers. However, he was still too late to shout. The soldiers were originally stimulated, and this time they were even more stimulated. The morale that was originally soaring also started at this moment, and it fell again and again, and it couldn't be controlled even if you wanted to control it. A little bit of time passed, when Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Zhao Meng and Gao Shun all rushed out of the Valley of Reincarnation with the 100,000 soldiers each, Zhou Zhang's expression changed again and again. 400,000, this is 400,000 soldiers, why can a foreigner have so many generals? Zhou Zhang said with a look of shock. Having said that, Zhou Zhang could not help but pop up a person's name in his mind. Could it be? Yu Zhumyu of the Han Empire, the official worshipped Ho, the champion of General Hyuki, Ye Chen. At the thought of this, Zhou Zhang's pupils shrank sharply. It's him, it must be him. It's impossible for a foreigner to bring so many soldiers. If you bring it, it is a rebellion, and then you will definitely not let anyone dare to rebel. General Tiangong, this, this, the teleportation talisman is wrong, why did you send me here? I just brought one million more soldiers. When Zhou Zhang thought of this, his face was suddenly full of bitterness. He didn't expect that the foreign land he was going to attack was Ye Chen's reincarnation city. How could Zhou Zhang not know who Ye Chen is? Ye Chen's name has long been spread to the big guys, no one knows, no one knows. He broke the right beeping city in one hour and flattened Wuhuan in one day. 
Zhou Zhang thought of this, looked at the majestic wall erected at the entrance of the Valley of Reincarnation, then looked at the 400,000 soldiers of the City of Reincarnation under the wall of the Valley of Reincarnation, and the corners of his mouth twitched involuntarily. He used to be very proud and just a foreigner, and he can be wiped out with just a gesture. Even if he built such a tall city wall, he couldn't stop his millions of soldiers. However, at this moment, Zhou Zhang was in the same mood as a dumb eating Huang Lian. He felt bitter, but he couldn't tell. Because he can't say that he is the leader of the Golden Turban Army, the Golden Turban General in command of the millions of Golden Turbans. General, I know who this stranger is. A commander suddenly remembered something, and then shouted in surprise. Shut up! Zhou Zhang hurriedly shouted when he heard this. Zhou Zhang didn't want the commander to call out the name he was thinking of, because once the name was called out, his morale would definitely go mad. However, Zhou Zhang miscalculated, this commander was stunned, and the other commander shouted in horror. It's Yu Hu Mu of the Han Empire, General Huzar, Champion Ho Yuchen. It must be him, only he can bring so many soldiers. As soon as his words fell, the Golden Turban Army was in an uproar. I said why these soldiers are so well equipped. It turned out to be Champion Ho Yuchen's soldiers. What should I do? Champion Ho is the number one general in the Han Dynasty. He is brave in the world. Why did the great wise teacher send us here? Didn't it mean that he would send an elite team to deal with the champion Ho Yuchen? I, I don't want to die, look at the champion's soldiers, their equipment, it's okay, the guys in our hands can't even break their defenses, how can we fight them? Or, or let's run. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Soldiers of the Golden Turban Army, you and I discussed each other, and the atmosphere of tension and panic grew stronger and stronger. After seeing the equipment of the soldiers in Reincarnation City, they lost the thought of fighting. Now that they knew that they were going to attack Ho Yuchen, the champion of the Han Empire, their morale dropped to the bottom. A golden turban commander glanced at the soldiers in the reincarnation city exuding a murderous atmosphere, then looked at Zhou Zhang, and said with horror. General, let's retreat first. I heard that this Huzar General Ye Chen is invincible in the world. He is a peerless and powerful general of the big man. We can't beat it at all. Zhou Zhang's expression suddenly changed when he heard this, and then he shouted in a deep voice, Shut up! Before a fight, I'll be timid, believe it or not I've taken your skin off. He is a general of the Golden Turban. He has not fought and will run away. What face is there to see the great mentor Zhang Jiao, and what face is there to command the million Golden Turban? Boom rumble. Suddenly, a dull thunderous noise came. In the next second, a golden pegasus suddenly jumped out of the city gate. Above the horse, is a man wearing a luxurious robe, handsome and handsome, with long hair flying in the wind. He is about twenty years old, with a tough face, a mighty and domineering look. Champion Ho Yechen Zhou Zhang recognized Ye Chen's identity the moment he saw the man. Because of Ye Chen's age, because of Ye Chen's momentum, and Ye Chen's unique Pegasus mount. At this moment, the Reincarnation Legion riding a wild rhino rushed out of the city gate. The arrogant, brutal breath immediately rushed towards the Golden Turban Army, this was just the breath released by the wild rhinoceros. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion above the wild rhinos, without exception, have cold faces and swords in their eyes. They are members of the Samsara Legion cultivated by Ye Chen. Everyone is a king-level military commander and everyone has an emperor-level exercise technique. They are proud, confident, cold, and ruthless. Anyone who targets Ye Chen is an enemy. When dealing with an enemy, they will only choose one way and kill them all. Zhou Zhang saw the huge wild rhino under the soldiers of the Samsara Legion, his pupils shrank sharply, and then he said in shock. Wild rhino. It turned out to be a wild rhino. Why? 
why can a wild rhino be caught as a mount? Obviously, Zhou Zhang knew what the wild rhino existed, and because of that, he was shocked and inexplicably shocked. General, hurry up, let's order, this battle can't be fought. After seeing the last reincarnation legion that came out, a golden scared chieftain suddenly panicked and hurriedly looked at Zhou Zhang and shouted. Yet. Yeah. General, can't hesitate any more. Champion Ho is not something we can deal with. General. Give the order. The wild rhino is a wild beast, and it's all covered in armor. It can't be dealt with at all. The commanders and centurions of the Golden Turban Army spoke in horror one by one. Because the soldiers of the Samsara Legion, their momentum alone suppressed these centuries, and the wild rhinos they rode scared these centuries and centuries even more. It was originally rough and thick, and the weapons in their hands could not even break the defenses, but the reincarnation city was so abnormal that the wild rhinos were equipped with armor, and the special ones were all diamonds. This is a fart. Shut up. Zhou Zhang looked at the panicked faces of his subordinates, he was furious, and then he shouted with an iron face. Serious loss. The thunderous neigh sounded instantly. Golden Pegasus Ziogen's two horses' hooves violently jumped up, and then stepped heavily on the ground. At this moment, Zhou Zhang, who was about to speak, suddenly changed his face. I saw only a few hundred war horses of the Golden Turban Army, as well as the war horses Zhou Zhang was riding, without exception, they were all frightened, and then puffed, puffed, knelt on the ground. The leaders of the Golden Turban Army, large and small, riding on the war horse, without exception, advanced to the ground. Zhou Zhang jumped up violently at this moment, and then fell to the ground. After a glance, Zhou Zhang's face turned red and green. Nima, there is no battle yet, Ye Chen's mount yelled casually, and the horses here knelt. This kind of slap in the face is like a pop, pop noise. Ye Chen glanced at the leaders of the Golden Turban Army who had fallen to the ground, curled his lips in disdain, then looked at Zhou Zhang, and shouted. Zhou Zhang, are you willing to surrender to me? When Zhou Zhang heard this, he was taken aback, then looked at Ye Chen. He didn't expect Ye Chen to ask him if he wanted to surrender as soon as he met. In the next second, Zhou Zhang spoke without hesitation, How can I surrender if I am the great sage and mentor who sits under the commander general? Zhang Jiao is for his own selfishness. He is holding the people of the world and fighting for the world for the throne. Don't you understand the truth? Ye Chen narrowed his eyes before shouting. Zhou Zhang's expression suddenly changed when he heard this, and then he shouted in a deep voice. Lu Hong is faint and incompetent. The people don't have a hard time, and there are many people who can eat children. Champions, you say Lu Hong, should you die? Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he heard this. Zhou Zhang's words are obvious. He knew Zhang Jiao's true purpose, but he still chose to follow Zhang Jiao in order to kill Lu Hong. Zhou Zhang was right, Lu Hong was damned, but the big man was still there, and the rebellion was an anti-thief. And Ye Chen is the Huzar general of the Han Empire, Yu Su Mu, how could he say words about Lu Hong? Zhou Zhang seems to be able to subdue. Thinking of this, Ye Chen pointed towards Zhou Zhang, and then shouted, Yun Zheng, go and catch the next thief. When Zhao Yun heard this, his eyes suddenly opened, then he bowed and responded loudly, Yes. Lord. After Zhao Yun Zhen finished speaking, he pinched his horse's belly with his feet, and the night jade lion instantly stood up, and then rushed towards Zhou Zhang. Zhou Zhang saw Zhao Yun Zhen riding a white horse, rushed towards him, his eyes opened sharply, and then he shouted, Good job. After speaking, he forcibly lifted the warrior on his knees, then turned over and rode up. However, Zhou Zhang found that he was sitting on the horse, very disobedient, his face suddenly changed, and then he stabbed the horse's buttocks with a spear without hesitation. The war horse that was stimulated by pain suddenly made a neighing sound, and then rushed towards Zhao Yunzhen. This was a frontline combatant, Zhou Zhang couldn't refuse at all, 
and if he refused, the soldiers of the Golden Turban Army had no morale. Kill. Zhao Yun suddenly opened his eyes when he was in contact, and then shouted loudly. As Zhao Yun Zhen yelled, the silver spear Genshin pierced out instantly. Zhou Zhang also opened his eyes full of anger at this moment, and then roared angrily, Kill. The long and spear in his hand also stabbed Zhao Yunzhen at this moment. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. When? Then a loud noise sounded. Zhao Yunzhen's silver spear and Genshin immediately collided with Zhou Zhang's long and spear, and then the horses staggered, and the two instantly exchanged positions. Serious law. Serious law. The neigh of the warhorse rang out for an instant, then slowly turned around and confronted again. Zhao Yunzhen's expression remained the same, but Zhou Zhang frowned. Zhao Yunzhen was young, and he looked like a young player who had just entered the battlefield. Zhou Zhang originally thought that Zhao Yunzhen was no matter how strong he was, he could not be much better than him. However, what Zhou Zhang did not expect was that with just one move, he felt the threat from Zhao Yunzhen, and it was a strong danger. The threat made Zhou Zhang very unhappy, but it still lingered in Zhou Zhang's heart and could not be dispelled. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yunzhen and Zhou Zhang on the battlefield, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. Zhao Yun is a super-class historical general, Zhou Zhang is only a second-rate general. Facing Zhao Yunzhen, it is strange that Zhou Zhang has no pressure. It's okay to suppress Zhou Zhang's arrogance, so that it will be easier to subdue him. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth suddenly tilted. At this moment, Zhao Yun was pinching his horse's belly with his feet, and carrying the silver spear and gentian, he rushed towards Zhou Zhang again. Seeing this, Zhou Zhang couldn't help but clenched his right hand holding the long and spear, and then shouted loudly, Kill! After Zhou Zhang shouted, his feet clamped his horse's belly, and then greeted Zhao Yunzhen. He is a general of the Golden Turban, he can't retreat, he can only fight. Even if Zhao Yunzhen gave him an extremely dangerous feeling, he still couldn't retreat, even if he died, he couldn't retreat. Boom boom boom! The horse galloped. The two opposing war horses met again after taking two breaths, and Zhao Yunzhen, who was on the war horse, opened his eyes sharply, and the silver spear in his right hand pierced fiercely. This time, unlike before, a seemingly unremarkable shot, but the speed was approaching the extreme. With a flash of silver light, the tip of the gun arrived in front of Zhou Zhang's eyes. Zhou Zhang, who had just raised his long and spear, his pupils shrank sharply. At this moment, Zhou Zhang felt the coming of death, and his body instantly froze. He wanted to use weapons to resist, and even make evasive movements. However, the cruel reality told Zhou Zhang one thing, and it was too late. My life is over. As soon as Zhou Zhang's thoughts appeared, there was a puff. Zhao Yunzhen's gun pierced the armor on Zhou Zhang's shoulder in an instant, then picked Zhou Zhang up and threw it to the ground. There was a bang. Zhou Zhang was severely thrown to the ground. General Wan Sheng. Wan Sheng. Wan Sheng. A loud shout that shook the sky instantly came from the mouth of 100,000 white horses. And the millions of golden turban army in the distance, all of them suddenly collapsed. Their general Zhou Zhang, in their knowledge, the force is super strong, no one can defeat Zhou Zhang. However, at this moment, Zhou Zhang, who they thought was very powerful, was picked down in two rounds. How could this attack the city of reincarnation? For an instant, the Golden Turban Army's low morale, once again mad, quickly fell to the bottom. Well, we can't wait any longer, let's withdraw. Zhou Zhang's lieutenant glanced at the soldiers in the reincarnation city in the distance, and then at the junction of the two armies, Zhao Yunzhen, who stood proudly, said with a sullen expression. But, General Zhou Zhang is still there, don't we save it? A Golden Turban Army commander hesitated when he heard this, and then asked. Didn't you just hear? 
Zhou Zhang didn't criticize the champion when he insulted Daxian Mentor. He is a traitor. Why should we risk saving him? Zhou Zhang's deputy heard here, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he shouted coldly. The lieutenant is right. Zhou Zhang is a traitor. We have to leave here as soon as possible. This champion Ho is not something we can deal with. He casually sent a subordinate to pick Zhou Zhang as a traitor. No one of us can deal with it. Champion Ho. A golden scarf lurking in that one nodded in agreement. Yes, quickly withdraw, Zhou Zhang died, and we still have a vice general to lead. What lieutenant? This is our general. Yes, yes, it's a general, it's a general. Meet the general. One commander after another of the Golden Turban Army pushed Zhou Zhang's lieutenant to the position of Zhou Zhang. When Zhou Zhang's lieutenant saw this, his eyes flashed, then he nodded and said in a deep voice. Passing orders. The army retreats and joins Yu Su Chu Shui Huang and Long. Yes. General. The commanders of the Golden Turban Army all bowed in response, and then ran to deliver Vice Admiral Zhou Zhang's order. They didn't want to stay here for a moment. If Zhou Zhang refused to back up, they would have left. Now it's all right, the deputy will replace Zhou Zhang, and they can just retreat without worrying about being punished. Anyway, there are lieutenants who are in danger. They have nothing to fear. As for what the lieutenant was thinking, how could these commanders not know, and it was not that they wanted to replace Zhou Zhang. If it is put in normal times, this is simply impossible. But now is not normal, now is the time when life is in danger, they are going to flee, and it is justified to escape. Therefore, Zhou Zhang's deputy general easily replaced Zhou Zhang's position. As for the scapegoat for escaping, it must be thrown to Zhou Zhang, there is no doubt about it. The blame is Zhou Zhang. When Ye Chen mocked the great sage and mentor Zhang Jiao, Zhou Zhang didn't reply back. At this moment, Zhou Zhang opened his eyes and shook his bewildered head. After returning to his senses, Zhou Zhang hurriedly looked at Zhao Yunzhen. The next second, Zhou Zhang fell silent. Zhao Yunzhen's blow just now could completely kill him, but Zhao Yunzhen's men were merciful, and only sacked him. If it is an ordinary person, I am afraid that he will immediately fight back, or run away on horseback, but Zhou Zhang is not an ordinary person. He won't do that, he can't afford to lose that person, he has his pride. After a moment of silence, Zhou Zhang pulled out the long knife from his waist and wiped it toward his neck without hesitation. At this moment, a golden light with ten afterimages arrived in an instant. In the next second, a long dark gun was shot out. Dang came. The long knife Zhou Zhang held tightly turned into dust in the sky. Champion Ho, Zhou Mao respects you as a hero, why stop Zhou Mao from committing suicide? Zhou Zhang glanced at Ye Chen who suddenly came to him, his face suddenly sinking, and then he shouted. Zhou Zhang, you have already died once, you can admit it. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows and then shouted. When Zhou Zhang heard this, he was taken aback, then nodded heavily, and said. Yes, Zhou can indeed be regarded as dead once, and to survive by luck, it is all due to the mercy of this white-robed general, otherwise, Zhou will undoubtedly die. Zhou Zhang, I'll ask you again, are you willing to follow me? Ye Chen smiled when he heard this, and then asked. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, Please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Zhou Zhang was stunned when he heard this. He didn't even expect Ye Chen to recruit him. After a moment of silence, Zhou Zhang looked at Ye Chen, and then asked in a deep voice. Champion Ho, Zhou is an anti-thief. Isn't the Champion Ho afraid of being convicted by Lu Hong because of Zhou? As long as those who follow me. I will not care about the past, as long as they are willing to follow me and be loyal to me, then I will accept it without hesitation. Ye Chen laughed and said. When Zhou Zhang heard this, he was taken aback, then his eyes suddenly opened. Although Ye Chen didn't say clearly what he said, 
how could Zhou Zhang fail to hear the meaning hidden in Ye Chen's words? Ye Chen didn't care about Lu Hong at all. Moreover, Ye Chen did not show any bad expressions because Zhou Zhang called Lu Hong directly. He didn't even frown, which fully explained this point. When he thought of this, Zhou Zhang fell silent immediately. He didn't want to betray Zhang Jiao, which was contrary to his original intention. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, and then he shouted. Zhang Jiao confuses the people to participate in the rebellion for his own personal gain. Have you ever imagined how many people will lose their lives in this rebellion? When Zhou Zhang heard this, he was taken aback. Ye Chen glanced at Zhou Zhang, then shouted in a deep voice. I'll tell you. There will be tens of millions or even more people who will die because of this war, not to mention that at this moment there are still monsters chasing the world, and more people are dying, Zhou Zhang, is this you? The result I want to see. When Zhou Zhang heard this, a cold sweat suddenly appeared. He really hadn't thought about this situation, and now Ye Chen said that Zhou Zhang was still calm. Thinking of the corpses of the people everywhere in Dehan soon after, Zhou Zhang's whole body was not well. And all of this appeared because Zhang Jiao wanted to rebel and become the emperor. He opened his mouth, trying to say something, but couldn't say anything. After a few breaths, Zhou Zhang exhaled a long breath, then knelt on one knee, and said respectfully. Zhou Zhang, I would like to abandon the dark and turn to the light, and beg the Lord to take it in. Ding, a second-rate historical military commander, Zhou Zhang wants to recognize you as the master, do you accept it? Ye Chen couldn't help but raised his eyebrows after hearing the system's lifting sound, and then made a choice without hesitation. Accept. Ye Chen wanted to subdue Zhou Zhang, so naturally he would not refuse. Ding. Congratulations to the player Ye Chen for winning the second-rate historical military commander, Zhou Zhang's allegiance. Hearing this, Ye Chen suddenly smiled, then dismounted, lifted Zhou Zhang up, and said with a smile on his face. Zhou Zhang, from now on, you will be one of the generals in the City of Reincarnation, and you will stay in the City of Reincarnation, are you willing? When Zhou Zhang heard this, he was taken aback but he didn't expect that Ye Chen would not ask him to follow Zhang Jiao after he accepted him. Obviously, Ye Chen was thinking about him, and didn't want to embarrass him. Thinking of this, Zhou Zhang's heart suddenly warmed, and then he bowed in prayer without hesitation. I would like to tell the Lord, I will stay in the Samsara town to guard the Samsara city at the end, and I will swear to guard the Samsara city to the death and never let any enemy step into the Samsara city. If this oath is violated, the heaven will die. Ding, Zhou Zhang's loyalty is plus ten, advanced to die loyal. Ye Chen suddenly smiled when he heard this, then patted Zhou Zhang on the shoulder, and said, Very well, I believe you. Ye Chen accepts Tibet next week and stays in Zhou to hide in the city of reincarnation. He does not worry that Zhou Zhang will rebel again. Because Zhou Zhang had no military power at all, but Mizu, a first-class historical general, was in charge of the city of Samsara. Of course, Zhou Zhang could not deliberately surrender and then rebel against Ye Chen. Because Zhou Zhang is inherently loyal, otherwise he would not commit suicide directly after being sacked by Zhao Yunzhen. And now, Zhou Zhang was persuaded by Ye Chen and chose to follow Ye Chen. If he encounters an enemy again, he will fight desperately. Whether it's the Golden Turban Invader or the Demon Clan, Zhou Zhang will do his best to guard the City of Reincarnation. Even if Zhou Zhang was defeated again, Zhou Zhang would not choose to surrender and rebel against Ye Chen. This will not happen before Zhou Zhang is loyal to Ye Chen, and even after he is loyal to Ye Chen. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding! Congratulations to the player Ye Chen for being the first to win the second-rate historical military commander, Zhou Zhang's allegiance, because of his special status, I will reward the player Ye Chen with 10 million tails of gold. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, instantly detonating the already lively world channel. Fuck. Ye Chen made a move, what's so special, 
he came up to collect Zhou Zhang, who else will he take after this? Really, why don't the idiots of the monster clan go to trouble Ye Chen? Where can the idiot monster clan dare to trouble Ye Chen? Ye Chen is the first person in the human race. Isn't it a good thing for Ye Chen to trouble Ye Chen? Where is Ye Chen's territory, tell Grandpa Niu, Grandpa Niu will meet the first person of this human race. Ah ha ha ha! Kill Ye Chen, eat him, and flatten Ye Chen's territory. Ho ho ho! Don't be noisy with him, you are embarrassed by the monster race. Can't you see that this is the scum of the human race to instigate, ignore the garbage, hurry up to eat more people, become stronger, and kill Ye Chen. The world channel was very lively, Ye Chen glanced at it, and then smiled coldly. A group of rubbish, at this time, still hope that I will be attacked by the monster. Ye Chen just thought of this when a loud shout suddenly came. The sky is dead, and the yellow sky will stand. The age is in Jiazi, the world is prosperous. With the sound of this cry, the million-dollar golden turban army who had been stunned in an instant, their eyes widened with excitement, and their bodies continued to shake. While shaking, shouting loudly. The sky is dead, and the yellow sky will stand. The age is in Jiazi, the world is prosperous. Ye Chen frowned, then looked at the incomparable million golden turban army then narrowed his eyes, and said in a deep voice. This is Zhang Jiao's method to deceive people's hearts. Zhang Jiao will not die. These people will never be sober. When Zhou Zhang heard this, there was a little regret in his eyes. Not to Ye Chen, but to his previous choice. He joined Taiping Road later and followed Zhang Jiao, and he was not deeply affected. At this moment, following Ye Chen, Looking at the Golden Turban Army from another angle, he found something unusual. This million Golden Turban Army is not high-spirited fighting spirit at all, but a group of brainwashed lunatics, complete lunatics. It was still silent just now, and as soon as the slogan rang, one by one followed the lunatics who had been beaten up, fearless and fearless. Ye Chen glanced at Zhou Zhang, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, and then rolled over and made a move with his right hand. The gunslinger appeared instantly and pointed at the million golden turban army. At this moment, the millions of golden turban army turned around, and then ran desperately into the distance. Damn it! What's going on? Ran away? The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As Ye Chen saw, the million golden turban army shouted so loudly that they turned and ran away with high fighting spirit. Zhou Zhang glanced at the million golden turban army who had begun to run wild, narrowed his eyes, then looked at Ye Chen and bowed and said. My lord, the lieutenant in the golden turban army meant to replace me a long time ago. Now that I follow the lord, he can just take his place and become the leading general. Such chanting of slogans must be to increase morale and speed up the march, so as to merge with Chu Shui Wang and Long of the Yuzhu Golden Turban Army, and minimize losses. However, this order is really incomprehensible, how the infantry runs. The Cavalry Ye Chen raised his eyebrows when he heard this, and then said. This person's talent is shocking the world, weeping ghosts, but what you said should be wrong. I am afraid that before you choose to follow me, he will take your place. Otherwise, this million golden turban army will not react so quickly. Zhou Zhang's expression suddenly changed when he heard this, then he looked at the leaving million golden turban army with great anger, and shouted loudly. Shameless! Shameless! Zhou Zhang was revealed by Ye Chen at one o'clock, how could he not know what his lieutenant did? Before he committed suicide, this lieutenant took his place. As for the method, it was nothing more than using him as an excuse to describe him as a traitor and then replace him. Otherwise, it would be impossible to mobilize the million golden turban army so quickly to escape the forest of reincarnation. However, at that time, Zhou Zhang had no intention of surrendering to Ye Chen, he just wanted to die instead of being a traitor. When he thought of this, 
Zhou Zhang's whole person was not good, especially when he thought that after he fell from a horse, no one came forward to respond, Zhou Zhang affirmed this fact even more. Ye Chen glanced at the angry Zhou Zhang, sighed secretly, and then said in a deep voice. Zhou Zhang, you have left the golden scarf. You don't need to think about the past. You can guard the city of reincarnation with peace of mind. Such a thief will definitely die. Yes. Lord. Zhou Zhang tried his best to stabilize his angry mood, then bowed in response. At this moment, Zhou Zhang was angry and fortunate. I was angry because I was slandered and framed, and I was lucky because I chose to follow Ye Chen. Ye Chen looked at Zhou Zhang's solemn expression, nodded in satisfaction, and pointed the gunkiller with his right hand at the escaped million golden scarf once again, and then shouted, the whole army will attack. Kill. When Zhao Yun heard this, his eyes suddenly opened, and the silver spear gentian waved, and then shouted loudly. Zhao Yun Zhen finished shouting, and rushed towards the million golden turban army. Kill. 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 One hundred thousand white horses yelled in unison, and then galloped, immediately starting the charge mode. Rumble. A hundred thousand white horses galloped instantly, and the roar of iron hoofs trampling on the earth also sounded at this moment. Kill. Diane Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, seeing Zhao Yunzhen taking the lead in the charge, hurriedly raised the weapon in his hand and shouted loudly. Kill. 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 Three hundred thousand soldiers in the reincarnation city raised their hands together with hundreds of refined steel and spears shouting loudly, and their violent killing intent rose instantly. Boom, boom, boom. The thunderous roar began to roar, and the earth began to tremble. Three hundred thousand soldiers in reincarnation, followed by Diane Xiong, Gao Shun, and Zhao Meng, rushed to the escaped million golden turban army. With the charge of the four hundred thousand army, the diamond light kept shining, but the shining diamond light contained a strong murderous intent, cold and merciless. Not long after, Zhao Yunzhen was the first soldier to catch up with the golden turban army. The silver spear and gentian in his hand were pierced mercilessly. Puff, 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 puff. In an instant, dozens of people were stabbed to death by Zhao Yunzhen, but Zhao Yunzhen did not stop at all, still galloping and soon he cut a hole in the millions of golden turban army. However, none of the golden turbans who were overtaken by Zhao Yunzhen could escape Zhao Yunzhen's shot, and none of them were stabbed to death with one shot. After a few breaths, Bai Mai caught up with the escaped million gold turban army, and pierced out mercilessly with a hundred refined steel and spear in his hand. The soldiers of the golden turban army, who were in pieces like crazy, were stabbed to death in an instant. White Horse Ye Kong is charging, taking one blow without stopping. A large number of soldiers of the Golden Turban Army were stabbed to death continuously, and were even stabbed to fly. Where Bai Mai passed, there were corpses all over the ground, and there were not many Golden Turban soldiers on either side. Boom Rumble Diane Xiong, Gao Shun, and Zhao Meng, led the troops here and looked at some of the golden turban soldiers remaining after being smashed by Bai Ma Yi. Yun Zheng is also true, I don't know how to save us. Zhao Meng said with a tangled expression on his face. Okay, kill it, it's better than killing nothing. Gao Shun couldn't help but smile when he heard this, and then said. Bai Ma Yi has never been worthy of being a special army. Diane Xiong said with emotion. His feet clamped the belly of the wild rhino king, the wild rhino king who was running wildly changed direction instantly, and there was not much left to the left. The soldiers of the golden turban army rushed away. At this moment, Gao Shun, who was galloping on the longitudinal horse, changed direction directly and rushed to the right. When Zhao Meng saw this, the corners of his mouth twitched involuntarily. Zhao Yun was eating meat, Diane Xiong and Gao Shun drank some soup, but he could only pick up the residue behind. Zhao Meng's mood at the moment is called depressed. It is a pity that Zhao Meng is in the middle of the two, 
and the 100,000 army he is carrying is also in the middle. It is difficult to change direction. Unless Zhao Meng deliberately disrupted the formation of the 100,000 army that Dian Xiong or Gao Shun was carrying, so he could also drink some soup. Zhao Meng naturally knew this, but Zhao Meng didn't do it, and he didn't hesitate to throw this idea into his mind. He is now a guerrilla general, a guerrilla general commanding 100,000 soldiers in the reincarnation city. He can't do things that affect his colleagues for the sake of military exploits. That's not what a qualified leader should do. Moreover, if you do that, it is likely that the pursuit will fail, many of the Golden Turban army will be released, and even the soldiers of the reincarnation city will suffer casualties. More importantly, that would leave a bad impression on Ye Chen. For Zhao Meng, he wanted military exploits, but what he wanted more was the recognition from Ye Chen, rather than being unscrupulous for the military exploits. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Meng on the battlefield and couldn't help but smile. Yes, yes, a lot more calm. The Golden Turban Army, Front Line a golden turban army commander riding on a war horse glanced at the white horse Ye Kong who was constantly charging behind him, then looked at the lieutenant who had just replaced Zhou Zhang with a grim face, and shouted angrily. Trash, I know you have no abilities. Why did I believe in your evil and want to recommend you as the leader of the army? Are you him? Look, what's the use of your shit-like command? Two legs can you run four legs? Da Shijong you and he want to rebel. Hearing this, the lieutenant was furious, and then shouted loudly. When Zhang Dasha heard this, he pointed at the lieutenant and cursed. Go to Nima's rebellion, Wang Meizi, who do you think you are, you are a rubbish, don't think that I don't know your details, you are a smasher before, and you want to be an official and don't pee. According to the photo, with your two brushes, you still want to be a general and be your second uncle. Da Zhang, are you he? You want to die, right? The deputy general Wang Meizi was furious, and then drew the long sword from his waist, pointing at Da Zhang, shouting with a hideous expression. Fuck Nima, brothers, you can't listen to this idiot's order, hurry up and send the order to ask the soldiers to drink the water, and turn around to block the champion's soldiers otherwise we will all be finished. Zhang Dasha did not hesitate he picked up his long and gun and pointed it at the lieutenant, and then shouted. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. The golden turban commanders next to you, look at me and I look at you, nodded in unison, and then said in unison, okay. Wang Meizi the vice-general of the Golden Turban, saw this, suddenly furious, and then shouted in a loud voice. You all commit the crime, it all. Damn it all. At this moment, he had already realized how stupid the order was just now, but he would not admit it, and even if the order was changed, he would change it, and he could not take it down. He could not tolerate the ignorance of his subordinates, he was a general, the general who commanded the Million Golden Turban Army. Even if he had just usurped the throne, and the number of the Golden Turban Army was less than one million, he was still the leader, the supreme leader, and the ignorance of his subordinates strongly stimulated his nerves. At this moment, a long gun suddenly pierced Wang Meizi's heart with a puff sound. Zhang Dasha, you, unexpectedly, dare to kill me. Wang Meizi looked down at the long and spear that pierced his heart, then looked at Zhang Dasha and said with a look of disbelief. You are a traitor, and many of my Golden Scarf brothers died in vain, why can't they be killed? Zhang Dasha smiled coldly, and then said. You, you can't die. You can't die. Wang Meizi opened his eyes sharply, and then roared angrily. At the end of the conversation, his anger was widened and then he lost his breath. Quick! Go and pass the order. Zhang Dasha pulled back the long and spear, looked at Wang Meizi's body, looked directly at the other shocked commanders, and shouted loudly. The commanders of the Golden Turban looked at each other, then nodded together, and then ran to deliver orders. 
Before long, loud shouts sounded from the soldiers of the Golden Turban Army. The general has an order. Drink Te Lai Shui. The soldiers of the Golden Turban Army running wildly heard this, and their eyes suddenly showed excited and crazy eyes. While shouting for an order, they took out a bamboo tube from their arms, took off the stopper without hesitation, opened their mouths and drank. Go down. Zhao Yunzhen, who was galloping, stabbed to death a soldier of the Golden Turban Army who had just drunk Fu Shui, his brow frowned. Because Zhao Yun was feeling a little resistance from the Silver Spear Gentian, although it was faint, it really appeared. At this moment, the remaining soldiers of the Golden Turban Army all glowed with red light, and their faces were full of red light, very excited. The sky is dead, and the yellow sky will stand. The age is in Jiazi, the world is prosperous. The frantic loud shout suddenly sounded from the mouth of the soldiers of the Golden Turban Army. For the sake of the great wise teacher, we must fight the thieves bravely. Kill. With a loud shout, it sounded from among the rushing Golden Turban Army. When the soldiers of the Golden Turban Army heard this, their expressions changed in an instant. They turned around without hesitation and rushed towards Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, and Gao Shun. Come back. You can't go for him. Seeing the soldiers of the Golden Turban Army, a Golden Turban commander turned around and rushed towards the army of Samsara City, his face changed suddenly, and he hurriedly shouted. You go back. Go back quickly. The next one is fine, you don't need to go. Another Golden Turban commander roared furiously. What's the matter? Why didn't they listen to our orders? A Golden Scarred commander shouted with a look of disbelief. Damn, what happened to them? The chiefs of the Golden Turban cried out in shock, but no one told them the answer. At this moment, all the soldiers of the Golden Turban were all red, rushing to the army of Samsara City fearlessly. Ye Chen glanced at the red light that suddenly rose on the battlefield, and suddenly narrowed his eyes. Zhang Jiao's Fu Shui. Unexpectedly, these golden turban soldiers actually have runes with open horns. Thinking of this, Ye Chen sneered coldly. After drinking Zhang Jiao's rune water, his defense power was doubled, his attack power was doubled, and he claimed to be invincible, invincible. It's a pity that they are all lunatics who are irrational. If an average player encounters it, they might really be helpless, but... After Zhou Zhang, who was standing next to Ye Chen, saw the abnormality of the Golden Turban Army on the battlefield, his expression suddenly changed, and he hurriedly bowed and said. The Lord, the Golden Turban Army drank Zhang Jiao's rune water, and the attack power and defense power were increased twice, lasting for half an hour. When Zhou Kang Gang said this, he was taken aback. I saw the golden soldiers rushing to the army of the reincarnation city, without exception, they were all beheaded on the spot. No matter how crazy they were, how fearless they were, they couldn't stop the charge of the army of Samsara city in the slightest. Not only could it not be stopped, it was also picked up and stabbed to death by the army of the reincarnation city in pieces. The number of corpses on the ground continued to increase, and then increased again, and the breath began to thicken and become stronger, and then floated in the air. Guo Yi, who had been watching the battlefield, was a little bit empty at this time, and the map of Samsara Forest appeared in the air instantly. Glancing at the Golden Turban Army, who is generally rushing towards the army of Samsara City on the map, Guo Yi curled his mouth in disdain and waved his right hand. Flying sand and walking stone. In an instant, the gusty wind whistled, rolled up the sky full of sand and gravel and blew it towards the Golden Turban army. The soldiers of the Golden Turban who were rushing wildly, the body hurt by the sand and gravel were hurt, and they couldn't open their eyes. They were already in a disadvantaged position, but this time it was even worse. However, the army of the reincarnation city went smoothly, and the speed of the charge, repeatedly mentioned, the speed of killing the soldiers of the Golden Turban also increased again. Seeing this, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily, then looked at Zhou Zhang who was shocked and inexplicable, and asked, Zhou Zhang, 
how do you feel? Enlightened to the Lord, the reincarnation city has a strong horse, and aspirations to the world, just around the corner. Zhou Zhang heard Ye Chen's question, and immediately regained his senses, and then solemnly bowed and worshipped. Keep the reincarnation city for me. But there are enemies, no matter whether it is the golden scarf or the monster race, kill without mercy. Ye Chen laughed, and then shouted. Yes. Lord. The final general swears that he will never let any enemy step into the city of reincarnation. If you violate this oath, the heaven will be destroyed. Zhou Zhang heard this and bowed without hesitation. Ye Chen nodded, then raised the gunslinger, and shouted, Go! Here! The Samsara Legion shouted in unison, and then followed Ye Chen towards the front. Ten thousand wild rhinos rushed forward with Ye Chen with a dull roar. At this moment, the world channel suddenly boiled. Fuck! I said that Ye Chen is a metamorphosis. Did you see that? How long has it been since the list of achievements? The first one became Ye Chen's, 1.03 million points, which is more than the second. It's more than half a million. It's not half a million, it's 510,000, damn. What kind of killing speed is this, it's really just cutting wheat, and the special one is the kind that is cut with a combine harvester. 600,000. Grass. Want to be so fast. Nima, it sounds like you can get the first place, shit. 800,000. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. You said, how many soldiers did Ye Chen get out and how did they kill the golden scarves, so fast? Those golden scarves are farmers, but they are all very abnormal and not easy to kill. Who knows what's so special, Ye Chen has six yuan for a single day level recruiting order, and after using it, it will be 600,000 soldiers. Why did Ye Chen bring out 600,000 soldiers this time? Dian Xiong, Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, Gao Shun, and Nima are all historical generals. How do we compare with him? We are more hairy. We are individual players. Ye Chen is a lord player. We are better than those lords. However, those lords are no better than Ye Chen. They have no officials and can't bring a lot of soldiers. Damn, doesn't it mean that Ye Chen dominates the merit list? That's not necessarily true. Don't forget, Ye Chen is in the realm of the big man with so many golden scarves, and it is impossible to meet them all. Besides, there are also monsters. I heard that now many Lord players have started to unite and brush the golden scarves together. Brushing the monster clan, how can it be faster than Ye Chen's killing? Make a golden scarf and tell you that Lao Tzu is the golden scarf, and the brothers of the golden scarf are all united. Look, Ye Chen has to cry when he meets us. So are you, the golden turban merit list will soon surpass the Dahan merit list. Hey, I really chose the golden turban right. What's special, the golden turban soldier is too awesome, and the true word item is used in the game, and it can be used in reality. Wow Kaka, I am the mayor now, his subordinate. Brother 3000, I will ask you if you accept it, and if you refuse to accept it, you will die. Paralysis, the mayor is a dick, we have the boss Ye Chen, how to drop it, you are so awesome, you try it, you can't kill you. Fuck. Ye Chen has 3.01 million in battle. Don't forget about him, whether it's the golden turban camp or the big man camp, think about him first, you are a human being, so let the monster race first, don't fight him. Go to your uncle, you said it nicely, if you don't fight, you are stupid as Lao Zi. If you don't fight you, Zhang Jiao will immediately regard Lao Zi as a traitor and everything will be taken away. Human scumbags, you still like infighting so much, you have washed them all, wait, Grandpa Mouse will eat you all up. Squeak. Ha ha ha, yes. Eat the human race, the monster race is the protagonist of heaven and earth. 
the human race has a military merit list, there is a merit list, so what can be, the monster race is the strongest. Ho ho ho! On the World Channel, when the human players and the monster players were discussing, Ye Chen had already wiped out the army of the Golden Turban in the future. By the way, he cleaned the battlefield, and the corpses were gathered and burned, and then buried. Ye Chen did this to avoid the plague. There are too many corpses in the reincarnation forest. If you don't deal with them, it is easy to produce plague. Especially in this year of catastrophe, it must be handled with care. You know, this is Ye Chen's site, so be careful. Taking a look at the World Channel, which was still refreshing, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain, and then shouted, Enter Yangle County. Yes. Lord. 400 and 100,000 reincarnation soldiers responded in unison, and then followed Ye Chen towards Yangle County. The Golden Turban Rebellion broke out, and the Golden Turban Army would appear everywhere in the Han Dynasty. Just like locusts crossing the border, resisting and being killed, others are encumbered to join the Golden Turban Army and continue to attack cities and land. Yuzhu is no exception. At this moment, half a million soldiers with golden turbans gathered outside Yangle County. In Yangle County, the streets in the city are full of people who are panicking, as well as players with depressed faces. No one thought that Yangle County was surrounded by half a million soldiers with golden scarves. Although the fight hasn't started yet, looking at the fragile city walls of Yangle County and the number of soldiers defending the city, it is not difficult to understand one thing, there is no fight at all. These players are all individual players. The nearby Lord players will be destroyed. Those who join the Golden Turban Army will join the Golden Turban Army. No one will help them. Yangle County, the county government. The county magistrate sitting above the lobby looked at the gate of the county government with a look of trepidation. He held a long sword in his hand, but the long sword did not give him much courage, because the long sword would shake a few times from time to time. Obviously, the county magistrate of Yangle County is in a very uneasy mood at the moment, and it can even be said to be fearful. The bureaucrats in the county government had lost their inevitable life in the past. They walked around one after another in anxiousness, looking at the door from time to time, for fear that there would be soldiers with golden turbans suddenly appearing. Yangle County, City Wall The soldiers guarding Yangle County looked pale as they looked at the dense army of golden turbans under the city. There are no more than 10,000 defenders here but there are 500,000 soldiers with golden turbans under the city. How dare they go out of the city to fight? General, what should I do? If this continues, Yangle County will be breached sooner or later. A centurion looked at the city guard at this time, and said with horror on his face. What to do? Is it possible that you still have to surrender? Are you not afraid of being punishable by the Nine Clan? The city guard heard this, suddenly angry, and then shouted. But, General, the rolling logs and kerosene we have here are simply not enough, and the number of arrows is also seriously insufficient, and we can hold on three times at most. After a three times, the centurion hurriedly said. The general defending the city heard this, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he drew out the long sword on his waist and swung it over. Bang Law came. The head of the shouting centurion flew up in an instant, and then rolled down the city. Zizi, Zizi. The blood began to squirt wildly, and the armor on the defender's body was gradually red in an instant. No matter how troubled the army is, cut it. The general defending the city did not even look at the centurion, and directly shouted. Yes. General. The centurion and thousands of commanders on the city wall shuddered when they saw this, and then bowed in prayer. At this moment, a loud shout came from the mouth of the general of the Golden Turban Army under the city. Open the gates of the city quickly and surrender, otherwise, after breaking the city, you will be killed. In the next second, the 500,000 soldiers in the golden scarves raised their dung forks, hoes, and a small number of wooden guns one by one, shouting loudly. Kill to kill. 
kill to kill. When the soldiers on the wall heard this, their expressions suddenly became unnatural, and some even shivered involuntarily. The general defending the city saw this, his face suddenly changed, and he bowed his bow and set an arrow without hesitation, and shot it with one arrow. However, this arrow could not hit the collar at all, because the distance was too far. Trash! Do you dare to go out of the city to fight? Seeing this, the general of the Golden Turban Army suddenly raised his head and laughed, and then shouted. When the city defender heard this, his face suddenly turned pale. However, he couldn't get out of the city, so he was counted out of the city. The leader of the Golden Turban Army, who saw the city defender in Yangle County, did not respond, curled his lips in disdain, and then raised his arms and shouted. The sky is dead. Boom. The 500,000 Golden Turban soldiers boiled instantly, shouting loudly, Yellow Heaven should stand. At this moment, there was a loud roar from afar. Boom, boom, boom. Dull, powerful, and shocking. The general of the Golden Turban Army was stunned when he heard this, and then looked in the direction of the sound. In the next second, the pupils of the Jinjin Army general shrank sharply. I saw a man wearing a luxurious robe and carrying a dark and thick long and spear in his right hand, riding a golden pegasus and appeared in the distance. However, this is not important. What is important is that behind the young man, a heavy cavalry riding a rhino appeared, and each body was dazzling and dazzling. What kind of mount is this, and what kind of equipment are they wearing? The general of the Golden Turban Army said with a dull look. Yangle County, City Wall. Champion Ho. It's the Champion Ho. Yangle County is safe. A centurion suddenly opened his eyes when he saw the young man leading the way, and then shouted in excitement. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. It's the champion, it's really the champion. I've seen the appearance of champion. A soldier shouted in excitement. It's saved, we're saved. The sky has eyes, the champion is here, we don't have to die. Under the city wall, the general of the Golden Turban Army came to his senses at this time, pointing a big knife towards Ye Chen, and roaring angrily. Kill them for me. Strip their equipment. At this moment, the general of the Golden Turban Army finally recognized the grade of equipment on the Samsara Legion. Nima, turned out to be a diamond grade, and the only good equipment on his body was a gold grade, which made him really unacceptable. He wanted to kill Ye Chen and kill Ye Chen's soldiers, just like the countless villages and towns he had destroyed before, killing them all and robbing them all. Kill. Kill these Lu Hong's lackeys. Kill them and steal their equipment. Strip their skins and light the sky lanterns. A gold turbaned commander raised his arms and shouted with red eyes. Tao. Chong. Chong. Charge me. Kill them. For the sake of the great mentor, charge. Another golden turban commander shouted loudly. Following the shouts of the golden turban commanders, the soldiers of the golden turban army rushed towards Ye Chen as if they had been beaten with chicken blood. Boom, boom, boom. Thousands of horses galloped and shocked. At the moment when the golden turban soldiers rushed towards Ye Chen, Zhao Yun appeared in the distance with white horse Yi. One hundred thousand white horses, the light of one hundred thousand diamonds, instantly blinded the golden turban soldiers, and then stopped one by one, one by one, they looked at more and more white horses inexplicably shocked by the army. Originally, they had a lot of power and courage. But now, 100,000 white horses suddenly appeared, and their courage was instantly diminished. This, this, how come so many cavalry? A gold-scarfed military commander was rushing with a gold-scarfed soldier. After seeing the sudden appearance of the white horse, he stopped and shouted dumbfounded. What kind of equipment are they wearing? No matter how shiny they are. A gold-scarfed centurion swallowed with a gudong and then shouted. I don't know, but, there are too many cavalry, 
we may not be able to stop. The general of the Golden Turban Army saw this, his pupils shrank sharply, and then shouted in surprise. One hundred thousand, all of them are soldiers riding white horses and wearing diamond level equipment, whose soldier is this him? Could it be? Champion Ho soldier. The lieutenant of the Jinjin army general suddenly remembered something, and then shouted in surprise. What? Champion Ho. Hearing this, the general Jin turban shivered abruptly, and then shouted in surprise. General, this is Yu Hu, Yu Hu is the strongest, and only the champion Ho Yechen who was promoted to the general Huzar, this, these soldiers are not easy to provoke at first sight, they must be champion Ho Yechen's soldiers. Glancing at the army of the reincarnation city that was constantly rushing, he swallowed with a good ong, and then spoke. The golden turban general heard this and his right hand holding the long knife squeezed tightly. How could he not know who the champion Ho Yechen is? Not only did he know, he had also heard of it. In one hour, he broke the right beeping city and leveled Wuhuan in one day. His combat power was overwhelming and fierce. Why is his Lao Tzu so unlucky? How could he meet the champion? The Jin Turban Army General just said this, he was taken aback, and then he looked at Ye Chen who was in front of him. Is he a champion? The Jin Jin Jun General pointed to Ye Chen who was riding a golden Pegasus Xiajin, and then asked. It is rumored that the champion Ho is very young, and there is also a golden Pegasus. The lieutenant glanced at Ye Chen, and then spoke. Halfway through the conversation, his pupils shrank sharply, and then shouted in surprise. General, it is him. It is him. He is the champion Ho Yechen. The general of the Golden Turban Army suddenly opened his eyes when he heard this, and then he shouted. Tread through the iron shoes, there is nowhere to find it. It is all effortless. Yechen dared to rush so far alone, pass the order and kill the champion for Lao Zi. No matter what the cost. Lao Zi wants to use his head to dedicate it to General Tian Gong. When the lieutenant heard this, his eyes suddenly lit up. He knew Ye Chen's reputation. As long as Ye Chen was killed, the reputation of the Golden Turban Army could be greatly enhanced, and the big man could be frightened, and he could gain various benefits from Zhang Jiao. Thinking of this, the lieutenant bowed and responded without hesitation, Yes. General. After saying this, he ran to deliver the order. Before long, there was a loud shout among the Golden Turban Army. Seeing that the person riding the Golden Pegasus is gone, that is the champion of the big man Ho Yechen. He is Lu Hong's strongest fighter and General Tian Gong's biggest enemy. For the sake of General Tian Gong, charge! Kill the champion Ho Yechen. Take him. Dedicated to General Tian Gong. For the great virtuous teacher. Kill the champion Ho. For General Tian Gong. Kill the champion Ho. There were bursts of bursts after another. After hearing the slogans of great virtuous teacher and Tian Gong general, the soldiers in the golden scarves who were just startled by the luxurious lineup of the reincarnation army suddenly became thicker one by one and then heavier, with a feverish look in their eyes. At this moment, a roar came, the great sage and mentor gave us the water of runes. After drinking him, we will be invincible, and the world will be invincible. In the next second, the soldiers of the golden turban showed enthusiastic gazes one by one, and then took out the runic water without hesitation and drank it. Red lights rose again. The sky is dead, the yellow sky is standing the age is in Jiazi, the world is prosperous. Seeing this place, the general of the Golden Turban Army opened his eyes sharply, and then raised his arms and shouted. The sky is dead, the yellow sky is standing, the age is in Jiazi, the world is prosperous. Fanatic shouts sounded instantly. For General Tian Gong. For the great wise teacher. Go. Kill the champion. The Jin Jin Jun general pointed at Ye Chen with a big knife in his right hand, and then shouted loudly. Kill. 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 The Golden Turban Army once again rushed towards Ye Chen. Boom rumble. 
10,000 horses galloped, the earthquake trembled, and the 100,000 reincarnation army led by Norio appeared in the distance. The general of the Golden Turban Army saw this, his pupils shrank sharply, and then said in shock, Is it, why there is? General, as long as we kill the champion Ho Yechen, we will win. As long as Yechen's head is there, General Tian Gong will not blame us even if the soldiers are wiped out. Hearing this, the lieutenant bowed and said. Oh, it's a pity that these soldiers, presumably, they are also willing to sacrifice their lives for the great wise teacher. The general of the Golden Turban Army suddenly opened his eyes when he heard this, and then sighed. He said that he was compassionate and compassionate, but his eyes were ruthless, with deep desires and hopes. He wants to get Zhang Jiao's reward, and his lieutenant also wants to get Zhang Jiao's reward. As long as Ye Chen is killed, they can get Zhang Jiao's reward. And all they need to pay is the lives of these 500,000 Golden Turban soldiers. Regarding this kind of dedication, both the Golden Turban generals and his lieutenants made the same choice. Boom boom, boom boom. Ye Chen, who was riding on the Golden Sky Horse, looked at the Golden Turban Army rushing like a madman, smiled coldly, raised his right hand to kill God, and then shouted. White Tiger Battlefield. Kill. 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 The Samsara Legion raised up their hands full of refined steel and guns, and then shouted loudly. The extremely strong murderous aura rose up in an instant, and then gathered into a ball in the sky. A huge and clear white tiger appeared in the sky instantly. Roar. The sky-shaking roar resounded across the earth in an instant. The brutal killing intent suddenly broke out, becoming stronger and stronger. It made people feel cold all over the body, and the soul began to tremble and tremble. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Seeing the 400,000 soldiers in the reincarnation city who were shouting loudly and exhilarating, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up. These are my soldiers, soldiers who are loyal to me and willing to work for me. With them, this time the golden turban chaos, the final winner will only be me, and it can only be me. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. At this moment, there was a creak. The gate of the county seat of Yangle County was opened. Ye Chen followed the prestige, and saw Yangle County's guard general, riding hurriedly over. Seeing the anxious general of Yangle County defending the city, Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned. Guo Yi glanced at the Yangle County defender general who was running over, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said. The Lord is the animal husbandry of Yu's Hu. Although he has not formally taken over Yu's Hu, the officials, large and small, are all under the Lord and are under the jurisdiction of the Lord. This person is the city guard and is in charge of the military affairs of Yangle County. Take this to observe this person. Ye Chen couldn't help but raised his eyebrows when he heard this, then smiled and nodded. What Guo Yi meant, how could Ye Chen couldn't hear it? Didn't he tell Ye Chen to take this opportunity to observe the officials of various cities in Yu's Hu? Leave the ones that can be used, and replace the ones that can't be used when you pull them out, and then completely control the entire Yuzhu in your hands. Among them, the generals are the most important. After a few breaths, the general defender of Yangle County came to Ye Chen, and after turning over and dismounting, he knelt on one knee and said loudly. Final, Yan Ro, meet the champion. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. Yan Ro. Could it be the Yan Ro who followed Cao Cao during the Battle of Guandu? Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but looked at Yan Ro, and then asked. Yan Ro, you are so anxious to come over to see me, what's the matter? I have heard the name of the champion for a long time, and I saw it today. I am really lucky for Sans Hung. I am not talented. I am willing to follow the champion. I implore the champion to take in. Yan Ro raised her hand and clasped her fist without hesitation. Respectfully said. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, 
first-rate historical general, Yan Ro, want to recognize you as the master, do you accept it? After Ye Chen heard the system prompt, his eyes suddenly opened. Damn it! It's really Yan Ro. Thinking of this, Ye Chen made a choice without hesitation. Accept. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, for gaining the allegiance of Yan Ro, a first-class historical general. When Ye Chen heard this, he hurriedly got off his horse and lifted Yan Ro up. Then he laughed loudly, with Yan Ro's help, the city of Samsara will be as powerful as a tiger. Yan Ro was overjoyed when she heard this, and hurriedly bowed and said loudly, Yan Ro, see the Lord. Yan Ro had heard of Ye Chen's prestige a long time ago, but Ye Chen passed by Yangle County several times, and Yan Ro was out of business and missed. Today, Ye Chen led the troops to fight against the rebellion of the Golden Turban in Yuzhu and once again came to Yangle County. Yan Ro even saw Ye Chen's domineering, unrivaled, and the heart of chasing after him became unshakable at that moment. However, Ye Chen is a Yuzhu Mu, and it is impossible to stay in Yangle County. Yan Ro didn't want to miss the opportunity anymore. It was with this kind of heart that Yan Ro hurried out of the city, ran to meet Ye Chen, and said directly I wanted to follow Ye Chen's words. In fact, he was worried that Ye Chen would refuse his following. Because he is a bit young, he has no reputation. But what Yan Ro didn't expect was that Ye Chen actually accepted him directly, and he valued his appearance very much. This is how Yan Ro is not excited, how not excited. At this moment, the world announcement immediately sounded. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for winning the third class historical military commander. Yan Ro's allegiance, because of his special status, special rewards player Ye Chen, 10 million gold. As soon as the world announcement sounded, the already lively world channel boiled again. Fuck. Did you make a mistake, why another first-rate historical general was taken over by Ye Chen? This Nima, Ye Chen is cheating, absolutely cheating, the previous exploits have not moved yet, but you can see. Ye Chen's exploits on the Dehan's list of exploits, he has instantly risen by 3 million, 11 million. It hasn't been a few minutes since this extraordinary achievement list was refreshed, and Yan Ro was accepted in a blink of an eye. He strongly despises cheating. Yan Ro is in Yuz Hu. Ye Chen's boss is Yuz Hu Mu. What's so weird about taking Yan Ro, you stupid one, you are awesome, and you should also take it. Boss Ye Chen is so awesome, he just occupied the first place in the Dehan's military merit list, and turned around to accept Yan Ro, ha ha ha, the scumbags of the Golden Turban Camp, I will ask you one thing, accept it. Damn, take an egg, Ye Chen has always been so perverted, I've long been accustomed to it, it is you who should be angry, tisk tisk, one historical military commander after one has been taken away by Ye Chen. How can you guys in the big camp get angry? Go, go envious, wow kaka. Grass. Envy is affirmative. It's not enough to be angry. It's so special. Can anger take Ye Chen Chao's historical generals over? Certainly not. However, the more historical generals Ye Chen Chao has, the more unlucky the golden turban camp. That's for sure. Ha ha ha. It makes sense, as long as you flip the golden turban camp, there will be more rewards. Multiple yarns, if you want to reward you, you have to kill the golden scarf, don't kill the golden scarf, there are hairy rewards. Kill the golden scarf? Ha ha ha, I am waiting for you to kill. When you see Lao Zi, don't say you dare not kill. He will be frightened to pee his pants, he <laughs> he, the golden turban camp is too awesome. The speed of this violent soldier is almost boundless, I now have 10,000 golden turban soldiers, the scum of the big man camp, waiting for Lao Tzu. Fortunately, come. You are paralyzed, stop arguing, boss Ye Chen, can you see it? A large number of monsters appeared in Yuz Hu, and they began to gather. I beg boss Ye Chen for help. Ye Chen, please help, there are too many monster races flying in the sky, 
running on the ground, overwhelming the sky, and if this continues, Yuzhu who will be over. Ye Chen can't see it, you are Yuzhu who Mu, but you can't see the death without saving, hurry up and send your troops, or Yuzhu who will fall. The world channel was very lively. Ye Chen glanced at it, and when he was about to ignore it, he suddenly narrowed his eyes when he saw the calls of the Yuzhu players for help. The monster race actually started to gather now, why so fast? In Ye Chen's previous life, the gathering of the demon races began in the middle of the Golden Turban Rebellion. At the beginning, they were independent. But now that the Golden Turban Rebellion has just begun, the gathering of the demon tribes in Yuzhu is naturally a bit abnormal. No, Yezu is coming to trouble me. They know Yuzhu is my territory. The courage of these monster clan soldiers is very fat. Fortunately, they gathered together to save a lot of trouble, and I can sort out the players in Yuzhu, and I can save it. Thinking of this, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, then looked at Yan Ro, and said, Yan Ro, you continue to guard Yang Le County. Although the golden scarf is destroyed here, you should not take it lightly. There may also be stray golden scarfs and monsters. Yes. Lord. I will do my best to protect Yangle County in the end, and never ask the Golden Turban rebels or the Yeazu to enter Yangle County. Yan Ro hurriedly bowed and worshipped. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Seeing Yan Ro's solemn look, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction, and with a move with his right hand, three pieces of prefecture-level equipment appeared immediately. Yan Ro was stunned when she saw this place, and then her eyes suddenly opened, and her whole person suddenly became excited. He is a military commander, and he naturally values weapons and armor very seriously, which is related to fighting the enemy and the use of martial skills. He had shot the bow and arrow of the Golden Turban General, but it was of silver rank, and the range was only that. No matter how great, the arrow could not be shot. How could he shoot the Golden Turban General? And now Ye Chen suddenly recruited three pieces of pre-level equipment, and had already clearly told him that this was the equipment to be given to him. Seeing Yan Ro who was inexplicably excited, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then handed the three pieces of equipment to Yan Ro. Final Thanks for the Lord's gift. Yan Ro tried her best to stabilize her beating heart, and then solemnly bowed and worshipped. After speaking, she took the three pieces of earth level equipment given by Ye Chen with both hands. Ding, Yan Ro's loyalty is plus ten, advancement is diehard. Hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, then looked at Yan Ro and said with a smile, Yan Ro, Yangle County will leave it to you. Final, obey. Yan Ro bowed before hearing this, without hesitation. Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Zhao Meng, and Gao Shun and shouted. Yun Zheng, Dian Xiong, Zhao Meng, Gao Shun, take orders. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng heard this and bowed all together and said, The end is here. The soldiers are divided into four groups, Qing Guang Liaoduang, Suan Tuo, Lelang, and the Golden Scarves. When encountering foreign land, all the Golden Scarves camp will be flat. After completion, gather in Liaoxi City. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, all stunned, then bowed in response. They didn't expect Ye Chen to send his army to Liaoduang instead of directly marching into Liaoxi and then westward. After all, the west of Liaoxi was the place where the golden scarves were flooded. Although doubtful, they would not question Ye Chen's decision on this. Ye Chen is their lord, and he uses soldiers like a god. How to give orders is naturally well thought out. All they had to do was lead the soldiers in battle and fulfill Ye Chen's orders. Ye Chen glanced at the four of them, then nodded, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng once again bent and clasped his fists, and then turned their horses together, leading a 400,000 army toward Liaoduang. 
Yan Ro glanced at the 400,000 cavalry who had left, and the enviable gaze in her eyes flashed away. Obviously, he also wants to become a general. Although Yan Ro tried her best to conceal it, no matter how good she concealed it, how could it have escaped Ye Chen's attention? After looking at Yan Ro, Ye Chen raised her eyebrows, and then said with a smile. Yan Ro, don't need to be envious, there are countless opportunities to go to the battlefield in the future, but the soldiers of Samsara City are useful at this moment. If you don't want to guard Yangle County, you can go to Samsara City by yourself and guard Samsara City. Yangle County can give it to your lieutenant. When Yan Ro heard this, she was taken aback. After recovering, she hurriedly knelt on one knee, and then bowed her respectfully. I will be guilty at the end, please punish the Lord. Why do you punish a general who doesn't want to lead the war? It's not a good general. You think, it means that you are self-motivated. It is too late for me to be pleased with your Lord, so how can I punish you? Ye Chen laughed and said. Yan Ro was stunned when she heard this, but she didn't expect that after Ye Chen saw what he was thinking, not only did she not blame him, she was also very happy. The truth in this is obvious. Ye Chen really valued him, and soon, he could become a general in command of the army like Gao Shun and Zhao Ming. Yan Ro tried her best to stabilize her agitated emotions, and then shouted loudly, Finally, you will follow the Lord to the death. If you break this oath, the heaven will die. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then asked, Yan Ro, do you think about it? Do you want to guard Yangle County or Reincarnation City? My lord, I would like to guard Yangle County at the end. This place is the only place to enter the Forest of Reincarnation. It can be said that it is the gateway to the City of Reincarnation. The location is extremely important. How can it be handed over to others casually? Yan Ro heard this. Bowed and responded without hesitation. Ye Chen glanced at Yan Ro nodded in satisfaction, and then said, Very good, although I can't go to the battlefield, but I can guarantee that you will have a place for the commander of Samsara City. The future position depends on you. Talent, do you understand? I will understand, thank the Lord for the importance, and will follow the Lord to the death. Yan Ro bowed in excitement when she heard this. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, as he was about to speak a large group of players rushed out of the gate of Yangle County. Seeing this, Ye Chen frowned involuntarily. Yan Ro found Ye Chen frowned, and then looked towards the county seat of Yangle County, then turned her head and bowed and said, Master, these people are only for profit, and they are greedy for life and fear of death. The general has promised to reward them to help defend the city, but no one responded. Stay in the city and yell. Ye Chen heard this, glanced at the human players, curled his lips in disdain, and then said. If the city wall of Yangle County is high enough and there are not so many golden soldiers outside the city, you don't have to promise rewards, and they will take the initiative to defend the city wall. Of course, Ye Chen didn't say one more thing, that is, if the players knew that the defender of Yangle County was Yan Ro, they would definitely go up to the city wall to assist in the defense. After all, Yan Ro is a first-class historical general. For players, this is a big piece of fat, and no one wants to eat it. Moreover, the cities guarded by historical military generals are basically difficult to break. After the players learn about Yan Ro's identity, they will become bolder. My lord, these strangers are mostly profitable people. They will fight with the wind, and they will avoid the wind. At this time, they will go out of the city. I am afraid that they know that the Lord is coming and want to follow the Lord for personal gain. Guo Yi glanced at the players. Then he bowed and said. Ye Chen nodded, and then said, Feng Xiao is right, that's what they plan to do. When Ye Chen said this, he immediately looked at Yan Ro and said, Yan Ro, you immediately return to Yangle County, close the city gate, and don't let them into the city again. Yes. Lord. When Yan Ro heard this, she bowed without hesitation, 
then walked to the side of the horse, turned on her horse, and rushed towards Yangle County. At this time, Guo Yi looked at Ye Chen and asked with some doubts, Master, since these strangers have come out, they are here for the benefit. I probably have no plans to go back. Why? Ye Chen couldn't help but smile when he heard this, and then said, They will want to go back, but it doesn't have to be Yangle County. The Lord means, the west of Liaoning is dangerous. Guo Yi suddenly opened his eyes when he heard this, and then said. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, then nodded, and said, Yes, the monster race in Yuzhu has begun to gather. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Guo Yi heard this, his face changed suddenly, and he hurriedly bowed and said, Master, please call back General Yunzen, General Dian Xiong, General Jace Hun, and General Zhao Meng as soon as possible, just in case. At this moment, Ye Chen only had 10,000 reincarnation legions to follow. The Yuzhu Demon Clan gathered, the number must be beyond imagination, and Guo Yi naturally didn't want Ye Chen to be in danger. Ye Chen glanced at Guo Yi who was extremely anxious, smiled slightly, and then said. Feng Xiao, in order to confront the monster clan soldiers head on, you must be an elite of the elite. The Samsara Legion is the elite of the elite. Although Yunzen's Bei Yi is also an elite, there are only 50,000 veterans, and the rest are all recruits. The soldiers led by Dian Xiong, Zhao Meng, and Gao Shun were also recruits. Although they had been training for a month, they were still far from the battlefield veterans. If you harden the demon clan at this time, although you can succeed, casualties are inevitable. Just considering this, I ordered Yun Zheng and the others to go to Liaodong to quell the rebellion, the purpose is to train the soldiers and quickly improve the strength of the soldiers. When Guo Yi heard this, he was slightly taken aback, then he hurriedly bowed and said. Lord, if the monster race comes immediately, isn't the Lord very dangerous? Ye Chen looked at Guo Yi anxiously and worried, and his heart warmed, and then he said. How can I not know what Feng Xiao is worried about? However, in this world, what can hurt you and me does not exist at all. Don't say tens of millions of monsters, but hundreds of millions, what's the problem? It's just a miscellaneous soldier. To kill them is nothing more than a waste of time. When Guo Yi heard this, he was stunned, and then he remembered Ye Chen's super domineering strength. Even the heavenly weapons couldn't break Ye Chen's defenses, and the monster clan really couldn't do anything with Ye Chen. When he thought of this, Guo Yi suddenly breathed a sigh of relief, then looked at Ye Chen and bowed and said. Although the Lord's bravery is unparalleled in the world, Jia still urges the Lord not to go west easily, and wait for Yun Zhen, Dian Xiong, Jace Hun, and Zhao Meng to return to the west before going west to quell the rebellion. Ye Chen laughed when he heard this, and then said. Feng Xiao, if you don't tell me, I won't go west casually. It is not difficult to kill the demon clan, but in this way, the alien lords and Yuzhu will be able to keep a part of it. For the future Yuzhu, not a good thing. When Guo Yi heard this, his eyes suddenly lit up, then he bowed and said. It turns out that, in this way, without the master's action at all, the alien lords and Yuzhu will be wiped out. As soon as Guo Yi's words came to this point, he stopped abruptly, and then his brows frowned. Ye Chen saw that Guo Yi's expression was not right, and asked a little surprised, Feng Xiao, what's wrong? Guo Yi hesitated when Ye Chen asked, then bowed and said. Master, in Yuzhu, there are not only foreign lords, but also the people of Yuzhu, this. Ye Chen sighed secretly when he heard this, and then said. Feng Xiao only knows one thing, but one does not know the other. The Golden Turban rebels, the demons are present in this world, and the people who are still outside the major cities, who are already dead, fled into the city and fled into the city. There will be no big Han people remaining outside the city. Those who stay outside the major cities are either golden scarves or monster soldiers, or foreigners. In a short time, 
the people in the city will not be harmed. Otherwise, how can I order Yun Zhang to go to Liaodong to quell their rebellion? When Guo Yi heard this, he was taken aback, and then asked in shock, the Lord means that there are golden towels in Yuzhu and the number of monsters. Ye Chen nodded with certainty, and then said. The number of golden scarves alone is too much to say, let alone the monster clan, there are also lords in the monster clan. They have a huge army of birds and beasts in their hands. Even if I am willing to help those alien lords, time is too late, save not much. When Ye Chen said this, his eyes suddenly narrowed, and then he said in a deep voice. What's more, even if these alien lords survive by luck, I will clean them up in the future, why should I help them? My lord, Jiri, I have no intention of worrying about those alien lords, please let the lord observe. Guo Yi was shocked when he heard this, and hurriedly bowed and worshipped. When Ye Chen saw Guo Yi's anxious look, he was taken aback for a moment, and then reacted. What he said just now was somewhat questioning Guo Yi. Thinking of this, Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, then lifted Guo Yi up and said with a sigh. Bong Xiao, how can I know your loyalty? Don't want to be like this in the future. I just felt it. Those alien lords have already asked me for help by means of aliens. Don't think about it. When Guo Yi heard this, he breathed a sigh of relief, then bowed and said, the Lord does not blame Sin Ji, Jia is relieved. When Ye Chen heard this, he couldn't help but glared at Guo Yi, and then he said, What's to blame for this, don't do that in the future. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi chuckled a few times, then bowed in response. Ye Chen nodded, then turned on his horse and glanced at the players who kept running, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. These people probably know that the general defender of Yangle County is Yan Ro now, and they don't know if their intestines are regretful. Thinking of this, Ye Chen shouted, Go! Liaxi City! Yes! Lord! The Samsara Legion shouted in unison, and then followed Ye Chen hurriedly towards the west of Liaoning. Boom rumble! Thousands of cattle rushed, the earthquake trembled, and the dust in the sky was instantly rolled up. Ye Chen left, and the players who rushed over were stunned. His, Ye Chen is pretending to be coercive. He didn't even wait for us to leave. Yes, that's so special, it's completely despising us. Say this is useful, Ye Chen Te is the first person in the human race, the Lord of Yuz who, is not at the same level as us, do you think it is necessary for Ye Chen to talk to us? Hey, don't pretend to be forced. Recognize the reality, we are here, just to have some soup with Ye Chen, not to mention how awesome we are. Nayubi should just go to the wall to defend. Grass, Lao Tzu really regrets it. Who really knows that the city defender in Yangle County turned out to be Yan Ro? If he knew it was him, Lao Tzu would be the first to go up. I will go, too, is he? The good opportunity was missed and in the end Yan Ro was accepted by Ye Chen. What's so special, don't make any noise, don't you find that Ye Chen's army is different? Everyone is riding a rhinoceros, and the special one is a long scaly rhino, what the is this special, who can tell I? This should be a super rhino. It's so big. In other words, what are the armors they wear, and why are they shining? Not only are rhinos wearing shiny armor, but those soldiers also have armors, which are so shiny. Grass, what level of equipment is this? It's him, I seem to have seen it in a person, it seems to be, diamond level, damn. Yes, it is diamond level. Your uncle, diamond rank? Do you still have to live? I am a special piece of silver until now. You continue to compare, I am chasing Ye Chen, and I have soup with Ye Chen, it is better to fight alone. I go too. Players look at me, I look at you, chasing in the direction where Ye Chen left. Liaxi City. Damn it, why are there so many golden scarves? The lieutenant defending the city looked at the endless golden scarves army under the city, and roared with a green expression on his face. 
the strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The big man has been plagued by droughts and locust plagues in recent years. The people can't eat enough, and there are horns to provoke them. It is not surprising that there are so many golden soldiers. The city defender sighed and said. General, there are only 100,000 defenders in the western city of Liaoning. The number of gold scarves in this city is less than 5 million. How can this be good? The lieutenant took a moment to look at the endless golden scarves under the city, and then asked. Death to defend the city, Liaoxi city cannot be broken. If the city is broken, more than 8 million people in the city will suffer. The general defending the city heard this and shouted without hesitation. But general, the food needed by the 8 million people in the city is not a small amount. Even if we can keep it, the food won't last for a few days. The lieutenant was silent for a moment before speaking. If we can't persist, we must persist. Even if we are all killed in battle, we can't retreat for half a step. Leoxi City, in any case, cannot be broken, broken, we are sinners. The general defending the city heard this, glanced at the lieutenant, and then sank. Shouted. The lieutenant listened to this place, and still wanted to speak, but was drunk instantly by the general defending the city. Shut up. Hugh will disturb the military's mind, if not, I will not forgive. At this moment, a loud shout came from under the city. Hey, the Hanjong in the city listens and advises you to surrender to the city. If not, when my army invades Liaxi city, we will be all killed, not one left. General, the last general is willing to go out of the city to kill this thief. Hearing this, the lieutenant opened his eyes sharply, then knelt on one knee and shouted. Don't leave the city. The general defending the city refused without hesitation. At this moment, wild laughter came from under the city. Ha ha ha, I'm scared to pee on my pants. Tell you, I will do what I say, and I will give you half an hour to think about it. If you don't surrender, when the city is broken, Leoxi city will be bloody. General. The last general, please fight. As long as the thief general is killed. The Golden Turban Army must be a general morale, no one will lead, and the danger in the west of Liaoning must be solved by then. Hearing this, the lieutenant shouted again. When the city guard heard this, his brow suddenly frowned, and he was silent for a moment, and then asked, Are you sure? I will be sure at the end. The thief is just relying on a large number of people. If he fights in front of the battle, he will definitely die. The lieutenant shouted without hesitation. So, you will go out of the city to meet the Golden Turban generals for a while. Remember, you can't do anything, return to the city as soon as possible, otherwise. The general defending the city suddenly became serious when he said this. Hearing this, the lieutenant nodded without hesitation, then bowed in response. The final general understands that the final general will never give the golden turban anti-thief a chance to take advantage of it. If the final will not be able to return in time, the general may close the city gate. The general defending the city heard this and fell silent. After a while, he patted the lieutenant on the shoulder, and then said, Be careful. Yes. General. Hearing this, the lieutenant's body stiffened slightly and then he bowed and responded, leading the soldiers towards the city after speaking. Not long after, the west gate of Liaxi city opened with a creak. At this moment, the sound of puff, puff weapon slashing the body rang out from inside the west city gate. General. The lieutenant has rebelled. A terrified and angry roar immediately sounded. On the city wall, the general defending the city heard this, his face changed suddenly, and then he shouted, Jiren, you are so brave. Ha ha ha, Han Dang, can't you think of it, your lieutenant will betray you. A wild laugh came from the west gate. You're not Jiren, who are you? The city defender Han Dang was shocked when he heard this, and then shouted in a loud voice. 
who is Lao Tzu? Ha ha ha, Lao Tzu is the player, the stranger in the mouths of you stupid NPCs. I persuade you to surrender. You must not surrender. You must submit to me. Otherwise, Lao Tzu will definitely kill you. That Ye Chen will accept you again. The triumphant cry reached the city wall again. When Han Dang heard this, he was furious, then looked at the guard next to him, and shouted. You all go down and kill this thief. Yes. General. Han Dang's guards all responded, and then rushed towards the city. At this moment, a loud shout came, Come on. Kill all the soldiers, not one left. The sky is dead and Huang Tian is in power. The general has orders. Kill all the big soldiers. Charge! A loud transmission sounded immediately. In the next second, the terrifying cry of killing sounded immediately. Kill! 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 Then I saw countless soldiers with golden scarves rushing towards the open west gate of Liaxi City. Han Dang's expression on the city wall changed suddenly and then he shouted, fall arrows. Next second. The swish swish burst into the air instantly, and 25,000 arrows flew up instantly, and then shot towards the golden turban army. Puff, 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 puff. The sound of arrows entering the flesh sounded in pieces, and the golden turban army killed thousands of people in an instant, while the rest were wounded. Swish swish. Swish swish. The arrows on the city wall were shot out wave after wave, and soldiers with golden scarves were shot to death continuously. However, this is useless at all. The number of the golden turban army is too much. If one is emptied, it will be filled by people behind. When Han Dang saw this, his face suddenly changed wildly, and then he shouted, Hurry up and kill that thief and close the city gate. Puff, 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 puff. The sound of a piece of weapon cutting the body sounded again, and then there was no movement. Wang Erniu, Zhang Erhu. Speak. Han Dang's expression suddenly changed when he heard that there was no movement in the city, and he hurriedly shouted. With Han Dang's yelling, frantic laughter came again. Ha ha ha, Han Dang, Lao Tzu is a king-level military commander. Your personal guards are useless. Decide quickly. The army of golden turbans will be here soon. As long as you choose to follow me, you can survive, and the people in this city can also survive. Otherwise, if you do, all will die, and you will still be infamy, because eight million people have been killed because of you. Dog thief! Dog thief! Han Mao would rather die than surrender. Han Dang's face suddenly turned green when he heard this, and then he shouted without hesitation. After shouting, he looked at the soldiers on the wall and shouted sharply. Remember, the city cannot be broken. There are your family members in the city. They will inevitably be oppressed, even tortured, and killed. They all let me go and kill the golden scarf. Yes. General. The soldiers on the wall heard this and shouted without hesitation. Han Dang nodded when he saw this and then rushed towards the city, several ups and downs reached the city, and then rushed to the city gate. However, at this time, the Golden Turban Army had already rushed to the gate of the west gate of Liaxi City, and then rushed towards the city without hesitation. Han Dang's expression suddenly changed when he saw this, then he took his weapon and killed him. The player posing as the Lieutenant Han at the gate of Zikanman, saw Han Dang rush down, his face suddenly changed, and then shouted angrily. Han Dang, the army of the Golden Turban has begun to enter the city. You are powerless to return to heaven. You have to think about it clearly. If you don't follow Lao Tzu, none of the eight million people in this city can survive. Han Dang glanced at this lieutenant fiercely, and was about to speak when a roar that shook the world and the earth came out instantly. Roar. The tyrannical, Merciless killing intent came instantly. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. This is, this is. 
After hearing this voice, the player who used the secret technique to pretend to be Vice Admiral Han, his pupils shrank sharply, and then shouted in surprise. Hey, hey, hey. Countless golden soldiers stopped because of the loud roar and looked up to the sky. There stood a huge white tiger, cold, tyrannical, and murderous tiger eyes staring at the earth. That, is that. White tiger. How could, how could there be such a big white tiger? It wants to kill us. The soldiers in the golden scarves screamed in horror one by one. The general of the Golden Turban Army in the distance shuddered in shock because of the sudden appearance of the White Tiger, and then shouted in shock. It's him, who can tell me what happened to this White Tiger. General, this, this White Tiger, is an enemy and not a friend. The lieutenant exclaimed with a pale face. Ye Chen. That's Ye Chen. Champion Ho Ye Chen. General, hurry. Give the order. Hurry up to attack the city, as long as you enter the western part of Liaoning, by who dare not kill casually. There are still people there. After passing by, he hurriedly shouted at the general of the Golden Turban Army. Champion Ho, Ye Chen. After hearing the name, the general of the Golden Turban Army tightened his right hand holding the long gun and then gasped. Obviously, he knows who the champion Ho Ye Chen is and he also knows the tyranny of the champion Ho Yechen, otherwise it wouldn't be the case. Why did champion Ho summon the white tiger? Damn. Quick. Charge me. Rush into Liaxi city. After returning to his senses, the golden turban army general roared without hesitation. The gate of the city. When Han Dang heard the name of the champion Ho Yechen, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he turned to the sky and laughed wildly, Thief, your end is here. After Han Dang roared, he rushed towards the player posing as the lieutenant with the weapon. Han Dang, don't come here for you or him. Otherwise, I will definitely kill you. The player was shocked when he saw Han Dang rushing over, and then shouted loudly. At this moment, the white tiger fell to the ground. In the next second, the white tiger that fell to the ground sprang up violently, went straight across the west gate of Liaxi city, and then landed heavily. There was a boom. The ground cracked instantly. Swish swish. Numerous sounds of breaking into the air rang out instantly, and a large number of soldiers with golden scarves were shocked and flew upside down. After taking a look at the endless golden turban army, Bai Hu let out a sky-shaking roar again. Roar. In the next second, the white tiger leaped up, then turned into a stream of light, and passed away in a flash. Boom bang bang. A series of bursts of body sound instantly sounded. The streamer disappeared and the white tiger appeared. Huge, cold, tyrannical, and ruthless. Behind him, a road filled with blood mist instantly appeared in everyone's eyes. There, the golden turban soldier disappeared without a trace, and there, the blood mist churned, eerie and terrifying. Above the city wall. The soldiers who defended the city opened their eyes wide, then raised their weapons in excitement and shouted wildly. Champion Ho Wan's hung. Wan's hung. Wan's hung. They also heard the words of the player who pretended to be a lieutenant, and knew that the white tiger was summoned by Ye Chen. And now, they saw the horror of the white tiger's blow killing millions in an instant, brutal, and ruthless. But they are not afraid, some are just excited. Because the champion Ho Yechen is Yu Hu Mu, the lord of Yu Hu. And they are the soldiers of Yu Hu. Below the city, countless golden turban soldiers looked at the emptied white area in horror. There used to be their companions there, and there were as many as millions of companions. However, in such a blink of an eye, those companions disappeared, and the bones were gone, all turned into blood mist, tumbling with the wind. The strong air continued to waft and spread with the strong wind, and the smell made them sick and shivered. The shocking visual effects strongly stimulated their nerves. Pieces of golden scarf began to move away involuntarily, and then away from the blood fog area, away from the white tiger that appeared again. Then, those people, are all, dead. 
Jin Turban Army General's boss stared at both eyes for an instant, and then stammered and shouted. General, we, let's run. A scream came from the deputy general's mouth. In the next second, the lieutenant flees without even thinking about it. He doesn't want to die, he wants to live. How can the Golden Turban soldiers be so powerful? In front of the champion Ho Yuchen, they are all ants. Unable to contend, unstoppable, if you don't run, you will die. The gate of the city. With the sound of Wu, the player impersonating the lieutenant, the weapon was instantly knocked into the air by Han Dang, and then caught by Han Dang. Taking a look at the empty city outside, Han Dang's mouth curled up, then looked at the player, and shouted fiercely, Originally, if you catch you, you should be executed, but since the champion Ho is here, he will naturally hand you over to the champion. Ho disposal. Don't. Don't. Han Dang, Uncle Han. Kill me. Kill me. Don't hand me over to Ye Chen. The player yelled in panic when he heard this. Snapped. Han Dang gave the player a slap without hesitation, and then he shouted in a deep voice, laughter. How dare you call the champion Ho directly? I, I or him, so I yelled, you or him, kill me quickly. The player was taken aback for a moment, and then roared in rage. Han Dang frowned when he heard this. This player's performance, no matter how you look at it, is all desperate for death. After taking a look at this player, Han Dang ignored him and quietly waited for Ye Chen's arrival. The player saw this, the whole person was not good, and then said with a sad expression. Nima, this is over, don't be killed by Ye Chen, if he kills. Snapped. When Han Dang heard the player call Ye Chen's name again, he slapped the player again. Grass. The player roared with an angry face. Outside the city. Bai Hu looked at the soldiers with the gold scarf who were beginning to retreat, the tiger's mouth was raised, and then he leaped forward, instantly turning into a stream of light. Boom bang bang. Boom bang bang. The sound of the body bursting into pieces continued to sound. When the streamer flashed again five times, the Golden Turban army outside Liaxi City was emptied as many times as possible. The White Tiger disappeared and Ye Chen and the Reincarnation Legion appeared immediately. Glancing at the empty land, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, and then rushed towards Liaxi City. The Samsara Legion followed, and it didn't take long before Ye Chen came to the West Gate. As soon as he got here, Han Dang threw the Five Flower Tide player beside him, and bowed forward and said, Final Han Dang, meet General Hyuki. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. Han Dang. Damn it. Could it be that Han Dang from Wu Kingdom during the Three Kingdoms period? Thinking of this, Ye Chen opened his eyes suddenly, then looked at Han Dang, and was about to speak, a cry of horror came. Ye Chen, let me go, I swear that I will quit Yuzhu Hu from now on and never do it right with you again. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, and then looked at the player who was by the big five flowers. Originally, Ye Chen thought that there was something like a gold scarf spy on the ground, but he didn't expect it to be a player pretending to be an ancient person. No matter how you look like dressed, there is no way to hide the player's identity from the natives of this world. This kid is really. Ye Chen frowned when he thought of this. Wrong. He was able to show up here, and he was tied up. Obviously, he had concealed it, Han Dang. And it was only now discovered. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Han Dang discovered that Ye Chen was observing the players on the ground and hurriedly bowed and explained. Encouraged General Hyuki, this person pretended to be the final lieutenant, and deceived the gate to open the city gate, and wanted to put a golden scarf into the city. Fortunately, the General Hyuki arrived in time and the culprit was able to succeed. When Ye Chen heard this, he instantly confirmed his guess, then looked at the players on the ground and asked, 
are Yu Tian Baguang. When the players on the ground heard this, they were taken aback, and then said inexplicably shocked. My game name is Tian Baguang, do you know me? Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he heard this. How could I not know the name of Tian Baguang, a thousand-faced demon? In Ye Chen's previous life, there was a human player with countless faces, who could become anyone's appearance and could imitate the aura of the person he changed. More importantly, he would also have an evil method of collecting yin and replenishing yang. With this ability, he has harmed countless women. The women who have been harmed by him, without exception, have become old women in their seventies and eighties. In fact, most of them are in their teens and twenties, just in time for the blooming season. If only the women in the game world suffer, the players will not care. It is not only the women in the game world who suffer, but also the female players in reality who have also been harmed by him a lot. He takes all games in reality. As long as a woman with a male partner is favored by him, it won't take long for him to succeed. Even if there is no male partner, he will take a cameo appearance as a flower-picking thief, slap in the air afterwards, and leave unrestrainedly. Among them, there are no fewer than a thousand female players who have been harmed, and there are too many women in this world. It didn't take long for him to get the title of Thousand Faces Demon, of course, it was given by the player. Countless people wanted to find out the identity of this person, caught him, and then cut them all at once, but unfortunately, they never succeeded. It wasn't until this person was soaring into the wild and wanted to repeat the tricks before he was discovered by people and then caught. Because he relied on a mask, and what the mask provided was just an illusion. In the novice zone of the Three Kingdoms, no one can see through it. But in Hong Huang, once the primordial spirit appeared, it was easy to see through the illusion. It was also at that moment that his identity was known to the players, and Tian Baguang's name was officially known to all players at that moment. Thinking of this, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, glanced at Tian Baguang on the ground, and then shouted, Hand over the mask. When Tian Baguang heard this, a trace of panic suddenly appeared in his eyes, but he did not dare to delay hurriedly put on a dazed expression, and then said. Ye Chen, what mask, what else are you talking about? Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this, pointed the gun's killer with his right hand at Tian Baguang, and then shouted, You want to die, don't make it. In the game, killing people can explode equipment, but the equipment exploded is random, not necessarily exploding the mask Ye Chen said. If Ye Chen could completely wipe out Tian Baguang with a single shot, then Tian Baguang would not be able to resurrect. Ye Chen could get the equipment on his body. But if the Spirit Killer Soul Eater feature was not triggered, then Tian Baguang would go elsewhere to resurrect. In that case, even if the mask bursts out, it will be taken away by Tian Baguang if it doesn't burst out, and the Thousand Faces Harlot will still exist. Moreover, it is difficult to find that this is not in line with Ye Chen's original intention. Otherwise, where would Ye Chen go with Tian Baguang's ink stain, and stabbed it with one shot? For Ye Chen, Tian Baguang had to be killed, and he would go to Reincarnation City in the future, or if he became too courageous, and ran to harm the beauties of history, this was not what Ye Chen wanted to see. Tian Baguang looked at the dark and thick gun killer, his pupils shrank sharply. This was what he feared the most. At this moment, the players all know why Ye Chen killed people in the game and died in reality. It was caused by the dark and thick gun in Ye Chen's hand. People who are killed by that gun will almost certainly die in reality. At this moment, Tian Baguang felt the threat of death, not a game, but a reality. When he thought that he might die in reality, Tian Baguang's pupils shrank involuntarily. No. Then you go to death for Laozi. Ye Chen saw this, sharply killing the spear stabbed Tian Baguang violently. Don't. I pay it. I pay it. Tian Baguang hurriedly shouted when he saw this. In his voice, there was a strong vibrato. He was worried, afraid, even afraid. He didn't want to be killed by Ye Chen in the game, 
and died in reality, so he gave up the idea of ignoring Ye Chen. Because Ye Chen didn't believe it at all, and planned to kill him. What's so special, Ye Chen killed him this day, how could he know that I had a mask? I only played with a few women. Tian Baguang finished thinking with a sad look, and with a touch of his face, a mask gleaming with strange light appeared in his hand. When Han Dang saw this, he immediately stepped forward and took the mask, and then he went to Ye Chen and handed the mask to Ye Chen. Ye Chen smiled and nodded at Han Dang, then took the mask and glanced at it. Mask, one of the legacy of the Mahist family. Its function transforms into the appearance of everyone, simulating the breath of the person who has changed. It's this thing. Thinking of this, Ye Chen threw the mask directly into the storage space, then looked at Tian Baguang on the ground and asked. That lieutenant was killed by you. Yes, yes. Tian Baguang swallowed, and then spoke. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes when he heard this. When Tian Baguang saw this, he was shocked and hurriedly shouted, Ye Chen. I handed over the mask. You must keep your word and let me go. When did I say that I would let you go? You are the golden turban anti-thief, and you killed Han Dang's lieutenant, and still want to live. Ye Chen smiled coldly, and then shouted. Ye Chen. Tian Baguang suddenly opened his eyes when he heard this, and hurriedly shouted. However, before he finished his words, he stopped abruptly. Seeing a shot of the killing spear pierced his heart, and then a flash of black light, Tian Baguang was silent. Do you know that Yu Hu is Lao Tzu's territory, and because of the mask, you come to harm, you think you will be fine if you say you don't come in the future. Thinking of this, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain, and then withdrew the gunslinger. Han Dang on the side took a vicious look at Tian Baguang's corpse on the ground, then looked at Ye Chen, knelt down on one knee with a bang, and then said loudly. Han Dang, I would like to follow the Lord, and beg the Lord to take in. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. But Ye Chen didn't expect Han Dang to take the initiative to take refuge. Originally, Ye Chen was still thinking about how to subdue Han Dang. Whoever came to think, Han Dang took the initiative to take refuge. At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the first class historical general, Han Dang, want to recognize you as the master. Do you accept it? After Ye Chen heard the system prompt, his eyes suddenly opened. Damn it! Samsara City is short of a water army commander, this Nima is here now, how could it not be accepted? Thinking of this, Ye Chen made a choice without hesitation. Accept. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, for gaining the allegiance of the first class historical general, Han Dang. Hearing this, Ye Chen hurriedly got off his horse, helped Han Dang up, and then laughed loudly, it's my blessing to get Han Dang's help, my luck, reincarnation. When Han Dang heard this, he was overjoyed and hurriedly bowed and said loudly, Han Dang, see the Lord. Han Dang, like Yan Ro, had heard of Ye Chen's fame early in the morning, and he had a heart to follow him early in the morning. However, after Ye Chen was promoted to the post of Yuzhu Mu and General Hussein, before he met with Yuzhu officials, the Golden Turban Rebellion broke out, so that Han Dang had not been able to see Ye Chen. And now, Han Dang saw it, not only saw it, but also saw Ye Chen's tyrannical, overbearing, unmatched. On the battlefield, a few breaths of the millions of Golden Turban army were swept away by Ye Chen. How tyrannical it is! how domineering it is. It was also at that moment that Han Dang's pursuit of heart began to become unshakable. At this moment, Ye Chen accepted him without hesitation, and his words were full of value. How could Han Dang not be excited or excited? At this moment, the world announcement immediately sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for winning the first class historical military commander, 
Han Dang's allegiance, because of his special status, the player Ye Chen is rewarded with 10 million gold. The world announcement was repeated three times, once again detonating the entire world channel. Fuck. Are you making a mistake, I just received Yan Ro before, how long has it been for Nima, and Han Dang? Do you want to play happily? The special Han Dang is the commander of the navy. Ye Chen's reincarnation city has no navy. This Nima, doesn't it mean that Ye Chen will be invincible in the future water battles? That's right, I'm not convinced. I managed to get 10,000 navy soldiers, so I was left with the navy general. Ye Chen is ready. Before the navy is built, Nima got the navy general. Grass. Cheating isn't that cheating. The system doesn't restrict Ye Chen to Mao, doesn't deal with Ye Chen, don't tell Lao Tzu that his Ye Chen is a relative of the system. Hey, boss Ye Chen is the best, you have to accept if you don't accept it. Boss Ye Chen, beg you to take me. Sincerely. I swear. Never betray boss Ye Chen. Yet, yeah, boss Ye Chen, take us, many of us, but all of them are fans of boss Ye Chen, and we are fans. We are all individual players, not lords. We just want to follow the boss of Ye Chen for some benefits. I will never trick Ye Chen's boss behind his back. Yet, yeah, boss Ye Chen, take us, we are all individual players not the lords who want to fight for the world hegemony with boss Ye Chen. Hey, what is good about being a little brother Ye Chen, can't you see that Ye Chen doesn't accept anyone as a little brother at all? That's right, being a little brother Ye Chen will be good? Tell you, don't think about it, come to Lao Tzu to sign up early, I can give you a dogleg position, come late, but you don't even have a dogleg position. Up. Ha ha ha. Lao Tzu is the lord, the real world has also built territories, and it also has the function of safe cities. I am not afraid to tell you that safe cities will not be safe for a long time. I believe you will find out that if you want to survive, you can quickly come to Lao Tzu to sign up. Become Lao Tzu's little brother, otherwise, your fate will be miserable. Ha ha ha, scumbags of the human race, what's the use of building territories? Once the security attribute expires, you will all be the rations of my monster race. Ah ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. Hey, hum, human women, they are the best. Old pig likes to eat them the most. Human women can not only eat, but also play, old pig, don't waste it. Quack. The world channel is very lively, and the discussion of the human race and the monster race is constantly refreshing. Ye Chen glanced at it, and then frowned. The human race is weak, and the monster race is tyrannical. No matter the previous life or this life, it has not changed because of Ye Chen. Of course, Ye Chen changed Ye Chen himself. Ye Chen was the first person in the human race, the first person in the human race to crush the demon race. Counting Ye Chen, human race is not weak. However, after eliminating Ye Chen, the human race is still in a state of bullying by the demon race just like the previous life, and it will continue for a long, long time. To fight against the monster race, what is needed is the unity of human beings. Unfortunately. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes were cold. This is an unsolvable topic. After the meteor falls, people's desires and hopes are infinitely magnified. 99% of people believe that people are not for themselves, and the heavens are destroyed. The situation of uniting and then confronting the monster race will occasionally occur several times, and then it will be self-defeating. No one is willing to sacrifice for the human race, they will only work hard to save their lives, work hard to become stronger, and work hard to become a master. Low-pitched, lingering, is a true portrayal of many people. Ye Chen naturally saw the speeches of the sincere players who wanted to be little brothers on the world channel. It's just that Ye Chen wasn't tempted at all. It's impossible to accept the younger brother, even if among those people, there are those who really want to be younger brothers. Moreover, even if the younger brother is accepted, it is not now. 
Ye Chen has not yet identified the ability of human loyalty in the current world, and has nothing to restrict human players. The most important thing is that although Ye Chen is strong, he is only in the current world, in the novice zone of the Three Kingdoms. At this moment, Ye Chen was not the kind of peerless powerhouse who could destroy the stars with a wave of his hand. If Ye Chen's heart is soft, then Ye Chen is likely to encounter unexpected situations. Being poisoned by others, being secretly designed to plot and so on. Because Ye Chen's real world has a reincarnation city, and the game world is even more like Yu's Hu Mu, General Huzar, and Champion Ho. No one wants to replace Ye Chen's position, no one wants to get everything about Ye Chen. If given the opportunity, 99% of people will do it, and they don't hesitate. In this morally degraded world, there will only be one result, death. Ye Chen understands this, and also understands this, how could he be a stepping stone for others because of his kindness? Thinking of this, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, then looked at Han Dang and said. Take people to clean the battlefield, turn in those above the diamond level, and keep the rest for your own use. Remember, no foreigners are allowed to enter the city. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Yes. Lord. Han Dang hurriedly bowed when he heard this. Ye Chen nodded, and then led the Samsara Legion towards the city lord's mansion. After Ye Chen left, Han Dang immediately took the soldiers to clean the battlefield, picking up the items exploded by the army of Golden Turban one by one. After the battlefield was cleaned, the gate of Liaxi city was closed immediately. At this time, the players who came from Yangle County just came here and looked at the blood-red ground outside the city of Liaxi. The players' eyes widened one by one. Fuck. Ye Chen summoned White Tiger again, how many people have to be killed? On the Dehan's military merit list, Ye Chen's military merits directly soared by more than 20 million, and the number of gold turbans killed must be quite large. Wipe, how can this battlefield be so clean? Yeah, Nima, I'm still thinking about picking up some equipment, now it's all right. I don't have any hair. We are late, if we come early, we can pick it up. In other words, did Ye Chen leave, or did he go to Liaxi City? I shouldn't leave. Ye Chen came here with only his bodyguards, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, and Jace Hun. They went to Liaodong. Ye Chen should be here to wait for them, and when they arrive, they will go west. I'll rub, if that's the case. Then we will also go to Liaxi City, and change the horse there by the way, so that we can keep up. Yes, yes, Ye Chen's soldiers are riding horses and rhinos when they go to Liaxi City. They don't have war horses. It's really hard to follow. Players will walk towards Liaxi City after you finish talking, but no matter what they call the gate, the gate just won't open. All of a sudden, the players thundered and cursed. However, no matter how they curse, Han Dang just refused to open the gate. Although Han Dang didn't understand Ye Chen's order, he would still carry it out thoroughly. If Han Dang knew that the players were going to follow Ye Chen to fish in troubled waters, he would immediately be able to react to what Ye Chen's command meant. Ye Chen is trying to force the players in Yu's Hu to die. It's okay to pick up the bargain, but if you don't sell your life, just wait for it to be wiped out by the Golden Turban Army and the overwhelming monster race. Ye Chen is not interested in leading the players to participate in the Golden Turban Rebellion and the Monster Race Rebellion. Because no one would sincerely obey Ye Chen's orders, especially the desperate orders. Of course, if Ye Chen promises heavy profits, the players will work hard. But Ye Chen has the strength and power. Why should he promise to others to keep the reincarnation city in development? Therefore, Ye Chen directly ordered the closure of the city gates, not giving the players a way out, forcing them to go to the battlefield to fight the Yeazu Golden Turban. It's okay if you don't have a decisive battle, you can only watch it from behind, you can't get merits, you won't get merits. If you want to get the benefits, 
you can either follow the killing of the golden turban and the demon race, or you can only quit use who. Simply picking things up on the battlefield is just the next strategy for the player. Regardless of whether it is the golden turban or the demon race, after killing it, you can gain a lot of experience, as well as military exploits and merits, which are more than picking up equipment. Of course, equipment techniques are also important, but if Ye Chen is there, what they want to explode directly depends on whether Ye Chen agrees or not. Leoxi City, City Lord's Mansion As soon as Ye Chen arrived, officials large and small in Leoxi City rushed to see him. Ye Chen couldn't help being disappointed after seeing it one by one. There are no famous people in it. However, there are some people who have some ability, otherwise they will not be able to manage Leoxi City. Ye Chen simply ordered them to return to their posts and manage Leoxi City. Han Dang came to the hall after waiting for officials of all sizes to leave. As soon as he entered the door, Han Dang bowed and said, See the Lord. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then asked, Han Dang, is the battlefield cleaned up? Master Qi, the battlefield has been cleaned, but there are only five diamond level or higher equipment, and there are only 32 king level techniques. Han Dang nodded, then bowed in response. Ye Chen couldn't help but smiled when he heard this, and then said, if the golden turban anti-thief is well equipped, the big man might be really dangerous. Han Dang was taken aback for a moment, then bowed and said, the Lord's words are not bad. Most of the golden turban rebels were born in poverty. They were bewitched by Zhang Jiao to participate in the rebellion. They really didn't have any sophisticated equipment. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Han Dang and asked. Han Dang, how long can the grain in Liaoxi City last? I mean, if you add the grain from the rich businessmen and the gentry, how long can it last? Earlier, Ye Chen met with officials of all sizes in Western Liaoning and did not inquire about this matter. Because they couldn't tell the truth, they were all big families in Liaoxi City and it was impossible to tell how much of their food. In the year of catastrophe, they only think about their own interests at the first time, rather than thinking about the life and death of the people. Ye Chen knew this well, otherwise Ye Chen would have asked. When Han Dang heard this, his eyes suddenly opened, and he hurriedly bowed and said, Lord, if the tyrants can take out the grain, the eight million people in the western city of Liaoning can support at least two years. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, and then he asked, Do you know the approximate amount of food stocked by the tycoons? Enlightened Lord, the exact number will not be known at all, but the approximate number will eventually be inferred to eight or nine. Han Dang bowed and said without hesitation. Ye Chen squinted his eyes when he heard this, then looked at Guo Yi and shouted. Feng Xiao issued a notice saying that I would buy food at twice the usual price of food to solve the food and clothing problem of the people in the city. The major food merchants and gentry are not allowed to hide food privately, but only leave the food used by the whole family for two years. Guo Yi was taken aback for a moment, then bowed and said, Master, if this notice is issued, I am afraid that it will not have much effect. Those grain merchants and tyrants will probably only give out a little grain to deal with the Lord. Ye Chen squinted his eyes when he heard this, and then said, they'd better obey orders, otherwise, Yus who will no longer have a foothold for them. Lord, are you planning to kill? Guo Yi was shocked when he heard this, and hurriedly bowed and asked. Ye Chen glanced at Guo Yi, who was extremely anxious, and then asked. Is Feng Xiao worried about Yu Su's instability? It is true, Lord, although these tyrants are not strong, the combined strength should not be underestimated. Once the Lord deals with those tyrants in western Liaoning, the tyrants in other cities in Yu Su will inevitably endanger themselves, and it is very likely that they will unite and oppose the Lord. Guo Yi nodded with a heavy face, then bowed and said, Feng Xiao, do you know? Where is the foundation of this world? Ye Chen laughed, and then asked. When Guo Yi heard this, he was taken aback, and then he said, The foundation of the world is naturally the people. Ye Chen nodded, 
and then said domineeringly. Feng Xiao is right. The foundation of the world is the people, not the tycoons. In Yu's Hu, the obedient gentry can continue to keep because they have no intention of opposing me. If they are not compliant, how can I keep them to create chaos? The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Guo Yi heard this, he was taken aback for a moment, and then suddenly realized. At this moment, Ye Chen is the lord of Yu's Hu, the great general of the Huzars of the Han Empire, the champion, the status is noble, and the status is transcendent. And the city of Samsara is strong and powerful, with a lot of money, and there is no need to consider the possible influence of those gentry. You can let go and rectify those tycoons. To put it simply, those who follow Yuchen will prosper, and those who oppose Yuchen will die. Thinking of this, Guo Yi hurriedly bowed and said, Master, Jia is too jealous of the power of those tyrants, please forgive the Lord. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, and then said. Feng Xiao will bear in mind that no matter how powerful the gentry is or how powerful it is, the obedience can live, and the rebellious will kill without mercy. This world will never allow the existence of tyrants who disobey my orders. There will be one kill and one ten thousand. Kill ten comma zero zero zero. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi suddenly opened his eyes when he heard this, and then bowed heavily in response. Master, this matter will be left to the end, and the end will guarantee that no gentry will be allowed to cheat. Han Dang exhaled at this time, then bowed loudly and worshipped. At this moment, Han Dang was very excited, even excited. Because Ye Chen, the Lord, didn't think about the interests of tyrants, but the interests of the people, and he was ready to let go of rectifying Western Liaoning and even the whole Yu's Hu. This is what a wise and martial emperor should do, instead of worrying about the power of the gentry, compromise and then compromise, regardless of the life and death of the people. In that way, how can Yu's Hu be stable, peaceful and prosperous? Ye Chen heard this, glanced at Han Dang, and then shouted. Okay. This matter is left to you. After Feng Xiao posted the notice, act immediately. If you comply, write it down and keep it for later use. If you don't comply, you will search the golden turban and rebel against the party. If you find food, you will immediately be punished with rebellion. If the food is moved away, dare to resist and kill without mercy. Ye Chen bought grain at twice the market price and left the gentry family with rations for two years. They couldn't starve to death at all. If you don't follow Ye Chen's orders like this, then you are doing the right thing with Ye Chen, and how could Ye Chen be soft? Yes. Lord. Han Dang heard this and bowed without hesitation. Master, Ji, here is going to write the notice. Guo Yi looked at Ye Chen at this time, and then bowed in prayer. Go. Ye Chen nodded, and then spoke. Guo Yi bowed again, and then took Han Dang out of the hall of the city lord's mansion. Not long after, a notice about the purchase of grain was posted in Liaxi City, which caused a sensation in an instant. XX House Damn, what does Ye use who mean? Is he going to cut our roots? Yeah, the market price is twice that, doesn't he know that the price of food has doubled five times now, and there is still no market? He is fighting with us again. The order goes on and the gate of the palace is closed tightly so that no one is allowed to enter. XX House The thief. The thief. I have worked so hard to save such a small amount of grain, and half of it was purchased at a high price. Ye use who wanted to my grain with a notice. Why? We must not sell it. We will lose money if we sell it. It is hard to catch up with the disaster year, and we have accumulated a large amount of grain. The more expensive the grain is, how can we sell it so cheaply? Yes, we can't sell it, not only we can't sell it, we have to send someone to Luoyang to sue this Ye Chen, he is guilty of corruption and persecution, and is not worthy of being Yu's Hu shepherd. XX House 
This General Huzar is not good at coming. This order reveals murderous intentions. Although it is not explicitly stated, but I am not mistaken, if my Wang family does not follow the notice, it will be a disaster. Champion Ho Zhen dare not kill him. If he didn't dare, he wouldn't have issued such a notice as soon as he arrived in Liaxi. Then what to do? Is it true that according to the notice, the food will only be used by the whole family for two years, and the rest will be sold to him? To sell, you must sell, not only to sell, but also to sell at the original price. Remember, this can't be sloppy, otherwise the Wang family will definitely be removed from Yu's Hu. The gates of the gentry mansions one after another were closed, ignoring the notices posted by Ye Chen. However, at this moment, there are some tycoons who are transporting grain out of the city in carts and carts to the city lord's mansion, and they are sold to Ye Chen at the lowest price. After Ye Chen got the news, he directly ordered the tyrants to take the gentry to the city lord's mansion to drink and eat. When Ye Chen received these tyrants who took the initiative, Han Dang raised the butcher knife in the western city of Liaoning, and the blood flowed from the murder of the tyrants one after another. In the beginning, Han Dang didn't make any cruel attacks. Whoever thought it was, but the tyrants were used to domineering. They attacked Han Dang's soldiers, and another soldier was shot to death by the tyrant's thugs. This immediately angered him. Han Dang, directly attacked. Nima, when defending the city, they huddled at home one by one and refused to give any effort. The army of Nima who came to commit the crime was destroyed, and each of them pretended to be forceful and even dared to kill. How could Han Dang not be angry? These tycoons who dared to kill others had their children serving as officials in the west of Liaoning, otherwise they would not be so bold. Han Dang had some worries before, and now he has followed Ye Chen, so there is no such worries. And that was what Ye Chen gave him, so why didn't he dare to do it? After receiving a report from the soldiers, Ye Chen was immediately furious when he learned that a soldier had been killed. He sent the Samsara Legion directly over. All of a sudden, many tyrants were frightened, and they dared not resist any more, resisting Ye Chen. Not only did he honestly hand over the food, but he also paid nothing. Unfortunately, they were already on Guo Yi's blacklist. Before long, all the thugs in these families were arrested, and among their families' children, some of them were serving in the western part of Liaoning. They were also removed and replaced with those from the family that had been with Ye Chen from the beginning. Child. Of course, these people had all gone through Ye Chen's interview. They were incapable, so Ye Chen didn't use them. The dark night, cool breeze, but mixed with a little breath. Ye Chen's thunder means completely changed the officialdom of Western Liaoning, and it also attracted a smashing applause from the people. Because after Ye Chen got the grain again, he opened the warehouse and put the grain directly. There are 8 million people in the city, more than 80% of them have no food in their homes, and there is not much money in them. If you want to eat a full meal, there is no other way than government relief. How could the people dislike Ye Chen's decision, how could they be unhappy? Because all of this appeared for them to be able to eat and not starve to death. The people are grateful, grateful, and moved, how can they say that Ye Chen is cruel? Not to mention, the arrival of Ye Chen solved the crisis of the collapse of Liaxi City. It can be said that without Ye Chen, once Liaxi City was destroyed, these people, even those tyrants, would be persecuted 100% unimaginably. Except for those gentry families who have been reorganized, there is no one who does not miss Ye Chen's good in Liaxi City. City Lord's Mansion, The Hall After listening to Guo Yi's report on the situation in the city, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then he said, Yes, yes, popular support. As soon as Ye Chen finished speaking, a soldier from the Samsara Legion hurried in and bowed on one knee and said loudly, Master Qi, General Zhao Yunzhen, General Dian Xiong, General Jace Hun, and General Zhao Meng have already arrived with troops. Liaxi City. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, 
the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. The golden scarf on Liao Dong's side was emptied in one day. Congratulations, General Yun Zhen, General Dian Xiang, General Jace Hun, and General Zhao Ming. They must be advancing all the way and have wiped out the golden scarves in Liao Dong. Guo Yi bowed and said with a smile at this time. Han Dang was stunned when he heard this, and then a shocked look appeared in his eyes. Ye Chen had just brought his troops out. Han Dang had already heard about this from Guo Yi, and now, how long has passed, the golden turban anti-thief on the Liao Duong side has been wiped out. This speed is not just about being equipped. Of. Ha ha ha, Feng Xiao is right, go, go to the east city gate. Ye Chen laughed, and then said. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi and Han Dang bowed in response and then followed Ye Chen towards the East City Gate. Not long after, Ye Chen brought Han Dang and Guo Yi to the East City Gate. After a creak, the East Gate of Liaxi City opened. Farewell to the Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng knelt on one knee together, and said loudly. Hey! Fourth, Wan Dajin, who also knelt on one knee in a moment, said loudly. Meet the Lord. The sound was uniform and uniform, and the sound shook the sky. After taking a look at the blood-stained robes on the four of them, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then walked a few steps to Zhao Yunzhen, Zhao Meng, Dian Xiang, and Gao Shun. He lifted the four of them one by one, and then heavily said, Thanks for your hard work. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng warmed their hearts together, and then bowed in prayer. For the Lord, even if we die, we have no regrets or regrets. Enter the city. Ye Chen nodded heavily when he heard this, and then shouted. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Zhao Meng, Dian Xiang, and Gao Shun Kai bowed in prayer, and then led an army of 400,000 and followed Ye Chen into the western city of Liaoning. Ye Chen has entered the city here, and the players who were left outside the city before are unhappy one by one. They also want to go to the city and rest outside, no matter how comfortable it is to rest in the city, and they don't have to worry about it. Unfortunately, no one dared to step forward. Because in the daytime, they had been noisy, but unfortunately, the gate of Liaxi city just didn't open. And now, Ye Chen's 400,000 Reincarnation City Army is here, and the players dare not speak casually. Don't you dare to speak, isn't it a court death? No one dares to challenge Ye Chen's patience at this time. Looking at the army of Samsara City continuously entering Liaxi City, a player sighed for a long time, and then said. People are more popular than others, see you, Ye Chen's soldiers, all diamond level equipment, I am a grass the best thing on me is silver. Compare with anyone, and don't compare with Ye Chen. He is a pervert, and his soldiers have such good equipment. Nima, I don't think no one can control Ye Chen. Stop Ye Chen. Don't be nonsense. Can Ye Chen stay in any way? Let's not talk about the people he kills in the game. In reality, he may die. Only the soldiers under his hand can easily if everyone is unsatisfied, unless everyone is united, Ye Chen may not be able to do so. Everyone is united? Do you think this will happen? If Ye Chen contends for the supremacy of the world, it might appear, but do you think that when Ye Chen contends for the supremacy of the world, what will his power become? It doesn't matter to me how strong Ye Chen is. What I am thinking now is why Ye Chen didn't call us into the city. You haven't seen it yet? Ye Chen is forcing us to go to the battlefield. Fuck. I've been wondering before. We are not players in the Golden Scarf camp. Why didn't Ye Chen tell us to enter the city? It turned out to be like this. It's not easy for Nima to fish in troubled waters. It's okay to fish in troubled waters, but if you want to make a profit, you have to work hard and desperately. Ye Chen must have meant this. Otherwise, 
he would expel us directly, or even kill us, let alone Ye Chen dare not, that change, I dare to do everything. Ye Chen is already interesting enough. Compared with some lord players, Ye Chen is already a kind person. Don't you know that one of my classmates is with a lord, Nima, she doesn't treat my classmate as a human being. When the good stuff was reached, it was also snatched by the lord the first time. My classmate did not dare to resist, because after resisting, not only is it dangerous in reality, but the game will also be killed to level zero. City Lord's Mansion, The Hall After Ye Chen sat in the main seat, he immediately looked at Zhao Yunzhen and asked, Yunzhen, what's the situation in Liaodong? When Zhao Yun heard Ye Chen's question, he hurriedly bowed and said, My Lord Kizai, there are no less than 20 million gold towel soldiers in Liaodong. There are countless villages destroyed by gold towels, and some small counties have been destroyed by gold towels. However, at this moment, all the gold towels in Liaodong area have been beheaded, and the captured counties have also been taken. Recover. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he heard this. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Zhao Meng, and Gao Shun are worthy of being historical generals. This work of siege and land grabbing is fast. Thinking of this, Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then asked, How about the soldiers' casualties? Enlighten the Lord, thanks to the equipment bestowed by the Lord, Bai Ma Yi has no casualties from here. Zhao Yun smiled when he heard this, then bowed and said. Ye Chen laughed, then looked at Dian Xiang. Seeing Ye Chen looking over, Dian Xiang hurriedly bowed and said, Master, the soldiers under the command of the last general have no casualties. Gao Shun, Zhao Meng didn't wait for Ye Chen to look over, he hurriedly bowed and said, Master, the soldiers under the command of the last general have no casualties. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, then nodded in satisfaction, and said, Okay, well done. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he immediately looked at the maid at the door and said, Go, bring the wine and food. When the maid at the door heard this, she hurriedly bowed and said, Yes. Master Zhou Mu. After speaking, she hurried to prepare wine and food. Zhao Yunzhen looked at Ye Chen at this time, hesitated, then bowed and said, Master, Liao Duong, Suan Tuo, Lelang, the four county officials in charge of the storage of food are not much, and the price of food in the city has risen to the usual eight. Double, if it takes a long time, I'm afraid. Ye Chen frowned when he heard this. This is the situation again. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at Han Dang, and then shouted. Han Dang, tomorrow you will lead your troops to Liaodong, Suan Tuo, Lelang, and the four counties of Liaodong, and do it in accordance with the method of Liaoxi. No matter who you are, if you resist, even if it is resistance, don't let your heart down. When Han Dang heard this, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he stepped out of the queue, knelt on one knee, and said loudly, Final, obey. Ding, Han Dang's loyalty is plus ten, advanced to die loyal. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows after hearing the system prompt. Yes, yes, another diehard. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Thinking of this, Ye Chen immediately looked at Han Dang and said, Han Dang, Liaodong, Suintu, Lelang, and the four counties in Liaoning are no better than Liaoxi. Don't be careful when you go here. If it is dangerous, you can abandon your plan and return first, and then liquidate later. Han Dang was stunned when he heard this, and his heart suddenly warmed. In the west of Liaoning, Han Dang was a general defending the city and had military power. However, after going to the four counties of Liaodong, Suan Tuo, Lelang, and Fang, Han Dang was an outsider. It is unclear whether the officials in the four counties will buy Ye Chen's account. Coupled with the alliance of the local gentry, there is definitely a danger. Originally, Han Dang thought that Ye Chen didn't know about it, but he didn't expect that Ye Chen not only knew it, 
but also bluntly said that he could not do anything. This was for Han Dang's consideration. How could Han Dang fail to see it? It was because of seeing it that Han Dang was moved in his heart. Thinking of this, Han Dang took a deep breath, and after spitting it out for a long time, he bowed heavily and said, Yes. Lord. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, as he was about to speak, a stretched voice came from outside the door. Report. Ye Chen followed his reputation and saw a soldier hurriedly ran over. As soon as he entered the door, he knelt on one knee and said loudly. Enlightened Master Zhou Mu, there is a group of soldiers outside the city, claiming to be ordered by Lu Yan to enter the city to open a list and recruit Yuzhu who volunteers. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he heard this. Lu Yan is out of the list and recruits volunteers. The small historical plot of Daowen's Three Knots is about to begin. Uncle Lu Huang, Zhang San, Guan Er. At this time, there were monsters everywhere over there, with golden scarves, and Lu Yan's men could not go to Zhou County alone. In other words, I don't even think about the beginning of the historical plot of Daowen's Three Knots in Zhou County. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's mouth curled up, then looked at the soldiers, and said, let them into the city. Yes. Master Zhou Mu. Hearing this, the soldier hurriedly bowed and ran to convey Ye Chen's order. Guo Yi frowned at this moment, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said. Lord, Lu Yan is a relative of the emperor, and he recruited volunteers from the list. It makes sense, but at the moment, the Lord of Yu's who is the Lord. Lu Yan's move is very likely to affect the Lord's prestige. When Ye Chen heard this, he couldn't help but smile, then looked at Guo Yi and said. Feng Xiao's words are not bad. If I ignore it, it is really possible that Lu Yan will give him a yin once. When Ye Chen said this, he curled his lips in disdain, and then shouted. Feng Xiao, in my name, recruiting soldiers from Yuzhu on the list, the requirement is to start with the sea level according to the standards of Reincarnation City. Ye Chen is the lord of Yuzhu, and recruiting soldiers from Yuzhu was justified in the past. However, Lu Yan recruited volunteers. The two were no different at first glance. They were both soldiers. But in fact, the difference between the two is as big as the sky. Lu Yan recruited volunteers and would not give weapons, armors, horses, and other items, all of which were carried by the volunteers. But Ye Chen recruited the regular army, who gave out weapons and armors with rations and various blessings and benefits. As soon as Ye Chen's bulletin is issued, anyone in Yuzhu who is willing to respond will choose Ye Chen instead of Lu Yan as long as they are not stupid. When Guo Yi heard this, his eyes suddenly lit up, and then he bowed in response, Yes. Lord. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, and said, Take care tonight, and tomorrow morning, the soldiers will send you to Beeping City. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng bowed in response when he heard this. Before long, the maids brought in the wine and food, and after some food and drink, everyone went to rest. The next day, at dawn, Ye Chen took Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, Guo Yi, and the 410,000 army of Reincarnation City, and went straight to Beeping City on the right. The players outside Liaxi City, seeing this, hurriedly followed. Just as Ye Chen thought, none of these players left Yu's Hu, and they all planned to follow behind to kill the demon clan, kill the golden scarves, and reap the benefits. Right to Beeping City. The endless golden turban army is violently attacking the four walls of Yubaping City. On the siege ladder, the golden turban soldiers chanted slogans and climbed up without fear of death, wanting to attack the city wall. Above the city wall, the big Han soldiers drew bows and shot arrows, threw stones and rolling logs, and tried their best to stop the attack of the golden soldiers. Shocking shouts, screams, and angry shouts constantly echoed on the battlefield. On the four walls of Beeping City on the right, bloodstains can be seen everywhere, 
and some even flow from the walls to the ground. And under the city, the twisted corpse did not know how many layers were piled up. The siege has been going on for a long time, and the Golden Turban Army has suffered heavy casualties. However, all this failed to stop the crazy behavior of the Golden Turban soldiers. They attacked the city wall frantically one by one, constantly attacking the city, then attacking the city, and then they were smashed by falling rocks and shot down by bows and arrows. If it were normal, these golden soldiers would have been afraid because of the huge casualties, and then flinched or even retreated. Because they are not a regular army, they have not received training, and they have never been on the battlefield before. However, they did not fear, did not flinch, and did not retreat. If Ye Chen were here, he would immediately be able to see that these golden turban soldiers were all soldiers who had drunk Zhang Jiaofu Shui. They had no fear in their hearts for a long time, only the enthusiasm for Zhang Jiao was left, without fear of death. Kill. Kill me. The general defending the city looked at the golden soldiers who were attacking the city, his face was green and roared. He did not expect that the golden turban soldiers were so crazy, no one was afraid of death. It's just that it's not the key to hitting the golden turban soldiers, they will still climb along the siege ladder towards the city wall. At this moment, a stretched report came. Report. Report to General, the West Wall arrows are in a hurry. Report. Report to General, arrow on the South City Wall, rolling wood in a hurry. Dangerous reports came over time after time, and after hearing this, the general defending the city changed his face again and again. With insufficient defense equipment and insufficient arrows, no matter how capable he is, there is nothing he can do. At this moment, a panic-stricken report came. Report. General, West City Wall, a large number of golden scarf skills are coming up. The general defending the city heard this, his face suddenly changed, and then roared angrily, quick. Go to the West Wall for reinforcements. The city wall must not be lost. If the city wall is captured by the Golden Turban soldiers, then Beeping City will be in danger. At that time, everyone in the city will face the looting of the Golden Turban army. After the city guard finished roaring, he rushed towards the West Wall with his guards. However, not even a few steps after he ran, a stretched voice sounded again. Report, General, the southern city wall, a large number of golden scarves have attacked. Damn it! If there are enough arrows, and if there are enough defense equipment, how can this golden scarf go up the city wall? Hearing this, the general defending the city turned pale, and then he yelled from the sky. At this moment, a roar that shook the world suddenly came. Roar. The tyrannical and ruthless killing intent also swayed toward the earth recklessly for a moment. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The defender of the city was taken aback for a moment, then turned and looked at the eastern sky. There, a huge white tiger stood in the air, and two rugged tiger eyes stared at the ground coldly. The next second, the white tiger fell to the ground, and then disappeared from the city's guard. At this moment, a stretched voice came. Report, to the general, Master Zhou Mu has led an army of 410,000 soldiers and has come to the east of the city. When the city guard heard this, his eyes suddenly opened. At this moment, he finally realized that what happened to the white tiger was called by Yu Zhu Mu Yuchen. Thinking of this, the city defender suddenly looked up to the sky and laughed. Ha ha ha, God bless you right in beeping city. Once the Master Zhou Mu arrives, how can the crumbs be mad? Master State Shepherd is here, we are safe. You beeping city is saved. Fortunately, thank God, thank Master Zhou Mu, the little family can finally be safe and sound. Soldiers on the wall, you express your inner excitement every word. The city defender saw this place, exhaled a long breath, and then shouted, Quick! Kill all the golden turban soldiers who are on the wall. They must not be asked to seize the wall, otherwise, 
we are the sinners of the right beeping city, and even more so. Add trouble to Master Zhou Mu. Yes. General. The soldiers on the city wall shouted in unison, and then rushed to the city wall that was attacked by the golden turban soldiers on both sides. Right beeping city, east of the city. After the white tiger fell to the ground, he immediately wrapped Ye Chen and the reincarnation legion in it. Looking at the extremely dense army of golden turbans, Ye Chen inside the white tiger opened his mouth and shouted. Clean up the remaining golden soldiers here, and then head to the north of the city to behead the army of the golden scarves in the north, leaving no one behind. Ye Chen's doing this was naturally to leave some soldiers with golden turbans to train for the army in the city of reincarnation. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Zhao Meng, Gao Shun, and Dian Xiang bowed in response when he heard this. Bai Hu nodded, jumped, and then turned into a stream of light, flashing away. Boom boom boom. Countless explosions sounded. I saw where the streamer passed, the soldiers with the golden turban, without exception, all disappeared, leaving only the blood mist that kept churning. The army of golden turbans, which was still densely packed, was instantly emptied. The soldiers on the east wall of Beeping City on the right, the bosses with their mouths open, looked at the golden turban soldiers who had disappeared from the city with a shocked expression on their faces. This, so powerful. A soldier swallowed with a good ong, and then shouted in shock. Good, so strong. Master Zhou Mu is more powerful than the rumors, and more powerful. Just as the soldiers on the east city wall were in shock and inexplicable discussions, the white tiger that reappeared, jumped again, then turned into a streamer, and rushed straight to the south of Beeping City on the right. At the same time, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, Qi Qi raised their weapons and shouted, Charge! Kill! 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 Shocking shouts of killing sounded immediately. In the next second, the 400,000 army of Reincarnation City rushed towards the remaining golden soldiers who had been specially left behind by Ye Chen. Boom rumble. Thousands of horses galloped, the earthquake trembled, and the tyrannical murderous aura immediately rose up and went straight to the army of the Golden Towel. Within a few breaths, the 400,000 army came to the front of the Golden Turban army, and the ruthless harvest mode was instantly activated. Pieces of golden turban soldiers were stabbed to death and flew away. The army of 400,000 reincarnation city kept moving forward, and then forward, charging and charging again, no matter whether the soldiers of the golden turban were afraid or not, whether they were crazy or not, they could not stop the army of the reincarnation city from charging. Right beeping city, south gate. Boom boom boom. Pieces of body cracking sounded again. After a few times, the soldiers in the south of the right beeping city were emptied as many, leaving only the fog. However, the white tiger did not stop there. The soldiers on the southern city wall stared straight to the west with shocked gazes. Right beeping city, west of the city. Report. General. It's not good, the southern army was killed by the white tiger. A cry of horror suddenly came. The general of the Golden Turban Army heard this, his pupils shrank and then shrank, and then shouted in surprise. What are you talking about? The White Tiger was made by General Huzar Ye Chen? It was killed all at once. As soon as the general of the Golden Turban Army spoke about this, he saw a huge White Tiger suddenly appearing in the west of the city, and then it leaped and turned into a stream of light in a flash. Boom boom boom. After a series of body cracks sounded, the golden turban army in the west of the city disappeared by half in an instant. Seeing that the subordinates who were still there just now turned into fog in the sky, the general of the golden turban army shivered abruptly, and then shouted in horror. Withdraw. Quickly withdraw. He wants to leave here, run as fast as he can. By who was too ferocious, so ferocious that it scared him and made him desperate. After he finished shouting, he turned the horse's head without hesitation, turned and ran. However, it was late, 
and he had just ran a few steps, suddenly freeze, and then a series of bang 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 popping sound turned into a mist in the sky. The Golden Turban Army in the west of Beeping City on the right, together with the generals of the Golden Turban Army, were completely destroyed. At this moment, the White Tiger dispersed, and Ye Chen and the Samsara Legion immediately appeared. Master Zhou Mu Wan's hung. A burst of shouts rang from the city wall. In the next second, a loud cry came in an instant. Master Zhou Mu Wan's hung. Wan's hung. Wan's hung. The soldiers on the wall raised their weapons in excitement and shouted loudly. Ye Chen couldn't help but smile when he glanced at the elated soldier defending the right beeping city on the wall. At this moment, the roar of the earth suddenly sounded together with the sound of birds that shook the sky. Ye Chen suddenly opened his eyes when he heard this, then turned to look west. I saw the sky, and countless huge individual birds flew towards here, covering the sky and the sun. On the ground, there is an endless army of beasts. Seeing this, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and the cold light flashed away. Ye Chen already knew the news that the demons had gathered in Yuz Hu. As for their purpose, Ye Chen also knew that they came to Ye Chen, the first person in the human race. It's just that in Yuz Hu, there has not yet been a city that has been broken by the Golden Scarf or the Yeazu. Otherwise, the world announcement would have sounded. It was precisely because no city was breached that Ye Chen guessed that the monster army was still fighting with the army of the Han Empire. But what Ye Chen didn't expect was that the monster clan was so courageous that he rushed over here directly. Relying on the large number and wings, do you think you are invincible? As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, a wild laugh came over. Ha ha ha, is the human in front of Ye Chen, the first human being. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The moment the sound hits the ground, a huge black eagle with its wings spread over a hundred meters, with a group of huge birds, suddenly begins to dive. In a flash, he came to the low altitude a hundred meters in front of Ye Chen and looked at Ye Chen fiercely. A vulture looked at Ye Chen, and after the reincarnation legion, opened his mouth and shouted. This person must be Ye Chen. Look at the equipment on those soldiers. It seems to be human race diamond level equipment. The whole body is shiny and the rhinoceros they ride. With this golden pegasus, it is very similar to Ye Chen in the human mouth. Like. Ha ha ha, I finally found Ye Chen, this time I want him to see how powerful our monster clan is. Tell him to pretend to be okay, his legs are mine. Hey, I want his arm. I have wrapped his crotch. Don't grab it, take one bite at a time, and check the position in the mouth. Twitter. Birds all over the sky resounded instantly across the sky. They are cheering for these huge birds. I'll come first. After screaming, a pitch black crow suddenly flapped its wings and flew towards Ye Chen, at a very fast speed, and arrived in no time. Ye Chen smiled coldly, and pierced with a sharp shot from his right hand. It was simple, crude, and not fancy. Puff came. The killing spear instantly pierced the crow's beak, and then passed through. Boom! The crow with its wings spread up to 50 meters burst into pieces in an instant. Blood red bird meat, white bird bones, and jet black bird feathers are splashed everywhere. Hiss! The sound of air conditioning pours out instantly. How is it possible? Although the crow is not very powerful, but the speed is definitely fast enough, how can Ye Chen see its flight path clearly and kill it with just one shot? What level is his gun? A sparrow was suddenly startled. Shouted. This is not the point. The point is that the crow's mouth can be easily crushed by human gold level equipment, but that gun with one shot, smashed the crow's mouth. It doesn't mean that we can't get close to him. It's dangerous if we get close. Birds, you and I were shocked and disgusted inexplicably. They never thought that Ye Chen could stab a crow to death with a single shot. This was the first time they had fought Ye Chen, 
and all information about Ye Chen had been heard from elsewhere. They knew that Ye Chen was very strong, but he was so strong that he could kill crows of the same realm in seconds, which was a bit beyond their expectations. Go together, this Ye Chen is not right. A loud shout suddenly came from Black Hawk's mouth. Yes. Let's go together. Anyway, this world is not really dead anyway, but the strength will be reduced, it doesn't matter, as long as Ye Chen is killed and Ye Chen is not allowed to continue to develop, then our demon race will crush the human race forever. Yes. As long as it is maintained, human race will always be our food. Kill Ye Chen. Kill the first person in the human race. A scream rang from the mouth of the huge bird. Ye Chen glanced at the birds who were chanting slogans, but no one moved, and curled their lips in disdain. These monster clan birds shouted loudly one by one, but none of them dared to step forward. Obviously, these birds were unwilling to lose their strength, for fear that they would become the next existence to be killed by Ye Chen. Boom rumble. The roar of the earth is getting louder and louder. Although the speed of the rushing beast army was not as fast as the birds, they arrived here at this moment. A huge chimpanzee suddenly stood up, glanced at Ye Chen, and then looked at the black eagle towards the sky, and roared. Black Hawk, you're really getting more and more alive. It's okay to see Ye Chen, the first one to tear Ye Chen, why don't you do it? When the Black Hawk heard this, the hawk's eyes opened fiercely, and then let out a clear howl. After the whistle, the Black Hawk looked at the chimpanzee and shouted sharply. Idiot, can't you see that this is the first person in the human race, is something wrong? You can feel it, the realm of this can't be sensed at all. I can't sense it. A joke. If I can't sense it, isn't it sloughing and frightening someone? The chimpanzee curled his mouth in disdain, and then shouted, but the words came to an abrupt end. Hey, did you feel it? Black Hawk snorted coldly when seeing this, and then shouted. That's right, isn't this really in the extinction state? Then why is he still in the world? The chimpanzee looked at Ye Chen's eyes, shrank sharply, and then shouted angrily. You ask me, who do I ask? who knows if he stayed in this world for the human race. The black eagle gave the chimpanzee a white eye, and then said. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes when he heard this, and the cold light flashed away. These seem to have obtained information from the monsters in the monster race who watched Pangu Kaishan. Otherwise, it is impossible to know the transcendence realm, and it is impossible to know that the transcendence realm will soar. Boss, this Ye Chen, really shed the world. A wild boar looked at the chimpanzee at this time, and asked inexplicably in shock. I can't sense his realm. It stands to reason that there are only two explanations for this situation. One is that he has no cultivation base, and the other is that his cultivation base exceeds mine, and it must be a large state. Otherwise, it is impossible to be unable to sense it. The chimpanzee's dark face suddenly sank when he heard this, and then he said. That, if it's a level higher than us, then he doesn't know how to spell. A big mouse suddenly remembered something, and then shouted in surprise. Wow! As soon as the big mouse landed, the birds and beasts were in an uproar. He knows spells, so how do we deal with him? Yeah, I can't beat it at all. What should I do? Didn't it come back this time without success? Birds and beasts kept exclaiming. At this moment, a roar came. Shut up! The chimpanzee who stood up gave a ferocious look at the army of beasts. The army of beasts stopped discussing in an instant. To shut up! The black hawk's angry shout also sounded at this moment. The chattering discussion of the bird army also disappeared in an instant. What about the transcendence realm, don't forget, even if transcendence is only one level higher than us? Even if he can use the spell, he can't release it endlessly. The chimpanzee looked at Ye Chen at this time, and then shouted loudly. Chimpanzee, you are really smart. Black Hawk opened his eagle eye when hearing this, and then shouted. Shut up, dead bird, 
hurry up and order your brothers to come and kill Ye Chen. The chimpanzee was furious when he heard this, and then shouted. Chimpanzee, don't always think of Lao Tzu's little brother, the same is true for you, as long as you consume Ye Chen's true energy, he will definitely die. Black Hawk snorted, and then shouted. When Ye Chen heard this, he smiled coldly, lifted the sharp spear with his right hand, and then shouted in a loud voice. White Tiger Battlefield The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Kill. 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 The terrifying cry of killing sounded instantly. In the next second, a strong and extremely murderous aura appeared in the sky above the Samsara Legion in an instant, and then quickly condensed. Roar. After the sky-shaking roar, a huge white tiger appeared in the sky, and then fell to the ground, enveloping Ye Chen and the Reincarnation Legion. The tyrannical, merciless, and all-killing aura appeared on the white tiger immediately. This is a white tiger? How can there be a white tiger in this world? The chimpanzee shivered abruptly after seeing the sudden appearance of the white tiger, and then shouted in surprise. He felt a strong threat from Bai Hu. The threat made him frightened, and his soul began to tremble. Damn, why can Ye Chen summon the white tiger? The black hawk's eagle eyes shrank sharply, and then he shouted sharply. In his words, there is a strong trembling sound, because of panic, because of fear. White tiger, White Tiger, what to do? White Tiger is not at our level, we can't beat. Should. It should be fake. How can Ye Chen summon the White Tiger? But that killing intent, that coercion, is real. What should we do? Shall we, should we retreat one after another? The birds and beasts were shocked and inexplicably discussed one by one, and at this moment, the sky-shaking roar sounded again. Roar. In the next second, the white tiger jumped forward, then turned into a stream of light, and passed away in a flash. Boom boom boom. A series of dense crackling sounds instantly sounded. A blood fog area with a width of 2 kilometers and a length of 16,000 meters appeared instantly. The army of beasts in this area, without exception, has become a mist in the sky. Looking at the long blood-filled road, the army of birds in the sky and the army of remaining beasts, Chi Ki eyes widened. The boss was killed, he was killed as soon as he met. A wild boar monster, staring at two pig eyes, shouted inexplicably in horror. This, this is horrible, all of a sudden, killed so many all at once. A hedgehog stammered and shouted. Let's withdraw quickly. Quickly withdraw. This Ye Chen is not something we can kill. This is too perverted. Let's go to kill the human race elsewhere, improve our strength, and then come to him to settle the account. A giant python yelled. Quickly withdraw. Quickly withdraw. The remaining monsters in the army of beasts panicked and issued orders to retreat. However, at this moment, the white tiger that had just appeared jumped again, and then turned into a stream of light and flashed away. Boom boom boom. A series of bursts of body sound sounded again. A long blood fog road appeared again. In the sky, the black hawk looked at the blood mist that was constantly churning on the ground, and the eagle's eyes shrank and then shrank. Obviously, he was frightened by Bai Hu's brutality. Boom boom boom, boom boom boom. The sound of body bursting appeared time and time again, and the army of beasts on the ground was emptied piece by piece. After five times, all the beasts on the ground turned into blood fog. The Black Hawk looked at the army of beasts on the ground that had all turned into blood fog, a trace of fear flashed in the eagle's eyes, but it was immediately replaced by sternness. This white tiger should not be able to stay in the air, otherwise, we must be the first to be attacked. As soon as the words of the Black Hawk landed, the monsters in the army of birds, look at me, I look at you and all of them suddenly showed excitement in their eyes. Boss, no matter how powerful this white tiger is, he can't deal with us in the air. There is nothing to be afraid of. 
let's kill his soldiers. Yet. Yeah. Go and kill Ye Chen's soldiers. Ye Chen can't beat us. Can his soldiers still be defeated? Kill all his soldiers and destroy his territory, so he can't continue to develop his power. Yes, if you can't kill Ye Chen, you will also be disgusted to kill him. After we become stronger, come and kill Ye Chen. In fact, there is no need to be afraid. No matter how powerful Ye Chen is, he can really kill us and fail. We can be resurrected even if we die. If we just eat some people, our strength is back. Let's go. Let's deal with Ye Chen's soldiers and eat all Ye Chen's soldiers. Our bird clan is the strongest. At this time, the Black Hawk opened his eagle eyes fiercely, and then shouted sharply. Our birds are the strongest. A burst of shouts immediately sounded. Boom rumble. Ten thousand horses galloped, and the earthquake trembled. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, and Zhao Meng came to the west of the city with an army of four hundred thousand. Followed by, there are countless players. Fuck. The birds in the sky are too special. These are the monster races gathered in Yuzhu. Why are they all flying in the sky? Did you not see the blood mist over there? The beasts running on the ground must have been slaughtered by Ye Chen. Fuck, it's really. Hey, the birds in the sky don't seem to have lost much. Could it be that the white tiger summoned by Ye Chen can't deal with the birds in the sky? It must be, you think, tigers don't just run on the ground, how can they deal with the birds in the sky? In the sky, the Black Hawk saw the army of Reincarnation City suddenly appeared, and suddenly looked up to the sky and laughed. Ha ha ha, it's all effortless to come, give it to me. Kill them all. Change bow and arrow. A burst of shouts rang from Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, and Zhao Meng's mouth instantly. Hey! The 400,000 Reincarnation City Army all put down their hundreds of refined steel and spears, took out the soul relief bow, and the arrows were immediately placed on the strings, and then pulled hard and aimed at the sky. Players see here, one by one you look at me, I look at you, those with bows and arrows changed their bows, those without bows and arrows took out their weapons, and nervously aimed at the sky. That's right, I haven't killed the demon race yet. I don't know if I can kill one. I heard, the explosion is super good. Definitely explode good things. There is still a lot of experience. Didn't you see the shiny objects in the blood mist? Those were all exploded by Ye Chen from the monster clan, at least diamond level equipment. If it is a technique, it's at least a king start. I said, should we take the opportunity to grab some, grab a hand, it's worth it if we die. You stupid, did you forget? The people killed by Ye Chen will die in reality. If you want to die, just go. Don't I just talk about it, so many good things, looking greedy. Don't do stupid things, you really want to grab it, just go, don't drag us down, don't forget, we are following Ye Chen to get good. Just as the players were talking about it, the sky shaking birdsong immediately sounded. At this moment, the army of birds circling in the sky instantly began to dive, rushing towards the army of 400,000 reincarnation city and the endless players. Boom rumble. The dull roar of the earth suddenly came and at the same time, a golden light instantly passed through the thick blood fog and arrived in front of the 400,000 army in Reincarnation City. The next second, a fiery red bead appeared suddenly. O.M. The mysterious tremor sounded instantly. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Boom boom boom. An extremely dense explosion sounded immediately. On the arrow of the 400,000 Reincarnation City Army, without exception, a group of extremely hot flames appeared. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng saw this, Qi Qi eyes lighted up, and then coincidentally shouted. Shoot! Stretch, stretch, stretch! The bowstring is released and the arrow shoots out. 
Swish swish. 400,000 arrows shot at the swooping army of birds in an extremely dense concentration. The fiery red flame instantly reflected the red sky. No. Hurry and hide. An exclamation came from the leader of the bird army and the black eagle. He is not afraid of ordinary arrows, his feathers can completely ignore gold level bows and arrows, even if it is diamond level, don't even want to kill him. But the arrows, which were dense enough to the degree of horror, gave him a feeling of extreme danger. The source of danger is the flame attached to the arrow. However, it's too late. The bird army has already begun to dive, how can it easily change direction, and the arrow speed is extremely fast. In an instant, the arrow shot into the swooping army of birds. Puff, 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 puff. The sound of arrows entering the flesh sounded in pieces. Almost at the same time, the explosion sounded in pieces. Boom, boom, boom. I saw 400,000 birds in the sky, which instantly turned into a fireball. Hey, yet, yet. The terrible and terrible howling sounded in pieces, but after breathing, there was no breath, and then 400,000 fireballs were seen falling to the ground. The army of birds was instantly beaten by 400,000 seconds. And among these, without exception, they were all monsters that commanded the army of birds. Because they are too capable of pretending to be forceful, they are the nearest, and they dive in the first time, it is hard not to die. How could, how could this, our feathers are as hard as steel, how could it be easily shot through? Damn, why are Ye Chen's soldiers so perverted? It's him, how can we fight, we can't go forward at all. The remaining birds and monsters hurriedly stopped diving one by one, and then flew to a high place, discussing inexplicably in horror. And the army of birds was so frightened by this fierce scene that they hurriedly fluttered their wings and did not dare to continue diving. Ground. The players were stunned one by one, looking at the 400,000 bird army in a flash, and the sound of air conditioning sounded in pieces. This. Boss Ye Chen's soldiers are too awesome. Those who have killed monster clan birds have said that it took a lot of effort to kill monster clan birds. It was still a group of people. It took a long time to kill one. Only. Diamond level equipment is so awesome. I don't think it should be. Seeing the beads floating in front of Boss Ye Chen, it should be the ability of the beads. Just as the monster bird players and human players were discussing, the fire spirit orb floating in front of Ye Chen trembled again. At the same time, the 400,000 reincarnation city army once again pulled about to build. Boom boom boom. The flame instantly attached to the arrows of the 400,000 reincarnation city army. Shoot. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng shouted in unison. Stretch, stretch, stretch. The bowstring is released and the arrow shoots out. Swish swish. 400,000 arrows attached to the hot flame appeared again, and then shot at the monster army of birds. The black eagle, the leader of the bird army who had not participated in the dive before, immediately looked at Ye Chen on the ground after the 400,000 younger brother was caught. When he saw the fire spirit orb suddenly shook, flames were attached to the arrows of the army of reincarnation city. He immediately discovered the root of all this, and the eagle eyes shrank and shrank, and then shouted in surprise. Quick! Fly to a high place! This arrow has a long attack range, so you can't touch it. As soon as the words of the black hawk landed, the monsters among the birds, without exception, all flew towards the high altitude. However, they fly fast, but no matter how fast they are, they are not as fast as an arrow that leaves the string. Puff, puff, puff. The sound of arrows entering the flesh, sounded in pieces. In the next second, a stern howl accompanied by 400,000 fireballs fell to the ground. The surviving birds, monsters, and army of birds, seeing this place, unanimously flew towards a higher place. Why? What the is that? The black hawk yelled in horror, and then looked at the fire spirit orb floating in front of Ye Chen. No. 
This is not a human thing at all. After seeing the flaming red bead, the Black Hawk suddenly remembered something, and then shouted in surprise. At this moment, a huge macaw flew up suddenly, and then shouted, Boss, I found the city of reincarnation. Hearing this, the Black Hawk's eagle eyes suddenly lit up, and he spoke without hesitation. Ye Chen can hurt us. It depends on that bead. Don't be afraid, let me go to Samsara City. Destroy Samsara City. Revenge and hate. The remaining birds, monsters, and beasts, after hearing the explanation of the Black Eagle, realized that the root of everything was in Ye Chen, and the anger rose up one by one. It turned out to be like this, let's go. Let's destroy the city of reincarnation. I must kill all the people in the city of reincarnation. Eat it. Damn, we are going to razor the city of reincarnation to the ground. Go. Go to reincarnation city. The remaining monster clan flying birds and monsters shouted sharply one by one. They are going to destroy the city of reincarnation. Only by destroying the city of reincarnation can they vent their anger and fear in their hearts. In the next second, the sound of flapping wings sounded in pieces. The bird army rose to the sky again. Ye Chen smiled coldly at the bird army that was lifted off again. It's a good idea, but unfortunately, the crossbows in reincarnation city are not vegetarian. The offensive power of the bed crossbow is that without the blessing of the fire spirit orb, it is easy to kill the beasts and beasts in the sky, and it is the kind of one kill. Besides, how could Lao Tzu tell you to attack Samsara city so smoothly? Thinking of this, Ye Chen squinted his eyes, then slid his horse, ready to return to reincarnation city first. At this moment, an inexplicable induction appeared in Ye Chen's mind. When Ye Chen discovered this, he was taken aback then patted Tianma Ziyajin's horse head and ordered Ziyajin to stay still. On the ground, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, and the 400,000 army of reincarnation city, their complexions all changed after hearing the cry of the birds, monsters, and beasts, and then they became angry. The army of 400,000 reincarnation city, unanimously set up bows and arrows, preparing to attack the army of birds in the sky. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, but at this moment, they unanimously opened their mouths and shouted. Stop! The 400,000 reincarnation city army was stunned. At this moment, the dull roar of the earth came quickly from far and near. Boom rumble! The Samsara Legion is here, with the most tyrannical, killing intent to go straight into the sky. What the birds and monsters in the sky said were also heard by them. Reincarnation City is their home, their lord, the foundation of Ye Chen. At this moment, the army of birds in the sky is obviously going to Reincarnation City to wreak havoc, how could the army of Reincarnation not be angry, how could it not be in a hurry? When the Samsara Legion came to Ye Chen a kilometer away, the fire Lingzhu suddenly shook. In the next second, the Samsara Legion, together with Ye Chen, were covered in flames. A feeling of speechlessness suddenly rose from Ye Chen's mind. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the Samsara Legion understands the innate battle formation, the Suzaku battle formation. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Innate Battle Formation, the Suzaku Battle Formation, one of the four elephants. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be this. Thinking of this, Ye Chen glanced at the fire spirit orb floating in front of him, and the corner of his mouth curled up. Without this fire spirit orb, I am afraid that Suzaku's battle formation might not be able to comprehend. Just as Ye Chen thought, the fire spirit orb was the key to inspiring the Suzaku battle formation. Without the fire spirit orb, the Samsara Legion really couldn't comprehend the Suzaku battle formation. Unlike the white tiger battle array, the key to the vermilion bird battle array is fire, and the fire spirit orb is the innate spirit treasure, 
which can control the fire in the world. After sensing the chance of the Suzaku battle formation, the fire spirit orb automatically assisted Ye Chen and opened the way to the Suzaku battle formation for the Samsara Legion. The process went smoothly, and Suzaku's battle was instantly understood by the Samsara Legion. Looking at the Samsara Legion that was covered by flames but was not harmed at all, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, his right hand raised the gunslinger, and then he shouted. Suzaku battles. Kill. 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 The terrifying cry of killing sounded immediately. In the next second, the extremely strong murderous aura rose into the sky with a boom accompanied by the raging fire on the Samsara Legion. At the same time, Ye Chen's body was covered with a fire spirit orb with a hotter flame, and it instantly rushed to the sky. The sky's flames converged instantly, and then began to pull and deform. After a few breaths, a flaming bird appeared in the sky. At the moment when he saw the fiery red bird, Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply. Suzaku. At this moment, Suzaku opened his eyes, scarlet, blazing, and burning everything, instantly presenting the world. At the same time, the blazing fire burning Suzaku's body was boiling like boiling water, and the directly burning air cracked. Cracking. A long cry that has gone through a long period of time suddenly sounded, like a blade of time and space, traversing the past and the present. That, what is that? After seeing the Suzaku in the sky, a player narrowed his eyes sharply, and then shouted in surprise. That. Is that. Suzaku. One person swallowed with a gudong, and then shouted. It should be the Suzaku. Ye Chen can summon the white tiger, which is one of the four great beasts. This big bird has never been summoned by Ye Chen before. Now that it has come out, it is still so powerful, it should be the Suzaku. Suzaku who looked at the sky with a shocked expression on his face, stammered. Ye Chen, so strong. Sky. The fast-flying bird army shuddered at the moment when Suzaku appeared and a large swarm of beast-level birds directly fell stiffly towards the ground. They were afraid of the coercion of the white tiger, but they weren't so stiff, they couldn't even wave their wings. But now, as soon as Suzaku appeared, the souls of the monster race's bird army began to tremble. That is the fear from the soul, the fear from the lower to the upper. Suzaku, one of the four great beasts, is not known how many grades higher than these stupid birds. How could they not be afraid, how could they not be afraid? Old, boss, what to do? Ye Chen. Ye Chen actually summoned Suzaku. A sparrow shouted in horror. This, this bastard, even Suzaku can be summoned. Then shall we, still go to reincarnation city? A vulture stammered. I feel, let's run first, then don't run, it's a bad thing. Suzaku is not something we can deal with. A parrot yelled in panic. Let's retreat. Retreat quickly. The leader of the bird army glanced at the Suzaku exuding strong pressure, and then shouted loudly. On the ground, Ye Chen glanced at the swish bird that fell to the ground, smiled coldly, and then shouted, Kill all the bird that fell to the ground. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzen, Dian Xiong. Gao Shun, Zhao Meng shouted when he heard this. Ye Chen nodded, and with a movement of thought, the vermilion bird in the sky instantly fluttered and swooped down. In the next second, Ye Chen and the Samsara Legion were enveloped in it, and then he raised his head and looked towards the sky. Cracking. The screams that traversed the past and the present, shaking the heavens and the earth, sounded again. In the next second, Suzaku flapped its wings and came to an altitude of 10,000 meters in the blink of an eye. Seeing the monster army of birds fleeing in a hurry, Suzaku's scarlet, blazing, burning eyes instantly revealed a strong disdain. The next second, Suzaku flapped its wings, and then flashed away with a sky full of flames. Boom. 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 The sound of the flame bursting instantly, sounded in pieces. I saw the monster army fleeing from the sky, instantly turning into a moving sea of fire. 
the monster army of birds that obscured the sky instantly reflected the entire sky. The sorrowful birdsong sounded in pieces, and then returned to nothingness. The raging fire was merciless, burning everything, and a monster like the Black Eagle could not resist the raging fire for even a second. On the ground, the players who were about to attack the demon clan bird that landed, their eyes widened one by one, and then they gasped. The scene in the sky was too shocking, the endless, covering the sky and the sun, the army of monsters birds, was ignited in such an instant. The sight is full of flames. The mercilessly burning flames reflected the sky red, stunned all the players. This, so terrifying. Just like this, the monster clan bird army was destroyed. A player said blankly. Ye Chen, sure enough, really awesome, you can't accept it. Are we going to pick up the bargain? Go, why not? We only need to kill those monsters that are outside the attack range of the Reincarnation City Army. Anyway, those birds fell to the ground and didn't fall to death. Don't kill them. Let's slow down, maybe. Ran. Yes, that's right, Ye Chen can't use Suzaku's because of such a little rubbish, we just go to help kill it, Ye Chen won't be angry because of this. Remember, don't be cheap. Go pick up the items that Ye Chen exploded, otherwise, it will anger Ye Chen, and there will be no good fruit. That's right, I'm not as stupid as that. We can pick up what Ye Chen doesn't want, and if Ye Chen wants it, we can pick it up. Isn't that uncomfortable to find? Boom rumble. Ten thousand horses galloped, and the earthquake trembled. Zhao Yunzhen, Gao Shun, Dian Xiang and Zhao Meng led the army of 400,000 reincarnation cities, constantly galloping, and galloping again, with long and spears in their hands, and stabbing the struggling monster clan birds to the ground again and again. These were all monster clan birds that were frightened by the coercion of Suzaku and could not continue to fly, and then fell to the ground. They were not beaten to death because of their strong physique, but they wanted to fly right away, but they couldn't do it. Pieces of monster clan birds were continuously beheaded by the army of the reincarnation city on the spot, and the sound of ding ding dong dong items sounded in pieces. At the same time, the terrified and desperate howling of Yeazufiki also sounded together. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Sky after the fire burned for three seconds, it dissipated. The monster army of birds that had just covered the sky and sun was all turned to ashes at this moment, and then drifted away in the wind. Ye Chen glanced at the empty sky, and the corner of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. In the sky, Suzaku's attack range is really fierce and outrageous. Unfortunately, this Suzaku battle formation cannot be used for a long time like the White Tiger battle formation. But it's not bad, it can be used three times. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. At this moment, pieces of escalating light continued to light up from Suzaku's body. And Ye Chen was also enveloped by the upgraded light at this moment, and twice in a row. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, the level has been raised to 100. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he heard the system prompt. The demons have enough experience. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the system prompt sounded again. Ding, remind the player Ye Chen, if you continue to stay in the Three Kingdoms novice zone, the experience gained will not be able to continue to be upgraded and can only be accumulated. Will it immediately rise to the predecessor? Hearing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Unexpectedly, I can continue to accumulate experience. This is good. If you accumulate enough, when you soar into the wild, your strength will definitely be soaring. Thinking of this, Ye Chen made a choice without hesitation. No. Ding, the player Ye Chen will automatically start experience accumulation until he soars into the wild. As soon as the prompt sound of the system ended, the world announcement sounded instantly. Ding. Congratulations to Ye Chen, 
the first player to reach level 100, and he will be rewarded with X10 innate attribute points. Three consecutive world announcements instantly detonated the entire world channel. Fuck. Did you make a mistake? Level 100? Did he upgrade after level 90 as slow as a dog? It's been a month, and I haven't upgraded yet. Ye Chen is now at level 100. Cheating. He's cheating. It's not cheating. The idiot next door eats live. Cheating? Do you see how many monsters Ye Chen killed? Don't compare if you don't see it, and also, go and check the merit list, who is the first to speak. Fuck, Ye Chen's merit list is number one. Nima has 89 million merits, how many demons did he kill? It's like a monster, just one or two points of merit from him, and only three points of merit. Damn. Ye Chen's merits are still soaring, 90 million. Maiden, I said why Ye Chen was level 100. After killing so many monsters, it would be weird if Nima didn't upgrade. You must know that the monsters are experienced babies. Wipe, Yeazu is still a treasure box, kill good things, Nima. Ye Chen is going to make a big announcement again this time. The Yuzhu area, don't grab it. Ye Chen has just killed so many monsters, it must be too late to pick it up, go grab it, grab a king level exercise and make a fortune. Yes, go grab it, don't be afraid, you are crowded. Kun Nima, you stupid, don't be BB, if you dare, come over and grab, are you stupid when you are lousy? What the stupid guy is doing, will be satisfied with the boss Ye Chen's meal. Besides, it's not impossible to explode good things. The world channel was boiling, Ye Chen glanced at it, and then smiled coldly. Those players who encouraged the players from Yuzhu to grab the items exploded by the monster clan were jealous and jealous, and squeezed others into sabotage. This kind of person exists, and many of them exist before or after the meteor falls. However, Ye Chen really didn't care, nor was he afraid. If you dare to snatch, just go it, and if you it, you will have to die. For this kind of person, Ye Chen never relented. Of course, the players on Yu's whose side, no one went to grab the items exploded by the monster race on the ground. It's not that they don't want to, it's that they don't dare. Because they were afraid, afraid of being killed by Ye Chen, they would die in reality, and they were afraid that they would not be able to continue following Ye Chen's benefits. Ye Chen knew this very well, and understood very well. As for the players to kill the monster clan birds that fell to the ground, Ye Chen didn't care. They were all flying birds that fell far away, and there were not many in number. Ye Chen didn't care about it at all. Taking a look at the ground, Suzaku instantly fluttered its wings and swooped down. After landing, Suzaku disappeared, and Ye Chen and the Reincarnation Legion appeared on the spot. At this moment, a tyrannical aura suddenly appeared in the sky above the Samsara Legion, and then it became stronger and stronger. Seeing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. The Reincarnation Legion has broken through to the Imperial Generals. The battlefield is really a good place for training. Thinking of this, Ye Chen smiled slightly and then looked at the 400,000 army of reincarnation city that was still beheading the demon clan's birds. This time, the level of 400,000 soldiers will inevitably rise rapidly, and it will not be long before they can learn the king level exercises. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the gate of beeping city on the right opened with a creak. The general defending the city led a man dressed as a literati out of the city and rushed towards Ye Chen. It didn't take long for the two to come to Ye Chen's body, and they all got off their horses and bowed and said. Yuzhu Cheng Piyu, meet General Hyuki. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. Cheng Piyu. Tian Zhou. Damn it. A first-rate historical military commander, a first-rate historical civil servant. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up, then nodded, and asked. How about the soldiers' casualties? When Cheng Piyu heard this, he hurriedly bowed and said. Encourage General Husband. 
8,000 soldiers in Beeping City on the right were killed and numerous wounded. Fortunately General Huzar arrived in time. Otherwise, the city on Beeping would be razed to the ground, and no one can survive. When Cheng Piyu said this, he glanced at Ye Chen, then knelt on one knee with a bang, and then said. The Kaman is guilty, please also General Hyuki to punish him. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. What is this? When Ye Chen was puzzled, Tian Zhou on one side bowed to Ye Chen and said. Report to General Hyuki. You, the general defender of Beeping City and all the officials who have abandoned the city and fled, and the army of the Golden Turban is approaching the city. Brother Cheng, as a last resort, took the post of defender of the city without permission. However, there is a reason for the matter, and General Hussein is invited to observe it. Ye Chen suddenly realized this when he heard this. Damn it! It's no wonder that Cheng Piyu calls himself a grassroots, so it turns out to be like this. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and then took a few steps forward, helped Cheng Piyu up, patted Cheng Piyu's shoulder, and said. You are not guilty. The guilty one is the shameful man who deserted the city and fled. Cheng Piyu, you are brave and conspiring. My men are lacking talents. Would you like to follow me? When Cheng Piyu heard this, he was taken aback for a moment, and then overjoyed. He knelt on one knee without hesitation, and said loudly, Cheng Piyu, I would like to follow the Lord. Ding! Congratulations to the player Ye Chen for gaining the allegiance of the first-class historical general Cheng Piyu. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. After Ye Chen heard the system prompt, his eyes lit up. Damn it, this time the Golden Turban Rebellion is really good. Historical military generals received one by one. This Cheng Piyu is also a navy general, including Han Dang, too. Not bad. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows, then raised Cheng Piyu, and said with a smile on his face. It's a blessing for me to get Cheng Piyu's help, and a blessing for reincarnation. When Cheng Piyu heard this, he was immediately ecstatic. He was ecstatic and excited because of the importance of Ye Chen's words. You know, Ye Chen is the Huzar general of the Han Empire, Yuz Hu Mu. This is the overlord level existence of the eight classics. And Cheng Piyu is no more than a grassroots, at best a grassroots with force, which is nothing compared to Ye Chen. In addition, Cheng Piyu saw Ye Chen summon the white tiger, destroy the monster beasts, summon the vermilion bird, and destroy the monster birds. Ye Chen's overbearing and unmatched ability had already completely convinced Cheng Piyu. From that moment, Cheng Piyu's heart to follow Ye Chen became unshakable. But now, Ye Chen took the initiative to accept him as his subordinate, and he was extremely important in his words. How could Cheng Piyu not be excited, how could he not be excited? Efforts to stabilize the excited mood, Cheng Piyu solemnly bowed and said. It is the great blessing of heaven to be able to follow the Lord. I will finally swear here to follow the Lord to the death. If this oath is violated, the heaven will die. Ding, Cheng Piyu's loyalty is plus ten, advanced to die loyal. Hearing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Yes, yes, another diehard. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the world announcement sounded. Ding. Congratulations to player Ye Chen for winning the first class historical military commander, Cheng Piyu's allegiance, because of his special status, special rewards player Ye Chen, 10 million gold. The world announcement was repeated three times, instantly detonating the video channel that had just been silenced. It's him, did you make a mistake, Ye Chen was just 100 level ahead, and turned around to accept a first rate historical general. What's more, is Ye Chen planning to take away all the historical generals? Cheating. It's so special, it's not like that, others haven't even received third-rate historical figures, Ye Chen will have a lot of this class, let alone super first class. 
First Han Dang, now Cheng Piyu, Nima, Ye Chen collapsed the corner of Su Chao in the future. The Navy of Reincarnation City was originally a shortcoming, this time, the special shortcomings are gone. Oh, it's really painful. I'm a Navy that has developed with all my strength. I thought that I could pretend to be forced on the water in the future to get some benefits. Nima, this is over. Hey, who would say no? I am also a territory built by the river, and I am also developing a navy. I originally thought that Ye Chen would not be able to threaten me at all. There are two naval generals in this special city of Samsara, and it is still top-notch. Historical military commander, if Ye Chen brings troops over, should I escape or surrender? Surrendering to Mao, fight Ye Chen hard, afraid of Mao, Ye Chen is too strong, not just one person, all unite, take the younger brother to fight Ye Chen's soldiers will not be over, then Ye Chen will definitely not be able to hold it. Don't be nonsense, after Ye Chen summoned the white tiger, Nima, that was a big kill. Who can resist it? The world channel was very lively, Ye Chen glanced at it, then curled his lips in disdain. The player's envy, jealousy, and hate, this was not controlled by Ye Chen, and Ye Chen didn't intend to control it either. As long as others don't come to Ye Chen's trouble, Ye Chen will pay attention to it lazily. If you come to Ye Chen for trouble, Ye Chen will kill them all without hesitation. Cheng Piyu followed me, this Tian Zhou. It seems a bit difficult. Tian Zhou in history seems to be a hermit. Thinking of this, Ye Chen immediately looked at Tian Zhou, and was about to speak. Whoever wanted Tian Zhou to bow and pray. Tian Zhou, would like to follow the Lord, and beg the Lord to take him in. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. But Ye Chen didn't expect Tian Zhou to take the initiative to seek refuge. Originally, Ye Chen was still wondering how to subdue Tian Zhou. Whoever thought of it, Tian Zhou took the initiative to take refuge. In fact, Tian Zhou is still very young at the moment and has no desire to retreat. The most important point is that Yu Hu is Ye Chen's territory at this moment, and Ye Chen's reputation has long been passed to Tian Chu's ears. Tian Zhou, like Cheng Piyu, had a desire to follow him early in the morning. However, after Ye Chen was promoted to the post of Yuz Hu Mu and General Hussein, before he met with Yuz Hu officials, the Golden Turban Rebellion broke out, so that Tian Zhou had not been able to see Ye Chen. And now, Tian Zhou saw Ye Chen. Not only did he see it, but he also saw Ye Chen's tyrannical, overbearing, unmatched. Tian Chu's heart became even more unshakable. Ye Chen didn't know the specific situation at first but now he can't tell where. Of course, what you can't see is not important. What is important is that Tian Zhou took the initiative to recognize the Lord. For Ye Chen, whether it is a historical civil servant or a historical general, the more the better. At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the first-rate historical minister, Tian Zhou, want to recognize you as the master. Do you accept it? After hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply and made a choice without hesitation. Accept. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for gaining the allegiance of the first-rate historical minister, Tian Zhou. After hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, hurriedly stepped forward, raised Tian Zhou, and then laughed loudly. It's my luck to get Tian Chu's help the luck of reincarnation. Tian Zhou was overjoyed when he heard this, and then solemnly bowed and said. Tian Zhou, see the Lord. What Ye Chen said was the same as what he said to Cheng Piyu, but how could Tian Zhou fail to hear the meaning of Ye Chen's words? It was because of what he heard that Tian Zhou was moved inexplicably. Because at this moment, he didn't have much reputation, but Ye Chen was the Lord of Yuz Hu, General Huzar. Status, status, and reputation are countless times higher than Tian Zhou. Tian Zhou was naturally happy to be recognized and valued by such an existence. Ding, Tian Chu's loyalty is plus ten, advancement is a diehard. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he heard the system prompt. 
Yes, yes, the subordinates, especially the diehard subordinates, the more the better. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile. At this moment, the world announcement sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for being the second-ranked historical minister, Tian Zhou for his allegiance. For his celebrity status, the player Ye Chen is specially rewarded with 10 million gold. The world announcement was repeated three times, once again detonating the entire world channel. Mal Gobi, I raised the table, do you want to be so perverted? That's right, Nima, I just received Cheng Piyu, and Nima immediately received Tian Zhou. Although Tian Zhou is not that famous in history, he is also a first-rate historical minister. What's so special, as the number of historical ministers under Ye Chen gets up, Yu's who doesn't have to worry about Ye Chen at all. Now, Ye Chen is not more able to pull out his hands and wander around. That's right, those lords are really rubbish. How long has this been so special? No one has accepted historical figures, let alone first-rate, second-rate, and you can accept so-called incompetent ones. If this continues, Ye Chen will all be taken away by Ye Chen. It's all in one net. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Because Ye Chen received two first-class historical figures in a row, the world channel was frying, and all kinds of comments kept refreshing its screen. That was a buzz. Ye Chen glanced at world channel, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. Go with envy, go with jealousy, if you can take it all, I will definitely leave none of them. Thinking of this, Ye Chen immediately looked at Cheng Piyu and Tian Zhou, and said. From now on, you two are in charge of Yubaping City for the time being, Cheng Piyu is in charge of the military, and Tian Zhou is in charge of administration. After the world is settled, the official positions will be determined. Cheng Piyu and Tian Zhou were overjoyed when he heard this, and all bowed in response, Yes. Lord. With Ye Chen's appointment, they are just right officials, and there is no need to worry about being spoken behind, or even being sued. Moreover, this also means that they have officially become the core members of Reincarnation City. For them, this is simply a joyous event, how could they be unhappy and not excited? Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Guo Yi who was running on the horse, and said, Feng Xiao, give Cheng Piyu a copy of the notice written by Zikin in Liaoning. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi suddenly smiled when he heard this, and then bowed in response. After speaking, he turned over and got off his horse. He took out a notice from his arms and looked at Cheng Piyu and Tian Zhou. Guo Yi just saw the two of them so naturally he didn't know who was who. When Cheng Piyu saw this, he hurriedly clasped his fists and said, Yu's Hu Cheng Piyu, Cheng Dema, have seen Guo Jizhu. Yu's Hu Tian Zhou, Tian Zitai has seen Guo Jizhu. Tian Zhou was also at this time, hurriedly stepping forward with his fists in a bow. When Guo Yi heard this, he smiled and replied with a fist. Ying Chuan, Guo Yi, Guo Feng Xiao, met Brother Dema, and Brother Zitai. After Guo Yi finished speaking, he handed the notice to Cheng Piyu, and then said, Brother Dema, this is the policy that the Lord will implement throughout Yu's Hu. Brother Dema must not be soft-hearted. When Cheng Piyu heard this, he was stunned. After recovering, he hurriedly took the notice, opened it, and looked over it. As soon as the tea time passed, Cheng Piyu's eyes opened sharply, and then he handed the notice to Tian Zhou. Then he looked at Ye Chen and bowed and said, The Lord cares about the people of the Li people and does not fear the gentry and gentry. This is the blessing of Yuzhu and the blessing of the big man. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, and then said, Leave it to you and Zitai to do this. Don't be soft-hearted. Please rest assured, the humble duty must go all out. Never starve the people of Yubapingchinch, let alone call Yubapingchinch, there will be anyone who rebels against the Lord. Cheng Piyu nodded heavily, then bowed his head and bowed loudly. Tao.
Obviously, Cheng Piyu not only saw Ye Chen's intention to help the people, but also saw Ye Chen's intention to eliminate all those who disobeyed. Otherwise, Cheng Piyu would not speak so bluntly. This is a military order with Ye Shen Li. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, and then said. Very well, let go and do it, Yuz who does not allow anyone who commits criminal offences. For Ye Chen, a gentry who does not follow the notice is a criminal. They make money in disasters. Such people have no conscience, and their hearts are black, and they are so black that they stinks. Keeping them in Yuzhu, how can Yuzhu be stable? If Ye Chen didn't use the thunder method, they would unite to resist Ye Chen's other orders whenever they touched the interests of these people in the future. Ye Chen was very sure about this. That's why Ye Chen raised the butcher knife and slaughtered the disobedient gentry. After all, it would save trouble in the future. Yes. Lord. Cheng Piyu nodded heavily. At this moment, Tian Zhou finished reading the notice and exhaled for a long time, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said. My lord, I will return to Yubaping city from my humble position, copy the notices, and post them on the streets and alleys. The people have been hungry for a day. If you wait, I am afraid that many things will happen. Ye Chen nodded, and then said. Okay, let's go. In addition, you cooperate with Dema to recruit soldiers and require that you start with C-level qualifications, complete the soldiers lost in Yubei Pingcheng, and try your best to treat the wounded soldiers. The soldiers who died are buried, and the pension is paid in full. Tian Chu's expression suddenly became a little unnatural when he heard this. Cheng Piyu glanced at Tian Zhou, hesitated, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said. The Lord, Yu Beeping City Mansion is empty, and the soldiers' food and payment, has been in arrears for three months. When Ye Chen heard this, his brow suddenly frowned, and then he shouted in a deep voice, What are the names of the who ran away, and where is their ancestry? Lord, the official from Beeping City, right who abandoned the city and fled, was surrounded by a large army of golden scarves and killed them all shortly after they left the city. Cheng Piyu was taken aback when he heard this, then bowed and said. It's cheaper for them. Ye Chen snorted, with a move with his right hand. Ten boxes of gold coins appeared on the spot. Pointing to the ten boxes of gold coins on the ground, Ye Chen said in a deep voice. Send all the food and salaries that the soldiers had not paid before, whether they died in battle or not. Each person who was injured would receive a subsidy of one gold, and those who died in the battle would receive ten gold pensions. The whole family is taken care of by the city of reincarnation. In addition, Speed up the purchase of food in the hands of the tyrants. Those who disobey will be killed without mercy, and the people must not be allowed to continue to be hungry. Cheng Piyu and Tian Zhou were taken aback when they heard this. They just saw that Ye Chen was angry, and they thought Ye Chen was also embarrassed. Whoever thought it was not like that at all. Ye Chen was angry only because of the officials who abandoned the city and fled, not because of the emptiness of the treasury. Otherwise, how could Ye Chen directly take out ten boxes of gold? These are simply not spent, even if they are used to buy food from the tyrants, they can't be spent. And all this, everyone tells Cheng Piyu and Tian Zhou, one thing. Their lord loves soldiers like a son, and his people like a son. There is nothing deceitful about what he says he does. And such a lord is the perfect lord in their hearts. Call call. Cheng Piyu and Tian Zhou exhaled together, then bowed and worshipped together. The last general swears to follow the Lord. If you break this oath, the heaven will die. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, and then said. Go, don't let the soldiers continue to feel cold and the people continue to suffer from starvation. Yes. Lord. Cheng Piyu and Tian Zhou trembled when they heard this and then bowed heavily in response. After speaking, the two called the soldiers, carrying ten boxes of gold on the ground and returning to Yubeeping City. Boom rumble! Ten thousand horses galloped, and the earthquake trembled. At this time, 
the 400,000 army of Reincarnation City finally killed the demon clan flying birds that fell on the ground, and then under the leadership of Zhao Yunzhen, Zhao Meng, Gao Shun, and Dian Xiong, came to Ye Chen. Hey! Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng and the 400,000 Reincarnation City Army all rolled over and got off their horses. Then they knelt on one knee and said loudly. Meet the Lord! 400,000 people shouted in unison, and the trembling sky buzzed. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Zhao Meng, Gao Shun, Dian Xiong, and said. Pass the order, clean the battlefield, take away all the items above the gold level, as well as the exercises. Anyone who dares to approach the battlefield will kill you. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, and Zhao Meng all bowed in response, and then ran to deliver orders. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Soon, the 400,000 army took action, confiscating the items exploded by the monster clan and the golden turban army on the battlefield. When the battlefield was cleaned, Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows after hearing the report. Two million king-level exercises, one million imperial-level exercises, three hundred thousand emperor-level exercises, and ten thousand holy-level exercises. Yellow-level equipment is three hundred thousand, mysterious-level equipment is one hundred and fifty thousand, earth-level equipment is sixty thousand, and sky-level equipment is ten thousand. Yes, yes. After this monster race was killed, it really broke a lot of good things. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but tilt his mouth, then looked at the 400,000 army, and shouted. You are fighting bravely, facing the monster race, golden turban, no one is timid, marching in battle, rewards, and punishments. Now, those who have not received the king level exercises come forward to receive the king level exercises. After Ye Chen finished speaking, with a wave of his hand, 350,000 king-level exercises appeared on the ground. 350,000 soldiers in the city of reincarnation, Chi Chi widened his eyes when he heard this, and his breathing became more obvious. In the next second, the 350,000 soldiers of reincarnation city knelt down on one knee and said loudly. Thank you for the Lord's gift, we swear to follow the Lord. At this moment, they are excited and excited. You must know that they are all born in poverty, not to mention the king-level exercises, they don't even have the general high-level exercises. Even if you want to learn, no one will teach it to them. But now, their lord directly gave them the king-level exercises, how could they not be excited, how could they not be excited? Ye Chen smiled and nodded and the soldiers lined up to receive the king-level exercises one by one. The players watching from a distance, one by one you look at me and I look at you, that is a shock, and that is a jealousy. They knew that the Yeazu had exploded good things, but they didn't expect to explode so many good things. Most of them did not have a king-level exercise method, and Ye Chen actually rewarded the soldiers directly. For them, what a it is. Hey! I finally know why Ye Chen is so strong. I don't have to pay for it, can it be strong? King level exercises, it, 350,000 copies, if you give it to NPC, give it to NPC, Nima, I don't have a king level exercise yet. Hey, I broke out a book, but I already learned it. Why don't I have such good luck? There are so many monster races in the Han Empire. Ye Chen probably killed them all and Yuzhu. Let's go elsewhere. If you want to go, I will still follow Boss Ye Chen, wherever Boss Ye Chen goes, I will go wherever he goes. It's safe, and I can pick up some monsters and kill them. Hey, I think so too. When the players talked with each other, 350,000 soldiers quickly received the king level exercises. Ye Chen looked at the Samsara Legion at this time smiled slightly, and then said. You waited to follow me from birth to death, and I cannot lose it. Now, 
I am going forward to receive the holy level exercises and the heaven level equipment. Thank you for the Lord's gift. We, swear to follow the Lord. Hearing this, the Samsara Legion knelt on one knee, and then shouted. There was deep excitement and excitement in their voices. Only a handful of people have the holy level exercises. Before they followed Ye Chen, let alone the holy level exercises, they didn't even dare to think about the king level exercises. And now, the holy level cultivation technique is no longer an unattainable dream, but is really placed in front of them. How could they not be excited, how could they not be excited? And all of this was bestowed by Ye Chen. Without Ye Chen, they would be nothing. They knew and understood, so they were grateful to Ye Chen and vowed to follow Ye Chen to the death. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, with a move with his right hand, 10,000 saint level exercises appeared in front of the Samsara Legion. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion immediately stepped forward, picked up the holy level exercises one by one, and then learned them. The players in the distance, seeing this, all their eyes are red. Holy level cultivation technique, my day, it is really a holy level cultivation technique. Damn, why did Ye Chen just give it to an NPC? It's still 10,000 holy level cultivation techniques. If this is sold, Ye Chen will not only can you get countless money, can you improve the strength of the human race? Yes, the human race is inherently weak, Ye Chen would rather give those NPCs than sell them, it's too selfish. Don't stop talking nonsense, you will sell it for you? Those are Ye Chen's soldiers, and they seem to be guards. Ye Chen doesn't use them for them. Can they be used by you? Don't pay attention to these two stupid guys. Ye Chen got so much money from Wuhuan in the northern expedition, and he is not short of money at all. How could he just take it out and sell it? Now in this world, who doesn't want to become stronger, Ye Chen is not stupid, sure will try his best to improve his own strength, is it possible to really sell the holy level technique? I think Ye Chen should sell the holy level technique. The monsters invaded in the game. In reality, it won't take long for the protective shield of the safe city to be useless. At that time, the monsters will definitely attack the humans in reality. The human race is not strong, how to resist the demon race, is it just waiting for the demon race to kill? That is, no matter how strong the soldiers in the game are, what is the use in reality? Even if they can go to reality, it is Ye Chen who is strong and the human race should be weak or weak. If you are not lucky, you won't be defeated by the monster race. Killed. The players are far away, and the content that can be discussed is still heard by Ye Chen. After all, Ye Chen's hearing and vision are far beyond ordinary people, and it is difficult to hear it or not. Looking at the player in the distance, Ye Chen sneered coldly. The players wanted to ask Ye Chen to sell the exercises and improve the strength of the human race. They had a good idea, but it was a pity that Ye Chen wouldn't do it at all. Ye Chen is not a saint, and the strength of his men hasn't become stronger yet, how could he help others improve their strength? What's more, what these people say is nothing more than they want to buy. Because they are here, and the people who say this, without exception, are well equipped and wealthy. If Ye Chen sells exercises, they will be able to buy them as soon as they get close to the water. If you don't want to be killed by the monster, you should try to kill the monster yourself, if you can't, you should join together to kill the monster. In this way, how can it explode a lot of good things, whether it is exercises or equipment? Unfortunately, there are too few people who can cooperate sincerely. Thinking of this, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain, and then shouted. Go. Yu Yang. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Zhao Meng and Gao Shun heard this, bowed in response, and then led the soldiers to follow Ye Chen towards Yu Yang. Boom rumble. Ten thousand horses galloped, and the earthquake trembled. Killing the iron-blooded breath constantly surging with the advance of the army of the Reincarnation City. At this moment, the new recruits from Reincarnation City that Ye Chen brought out, without exception, 
were completely reborn. Among them, more than 80% of the soldiers have reached level 90 and can break through to the king level general at any time. And this is also the fundamental reason why Ye Chen directly gave the soldiers the king level exercises. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Yu Yang The Endless Golden Turban Army is violently attacking Yu Yang County. A large number of corpses piled up under the city, including soldiers with golden turbans and soldiers. Above the city wall, the two parties continued to fight and fight again. Under the city, Jin Jin Yu's Hu Ku Shui Huang and Wang looked at the Yuyang County town that was about to be breached, and the smiles on their faces grew thicker. He destroyed countless villages and towns, but never breached a city, and the Yuyang County seat in front of him would soon become the first city to be captured by him. As long as Yuyang is captured, his Yu's Hu Canal commander will be as stable as Mount Tai, and the reputation of the Golden Turban will inevitably spread throughout Yu's Hu. When the time comes to attack other cities, the officials, people, and soldiers in those cities will be afraid, and naturally they can save a lot of energy. Cheng Yuan Zi, the commander of the Golden Turban Army, glanced at Yuyang City Wall, then looked at Huang and Chang, and asked. Ku Shui, this Yuyang will be breached soon. In the next step, should we attack Yubaping City or Yuyang, or Zhuojun? Huang and Chang were first taken aback when they heard the general's inquiry, and then they spoke without hesitation. Of course it is Yu Yang and Zuo Jun. Yu Beeping is a bit far away. When Huang and Fu spoke, their voices became quieter. Obviously, there was still something in his heart that he hadn't said. Cheng Yu and Zi heard this frown slightly, and then said. Chu Shui, now I have more than 10 million gold turban soldiers and even 10,000 gold turban champions, why not directly attack Yu Beeping City, then attack Liaxi, and win the champion Ho? Wait, the champion Ho heard that he used his soldiers like a god, and his soldiers will be all elite. They have killed more than tens of millions of people in Wuhan. We all become veterans of the Hundred Wars, and then we will deal with the champion, and we will have a greater grasp. Huang and Fu narrowed their eyes and then said in a deep voice. But General Tian Gong said that we can't give champions time to develop, otherwise they will inevitably become my golden turban enemy, and this is why General Tian Gong has equipped us with golden turban warriors. Cheng Yu and Zi said again. Cheng Yu and Zi, you are so courageous. You dare to question me. Huang Chang's anger was widened when he heard this, and then he shouted. The general dare not but does Chu Shui want to violate the words of General Tian Gong? Cheng Yu and Zi glanced at Huang Chang, then said with a fist. You. Huang and Fu were furious. At this moment, a gold scarf spy ran over with a shocked expression on his face. As soon as he got closer, the spies shouted loudly, Chu Shui, it's not good, there are more than 400,000 cavalry in the east. They are rushing towards here and they will arrive soon. What's so alarming about 400,000? Huang and Fu were angry, they were furious when they heard this, and then they shouted. No. Chu Shui, the 400,000 plus cavalrymen are all wearing diamond level equipment, and they are playing the banner of General Huzar. The spy was taken aback and hurriedly explained. As soon as he finished speaking, Huang and Chang were taken aback, and then hurriedly asked. You said those big soldiers are all wearing diamond level equipment? They are still playing the banner of General Hussein. Yes, handsome Chu. The spy nodded heavily in response. Damn. Quick. Order the army to stop the siege and turn the whole army. Huang and Chang were shocked when they heard this, and hurriedly looked at the messenger and shouted. Obviously, he was shocked by the all-diamond level equipment of the army in the reincarnation city. No. Shui Chu, Yu Yang County is about to be broken. If you turn at this moment, you will definitely lose everything. Cheng Yu and Zi heard this and hurriedly threw his fists to stop him. Fart. 
Don't you turn to the cavalry waiting for the Hussar General Ye Chen to charge? That is the cavalry wearing diamond level equipment, do you think we can stop it? Huang and Fu roared furiously. Chu Shui. Ye Chen led only 400,000 soldiers, and our army of golden towels exceeded 10 million, so why be afraid? Cheng Yun Zi opened his eyes sharply, and then shouted. Ye Chen can kill tens of millions of people in Wuhan, do you think our soldiers are better than Wuhan? Huang Fu frowned, and then shouted in a deep voice. When Cheng Yun Zi saw this, he clasped his fists and shouted. That was Ye Chen's destruction one by one, and now, my golden turban tens of thousands of troops are here, and at the end I would like to lead people to stop the Hussar general Ye Chen. I also ask Xu Chu to continue to attack Yu Yang. As long as we capture Yu Yang, we can retreat and defend, and we can attack. Then Ye Chen can do nothing about us, let alone have the confidence to kill all of Ye Chen's 400,000 soldiers. When Huang Chong heard this, his face was green for a while, then red, he gave Cheng Yun Zi a bitter look, and then he shouted. Very well, I will give you three million soldiers. You go and kill Ye Chen and his soldiers. As long as you can succeed, you will not be held accountable for the crime you committed, and I will also ask General Tian Gong. Please work for you. Otherwise, I will behead your dog. The final commander. When Cheng Yun Zi heard this, he clasped his fists in response, and then rode away. Not long after, Cheng Yun Zi brought three million golden soldiers to the back of the army, waiting for the arrival of the army in the reincarnation city. Boom, boom, boom. Ten thousand horses galloped, and the earthquake trembled. The violent breath, with the sound of the galloping horses, rushed towards the army of the golden scarves. After Cheng Yu and Zi felt the violent breath, his face suddenly changed, and then he was angry. It's just a cavalry, I really think the world is invincible. Thinking of this, Cheng Yu and Zi looked at the army of the reincarnation city that soon appeared in his sight, and then shouted. Pull the bow to build. Waiting for my orders. WHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHH
when Cheng Yu and Zi shouted, he shot Ye Chen. Ye Chen looked at the stabbed long and spear, smiled coldly, and grabbed his left hand. Dang came. Ye Chen's left hand instantly caught Cheng Yu and Zi's spear head. Cheng Yu and Zi was dumbfounded. He never expected that Ye Chen would dare to grab the tip of the gun with his hands. Of course, this is not important. What is important is that Ye Chen's hands are so okay that there is no blood flow. At the moment Cheng Yu and Zi was shocked, Ye Chen's left hand violently applied force and directly pushed the long and spear back. Puff came. Cheng Yu and Zi's long and spear fell back in an instant, and the barrel of the spear pierced his armor abruptly, and then pierced his body. Cheng Yu and Zi's mouth suddenly opened the boss, and then he shouted in horror, How is it possible? There was a sound of Wu. In a panic, Cheng Yu and Zi was instantly thrown into the air by Ye Chen. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for beheading a third rate historical general, Cheng Yu and Zi. Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows when he heard the system prompt. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be Cheng Yu and Zi, a name left in history. Unfortunately, it's just rubbish. Thinking of this, Ye Chen curled his mouth in disdain, and swung the gunshot with his right hand directly at the golden scarf soldier in front. Puff, 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 puff. After several sounds, five human heads flew up instantly, and at the moment the blood in the five golden turban soldiers spurted out, Tian Maziagen knocked them into flight. Boom boom boom. Five sounds of body cracking came. Without exception, the five golden turban soldiers were all torn apart in mid-air. However, Ye Chen did not stop at all. Riding on Tian Maziagen, he rushed and rushed, violently harvesting the lives of the golden turban soldiers with a sharp gun in his hand. Where Ye Chen passed, the head rolled, the body burst, and the stumps and arms flew together. All the soldiers with the golden turban who were hit by Tian Maziagen flew upside down, then vomited blood in midair and died. Ye Chen, one man, and one horse, tyrannical, domineering, unmatched. At this moment, the Samsara Legion rushed up. The ferocious and savage rhinoceros immediately began to rush into the army of the Golden Turban. Pieces of soldiers in the Golden Turban were bluntly knocked into flight, and there was no life in the air. At the same time, the hundred refined steel and guns in the hands of the Samsara Legion were shot out one after another. The soldier with the golden scarf was stabbed to death on the spot and then flew, smashing the soldier with the golden scarf in the distance. Boom rumble. Thousands of cows rushed and the earth roared. The tyrannical and domineering reincarnation legion followed Ye Chen and instantly cut a hole in the golden turban army, and then moved forward and forward again, no one could stop it. Boom, boom, boom. Ten thousand horses galloped, and the earthquake trembled. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, with the army of 400,000 reincarnation cities, quickly rushed here, and then started the ruthless harvest mode. The soldier of the Golden Turban drank Fu Shui, and what he could do without his reason was just killing. For all the soldiers in reincarnation city, as long as Ye Chen wanted to kill, they would not show mercy and would do their best to kill. Because their lord Ye Chen gave them everything and gave them a bright future. They are grateful and believe in Ye Chen. For Ye Chen, for the city of reincarnation, they are willing to give everything, let alone follow Ye Chen to the battlefield to kill the enemy. Boom, boom, boom. The army of reincarnation city, led by Ye Chen, cut into the army of the Golden Turban tyrannically like an all, rushing, then rushing, accelerating continuously, and accelerating again, without any sign of stopping. Puff, puff, puff. Long, a spear stabbed, and a blow away, cold and merciless. Boom, boom, boom. The mount rammed straight, how did not evade, and was fierce and tyrannical. The soldiers of the Golden Turban were stabbed to death, picked up, and knocked into flight. Wherever the army of the reincarnation city passed, corpses were everywhere, and blood flowed into rivers. Golden Turban Army, the seat of Shueki. 
Huang Chong looked east in horror. There, there are their soldiers, golden soldiers, and endless golden soldiers. However, at this moment, his soldiers are like toys, constantly being knocked off and flying into the sky. In addition, soldiers continued to explode in mid-air, leaving no corpses. He knows who is attacking his men, and knows whose army it is. It was precisely because of knowing that he was frightened. Because from the very beginning, he was afraid of Ye Chen, the legendary great general Huzar of the Han Empire. In one hour, he broke through the city of Yubaping, trampled on Wuhuan in one day, and flowed the blood of Wuhuan's killing into a river, directly destroying the race. In his heart, that is the most brutal overlord, and tyrannical and ruthless. Any enemy, Ye Chen, will be mercilessly beheaded, without mercy. Otherwise, how could the Wuhuan clan be wiped out all without leaving? At this moment, the great general of the Han Empire Huzar Ye Chen is leading his tiger and wolf division to attack his men, the speed is extremely fast, no one can stop. Thinking of this, Huang Chong shivered abruptly. Deng Mao, the lieutenant who ran here by the chance of passing orders, glanced at the army of Samsara City that was fiercely charging here, his pupils shrank and then shrank, and then he stammered and shouted. Ku Shui, let's, let's run. He was frightened by the ferocity and tyranny of Ye Chen and the army of Reincarnation City. In his opinion, what is invincible, what is invincible, what is tens of thousands of soldiers, in the place of General Hu Shao Ye Chen, all are ants. He doesn't want to die, he wants to escape from Yu Hu, leave Yu Hu far away, and never come to Yu Hu again. Huang Chong glanced at Deng Mao, tried to stabilize the heart that was beating violently from panic, and then shouted sharply. The Golden Turban Army is still here, how dare you run away lightly? Go, lead me to kill the Huzar General Ye Chen, otherwise, I will not forgive. When Deng Mao heard this, he was taken aback, then his face changed. He never expected that Huang Chong, who had already expressed fear, would actually say so. The next second, Deng Mao reacted, why did Huang Chong say that? What's so special is to ask him to die, so as to buy time for Huang Chong to escape. Thinking of this, Deng Mao instantly furious. However, when he saw the ten thousand expressionless, sturdy golden scarfed man, he instantly fell silent. After a moment of silence, Deng Mao bowed and said. Ku Shui, I want to kill General Hussein Ye Chen so I can only use the golden turban warrior assigned by General Tian Gong to Ku Shui. Please also Ku Shui Mingjian. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. When Huang Chong heard this, his face suddenly sank. The golden turban warriors are the guards of the great wise teacher Zhang Jiao. They are the trump card among the Golden Turban soldiers. They are even stronger than the elite soldiers of the Han army. Originally, Huang Long intended to take away the Golden Turban warriors and develop elsewhere, and soon he could pull up a large army of tens of thousands of people. In this way, he would not worry about being blamed too much. But what Deng Mao said was not a lie. He couldn't run away without a golden turban warrior blocking Ye Chen's army of reincarnation city. Thinking of this, Huang Chong glanced at Deng Mao, and then said in a deep voice. Okay. I'll give you five thousand golden scarves. Remember, no matter what, you must bring Ye Chen's head back to me. Please rest assured Chu Shui. The final general is willing to use Xiong Shang's head to guarantee that he will definitely take the head of the Huzar general Ye Chen. Deng Mao heard this and said without hesitation. Okay. Hearing this, Huang Chong glanced at Deng Mao, then shouted, after speaking, he took out half a jade talisman and handed it to Deng Mao. When Deng Mao saw the half jade talisman, his eyes suddenly lit up, he hurriedly took the half jade talisman, and then bowed and said. At the end, I will kill Ye Chen. After Deng Mao finished speaking, he brought half of the jade talisman to the side of the golden towel history. When he lifted his right hand, the half jade talisman lit up instantly. 
The 5,000 expressionless golden turbaned man was instantly shocked, and then looked at Deng Mao. Deng Mao raised his eyebrows at this time, and then he said, Follow me. Here. The 5,000 shirtless golden scarfed men bowed all together, and then followed Deng Mao towards the army of the reincarnation city. Huang Chong glanced at Deng Mao, snorted coldly, and then ran away without hesitation with 5,000 golden turban men and guards. Just as Huang Chong ran away, Deng Mao also changed direction and ran away. Boom rumble! 10,000 horses galloped, and the earthquake trembled. Ye Chen led the army of the reincarnation city, constantly charging and then charging, wanton the lives of the reaper's golden turban soldiers. When Ye Chen killed six golden turban soldiers with a single shot, he was taken aback for a moment, and then looked to the left and front. There, a group of big men with golden turbans on their heads, shirtless, and extremely strong physiques were running wildly. It's just the direction, but it's outside the battlefield. Ye Chen's eyes lit up the moment he saw the shirtless soldiers in the golden scarf. Damn it! The golden scarf warrior who specializes in exploding good things. In the previous life, Yu Su had never seen a golden turban warrior, but now he has actually appeared. Is Zhang Jia really his own cost? Thinking of this, Ye Chen said without looking back. Yun Zheng, Dian Xiong, Zhao Meng, Gao Shun, kill all the soldiers with the golden turban, and the Samsara Legion will follow me. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, heard this, Qi Qi was stunned, and then responded loudly. Although they didn't understand why Ye Chen issued such an order suddenly, they would not question Ye Chen's order. Yes. Lord. At this time, the Samsara Legion shouted in unison, and then followed Ye Chen directly to change direction, rushing to the Golden Turban Warrior. The abrupt change of direction during the charge is a taboo for ordinary cavalry. But for the Samsara Legion, that is not a problem at all. Boom rumble. Thousands of cows rushed and the earth roared. Ye Chen led the Samsara Legion to cut the Golden Turban Army again and chased the Golden Turban Warrior. Others don't know the benefits of the Golden Turban Warriors, how could Ye Chen not know? Any one of the Golden Towel Warriors is a super experienced baby. After killing, they have a lot of experience, and the explosive items are even more diverse, and they are all high quality goods. Now that Ye Chen saw the Golden Turban Warriors, how could he let them go? You must know that Ye Chen has a profound blessing attribute. Once the Golden Turban Warrior is killed, the level of the exploded item will definitely be higher than the original. It is precisely because of this that Ye Chen would not let the Golden Turban Warrior leave. Moreover, the point is that the total number of Golden Turban Warriors is no more than one million. Missing this time, who knows where these Golden Turban Warriors will go and who will kill them. Of course, the Golden Turban Lux explodes good things, but the strength is also leveraged. Ordinary generals really can't deal with the Golden Towel Warriors, especially after Zhang Jiao has applied various bug-like auxiliary attributes to the Golden Warriors. At that time, the Golden Turban Warrior, if he took out one, could fight against the influential historical generals for hundreds of rounds. Although they will eventually be killed, this is enough to explain the abnormalities of these golden turban warriors. Deng Mao, who was running away, was dreaming about the future with excitement. Because he controls 5,000 golden turban warriors, with these 5,000 golden turban warriors, he can continue to develop his subordinates. Millions, tens of millions, tens of millions are not a problem, because he has a foundation. As long as he has enough men, he can attack the city and grab the land, and Zhang Jiao will naturally not blame him for escaping. The thought that he would become the commander of the party soon, Deng Mao was suddenly excited. At this moment, the dull roar of the earth was getting closer and louder, and instantly awakened the fantasy Deng Mao. Are you chasing? No way. Thinking of this, Deng Mao turned to look. In the next second, Deng Mao shivered involuntarily. Damn it! I really caught up. So many people don't kill, 
and they come and chase me for something. Damn it! Damn it! Deng Mao thought about it in anger, and immediately shouted, The past thousand people! Kill me the general who's are riding the golden pegasus! The thousand golden turban warriors didn't even think about it, so they stopped, turned around and rushed towards Ye Chen. The golden turban warrior is very powerful, and Deng Mao clearly understands it, but he has no idea. Because the wild rhinos riding by the Samsara Legion were so cruel, it was simply not something human could contend with. Although he ran away under the guise of a pass, he still saw the wild rhino charging. Moreover, he also learned the origins of those wild rhinos from Huang Chang's mouth. It was precisely because he knew the horror of the wild rhinoceros that he completely gave up his plan to use the golden turban warrior to fight Ye Chen. The golden turban warriors are not afraid of death, but it is useless. In front of the wild rhinos, the golden turban warriors are the dishes, the samsara legion. As soon as the tea time was over, Ye Chen brought the reincarnation legion and collided head on with the golden turban warrior. Seeing how do not dodge, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain. These people were stupid by Zhang Jiao. Loyalty means loyalty, and bravery means bravery. Unfortunately, they have no brains. Thinking of this, Ye Chen waved the sharp gun with his right hand, and then shouted in a loud voice, Kill! 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 The terrifying cry of killing sounded instantly. The reincarnation legion slantly extracted refined steel and spears, and then aimed at the golden turban warrior. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. The sky is dead, and the yellow sky will stand. The age is in Jiazi, the world is prosperous. The thousand golden turban warriors saw Ye Chen and the Samsara Legion who were rushing towards him, and stopped, then pulled three pieces of talisman paper from his waist and put them on his body. A piece of yellow light instantly lit up and the thousand golden turban warriors who were originally shirtless turned into golden light in an instant. Powerful talisman, thick earth talisman, King Kong talisman. Ye Chen recognized the origin of the talisman at the moment when the golden towel warrior took out the talisman. These will greatly enhance the strength and defense of the golden towel warrior, and will give birth to a protective cover on the body, so called impenetrable. Ye Chen couldn't help but tilt his mouth when he looked at the shining golden turban man. Not bad, not bad, the best used, the items that burst out like this are of higher grade. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, he came to the front of the golden turban warrior, and his right hand shot the sharp spear without hesitation. Hey, yell, yell, yell. Several voices came. The heads of five golden turban warriors flew up instantly. The golden light of the protective body they were so proud of, as well as the incomparable defense, did not give them even a second of time. Boom boom boom. Five sounds of body cracking sounded instantly. The Samsara Legion was killed, and all the steel and spears in their hands were shaken. Om, oh, hum. The sky shaking humming sounded instantly. The steel and guns in the hands of the soldiers of the Samsara Legion instantly lit up with white lights, and then they stabbed the golden scarfed strongman. Puff, 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 puff. Countless sounds came. The golden turban warrior was instantly stabbed by the soldiers of the Hua Samsara Legion, and then lifted and flew. Boom rumble. The reincarnation legion rushed past and a thousand golden turban warriors were all beheaded on the spot without exception. Far away. Deng Mao ran wildly with four thousand golden scarves, while observing the results behind him. In his opinion, although a thousand golden turban warriors could not kill Ye Chen, nor could they cause much damage to the Samsara Legion, they could persist for a while. He had seen the power of the three talisman papers with his own eyes. Although he didn't have Zhang Jiao to cast the spell himself, the perversion and state that came was also the existence of the sword. As long as you use those three talisman papers, unless you are a king-level general, don't even think about breaking the defense of the golden turban warrior. Therefore, 
it is impossible for the Samsara Legion to kill the Golden Turban Warrior. In this way, he has enough time to escape. However, in the next second, Deng Mao suddenly dropped his chin. In his eyes, the incomparable Golden Turban Warrior was easily beheaded on the spot just like paper. What is the strength of this Huzar General Ye Chen? Is this, an Emperor-level General or a Saint-level General? Deng Mao shouted in horror. In the next second, Deng Mao's eyes glared at the boss, and then he shouted in horror. Wang, a King-level General. How could it be possible for him? Why are Ye Chen's soldiers all King-level Generals? Even if Ye Chen is strong, this has already scared Deng Mao. But what Deng Mao didn't expect was that the Samsara Legion not only had abnormal mounts, but also themselves. Everyone turned out to be a king-level general. Otherwise, it would be impossible to stab the Golden Turban Warrior so easily. Damn it! Deng Mao yelled in horror, without even thinking about it, he directly urged the horses crazy. He wanted to escape immediately, the farther he could escape, the better. He is only a royal-level general. Facing a group of reincarnation legions that are all king-level generals, he has no chance of winning at all, let alone a powerful Ye Chen who makes him desperate. Ye Chen is not only powerful, but also extremely cruel and domineering. People killed by Ye Chen, even if they pierced their bodies, their bodies would explode to pieces, and there would be no whole bodies. Just thinking about it, Deng Mao shuddered. Boom rumble. Thousands of cattle rushed, and the earthquake trembled. Ye Chen led the Samsara Legion and hurriedly pursued Deng Mao. Whether it is Tian Mazijin or a wild rhino, the speed is unusually fast. The horse that Deng Mao sat down was just a fine horse, not the famous Maliangju, how could it be possible to run past Ye Chen and still have the Samsara Legion? Deng Mao couldn't even run let alone the golden turban champion who followed him. After a few breaths, Ye Chen led the reincarnation legion to catch up with the golden turban warrior, and then mercilessly beheaded the 4,000 golden turban warriors on the spot. When Deng Mao saw a few breaths, he was killed by a gold-scarfed strongman, and he was frightened. He urged the horse desperately, however, it was useless. Not long after he ran, a golden light flashed. Yet. Ye Chen. I. I voted. Deng Mao's pupils shrank when he saw Ye Chen who came to the side, and then shouted in a shrill voice. However, before he finished speaking, Ye Chen cut his neck with a shot, and his round head flew up instantly. Zzz, zzz. The blood began to squirt wildly, splashing down to the ground with the running horse. After a breath, a bang came. Deng Mao's body exploded to pieces, blood and internal organs were splashed everywhere. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for beheading a third-rate historical general, Deng Mao. Hearing the prompt sound of the system, Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then smiled. Unexpectedly, it was Deng Mao. Although it is also a rubbish, there should be a lot of military exploits. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the world announcement sounded instantly because Ye Chen had withdrawn from the attack state. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, the first historical military commander to kill the third-rate golden turban, Cheng Yuanzi, specially rewards player Ye Chen Zhan with one million. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, Deng Mao, the second historical general who killed the third-rate golden turban, rewards the player Ye Chen for one million military exploits. The world announcement, three times in a row, instantly detonated the world channel. Fuck. Fuck. Ye Chen, Nima, it's not over? Just took Cheng Piyu and Tian Zhou, how long did this Nima take to kill Cheng Yu and Zi and Deng Mao? It doesn't matter who you kill, but Nima has given so much military merit to Mao, I rely on. Ye Chen's military merit is now soaring, it has reached astronomical figures, and the special is up to 2 million military merits, why am I special? Only more than 1,000 combat exploits. Ha ha ha, boss Ye Chen is awesome. If you don't accept it, you have to obey. 
Boss Ye Chen, my younger brother is willing to go to use who to mix with Boss Ye Chen. Boss Ye Chen must not refuse. It's too difficult. It's safer to follow Boss Ye Chen, but the younger brother swears that he will never steal anything from Boss Ye Chen, nor will he disturb Boss Ye Chen's merits and merits. The younger one only seeks to be stable and clean. Boss Ye Chen, me too. I begged for permission from Boss Ye Chen. Same request. The world channel is very lively, Ye Chen glanced at it and chose to ignore it, and then looked into the distance. There, there are also a group of shirtless golden turban warriors. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows as he looked at the golden turban man who was running wildly in the distance. Cheng Yunzi, Deng Mao appeared, and ran away with the group of golden scarves. It should be Yu's Hu Kushui Huang Chong. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's mouth curled up, his right hand pointed the gunslinger towards the distance, and then he shouted, Charge! Serious law! Tian Maziajin's thunderous neighing sounded instantly and then moved his four hooves, chasing Huang Chong. Kill! 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 The terrifying cry of killing followed immediately. The reincarnation legion immediately opened the charge mode, following Ye Chen, rushing to Huang Chong and his party who were desperately running. Boom rumble! Thousands of cattle rushed, and the earthquake trembled. The golden turban army is endless, however. No amount of golden turban soldiers can stop Ye Chen for even a second. The Samsara Legion behind Ye Chen was equally overbearing. All the golden turban soldiers who blocked the charge of the Samsara Legion on the road were either killed or hit to death by a wild rhino and ran into flight. Pieces of golden turban soldiers were continuously beheaded and trampled. Huang Chong, who flees desperately, saw the whole process when Cheng Yu and Zi and his party were destroyed. Huang Long was originally angry, because Cheng Yu and Zi did not stop Ye Chen and fled instead. However, Huang Chang's anger was immediately replaced by panic. Ye Chen and the Samsara Legion were too ferocious, and they met with a thousand golden turban soldiers in an instant. After catching up, the four thousand golden turban warriors also did not have the slightest chance to resist, and they were all beheaded on the spot. Huang Chong is the commander of the Golden Turban Army in Yu's Hu, how could he not know what kind of existence the Golden Turban Warrior is? Even if he did it by himself, he could deal with up to five Golden Turban Warriors who used talisman paper, and no matter how many, he would be worried about his life. However, in his eyes, such a powerful Golden Turban Warrior, in Ye Chen and the Reincarnation Legion, was just like the ants, and was easily crushed to death. How could he not be afraid, how could he not be panicked? He didn't expect that Ye Chen would be tyrannical, and the Samsara Legion was so abnormal, everyone was a king-level military commander. So he was scared, he was scared, and he started to run away desperately, no matter what. Unfortunately, what he didn't know was that the Samsara Legion had all advanced to imperial generals long ago, and any soldier of the Samsara Legion had the ability to kill him. If Huang Chong knew this, he might be fainted. At this moment, Huang Chong had only one thought in his mind. Escape, escape quickly, escape from Yu's Hu, only if he escapes from Yu's Hu, he has the chance to survive. Rumble. The roar of the dull earth is getting closer, but Huang Chang's face is getting paler and paler. He didn't have to look back at all and he could judge that the Samsara Legion had caught up and would soon catch up with him. At the thought of this, layers of cold sweat broke out on Huang Chang's forehead. He doesn't want to die, he wants to live, he is the commander of Yu's Hu Golden Turban Army, and he has a lot of life to enjoy. Thinking of this, Huang Chang did not hesitate to draw out the long sword on his waist, and pierced the war horse's fart and thigh with a sword. Serious Law because of the tingling pain, the war horse instantly screamed in pain, and then ran desperately, speeding up again. Must run away. Must run away. After thinking about it in horror, 
Huang Chong explored his bosom with his right hand and took out half of the jade talisman. Taking a look at half of the jade symbol, Huang Chong gritted his teeth, and then squeezed hard. Boom! The jade amulet turned into powder, a red light burst out in an instant, and then it enveloped the 5,000 golden turban warriors who were running wildly with him. At this moment, the bodies of the 5,000 golden turban warriors all glowed red, and the three talisman papers on their waists also lit up at this moment. Huang Chong glanced at the 5,000-year-old man who had completely changed his appearance, then looked at Ye Chen, who was getting closer, and shouted loudly. Go, kill General Hussein Ye Chen. He is the greatest enemy of Great Xian Mentor. Kill. 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 The violent and violent shouts of killing instantly sounded from the mouth of the 5,000 golden turban warriors. In the next second, the 5,000 golden turban warriors turned around, looked at Ye Chen, and then rushed towards Ye Chen. Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows when he saw the 5,000 golden turban man who was shrouded in red light. Is Zhang Jiao's blessing? Yes, yes, this explosive thing is even better. Thinking of this, Ye Chen pinched his horse's belly with his feet, Tian Maziajin, instantly jumped up, and fell straight into the crowd of 5,000 golden turban warriors. At this moment, Ye Chen waved the sharp gun in his right hand. Puff, 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 tens of numbers came. The heads of twelve round gold-scarved warriors flew up instantly. Boom! Tian Maziajin landed heavily, four horse hooves stepped four headless men with golden scarves on the ground, and then moved four hooves to continue forward. And Ye Chen started the ruthless harvesting mode at this moment, and his right-handed sharp gun flew up and down, shot after shot, simple and rude, without fancy. Puff, 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 puff. Wherever the gunslinger passed, the stumps and arms flew together, and the heads danced wildly. Boom boom boom. The sound of the bodies bursting, followed by the sound of pieces. Huang Long, who was running wild, saw this, his face suddenly turned pale, and then his face was occupied by extreme fear. He didn't expect that he used the jade talisman given by Zhang Jiao to forcibly raise the golden turban warrior to a realm, but he still couldn't stop Ye Chen. He is the commander of Yu Zhu Jin Jin Jun Chu, and only he knows the specific usage of the jade symbol given by Zhang Jiao. In addition to controlling the golden towel warrior, the jade charm is crushed, which is equivalent to Zhang Jiao's blessing for the golden towel warrior himself. It's just that, in this way, the golden turban warrior becomes a dead man, and will never stop unless he fights to the end, unless Zhang Jiao is here. And this is also the root cause of Huang Chang's hesitation at first, because Zhang Jiao will feel the jade talisman exploded. At that time, Zhang Jiao would definitely wonder if Huang Long was using the golden scarf warrior to escape. Once confirmed by Zhang Jiao, Huang Chang will definitely die. However, Huang Chang has nothing to do. He has to use it if he doesn't need it. If he doesn't need it, he can't escape. As long as he escapes and is trying to pull up a large army of golden turbans, even if he knows the truth, he will not be punished too harshly. His thoughts were very good, but what he didn't expect was that the golden turban warrior who was given various boosts by Zhang Jiao still couldn't stop Ye Chen. Ye Chen's speed has not changed at all, not only hasn't changed, but he has continued to behead the golden turban warrior. As for the golden turban warriors who were beheaded by Ye Chen, without exception, their deaths were extremely miserable. At this moment, the Samsara Legion rushed up, with hundreds of refined steel and spears in their hands, shaking them together, immediately infused the true energy in the body, and then killed the remaining golden turban warriors. Puff, puff, puff. Pieces of long, guns pierced through the body sounded, and then I saw the bodies of the golden turbaned warriors being picked up into the air one by one. The Emperor, the Imperial Level General. Huang Chong saw this, all the souls of the dead suddenly appeared, and the whole body was cold. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, 
the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Huang Long was originally terrified because of Ye Chen's terrifying strength. Now it's good, the reincarnation legion that has caught up is also a group of perverts, no one is weaker than him. This is how Huang Chong is not afraid, how is it possible not to panic? He had thought well before, and used the golden scarf to drag Ye Chen, and then he had enough time to rush to the small forest in front. As long as it enters the grove, the horse cannot run wildly, so it can only be dismounted. And this is exactly the result he wants to see. Because the horse he sat on was just a fine one, no matter where he ran the Pegasus of Ye Chen or the wild rhinoceros that the Samsara Legion rode. Of course, he knew that his speed could not be compared with Ye Chen, but he was not afraid. Because he has a strong ability to hide, in the woods, he has the confidence to avoid Ye Chen or the Samsara Legion's search, and even turn Ye Chen or the Samsara Legion around. However, what he didn't expect was that each of the Samsara Legion was an imperial general, and he was just an imperial general. There is only one such result. It is not just Ye Chen who can catch up with him. Any soldier in the Samsara Legion has a speed that is not slower than him. The thought of not being able to get rid of Ye Chen or the Samsara Legion, Huang Chang's whole person is not good. Yet, how did Ye Chen's soldiers be trained? They are all imperial generals. Damn it! Damn it! When Huang Chang thought of this, his pale face suddenly became distorted. He was afraid, afraid of being overtaken, and afraid of being slaughtered. I can escape, I can. Just as Huang Chang thought of this, a golden light suddenly jumped to Huang Chang's side. Out of the corner of his eye, he found something wrong with Huang Long, and he subconsciously looked to the left. In the next second, Huang Long's cold hair instantly exploded, and then he screamed. Yet. Ye Chen. Success. Ye Chen smiled coldly, and then shouted. After speaking, he waved the gun with his right hand. Woo! The gunshot shot across the air, and instantly brought out a string of air-breaking sounds. When Huang Chong saw this, he hurriedly waved his weapon to parry Ye Chen's slaughter spear. However, as soon as the long and gun in his hand were raised, the action stopped abruptly. Bang Law came. Huang Long's head flew away from his body in an instant, and then floated into the air. Zizi, Zizi. The pillar of blood immediately began to spray wildly, and Huang Chong was immediately dyed red, sitting down on the horse, and gradually reddening the ground. There was a bang. Huang Long's body exploded immediately. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for killing the second-rate historical general, Huang Chong. After hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Sure enough, it was the Golden Turban Army Yu Zhu Ku Shui Huang Ming. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, then leaned over and picked up the three objects exploded from the yellow thorns on the ground. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who is the first to kill the commander of Jin Jin Chu, special rewards X10 innate attribute points and X5 million combat exploits. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, instantly detonating the already lively world channel. Fuck. Fuck. How long has it been since Ye Chen killed two Golden Turban generals, and Nima killed Chu Shui from the Golden Turban Yu Hu? Special, I found that Ye Chen is already invincible, no one can stop. I really obeyed. He cheated from the beginning of the game, and he has been cheating until now. Nobody cares about anything special. Cheating? Do you want to laugh Lao Tzu to death, so as to inherit Lao Tzu's property? In this game, you cheat one by one and show Lao Tzu. In a word, you have to persuade you if you don't accept it. In addition, Ye Chen's boss and younger brother will go to Yu Hu immediately, please cover. Fool, Yu Hu Ku Shui Huang Chong was slaughtered by Ye Chen, and the monster clan was also killed by Ye Chen. What else is there to kill there, follow Ye Chen's farts and stalks to smell the stink. Go to Nima, 
you were the boss of Ye Chen and Yuz Hu? You are killed, and you won't go anywhere else? Don't forget, boss Ye Chen is Yuz Hu Mu in the Han Empire, General Hussein, I want to go. Go anywhere, there is no limit at all. Chow, what do you do with this idiot? Boss Ye Chen, the boy sincerely wants to mess with Boss Ye Chen, not for equipment, not for exercises, but for a position that can kill monsters, I swear, I will never grab it. The monster that Boss Ye Chen wants to kill will not grab the things that Boss Ye Chen exploded, and little brother, 100% willing to follow Boss Ye Chen's orders. The world channel is very lively, and the content of the players' discussions is constantly refreshing. Ye Chen glanced at it, and his eyebrows raised involuntarily. The players are now divided into two factions. One faction is always envious and jealous, and the other faction chooses to stand on Ye Chen's side, or in other words, want to mix with Ye Chen. What's different from before is that there are obviously a lot more players on Ye Chen's side. Envy, jealous, and hate, Ye Chen scorned and lazily paid attention to. As for the players who chose to stand on Ye Chen's side, Ye Chen also knew their purpose. It's nothing more than trying to reap some benefits. Of course, because Ye Chen had never accepted any younger brothers before, what these people said had changed a lot. But the essential purpose remains unchanged, and I still want to gain benefits. Regarding this, Ye Chen's attitude remained unchanged, and the younger brother still refused to accept it. But they were chasing after Ye Chen, Ye Chen didn't care. Ye Chen didn't have the effort to kill the golden scarves around the corners, the monster clan. Otherwise, how could Ye Chen allow the player to follow behind? It's really good to enjoy the shade under the big tree, but it's unpredictable. Thinking of this, Ye Chen sighed. At this moment, the Samsara Legion arrived here, and then stopped altogether. Ye Chen glanced at the Reincarnation Legion full of killing iron and blood, smiled slightly, and then said. Golden Turban is no longer helpful to your strength improvement. Go to clean the battlefield and collect all the things exploded by the Golden Turban Warrior. If anyone dares to it, kill it. Yes. Lord. When the soldiers of the Samsara Legion heard this, they all bowed and rushed towards the battlefield riding a wild rhino. At this moment, the Yuyang battlefield is the performance field of the Army of Samsara City. The Army of 400,000 Reincarnation City rushed back and forth, frantically harvesting the lives of the Golden Soldiers. Soon, the Golden Turban Army was killed in half. And at this time, the 400,000 Reincarnation City Army, constantly shining light on someone's body. Seeing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Yes, yes, this is a breakthrough innate, becoming a king-level general. After killing all these golden turban army, at least more than 80% of the people can become king-level generals. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth. At this moment, a very strong man suddenly appeared in the corner of Ye Chen's eyes. He was wearing a green robe, with a long black beard on his chin, and his face, the red one, was an alternative. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Ha ha ha, the taste of human beings is truly delicious, especially those powerful humans. This level 2, Master Xiong is ready to eat, you guys don't grab it. Ah ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. You demon tribes. Still want to eat Guan Er? You are not afraid that your teeth will break. Tell them to eat. Anyway, Guan Er followed Ye Chen. After Guan Er was to trouble Ye Chen, Ye Chen would definitely cry at that time. You idiot, which one are you from, you are a gangster. It's him, I just can't see Ye Chen can grab any good things, why do you bite Lao Zi? Fool. If you have the ability to collect it, don't pretend to be on the world channel. The world channel was full of enthusiasm, Ye Chen glanced at it, and then curled his lips in disdain. The monster race is rampant, and there are still people in the human race who are jealous and hateful. 
Ye Chen Hao can't be seen. Ye Chen knew this early in the morning. Now that Ye Chen closed the second, the world channel became lively again, Ye Chen also guessed it early in the morning. It's just that Ye Chen didn't care about these at all. Whether others are envious or jealous, even if they hate Ye Chen, Ye Chen won't care. For Ye Chen, no matter what others say and how they express their opinions, as long as they don't provoke Ye Chen, they can do anything. Once Ye Chen is provoked, it is the enemy, it is the enemy, just one word, kill. As for the monster race, Ye Chen would only choose one method, killing without mercy. If they don't speak on the world channel, Ye Chen will kill him mercilessly when he encounters a monster clan. Not to mention those crazy words posted on the world channel. It's just a group of ants, really when no one in this world can cure them. Thinking of this, Ye Chen smiled coldly, and then looked at Guan Er's property panel. Guan Tu, Super First Class Historical General. Qualification, SSS Level. Loyalty, Die Loyal. Force, 99. Roots, 98. Spirit, 96. Fu Yuan, Hidden. Technique, Wu Sheng Ju. Skills, Green Blade Technique. Equipment, None. Yes, yes, the Super First Class Historical Military Commander is different. This is a qualified and powerful military commander. Thinking of this, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, then looked at Guan Er, pointed to the warhorse in the distance, and said. Yun Chang, that is Huang Chang's war horse. Although it is not a famous horse horse, it is also a fine product. You can ride it first. When the Yuzhu Golden Scarf is settled, you can go to Reincarnation City to replace the war horse or the wild rhino. When Guan Er heard this, he was immediately overjoyed and hurriedly bowed and said, Yes, Lord, and then led Huang Chang's horse with excitement. Guan Er is a military commander, and he naturally loves the famous Ma Liangzhu. And Ye Chen allowed him to go back to Samsara City to choose a better horse, which is undoubtedly a famous horse. Of course, the wild rhino is not bad either. It is more fierce than the famous horses, and even more fierce than many famous horses. Regardless of which kind, Guan Er likes it, but how could he not be excited? Ye Chen looked at Guan Er with a look of excitement, smiled slightly, and then said. Chang Yun, follow me to the battlefield, and when the war is over, go to Zhou County to get your weapons. When Guan Er heard this, he was taken aback. He couldn't figure out what it meant to go to Zhou County to get weapons. Ye Chen couldn't help but smiled when Guan Er's face was dumbfounded, and then said. It's rumored that someone in Zhou County has a mysterious iron from the outside world. When that happens, I will buy it with a lot of money and make you a handy weapon. When Guan Er heard this, he was taken aback. How could Guan Er not know what existence Xian Tai is? That is the top material for building weapons, which is extremely rare in the world. Using that to build weapons, the ones that are created must be magic weapons. Once you have such a weapon, Guan Er can use what he has learned, and his power will increase sharply. If you want to cut the general before the battle, even if it is the first level of the general among the thousands of troops, it is not a problem for Guan Er. Therefore, Guan Er is extremely eager for such weapons. But now, Ye Chen wants to use the outer mysterious iron to build weapons for him, how could Guan Er not be excited, how could he not be excited? Efforts to stabilize the mood of ecstasy, Guan Er Zhang bowed and said. End General. Thank you for the Lord's gift. The End General swears to follow the Lord to the death. If you violate this oath, the heaven will die. Seeing Guan Er who was extremely excited, Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then said. Let me go to the battlefield, and when the battle is over, go to Zhou County. Yes. Lord. Guan Er heard this, bowed again, and followed Ye Chen towards the battlefield. At this moment, the Golden Turban Army had been killed 7 or 88. And the army of the Reincarnation City is still charging, 
with an indomitable domineering aura, killing and killing. Seeing the army of Reincarnation City constantly rushing to kill the soldiers of the Golden Turban, Ye Chen couldn't help smiling. At this moment, the Samsara Legion who was cleaning the battlefield came to Ye Chen's side, and handed over to Ye Chen the items exploded by the Golden Turban warrior. After Ye Chen checked one by one, his eyes suddenly lit up. What's so special, there were 300 Enlightenment Stones. The Enlightenment Stone is of great use to Ye Chen, and it is very important no matter if it is now or after it has risen to the precipice. For now, Ye Chen would use the Enlightenment Stone to refine the Five Elements Spirit Orb and advance to the Five Elements Divine Body. Once successfully advanced to the Five Elements Divine Body, Ye Chen can rise rapidly after he soars into the prehistoric state. And the Enlightenment Stones needed for this process are massive. As for the ascent of the prehistoric, the Enlightenment Stone is also very important. With the Enlightenment Stone, Ye Chen could easily master various spells and even laws. In that way, Ye Chen's strength would increase rapidly. Therefore, Ye Chen is determined to win the Taoist Stone. And this is also the most fundamental reason why Ye Chen slaughtered him in the plot of the Golden Turban Rebellion. Ye Chen had to use his battle merits and merits to exchange for the Enlightenment Stones in the two lists. Of course, the good things Ye Chen got were not only the Enlightenment Stone, but also many exercises, and the worst was the Emperor-level exercises. There are also extremely precious blueprints. Among them, Ye Chen has obtained five kinds of equipment blueprints. Thunder Spear Drawing X1, Thunder Bow Drawing X1, Mountain Sword Drawing X1, King Kong Shield Drawing X1, and King Kong Armor Drawing X1. In addition to these five equipment blueprints, Ye Chen also obtained a battleship blueprint, the Zhenhai Giant Ship Blueprint X1. In addition to these, there are also a large number of equipment, 3,218 pieces of ground level and 821 pieces of sky level. Looking at the massive amount of trophies, Ye Chen's mood was a joy. Sure enough, the Golden Towel Warrior exploded good things. The blessing is deep and it is really cool. Otherwise, things like Enlightenment Stones would really not be exploded, and so many advanced blueprints would not be exploded. In the future, the Golden Turban Warriors will all belong to Lao Tzu. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The soldiers who defended the city from Yu Yang pleaded for Zhang Liao, with sincere words. Obviously, they all knew Zhang Liao was guilty, but they didn't want Zhang Liao to be punished. Seeing this, Ye Chen sighed secretly, then raised his hand to signal them to be quiet. When the soldiers of Yu Yang defending the city calmed down, Ye Chen looked at Zhang Liao who was waiting to leave, and said. You have done a good job. In the face of hundreds of times the enemy, you are still persevering. You are clamorous, and you have not fallen into the name of iron and blood in Yu's Hu. Who dares to say that you are guilty, I will not spare him. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Zhang Liao was taken aback, then looked up at Ye Chen. He didn't expect that instead of blaming him at all, Ye Chen thought that he had done the right thing, and his words were full of praise. You know, he is just a grassroots, who has robbed the official position of the city guard privately even if the purpose is to resist the golden scarves, but if he grabs it, he grabs it. This is a fact. Official positions are not appointed by themselves at any time, and once they appear, they are like rebellion without a supremacy. But Ye Chen's meaning couldn't be more obvious. Zhang Liao was innocent, and he did the right thing. The soldiers who defended the city from Yu Yang heard this, all of them were suddenly excited. Ye Chen didn't think Zhang Liao was guilty, and that Zhang Liao was fine. Because of the officials in Yu's Hu, Ye Chen has the power to appoint and remove officials. Looking at Zhang Liao, who was in surprise, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then said, Wen Yuan, you have the talent to lead the army, and you have the heart to join the army. Let me ask you, would you like to follow me? When Zhang Liao heard this, he was immediately ecstatic 
and without thinking about it, he directly retracted his hands behind his back, clasped his fists and said. At the end, I will be willing to follow the Lord, and ask the Lord to take it in. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for gaining the allegiance of the first-class historical generals, Zhang Liao and Zhang Wenai Yuan. Hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen laughed, and then quickly stepped forward, helped Zhang Liao up, and then said. Zhang Liao, from now on, you will be the sixth commander of the reincarnation city, commanding 100,000 troops. Do you have confidence? Master! Zhang Liao was taken aback when he heard this, and then cried out in shock. What Zhang Liao heard was the meaning of importance in Ye Chen's words. But Zhang Liao didn't expect Ye Chen to value him so much, and asked him to command 100,000 soldiers. Originally, Zhang Liao thought that Ye Chen would give him a favored general. After all, he had just followed, and he didn't have an inch of merit, how could he be a general in command? He didn't even think about this matter. Whoever thinks, what Ye Chen gave him is not a general or a general, but a commander of 100,000 soldiers. If it were placed elsewhere, it would be impossible, but Ye Chen really appeared here. Only with 100% trust and 100% value can this happen. Zhang Liao is not stupid, how could he not understand this truth? It was precisely because he understood that Zhang Liao was so shocked, of course, more moved. Don't be conceited, let alone with talent, you can sit firmly, don't you think you don't have this talent? Ye Chen laughed, then patted Zhang Liao on the shoulder, and said. Hearing this, Zhang Liao tried his best to stabilize the beating heart steadily, and then knelt on one knee with a bang and said loudly. Liao, have confidence. Liao swears to the sky here, follows the Lord to the death, never betrayal, if you violate this oath, the heaven will die. Ding, Zhang Liao's loyalty is plus ten. Ding, Zhang Liao's loyalty reached one hundred, and he was a diehard loyal. Hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen laughed, then lifted up the excited Zhang Liao, and said solemnly. Wen Yuan, from today, you will officially become the sixth general of the army in the city of reincarnation. The recruitment of soldiers is also up to you. Remember, the qualifications of soldiers are at least grade C, and no admission will be accepted. Yes. Lord. Hearing this, Zhang Liao was taken aback for a moment. After recovering, he hurriedly bowed to answer. But Zhang Liao didn't expect Ye Chen to have such high demands on soldiers. As soon as Zhang Liao Gang finished speaking, a large part of the soldiers defending the city of Yuyang County suddenly faced ashes. Ye Chen couldn't help but look at it after discovering the abnormality in the soldiers defending the city in Yuyang. In the next second, Ye Chen reacted. Why did those soldiers suddenly turn from excitement to frustration? Looking at the soldiers, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then said. You are not afraid of death, and you are willing to use your life to resist hundreds of times the Golden Turban Army. This is enough to prove that you have the will of steel and are well-deserved soldiers. Therefore, you will also be included in the 100,000 soldiers commanded by Wen Yuan. As soon as Ye Chen said this, the soldiers with grey faces were taken aback, and then they showed their excited expressions again. Looking at the excited soldier again, Ye Chen smiled slightly, then looked at Zhang Liao and said. Wen Yuan, the Yu Yang soldiers suffered a huge number of casualties in the Yu Yang first battle. The injured each received a subsidy of one gold, and the war dead were given ten gold pensions. The whole family, young and old, are taken care of by Reincarnation City. Zhang Liao was taken aback when he heard this. But I didn't expect Ye Chen to treat the soldiers so kindly. After returning to his senses, Zhang Liao's expression suddenly sterned, and then he bowed and responded loudly, Yes. Lord. Ye Chen nodded, his eyes cold immediately, and then he asked, Does Wen Yuan know all the officials who ran away? Lord. Those officials are not familiar with the generals, but not long after they abandoned the city, they were blocked by the Golden Turban Army, and none of them were spared. 
Zhang Liao was taken aback, then bowed and said. It's cheaper for them. Ye Chen frowned slightly, and then said in a deep voice. After speaking, with a move with his right hand, ten boxes of gold coins appeared on the spot. Pointing to the ten boxes of gold coins on the ground, Ye Chen went on to say, if the Yuyang Mansion's treasury does not have enough money, take these as an emergency. Lord, you don't need so much, half a box can't be used. Zhang Liao hurriedly bowed after seeing the ten boxes of gold coins on the ground. These are not just for the payment of pensions. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then spoke. After speaking, he beckoned to Guo Yi. Upon seeing this, Guo Yi walked towards here. Zhang Liao hurried forward a few steps at this time, greeted Guo Yi, and then clasped his fists to meet the courtesy. Yanmen, Zhang Liao, Zhang Wenaiyuan, have seen Guo Jizhu. Ying Chuan, Guo Yi, Guo Feng Xiao, met Wen Yuan brother. Guo Yi smiled back. Zhang Liao returned the gift again, and then looked at Zhao Yunzhen and the others, and everyone bowed one by one. After Zhang Liao saw the gift, Guo Yi took out a notice from his arms, handed it to Zhang Liao, and then said, The gold coins given by the Lord, besides the soldiers, are useful for this notice. After Zhang Liao accepted the notice, he opened it and looked at it. As soon as the tea time passed, Zhang Liao's eyes suddenly opened, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said. At the end, he will do his best to fulfill the Lord's command. Never let Yu Yang have anyone who disobeys the Lord. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, then said. Okay, Yu Yang will be handed over to Wen I Yuan. Although recruiting is important, the first task is to buy food from the tycoons. Those who don't comply, don't need to show mercy. Who dares to resist, kill without mercy? Yes. Lord. Zhang Liao nodded heavily, then bowed in response. Zhang Liao had been blind to those tycoons who had made a fortune in disaster. In order to make money, the tyrants had their conscience eaten by dogs, and set the price of food extremely high, and they would pay a price for a while. Up to now, Food prices have become eight times higher than before, and they are rising again. Zhang Liao used to be a commoner. Although he couldn't see it, he couldn't help it. Now that I have followed Ye Chen, Zhang Liao could only stare at him without Ye Chen's order. But the fact is that Ye Chen gave him the order when he came up, and it was more ruthless than the way he thought of rectifying the gentry. Zhang Liao naturally agrees with his heart and it is impossible to do anything soft-hearted. What's more, Ye Chen's policy to be implemented in Yu's who is already very polite to those gentry. You know, what can the gentry lose if they buy food at a price that is twice the usual price of food? If this is still unwilling, then Ye Chen is not convinced. For this kind of person, what kind of polite is there, just kill it. At this moment, the world announcement immediately sounded. Ding. Congratulations to the player Ye Chen for winning the sixth first-rate historical general. Zhang Liao's allegiance to the player, because of his special status, rewards player Ye Chen with 10 million gold. The world announcement was repeated three times, once again detonating the already lively world channel. Nima, it's irrational. Just after Guan Er was closed, Zhang Liao was turned around. Is Ye Chen going to pack all the historical generals? Damn, Ye Chen is too ruthless. The corner digging is so terribly slippery. He digs CAO CAO, digs Uncle Lu, digs Uncle Lu, digs Sun Chuan, and digs back and forth. Just be content, Ye Chen didn't go to dig those historical beauties, and then dig down, it's so special, the good things are Ye Chen's. It's as if someone has been followed by some awesome characters. Don't say that this is not a beautiful historical beauty, and no one has ever subdued it. Don't women all love handsome guys? I'm so handsome. Why didn't the few historical beauties I saw look at me straight? But Ye Chen collected a lot. 
Don't forget the background of this game, the last years of the Eastern Han Dynasty. The super handsome is useful, but it's awesome, you have to have an official position and force. It seems that these two Ye Chen are top notch. He is the first person in the human race. Moreover, Ye Chen is so handsome because of Mao. Hey, people are more popular than others. Ye Chen wants official positions and official positions, force and force, and looks good. No wonder he is so lucky. Don't be envious, kill the golden scarf quickly. As long as you kill enough, you can still get an official position. Then, those historical figures will not ignore us, and may even subdue historical beauties. The world channel was very lively, Ye Chen glanced at it, then curled his lips in disdain. To subdue historical military commanders, historical civil servants, or historical beauties is not just a matter of having an official position, having strength and being a handsome man. This requires a certain degree of official position, a certain degree of force, and also requires a reputation, and a high reputation in the big man. But Ye Chen broke through Yu Beeping City in one hour and flattened Wuhan in one day. This has been spread throughout the Han Empire and everyone knows. In addition, Ye Chen official worshipped General Hyuki, led Yu Su Mu, and was still the champion. Ye Chen was the first player to be worthy of. Even among the natives of the game world, Ye Chen's reputation overwhelmed everyone. All these together enabled Ye Chen to continue to subdue historical generals and civil servants. Even historical military commanders and historical civil servants took the initiative to come to seek refuge. As for the historical beauties, if you want to be subdued, you really need to look past, and Ye Chen obviously belongs to the handsome kind. But these are not the main reasons, more they require talent, force, courage, and fame. After all, it is true that beautiful women love heroes. But this hero also depends on who it is. Compared with Ye Chen, none of the players can compare. Even if those players obtained official positions and made certain achievements because of the golden turban, don't want to be favored by historical beauties. Because this was far from enough, and Ye Chen wouldn't let others go to massacre. Whether it was the golden turban or the demon race, Ye Chen wanted to get rid of the existence. It would only be Ye Chen who wanted to kill and kill and succeed. Because at this moment, no one compares to Shang Ye Chen, and no one compares to the strong army of Samsara City. At this point, Ye Chen was very confident. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, then looked at Zhang Liao, and said. Go, get all the food as soon as possible and distribute it to the people, especially the elderly, widowed, and young children. Special care should be taken. Don't be afraid of insufficient food. Those gentry have a lot of food. Reincarnation City has stored countless grains. Even if you go to Reincarnation City, you must ensure that everyone is full and not hungry. Zhang Liao was taken aback when he heard this. Over the years, the court's disaster relief has often been done in a manner, and the real relief food has not been sent to the people. But this is not important. What is important is that the court did not specifically take care of the elderly, widows, and young children in disaster relief. And Ye Chen, not only must do his utmost to help the people, but also pointed out that there are lonely old people and young children. This contrast can be seen at a glance. Guo Yi, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, and Guan Yi are glanced at each other at this time, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said loudly. Lord is merciful. Ye Chen glanced at everyone, then smiled and nodded. Zhang Liao took a deep breath at this time, and after spitting it out for a long time, he bowed heavily and said. The Lord is kind. I will go to prepare food in the end. Ye Chen nodded, and then said, go. Zhang Liao bowed to bow again, and then ordered the soldiers to leave here with ten boxes of gold. At this time, the battlefield of the Samsara City Army was cleaned up and began to gather. When the army of the Reincarnation City was assembled, Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, and Zhao Meng, and shouted. 
the soldiers are divided into four groups, clearing out Yuyang, going up to the valley, and the remaining demons in Dai County and the Golden Scarf, and then converge in Zhou County. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, when they heard this, Qi Qi bowed in prayer, and after speaking, they led their leaders and left here. Ye Chen glanced at the departed army of Reincarnation City, smiled slightly, then looked at Guan Er, Guo Yi, and said. Go, let's go to Zhuojun. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi, when Guan Er heard this, he bowed in prayer. Ye Chen smiled slightly, then turned on his horse, pinched the horse's belly with his feet, and then rushed towards Zhuojun. Guo Yi, Guan Er, followed closely behind, and after that was the reincarnation army of 10,000 armed forces. Boom! Thousands of cattle rushed, and the earthquake trembled. Before long, Ye Chen led the Samsara Legion and disappeared from the player's sight. The players who came here after seeing this, nine out of ten people immediately rushed to the battlefield to pick up the equipment that Ye Chen didn't want. They followed Ye Chen just to make a profit. There are still a lot of equipment that Ye Chen doesn't want on the battlefield, how could they ignore this? And the remaining small number of players, but no one went to pick up equipment, one by one you look at me, I look at you, most of them showed hesitating expressions. Obviously. They are hesitating whether to go to Zhou County now and not to use the equipment on the battlefield. At this moment, a player in his twenties glanced at everyone, and then said. Ye Chen has gone to Zhou County. You can't stay here for long, you must rush to Zhou County as soon as possible. Xiao Ming, are you sure that going to Zhou County is good? It is even more beneficial than picking up equipment here. One person asked with some doubts. Yeah, we went to Zhou County. We didn't get any benefits. Guan Er was taken by Ye Chen, and we were all individual players. If we went there, we couldn't take Zhang San. What's more, even Zhang San. If you don't follow Uncle Lu, then Ye Chen will be chosen. He won't choose us. Why don't we pick up some equipment first, and then go to Zhou County? Players in their twenties suddenly frowned when they heard this, glanced at the players who hadn't picked up the equipment, and then said. Now that the game has developed, I have figured out a rule. Basically, once something in history occurs, there will be some tasks. Zhuojun is the place where the Daowen Sanja Ei takes place, and there should be related tasks. Appeared. That's not right, Guan Er was harvested by Ye Chen. Where did Daowen come from? Yet, yeah, without Guan Er, is it still Daowen's three knots? The player in his twenties heard this, was silent for a moment, and then said. This time can be used as an experiment. If Daowen's three ties still appear, then it can prove one thing, this game world will automatically correct history, and historical events that should have occurred will still occur. You are right, but historically, this Yu who should belong to Gong Sun Zan, but now, Yu who has become Ye Chen's. One person frowned. Yes, in history Cai Mei also married Wei Zongdao. As a result, she didn't marry at all, and Ye Chen Jia was the first to go. More than that, Diao Chan was the key to the death of Dong Da in history. Later, I followed Abe. Huang Wanner was with Liang Fu Long in history and the fan was really with Uncle Lu. But in the end, they all followed yet. Morning. The player in his twenties frowned, and then said. No, you didn't understand what I meant. I mean, as long as the key figures are still there, the big events in history that should happen will still happen, and the Daowen settlement is not a big or a small event. Moreover, this time is also a verification. If it is true, then we can make targeted preparations for the historical plots that will appear later, so that we can maximize the benefits. Ye Chen is leading everywhere, is it because of this? He knows history, 
so he made plans for each history, and finally he was very successful. By now, he has directly become the first person in the human race. Upon hearing this, the player suddenly realized. It's really possible, but I feel that Ye Chen can succeed not only because he is familiar with history, but he must also know some other secrets. This is generally recognized as good or not. If Ye Chen doesn't know the secret of the game, he can't be so good. It's a pity that the righteousness of the human race and the survival of humanity can't make Ye Chen soft, otherwise we would be so miserable. The player in his twenties frowned again when he heard this, and then said in a deep voice. If you don't want to go, then forget it, I'll go first. No, we finally reached an agreement to kill the golden scarves, kill the monsters, and profit from it. Isn't it just some junk equipment? Just stop it. Let's go, let's go to Zhou County to verify Xiao Ming's inference, as long as it is true. Yes, after that, how can we reap a lot of benefits? That is, let's go to Zhuojun. Players who didn't pick up the equipment, you said a word and ran towards Zhou County. If Ye Chen were here, he would immediately recognize the identity of the player in his twenties. In his previous life, Wang Xiaoming, who was known as Zhidozing, of course, also had a nickname, Blood Demon. He is an individual player, or a casual player, but resourceful, has done a lot of great things, and has succeeded. It didn't take long for him to obtain the title of Zhidozing given by the players, and many individual players regarded him as a god. Because following Wang Xiaoming, you can get a lot of benefits. But this is not the key. The key is that Wang Xiaoming, who seems to be a good man, actually played a very big game. Until one day, Wang Xiaoming revealed his true face, killing millions of players, using the blood and soul of millions of players to cultivate blood nerves. Of course, the place where it happened is in reality, not the game. On that day, Millions of human beings followed Wang Xiaoming's call and went to a certain place to plot a major event. However, millions of human beings, without exception, had all their blood and souls taken away by Wang Xiaoming, and their deaths were extremely miserable. It wasn't until someone looked for the missing relatives that Wang Xiaoming's despicable behavior was discovered and then made public. At first no one knew why Wang Xiaoming used such sinister and vicious methods until the secrets of the game warehouse were revealed, the players did not know. The reason why Wang Xiaoming has blood nerves is because he watched Pangu Kaishan at the beginning of the game and obtained the innate technique. It was also from that moment that players snatching of the game warehouse reached the craziest point. Everyone wants to try it out and see if they can watch Pangu Kaishan again. Unfortunately, this is simply impossible. Zuo Jun. Boom Rumble. Thousands of cattle rushed, and the earthquake trembled. The huge leaf-shaped flag is waving in the wind. Ye Chen took the Samsara Legion all the way to here. Looking at the closed Zhuojun city gate, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Guan Er, I accept it, Zhang San, this guy seems to have a bad temper. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the city guard on the Zhuojun city wall hurriedly stood up then bowed and said. Dare to ask, but the Hussar general Ye Chen, Ye Yus Hu. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen glanced at the defending general on the city wall, then nodded, making a move with his right hand, and then the official seal of General Hyuki appeared on his right hand. This was when the Golden Turban Rebellion was opened in advance and Ye Chen was passed back to the city of Samsara, it automatically appeared in Ye Chen's storage space. It is a symbol of Ye Chen's status. Even if others have not seen Ye Chen, they will recognize Ye Chen's identity immediately after seeing the official seal of General Hyuki. If you put it in normal times, you don't need this at all, and the gates of the city are also open. However, during the war, such as the current Golden Turban Rebellion and the invasion of the Monster Clan, the city gates are mostly closed. Without confirming the identity, the gate of the city would never be opened, otherwise, 
it would be very dangerous. Of course, this had a lot to do with the general who had never met Ye Chen. If he had met Ye Chen, how could he dare to ask about Ye Chen's identity? After seeing the golden official seal on Ye Chen's right hand, the general defender of the city suddenly became happy, and hurriedly bowed and said, Final general, see General Hussein. Meet General Hyuki. The soldiers who defended the city bowed and bowed in excitement. Whether it is a general or a soldier who defends the city, they are very excited at the moment. As for the reason, it is very simple. At this moment, the world is in chaos. It is also a golden turban and a monster race. With such a small number of soldiers in Zhou County, if they are surrounded by the army, it will not last long. And now, their master state shepherd, Ye Chen, came here, and the ups and downs in their hearts disappeared without a trace. Because they have all heard of the fame of the Huzar general Ye Chen, and they know that Ye Chen is the most powerful general in the Han Empire at the moment, unparalleled in the world, and using soldiers like a god. With Ye Chen here, how could Zhuojun be dangerous? It is precisely because of this that the guards are so excited and so excited. Ye Chen glanced at the Zhuojun city guard who saw the salute, and nodded with a smile. After seeing Ye Chen's smile, the general defender was overjoyed and hurriedly shouted. Quick! Open the city gate. Welcome General Hyuki into the city. As soon as the general defender's words fell, the city gate opened with a creak. Hey! The Zhuojun soldiers at the gate of the city, all kneeling on one knee, holding long and spears in their hands, congratulated Ye Chen into the city. Seeing this, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then said, Enter the city. After speaking, he rode towards the gate of the city. Guo Yi, Guan Er, and the Reincarnation Legion immediately followed Ye Chen towards the interior of Zhuojun City. As soon as Ye Chen entered the city, there was a lot of noise. Fuck. It's really Ye Chen. That's the rhinoceros that Ye Chen got, it. It's so big, and it's so armored. Some people say that it is a wild rhinoceros. It's so super awesome. Even the gold weapon in Lao Tzu's hands can't break its defenses. Ye Chen's luck is too good. It has brought so many wild rhinos. Rhinoceros. Finally, I heard that those wild rhinos are infinitely powerful, they are the masters of the general innate realm, and they don't have the weapons to take advantage of them. They have to kneel in the face of this wild rhino. Look, look. It's him, Ye Chen's soldiers are really wearing diamond level equipment. Diamond level equipment? Take a closer look. Is it a diamond level weapon? The weapons in their hands are different, and they have a halo. They are definitely earth level or even heaven level weapons. Fuck. Isn't that red faced person Guan Er? It's so special, Ye Chen definitely cheated. The players waiting in Zhuojun, you are talking about Ye Chen every word, and your words are full of shock. At this moment, he stepped down the city wall to meet Ye Chen's defending general, stopped immediately, then raised his finger to the players and shouted angrily. Boldly make people, how dare you call the name of Master Zhou Mu? Go, catch all these people. In the next second, a group of soldiers pounced directly on the players and caught a large group of players in three hits, while other players ran away when they saw the situation was bad. Fuck. What's the situation? I can't talk about it. A player who was caught yelled in a daze. Snapped. The soldier holding the player gave the player a slap without hesitation, and then shouted, presumptuous. I'm grass, let me go, or I will kill you. The player who was slapped in the face suddenly furious, and then shouted loudly. Base. The long sword came out, and the city defender put a sword on the player's neck. The player who was extremely angry just now was shocked and hurriedly shouted, misunderstanding. This is a misunderstanding. He was afraid of being killed by the defending general. Normally, it means dropping a tenth level. If this is charged and then decapitated, the level will be cleared directly. How could he not be afraid, how could he not be worried? 
the players watching from a distance were all dumbfounded and unbelieving. They never thought that T.I. Yechen's name might be killed by the natives of this world. Yechen glanced at the captured players, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, and then rode towards the city lord's mansion. In this world, the concept of respect and inferiority is extremely heavy, Ye Chen is used to it, but the natives of this world are not used to it. The players are impolite, it doesn't matter, soldiers in this world will basically choose to ignore it, and at most they are disdainful. But if the player is rude to Ye Chen and is in Yu's Hu, it's completely different. You know, Ye Chen is the great general of the Han Empire Hu Zar, Yu's Hu Mu, with a very noble status, how can he be called by his name by a grassroots, and his attitude is extremely disrespectful. As long as the soldiers in Yu's Hu meet, 100% will start to arrest them all. There is no doubt about this. Not to mention, Ye Chen is here at this moment, and it is even more unlikely that the Guardian General has not heard. Master Zhou Mu, don't, don't go. I was wrong, tell him to let me go. I will never call Master Zhou Mu's name directly anymore. The player with the sword on his neck, seeing this, I suddenly panicked and hurriedly asked for mercy. He was afraid of being killed by the city defender, and he was a criminal. In that way, he wouldn't want to get stuck in this game world anymore. Hearing that players begging for mercy, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile. In the real world, there hasn't been so much exquisiteness in the ancient times. It is really impossible to ask the players to directly call Master Ye Chen Zhou Mu, or use some honorifics. At least most players will feel awkward, and they don't want to shout like that. Because after shouting like this, their status became humble and inferior. Even if they knew in their hearts that Ye Chen was very strong and unmatched, not many people were willing to use the name Master of State Shepherd instead of Ye Chen's name. Habits in reality brought to the game world, will suffer, sometimes still a big loss. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at the defending general and said lightly. Stop them for three days. Yes. Master Zhou Mu. Hearing this, the general Xiao Cheng hurriedly bowed in prayer. The players who were caught were suddenly shocked. They didn't just want to survive, but also not to be shut down. But Ye Chen confirmed their three-day prison sentence with a word. Now it's the Golden Turban Rebellion, and the Monster Race's invasion. If you close it for three days, you will have to pay less for good things. Ye Chen. Are you or he deliberately? A person looked at Ye Chen with a sullen expression, and roared angrily. Puff, 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 puff. Puff, 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 puff. The player who was furious just now was stabbed several holes with one shot by the guards of the city guard, and he couldn't die again. In the next second, the player turned into a ball of white light and was reborn. It's just that his rebirth starts from level zero. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, Please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The other players who were arrested just started to insult Ye Chen. Seeing this, they all hurriedly shut up, not daring to say a word. Nima, if you want to be so cruel, you can't talk or talk. This is what all players think, but the reality is like this. This is the last year of the Eastern Han Dynasty, with respect and order. Players call Ye Chen's name on the World Channel, and no one will care. But in front of the soldiers, especially Yu's Hu soldiers, calling Ye Chen's name will not end well. Not to mention, that player started to insult Ye Chen. All of this was not controlled by Ye Chen, but was the spontaneous behavior of the natives in the game world. Ye Chen could stop it, but Ye Chen couldn't just ask the city defender to release people for the sake of these players. As long as Ye Chen said these words, then Ye Chen's reputation would definitely be affected. Ye Chen is the great general Huzar of the Han Empire, Yu Hu Mu, and Champion Ho. He was insulted by a commoner and released him. How could it be possible? 
when it spreads out, Ye Chen will be labelled as weak and not worthy of the name. Therefore, Ye Chen couldn't manage this at all, let alone use Hu soldiers, even Ye Chen himself, when someone scolded someone, it was impossible to just let that person go. Looking at the white light that appeared because of the player's resurrection, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain, and then rode towards the city lord's mansion. The general defender saw this and hurried forward to lead the way. At this moment, the guard of the city was in a panic, because someone insulted Ye Chen in front of Ye Chen. Although the soldier killed the man on the spot, it was also his negligence. Seeing the city defender running to the front with a cold sweat on his face, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and then said. You can go to the city wall, don't let the remnants of Yuzhu Golden Scarf or the remnants of the monster race take advantage of the loopholes. The golden turban in Yuzhu, the demon clan has already been killed by Ye Chen. But there are still some survivors, so we can't let our guard down. When the city guard heard this, he shuddered abruptly. In his opinion, Ye Chen had an opinion on him, otherwise why didn't he ask him to lead the way? But when he saw Ye Chen's smile, the stone hanging in his heart fell to the ground, and then he bowed heavily and said. Yes. Master Zhou Mu, he will go to the city wall in the end, and will never ask any golden scarves or monsters to enter Zhou County. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then continued to walk towards the city lord's mansion. Not long after Ye Chen left with the Samsara Legion, a group of soldiers arrived at the gate of Zhuojun City. As soon as they arrived here, the centurion leader took out the seal from his arms and handed it to the city defender on the wall through the hanging basket. After the general defending the city finished reading, his brow suddenly frowned, then he turned his head to look at the guard, and whispered. Go, tell Master Zhou Mu that Zhong Zheng and Lu Yan will come here to recruit soldiers. Yes. General. Hearing this, the guards of the general guarding the city were stunned for a moment, then hurriedly bowed in response, and hurriedly ran towards the city lord's mansion after speaking. Under the city of Zhuojun. Lu Yan's centurion, seeing that the gate of Zhuojun was not open, frowned involuntarily, and then shouted. Why not open the city gate? The city defender glanced at the centurion, and then shouted in a deep voice, There are too many spies recently. You need to confirm your identity. After confirmation, you will wait for you to enter the city. The city defender had already confirmed the identities of these people, saying that this was just an excuse. As for the reason, it is very simple. From the general defender's point of view, he was Ye Chen's subordinate, and now he met Lu Yan's soldiers who came to dig Yu's Hu, so how could he just ignore him? And this is also a way to show loyalty to Ye Chen. When Lu Yan's centurion heard this, his anger suddenly went up and down. What confirms the identity? This is too damn, there is no fake seal from Lu Yan. However, he really couldn't refute what the city defender said. Lu Yan's centurion gritted his teeth and glanced at the defending general, snorted coldly, and then shouted. I advise you to confirm my identity as soon as possible, otherwise, when I return. I must sue you in front of the adults. The centurion cuck who dare to be so presumptuous, I think you must be a spy with a golden scarf. Hearing this, the general defender opened his eyes sharply, and then shouted loudly. As soon as the defender's words fell, Lu Yan's centurion was shocked. In the past, when he went elsewhere, he could enter the city by seeing the seal, and he was also entertained by good students. Because he was the representative of Lu Yan, a member of the Han dynasty, no one dared to give him a face. Along the way, what he mixed was called a nourishment, and his temper rose in the wind. But whoever came to think of it, as soon as he entered Yu's Hu, he encountered a problem. The golden turban demon race here is too special, he ran to the west of Liaoning. Then, came up, and was disarmed. The soldiers who defended the city did not call him into the city at all, even if he said that he had been ordered by Lu Yan to post the text, no one called him into the city. He didn't know until he entered the city that it was General Hyuki Ye Chen who was in the west of Liaoning. He did not dare to pretend, 
and honestly completed Lu Yan's order to post the list. Because Ye Chen, General Huzar, was really awesome. He was only a centurion, so how could he dare to play sideways with Ye Chen? He didn't follow Ye Chen until Ye Chen led his troops to leave, and continued to complete his mission. No way, he didn't dare to walk around, he only took a hundred people, let alone encounter the monster race, even if you encounter the golden towel, you have to hang it. Then, he followed Ye Chen to Zhou County. Who would have thought that he was planning to enter the city, and he was deliberately targeted again? This is how he can hold back the fire. He is Lu Yan's representative. To embarrass him is to embarrass Lu Yan, and hitting him in the face is equivalent to hitting Lu Yan in the face. So, he got angry. But in the end, it was completely different from what he thought. The city guard didn't buy his account at all, or rather, he didn't care about Lu Yan's intention at all, and he designated him as a gold scarfed spy in one word. What is the golden scarf spy? But if you kill it, you will kill it in vain. At this moment, Lu Yan's centurion shivered involuntarily. Only then did he realize that so many people gave him face because those places were either in Lu Yan's territory or not far from Lu Yan's territory. But here is different. This is Yu's Hu, and it's far from Lu Yan's territory. No one will give him the centurion's face. Even if he is Lu Yan's subordinate, he can't represent Lu Yan's face. The city defender looked at the centurion with disdain, and then shouted, Go, catch them for me. As soon as the defending general's words fell, the city gate opened with a creak, and then a group of soldiers rushed out. Don't resist. The centurion returned to his senses and hurriedly shouted. At this moment, he finally recognized the reality. Nima, Lu Yan asked him to come to Yuzhu to post the bulletin. The cliff is here to calculate Mu Yuchen and Yuzhu. Posting the bulletin, recruiting volunteers, Nima said nicely, but in the end, Lu Yan wanted to grab the soldiers from Yuzhu. It would be strange if he could be received by House Hung and Yuzhu. Soon, the centurion and his men were all with five flowers and tied into Zongzi. After a while, the guard of the city guard came to the gate of the city without rush and glanced at the centurion and his group who had been with the dumplings, then looked at the city guard, bowed and said. General, Master Zhou Mu said, post this on the gates and streets of the city. When the guard finished speaking, he took out a stack of letters from his arms. The city defender took one and opened it. Not long after, his eyebrows were raised involuntarily, then he looked at the soldiers and shouted. Go, prepare a paste, and post the bulletin in a prominent place. Also, find some talents and read the Master Joe Mu's bulletin loudly for me. Yes. General. The soldiers all bowed in response, and then ran to prepare the paste. It didn't take long for the announcement from Mu's Hu Mu Yuchen to be posted on the city gates and the very conspicuous places on the streets and alleys. And the talents of Zuo Jun took to the streets one by one ran to the bottom of the post and began to read aloud. This thought does not matter, the people of Zhou County cheered one by one. Great, Master Zhou Mu was going to recruit soldiers, and the treatment is still so good. I'm going to join the army, I'm going to join the army. I've heard about it a long time ago. Master Zhou Mu's mercenary is like a and loves soldiers like a child. I will join the army too. The people of Zhuojun were discussing with enthusiasm one by one, but Lu Yan's centurion at the gate of the city was taken aback. After posting the bulletin in West Liaoning before, he hurriedly followed Ye Chen and left, so he didn't know that Ye Chen also posted the bulletin. And now, he knows, and knows the content of Ye Chen's essay. Thinking about Lu Yan's post, Nima, it's just a good thing one day at a time. Although Ye Chen's recruitment of soldiers was demanding, he didn't need soldiers to bring anything. The equipment was good, good fortune and profit, and there was no fear of death in battle. Even if he died in battle, his family would be taken care of by Reincarnation City for a lifetime. The city defender glanced at the centurion whose face was green and white, and curled his mouth in disdain, then waved his hand and said faintly, Untie them. 
The soldiers who defended the city in Zhou County immediately took their orders, but the process of unbinding was really torturous. None of Lu Yan's centurion and the soldiers he brought with him did not scream miserably. However, no one dared to be wronged. They are not stupid, even if they were stupid before, now after hearing the content of Yu's Hum Wieshan's recruitment bulletin, they understand what they are going to do. What's so special is to do the right thing with the great general of the Han Empire Huzar Ye Chen. When I thought of this, whether it was the centurion or the soldiers he had brought, his face looked unsightly. Before long, they were loosened. The centurion under Lu Yan looked at the recruiting post from Mu Yechen of Yuzhu at the gate of the city. He tried to explore his arms several times with his right hand, but stopped halfway. After a while, he gritted his teeth and took out a letter from his arms. Then he asked for the paste from the soldier and posted it to the inconspicuous place at the gate of the city. After doing this, he turned around and left without hesitation. Yuzhu didn't want to stay for a moment, so he stayed so much, he was afraid that his life would not be saved. The soldiers he brought also hurriedly followed and left Zhou County. The moment they left, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, everyone is responsible for the rise and fall of the world. The Han imperial family Lu Yan, in order to eliminate the demons and evils in the world as soon as possible, has recruited volunteers from the list. The list has traveled to Zhou County, Yuz Hu. Ding, the historical plot, the Daowen Three Knots officially opened. Players can choose to help Lu Huangsha complete the Three Knots, or stop Daowen Three Knots, and get rewards for success. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ding, during Daowen's Three Uprisings, the gate of Zhuojun cannot be closed, and the Golden Turban and Monster Race cannot enter until the end of the plot. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, detonating the entire world channel in an instant. Fuck. Didn't Guan Er have been harvested by Ye Chen? How come there is still Daowen Sanyi? Who knows, the world announcement can't be fake, right? Could it be that there is still another Guan Er? Otherwise, who is this Daowen 3 Yi 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 with? I feel that someone will replace Guan Er. It doesn't matter who you bow to, the important thing is, what exactly is this special reward? The world announcement is ambiguous, and it doesn't make it clear. Yeah, he did it. The teleportation array can't be used now. There are golden towels everywhere outside, Yezu, how do you get there? If you hang up halfway, and you can't get the reward, it's not worthwhile. I feel that the rewards for Daowen's three knots will definitely not be less, otherwise there will be no world announcements. I feel that way too, it's so ambiguous, I don't know what it is. Everyone chooses to help Uncle Lu Huang, so that everyone can get it. Grass, don't choose Yin Lu Huangxia for Mao. You have to know that there are rewards for success, and, in that case, Zhang San will not mix with Lu Huangshu, then we all have a chance. You stupid, don't you know that Yu Hu is Ye Chen's sight? If Zhang San doesn't mix with Lu Huangshu, then that particular thing will become Ye Chen's, you still want to take Zhang San, dreaming. Zhou County, City Lord's Mansion After Ye Chen heard the world announcement, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. The historical plot of Daowen's Three Knots is still open. I don't know who replaced Guan Er. No matter who replaces Guan Er, Uncle Lu Huang must die. No one can change this result. In the past life, in the historical plot of Daowen's Three Knots, many people chose to help Lu Huangshu. Because they know that Lu Huangshu is one of the overlords in the future. Regardless of whether it is for a relationship, a close match, or a benefit, many players will choose to help Lu Huangshu. Because standing on the side of Uncle Lu, you will get Guan Er and Zhang San's help, making it easier to complete the task. Of course, the reward obtained in this way is not high. If you want to get rich rewards, you can only stop Daowen's three ties and succeed. 
the rewards obtained in that way will be several times, even ten times, hundreds of times higher than the rewards obtained for helping Lu Huangshu. Thinking of this, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and the cold light flashed away. Let's ask Lu Huangshu to live a little longer, and when he officially bows to worship, he is doing it. Only then will the reward be maximized. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked into the hall, Zuo Junchenshu, who was up and down, and then said. There should be a horse dealer named Su Shuang in Zuo Jun at this moment. After you find him, bring him here as soon as possible. Ye Chen wanted to build a weapon for Guan Er, Qing Long Yunyu sword, and naturally wanted to find Su Shuang. In history, Su Shuang had funded Lu Huangshu's army and war horse when Lu Huangshu raised his army, and he also had a large amount of iron. Of course, the key is not this, but that there is a piece of outer profound iron weighing 300 jin among the thousand caddies of iron. Guan Er, Uncle Lu and Zhang San's weapons, the key to becoming a magic weapon, lies in the piece of mysterious iron that Su Shuang mistakenly regarded as iron. Ye Chen's goal was also the piece of profound iron outside the sky. When Zuo Jun Chenchu heard this, he was taken aback. But I couldn't understand why Ye Chen called to see Su Shuang by name. Although he didn't understand, but where could he dare to delay, after he recovered, he hurriedly bowed and said, Yes. Master Zhou Mu. After Zuo Jun Cheng Shao finished speaking, he hurriedly left and sent someone to find Su Shuang. At this moment, a soldier hurried over, knelt on one knee as soon as he entered the door, and said loudly. Chi told Master Zhou Mu, outside the gate of the city lord's mansion, a butcher came, claiming to be Zhang San Zhang Yid, and wanted to see Master Zhou Mu. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, and then his eyes lit up. Damn it! As soon as the historical plot of Daowen Sanja Ei began, Zhang San ran over. Could it be an example for recruiting soldiers? Thinking of this, Ye Chen got up and walked out of the door. Guo Yi, when Guan Er saw this, Qi Qi was taken aback, and then hurriedly followed Ye Chen to the door. East of Zuo Jun, fifty miles away. Wang Xiaoming, who brought a group of players towards Zuo Jun, suddenly curled his mouth after the world announcement ended. Fuck. What Xiaoming said is true. Daowen Sanjiyi has really appeared. And there has really been a mission. After a moment, a player yelled in surprise. It's just that this task is disgusting. I didn't say what the reward is. Xiaoming, what do you think we should choose? Wang Xiaoming glanced at everyone, and then said. If you want to get the best reward and safer, then choose to stop Daowen's three knots. A player was stunned when he heard this and then asked. Isn't it more appropriate to help Lu Huangshu? You know that he will be one of the hegemons of the Three Kingdoms in the future. If you stop Daowen's trio, he will definitely be hated by Lu Huangshu in the future, and even if it succeeds, Zhang San will not follow Lu Huangshu. Ye Chen When Wang Xiaoming heard this, he curled his lips in disdain, and then said. Ye Chen will definitely choose to prevent Daowen from making the three knots. Uncle Lu is the overlord in the future. If Ye Chen wants to fight for the world, how can he let Uncle Lu become bigger? When Wang Xiaoming said this, he glanced at everyone, and then continued. This is Yus Hu, Ye Chen's territory. The city of reincarnation is strong and strong. There are only three super-class historical generals. If we choose to help Lu Huangshu finish, we will be right with Ye Chen. That would not be a good thing for us. Once Ye Chen spotted us, then we shouldn't want to follow him and fish in troubled waters. But, even if we succeed, doesn't that Zhang San still belong to Ye Chen? A player frowned involuntarily when he heard this, and then asked. I never said that if you choose to stop Lu Huangshu, Zhang San will be subdued by Ye Chen. Wang Xiaoming glanced at the player, and then said lightly. When a player heard this, his eyes suddenly lit up, and then he said. Xiaoming, don't sell it anymore, let's talk quickly, 
how can we make a profit without asking Ye Chen to pick up the bargain? When Wang Xiaoming heard this, he smiled slightly, and then definitely said incomparably. It's very simple. Let's not stop Lu Huangshu. When Lu Huangshu officially begins to worship, we can do it again. Then, Ye Chen won't want to accept Zhang San. After all, this mission was about preventing Daowen from forming three marriages, but it didn't say not to ask them to worship, as long as they failed to worship. To know that the ancients emphasized righteousness, Zhang San recognized Lu Huangshu in his heart, and it was impossible to betray Lu Huangshu. In this way, how could Ye Chen conquer Zhang San? Then what if Ye Chen destroys Daowen Sanja from the beginning? Don't forget, Zhang San is a super-class historical military commander, and Ye Chen can't want to take it. A player asked, frowning when he heard this. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Wang Xiaoming heard this, his brow suddenly frowned, but he immediately recovered his calmness, and then sighed and said. It may not be nothing you said, but does it have anything to do with our choice? If Ye Chen really accepts Zhang San directly, he will also choose to stop Lu Huangshu instead of helping Lu Huangshu. If you want to get the most benefit from this mission, the best choice is to stop Uncle Lu Huang, and stop him when he is worshipping. In addition, I can tell you one thing. It is absolutely impossible for Ye Chen to stop Daowen's three formation in advance because of Zhang San. He values the reward for this mission 100% and is determined to win. Whoever dares to stop, he will who to kill. Just like when he was in Luoyang, he started to kill without mercy. Hiss. The sound of the air conditioning pours out instantly. Obviously, Wang Xiaoming's words reminded these players of Ye Chen's overbearing and aggressiveness in the past. We just don't have to stand on the opposite side of Ye Chen. Then, Ye Chen wouldn't be able to attack us. One person was silent for a moment before speaking. Yes, no matter whether Ye Chen can accept Zhang San, Xiaoming should not be wrong. Ye Chen will definitely not help Lu Huangshu. Then what are you waiting for? Let's go to Zhuojun, so we won't be late and we won't get anything. As the players talked, they became excited one by one. Because they will make the same choice as Ye Chen, they don't have to worry about being killed by Ye Chen, there is nothing to be afraid of. Wang Xiaoming glanced at the enthusiastic players again, smiled slightly, and then said. Everyone, I have to tell you one more thing. If I am not mistaken, killing Lu Huangshu, Zhang San, and any one of the people who replace Guan Er will gain great benefits, otherwise it will not happen. Task. Fuck, what's the benefit? A player hurriedly asked with his eyes flashing when he heard this. When Wang Xiaoming heard this, he laughed, and then said. The benefits are absolutely beyond your imagination. Think about the benefits Ye Chen has gained from the mission since the beginning of the game, don't you understand? Moreover, the mission of this world announcement is to help or prevent Daowen's three formations. We naturally chose to prevent it. There are many ways to stop it. Making trouble is to stop, and killing Lu Huangshu and others is also to stop. Moreover, this is the most difficult. Once successful, the reward is absolutely beyond imagination. When the players heard this, their eyes suddenly lighted up, which was called eagerness. Fuck, what are you waiting for? Go. Let's go to Zhuojun, then we will shoot together and share the reward together. Let's go. This time, Ye Chen must not be allowed to monopolize the benefits anymore. Whether we can rise or not depends on this time. Thanks to Xiaoming this time, otherwise I will definitely choose Uncle Lu, I have decided, and I will confuse Xiaoming in the future. What Xiaoming, this is Boss Wang. From now on, I will look forward to Wang Boss. Me too. The players one by one said they wanted to mess with Wang Xiaoming that was called serious. When Wang Xiaoming saw this, the corner of his mouth curled up, 
and then he headed towards Zhuojun with the excited players. Wang Xiaoming at this moment is a proud one. After busying himself, he came up with ideas and strategies, always thinking about this group of players, but in fact he did it deliberately. His purpose is simple. He wants to be famous, and he is prepared to gain a reputation as a good guy or witty and resourceful. Then, he can gain the trust of these people. In this way, he has a great opportunity to use certain benefits as bait to attract people from the real world. In this way, he can obtain the blood and soul he wants to cultivate the innate skills and blood nerves he obtained at the beginning of the game. The blood nerve is an innate technique, very strong, but if you want to become strong quickly, you need endless blood and countless souls. The soul in the game still has blood, which is useless to him. This is where he is most troubled. In his opinion, if the blood and soul of the game can be used, he must be the first advanced king general, the first advanced royal general, and even the first advanced holy general. Zhuojun, at the gate of the city lord's mansion. As soon as Ye Chen arrived here, he saw Zhang San with a black face and a beard outside the door. The moment he saw him, Ye Chen couldn't help being stunned. Damn it! What's going on? I saw Zhang San with a black face and a beard, holding a sow that had just been killed, and standing outside the door with an expression of expectation. No matter how you look at it, it doesn't look like coming to see Ye Chen, but like coming to give gifts to make a relationship. Nima, is it true that Zhang San really just came to see me, not to follow me? As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, Zhang San looked over. After seeing Ye Chen, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he threw away the sow in his hand. Boom! The sow was thrown to the ground by Zhang San. At this moment, Guan Er, who came here with Ye Chen, suddenly moved, and then stood in front of Ye Chen. Because he felt a little fighting spirit from Zhang San. As Ye Chen's loyal subordinate, how could Guan Er allow others to put on airs to Ye Chen casually and show his momentum? Zhang San saw the sudden appearance of Guan Er, he was taken aback for a moment, and then he was furious. Who are you? You can't be Zhang as an assassin. No matter how you looked at Guan Er's action, it was a precaution against Zhang San. Zhang San naturally didn't like it. As soon as his temper came up, he shouted. When Guan Er heard this, his eyes suddenly opened, and his aura instantly released extremely violently. After Zhang San sensed Guan Er's momentum, his eyes suddenly lit up, and then he shouted. Good momentum, come, let's make a move. After Zhang San finished speaking, a violent aura broke out in an instant, and then rushed towards Guan Er. Hey! The soldiers of the Hundred Reincarnation Legion on duty outside the gate of the city lord's mansion raised their weapons in unison and aimed at Zhang San. The extremely violent murderous aura appeared instantaneously, and then rushed towards Zhang San. Because Ye Chen was at the door, Zhang San dared to release his aura unscrupulously, how could the Samsara Legion sit idly by? No matter who it is, as long as there is a threat to Ye Chen, the Samsara Legion will kill him without hesitation. After Zhang San felt the violent murderous aura, he was taken aback for a moment, and then looked at the soldiers of the Samsara Legion with surprise. When he first came here, he saw the soldiers of the Samsara Legion. In addition to marveling at the well-equipped soldiers of the Samsara Legion, I also found that the soldiers of the Samsara Legion were somewhat different. And now, after 100 soldiers of the Samsara Legion unreservedly released their murderous aura, Zhang San finally found out where the anomaly was. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion were all imperial generals, and their murderous auras were so intense that they were terrifying. That is the murderous aura that would appear when countless people were killed. Although Zhang San hadn't killed many people, Zhang San, a super-class historical general, was still very easy to spot his murderous aura. Of course, Zhang San was not afraid of this, but this did not prevent Zhang San from being shocked. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he saw this, then raised his hand and waved. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion saw this place, and immediately put away their weapons. 
They just locked Zhang San one by one, as long as Zhang San dared to offend Ye Chen, they would take action as soon as possible. Ye Chen looked at Guan Er and said with a smile, Chang Yun, step back. Master, this person is very dangerous. Guan Er said hurriedly when he heard this. When Zhang San heard this, he looked at Guan Er with joy. After Guan Er saw Zhang San's expression, his red face instantly became even redder. This is irritated by Zhang San. Ye Chen glanced at Zhang San, the corners of his mouth twitched, and then he said, It's okay, he has no intention of killing. When Guan Er heard this, he was stunned for a moment, and then reacted, Zhang San did not intend to kill, only the intent to fight. Thinking of this, Guan Er wickedly glanced at Zhang San, and then walked aside. On one side, Zhang San also looked back at Guan Er not to be outdone. Seeing this, Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, then walked out of the city lord's mansion and came to Zhang San. When Zhang San saw Ye Chen coming over, he gave up on Guan Er's action against Mei Meng, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said. Yuz Hu, Zhang San, Zhang Yide, meet General Hyuki. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Zhang San, and asked, What's the matter with Yi Di? General, fly. I came here to give General Huzar some meat, and I heard that General Huzar was so powerful that he couldn't accept flying, so I came and tried. Zhang San heard this and did not. Hesitantly clasped his fists and bowed and said. Presumptuous. Guan Er was furious at once, and then shouted in a loud voice. Hey! The soldiers of the Samsara Legion aimed their spears at Zhang San again. When Ye Chen saw this, he waved his hand directly to signal Guan Er and the soldiers of the Samsara Legion to be quiet, then looked at Zhang San who stared back at Guan Er and said with a smile. You are sincere, let's talk, how to compare, fists or weapons. Zhang San was stunned when he heard this, but he didn't expect Ye Chen to be different from what he had imagined. Not only was it easy to talk, but also very refreshing. Thinking of this, Zhang San glanced at Ye Chen, and then said. Knife and gun without eyes, let's just use BB fist and feet techniques. Zhang San's words were full of self-confidence. Obviously, he thought Ye Chen was not as good as him. Okay, right here, you can take action. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily when he heard this, and then said. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Zhang San was stunned when he heard this. But he didn't expect Ye Chen to choose to compete on the street. Although no one dares to come here, there are many people watching from a distance. If Ye Chen loses, he will lose face. Thinking of this, Zhang San couldn't help looking at Ye Chen. Seeing that Ye Chen didn't look scared or worried at all, he gave up his previous worries, then nodded and said, OK. After Zhang San finished speaking, he opened his posture. You can make a move. Ye Chen looked at Zhang San's posture, couldn't help but smiled, and then said. After Zhang San heard Ye Chen's casual tone, a black face was suddenly angry. This is too improper to take this contest. Thinking of this, Zhang San spoke without hesitation, OK. I'm here. Take the move. After Zhang San finished speaking, his feet slammed on the ground. There was a bang. The ground instantly cracked, and then Zhang San's whole body rushed towards Ye Chen incomparably fast, halfway through, making a fist with his right hand, and hammering at Ye Chen fiercely. As soon as Zhang San's fist was thrown out, a series of air blasts sounded in the air. Obviously, Zhang San's punch was extremely powerful and extremely fast, otherwise there would be no air blast. When Guan Er on one side saw this, his face suddenly changed, and he was about to take a shot, but he was grabbed by the smiling Guo Yi by his arm. Chang Yun doesn't need to worry, just watch it quietly. When Guan Er heard this, he was taken aback. At this moment, Ye Chen raised his right hand, 
and then grabbed it. There was a loud bang. Zhang San's extremely violent punch was instantly caught by Ye Chen understatement. Guan Yiar was stunned by Guo Yi's persuasion, and when he saw this, he was stunned. He never expected that his lord, Ye Chen, would be so tough. What kind of force Zhang San was, how could Guan Yiar not feel it, and it was not much worse than him. But the situation at this moment was that Zhang San's attack was lightly caught by Ye Chen. There is only one explanation for this situation. That is, Ye Chen's force is so powerful that neither he nor Zhang San can compare with it. When Guan Yiar was shocked, Zhang San's eyes widened, and he looked at Ye Chen in disbelief. Ye Chen took his fist, which couldn't shock Zhang San. But what Zhang San didn't expect was that he wanted to withdraw his fist, but he couldn't do it. No matter how hard he tried, Ye Chen still held his fist and didn't move. At this moment, Ye Chen kicked out and hit the shocked Zhang San instantly. There was a loud bang. Zhang San's whole body was instantly arched by Ye Kick, and then flew out. Glancing in the air, his face was shocked, plus Zhang San who was puzzled, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows and slammed his right foot on the ground. There was a loud noise of boom. Ye Chen stepped out of a big pit on the slab paved ground instantly. At this moment, Ye Chen's body brought out a series of after images, and directly caught up with Zhang San who was still flying backwards. Peering with his right hand, he grabbed Zhang San's ankle. Don't. Don't fall. Fly, take it. Take it. Zhang San hurriedly shouted when he saw this. At this moment, Zhang San's mood was a tangle. Originally, he thought well, came to Ye Chen to show off his strength, and then became a general. Because he saw Ye Chen's recruitment bulletin, he wanted to try it, and by the way, see if Ye Chen is the same as the rumors. Whoever thinks about it, Ye Chen will be tortured by Ye Chen in this face-to-face -face encounter, and if he continues, his face should be lost. Moreover, according to the position that Ye Chen is currently grasping, if he falls like this, he must face the ground. Zhang San convinced Ye Chen at this moment, and he didn't feel ashamed when he shouted this out. But it would be a shame if the face was smashed. On the far street, there were many people from Zhuojun watching. Hearing Zhang San's begging for mercy, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth, and then used Jiao Jin to throw Zhang San on the ground. After Zhang San landed, he took a deep breath, and after a long spit, he knelt on one knee without hesitation. After the bang came out, Zhang San clasped his fists and said, Yu Zhou, Zhang San, and Zhang Yid, please beg the Lord to take him in. Ding, super class historical generals, Zhang San, Zhang Yid, would you like to recognize you as the master, do you accept it? The prompt of the system instantly sounded in Ye Chen's mind. Nima, do you have to ask? Accept. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for his allegiance to Zhang San's Hang Yid for his superb military commander. When Ye Chen heard the system prompt, he couldn't help but smile, and then quickly stepped forward and helped Zhang San up. Looking at Zhang San, who was convinced, Ye Chen said with a smile, with the help of winged virtue, why not worry about the great cause? Zhang San was stunned when he heard this. He was repaired by Ye Chen and began to doubt his life. He thought he was a frog at the bottom of a well who didn't know the height of the sky, but he was a little better than others, and Ye Chen was the real powerhouse. He had originally planned to be a soldier honestly, but what Ye Chen meant was obviously not using him as a soldier. Thinking of this, Zhang Sanyi bowed ashamed and said, Lord, Fei, I am willing to start as a soldier. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. But Ye Chen didn't expect Zhang San to start as a soldier. But immediately, Ye Chen reacted, Why did Zhang San say that? This is a life of doubt. Thinking of this, Ye Chen glared at Zhang San, and then said, Don't doubt yourself, you are a tiger, you must be correct. But, when Ye Chen said this, he immediately used the true qi in his body. At this moment, layers of golden light full of runes appeared on the outside of Ye Chen's body. 
When Zhang San saw this, he was stunned, and then shouted in surprise, Seal! Guan Yiar on one side also widened his eyes, and then looked at Ye Chen with shocked expression on his face. They all know what the seal represents, and Ye Chen now has a seal, it is obvious that Ye Chen's strength is beyond the extreme of the mortal world, otherwise it will not be imposed on the body by the seal. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Zhang San and asked, Yide, do you still doubt life? When Zhang San heard this, he just returned with some wilting aura, and then he knelt down on one knee with a bang, and said loudly, Fly, swear to follow the Lord to the death, if you break this oath, the heaven will die. Ding, Zhang San's loyalty is plus ten, advanced to die loyal. After hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily, and then said, Very well, from now on, you will be the seventh commanding general in the city of reincarnation, but there are two things you should keep in mind. Ye Chen paused for a moment when he said this, and then he shouted, Remember, you must not beat up soldiers for no reason, you must love soldiers as a child, and you must not drink alcohol when marching in war. If you dare to commit any of them, 100 army sticks for the first time and direct expulsion twice. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Zhang San was stunned when he heard this, because Ye Chen's words were very harsh, and there was no room for objection. Of course, this is not important. What is important is that what Ye Chen said was completely aimed at his shortcomings. He really has a bad temper, and he is also a good drinker. For Zhang San, he knew his own character, and he also confirmed that it was the first time he and Ye Chen met. But as soon as we met, Ye Chen revealed the shortcomings. How could Zhang San not be in a daze? You don't want to. Ye Chen saw Zhang San stunned, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he said drink. Ye Chen naturally pretended, and the purpose was to remember these two points deeply for Zhang San, so as to prevent him from having a tragic ending just like in history. This guy is famous for his bad temper in history, and of course, he is also very loyal. However, because of his explosive temper and love to drink, he was cut off by two rebellious men. Naturally, Ye Chen would not accept such subordinates. For any officer, Ye Chen would look at their names and their origins. If he encounters a well-known anti-skeleton boy in history, Ye Chen will definitely slaughter him without mercy. As soon as Ye Chen's angry words landed, where did Zhang San dare to stay in a daze, he hurriedly bowed and said. The final commander obeys. The final commander swears that he will never beat the soldiers casually, let alone drink alcohol in the army. Very well, remember, a man weighs heavily on his promises, don't lose weight. Don't let me hear the news that you died because of recklessness, so I will be very disappointed. Ye Chen heard this and was satisfied. Nodded, then spoke. Hearing this, Zhang San finally reacted, why did Ye Chen warn him so much? This is to warn him that if he runs arbitrarily, there may be irreparable things, such as mutiny, being attacked, and so on. And as a result, he was probably killed. Thinking of this, Zhang San's heart suddenly warmed, and then he nodded heavily, bowed and said loudly, Yes. Lord. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for winning the fourth super-class historical military commander, Zhang San and Zhang Yide for their allegiance. Special reward to player Ye Chen, 10 million tales of gold. The world announcement was repeated three times, and the world channel instantly detonated. Fuck. Fuck. Did you make a mistake? Didn't Daowen Sanja Yi start? Why did Ye Chen take Zhang San again? Yeah, it's too fake, I closed Guan Er before, and Zhang San was closed again. Guan Er, Zhang San was gone, and there was a Mao Yuan Sanja. Nima, it's irrational. Ye Chen already has three super-class historical generals, so he has taken Zhang San again. Damn, 
Can you make people play games happily? Ye Chen, the benefits cannot be monopolized. You have to consider other people. How many historical generals you have already received? What's special, don't give it back to others to survive. Fool, if you have the ability, you should also go to collect it. It's useless to be jealous. Also, if you don't accept it, the boss Ye Chen is awesome. Hey, boss Ye Chen will continue to take it away, take it all away, and let the Lord players get frustrated. Don't be a foolish comparison, I want to know now, this Daowen three-party righteous task, whether there is still. Nima, I just left, Ye Chen turned around and accepted Zhang San, damn, if Daowen is gone the task of three knots, then I go to Zhou County of Ghost. It should still be there. I haven't heard the world announcement saying that Daowen's three knots have been cancelled. What's special, Guan Er was taken by Ye Chen, and Zhang San was taken by Ye Chen, too. No one can fool the silly fork of Uncle Lu. It is impossible for Daowen Sanja Yi to appear. Fart, the task is still there, but I don't know who will replace Guan Er and Zhang San. It's useless to replace anyone. Uncle Lu Huang is finished. He can make a fortune, but he can rely on Guan Er and Zhang San. Without them, Uncle Lu is a straw sandal seller. This has something to do with you. No matter how miserable Lu Huangshu is, it is also Lu Huangshu, but without Guan Er Zhangsan, Lu Huangshu will be of little value. The mission can choose to prevent Daowen from being righteous. The world channel was full of enthusiasm, and the players were all excited by Ye Chen's acceptance of Zhang San. No one thought that Daowen's three ties were opened, and Ye Chen still accepted Zhang San. After taking a look at the world channel, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily, then looked at Zhang San and asked. Yid, has Uncle Lu Huang ever visited you? Uncle Lu Huang. Zhang San was stunned when he heard this, thought for a moment, and then continued. The Lord is talking about Lu Suand, the Uncle Lu Huang who sells straw sandals. Ye Chen nodded, and then said, it's him. Enlighten the Lord, this Lu Suand has never found the last general. I don't know why the Lord mentioned this person. Zhang San shook his head, and then asked with some doubts. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, and then said. It's okay. I have heard people say that this man has a lot of lies, his face is thicker than the city wall, and he always touches people's hearts with crying, so I want to see how shameless he is. What Ye Chen said was of course the real Uncle Lu Huang, but I have to say that Uncle Liu's hand is very practical in this era. Otherwise, how could he dare to claim to be the Han Dynasty, yet he was so pitiful and compassionate at every turn, moved and cried with excitement, and suddenly stopped Guan Er and Zhang San, and when he got to the back, a large group of people helped him. Fight the world. To put it simply, the big-eared thief Lu Huangshu is well versed in black studies, and it is for this reason that he has become one of the overlords of the Three Kingdoms. As for asking Zhang San, Ye Chen also wanted to confirm whether Zhang San was fooled by the big-eared thief Lu Huangshu. If he was fooled by the big-eared thief, Ye Chen would naturally find a way to minimize the big-eared thief's influence on Zhang San. Now that he heard the exact answer, Ye Chen was naturally relieved. Zhang San was stunned when he heard this, and then said with a greasy expression, This person is so shameless. He cries at every turn. Isn't this a maiden? Yid is right. Such a man is not worthy of being a man. How can a man cry like a woman when he goes to battle to kill the enemy and make meritorious deeds? Guan Er on the side heard this and said with a disdainful expression. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, and then smiled. Guan Er, Zhang San had been mixed up with Uncle Lu Huang in history, but now they are all subdued by Ye Chen, so naturally they won't go to participate in the Daowen Three Sisters. Without Daowen Sanjia, Guan Er Zhang went to see Lu Huangshu again, even if Ye Chen said, he naturally disdains people like Lu Huangshu, and feels that Lu Huangshu is not worthy of being a man. Well, I forgot to pay the courtesy, no wonder, 
no wonder. Zhang San suddenly remembered something, and hurriedly looked at Guan Er, said, and after speaking, he took the initiative to step forward, clasp his fist and pray. Yuzhu Zhang San, Zhang Yide, have met brother Yun. He Dong, Guan Er, Guan Yun Chang, met brother Yi Di, Guan Er hurriedly clasped his fists in return. Zhang San held his fist again, then looked at Guo Yi, held his fist to see the courtesy, Yuzhu Zhang San, Zhang Yide, have seen Guo Jizhu. Ying Chuan, Guo Yi, Guo Feng Xiao, have met brother Yi Di. Guo Yi smiled back. Ye Chen looked at the three people who met each other, smiled slightly, and was about to speak. He was taken aback and then looked at the world channel. Fuck. I saw Uncle Lu Huang. He and the two men were hugging each other crying bitterly. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Damn. Really? Is it possible that Dawin's task of three knots is still there? Nonsense, if it was cancelled, there would have been a world announcement long ago. If it didn't, it means it's still there. The two people who hugged Uncle Lu Huang must have replaced Guan Er and Zhang San. I don't know who they are. It doesn't matter who it is, the important thing is whether to help Uncle Lu Huang or stop Uncle Lu Huang. I think it's better to stop it. There was Zhang San before. If you don't want Ye Chen to accept Zhang San, you must help Uncle Lu Huang. But Nima Ye Chen is too abnormal and just accept Zhang San, then don't do it right with Ye Chen, it won't do us any good if this continues. I feel the same way. Ye Chen will definitely fight for the supremacy of the world in the future. He will not help Uncle Lu Huang, so he chooses to stop Uncle Lu Huang, the best. Grass, you are stupid. You know that Ye Chen wants to fight for the world dominance. If you don't help Uncle Lu Huang, isn't that helping Ye Chen eliminate future competitors? No, Guan Er, Zhang San, Uncle Lu Huang is nothing, what's the use of helping him? Damn, don't forget, in addition to Guan Er, Zhang San, Liang Fulong, Ma Chao and many capable people of Lu Huangxia's future subordinates. I still choose to help Lu Huangshu, Ye Chen is already strong enough, and I can't ask him to continue to be strong. I think, you should still consider who owns Suo Jun, and then choose to help or stop it. World Channel, because of Lu Huangshu's news, boiled again, Ye Chen glanced at it, and then curled his lips in disdain. Many of the players wanted to win Uncle Lu Huang and help him develop his hegemony. They wanted to use this method to prevent Ye Chen's rise, and they made no secret of it. In the final analysis, it was the despicable human nature that was at work. Some people envy and hate, so they prevent Ye Chen from rising. Some people were afraid that Ye Chen would take away the benefits that belong to them, so they also wanted to stop Ye Chen. Of course, there are still some people who see the reality clearly, so they choose to stop Lu Huangshu not wanting to be an enemy of Ye Chen. Only this part of the people, many people will choose to take away the biggest reward, for example, killing Lu Huangshu. Although no one said it, Ye Chen could still see it. It is precisely because Ye Chen can see what these players think in their hearts, so he disdains. Whether he wants to prevent Ye Chen from rising, or wants to grab the best advantage from Ye Chen, Ye Chen will not be polite with them. As far as Ye Chen is concerned, if the benefit is 10%, it is absolutely impossible to get only 90%. Other players could guess the benefits of killing Uncle Lu, but how could Ye Chen fail to see it? Thinking of this, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and the cold light flashed away. No matter who wants to replace Guan Er and Zhang San, Uncle Lu Huang must die. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the world announcement sounded. Ding, Daowen's Three Jing Yi is officially opened. During this period, death goes unpunished. Ding, Daowen Sanjia Yi location is Zhangsan Zhangji Des Wang Ho Daowen, Zhou County, only human players are allowed to enter. Ding, 
the Zhuojun teleportation array is opened and lasts until the end of the mission. Human players can teleport to Zhou County through the teleportation arrays of major cities to participate in the mission. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, which instantly detonated the world channel. Fuck. Daowen Sanjiyi has really started. Ha ha ha, I was scared, I still think, Nima Daowen three knots opened so fast, I haven't arrived in Zhou County, now it's fine, the teleportation array can be used. Hey, death goes unpunished, it's so special, I will choose to help Uncle Lu Huang. The coolest thing is that only players can enter, ha ha ha, now Ye Chen is himself even if he participates, what else is there to worry about Nima? Hey, this dog day game is finally fair. As long as Ye Chen doesn't lead soldiers, it will be himself. In this way, we all have a chance. Chong, what are you waiting for? Go to Zhuojun. The world channel was noisy and noisy, and Zhuojun's teleportation array quickly lit up, and then never went out. Groups of players teleported to Zhou County, and when they got here, the players yelled one by one. Where is Zhang San's Zhuangzi? Does anyone know? Brothers of Zhuojun, who knows where Zhang San's Zhuangzi is? Hurry up, we are here to help you. Don't leave him the ink. Just see where they go and follow them. You can definitely find them. The players teleporting to Zhou County are increasing every second, and the speed is extremely fast. As soon as the time for a cup of tea arrives, it reaches a million people. If it were not for the limitation of the transmission speed of the teleportation array, this number would soar ten times, or even a hundred times. Originally, there would not be so many players coming to Zhou County, because the teleportation array had not been activated before. More importantly, the players all know that Yuzhu is Ye Chen's territory. If you run here to grab the advantage with Ye Chen, isn't it a death? But now, the teleportation formation is opened, and the Daowen three formations can only be participated by the players themselves, not soldiers. In other words, if Ye Chen wants to participate, Ye Chen can only go alone. In the eyes of all players, Ye Chen, no matter how awesome, is only one person without soldiers and summoning a fart white tiger. If he couldn't summon the white tiger, Ye Chen couldn't kill the quartet, so there was nothing to worry about. Ye Chen might die in reality, but no one thought that he would be the hapless person. The fundamental reason why the players are so crazy is that the reward may be too high. For any task that can be announced in the world, the reward can't be low, and no one is willing to give up this opportunity that might call them rise. Zhuojun, City Lord's Mansion, in front of the gate. After hearing the world announcement, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily, then looked at Guo Yi and said. Feng Xiao stayed in the City Lord's Mansion. When Su Shuang arrived, he paid a lot of money to buy all the irons he brought. Remember, it's all. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi was taken aback when he heard this, then bowed in prayer. Guo Yi already knew about Ye Chen's plan to use Tian Wai Xian Tai to build weapons for Guan Er, but Guo Yi didn't know what Ye Chen was going to do. Although he didn't know, Guo Yi would not ask randomly about this matter. Because Ye Chen wanted to say, naturally there would be no concealment. Ye Chen looked at Guan Er and Zhang San at this time, his face was solemn, and then he said. You two are responsible for the defense of the city lord's mansion, and the Samsara Legion is temporarily taken over by both of you. Remember, no matter who it is, dare to enter the city lord's mansion privately and kill without mercy. As soon as the historical plot of Daowen Sanja EI opens, Zhuojun will inevitably attract a large number of players. If someone is bold enough to play Ye Chen's idea, or plot Ye Chen, and Ye Chen is not prepared, the fun will be great. As far as Ye Chen was concerned, no conspiracy or trickery, Ye Chen would not worry about it. Because Ye Chen at this moment, with such strength, can completely ignore the attacks of players in this world. It's just that Guo Yi is still in Ye Chen's subordinates, and he doesn't have much force. If the player took advantage of this and killed Guo Yi, 
it would be too late to say anything. Although Ye Chen had the Yang pill, he could rise from death to life, but that was when his body was well preserved. If a player really targeted Guo Yi, and even cut Guo Yi ate Yuan or beheaded, it would be useless even if there was a Yang pill. Therefore, Ye Chen must take precautions in advance to avoid being exploited. Guan Er, Zhang San was stunned when he heard this, then bowed and said, Yes. Lord. The two of them didn't know what Ye Chen was going to do, but Ye Chen's tone was so serious that they naturally did not dare to delay. Hearing this, Guo Yi immediately reacted, What happened to Zuo Jun, otherwise Ye Chen would not give such an order. Thinking of this, Guo Yi hurriedly bowed and said, Lord, why don't you bring some soldiers from the Samsara Legion? Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, and then said, No, you can't get in where I'm going. When Guo Yi, Zhang San, and Guan Er heard this, they were taken aback, and then they all bowed and worshipped. Jia wishes the Lord a triumphant return. Obviously, the three of them know that there are some special places, they can't get in, otherwise, they won't say so. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then turned and headed towards the Daowen after Zhang Zan Zhuang. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Zhou County City Lord's Mansion was not far from the teleportation formation, so Ye Chen soon came to the vicinity of the teleportation formation. At this moment, Zuo Jun Street is already crowded with people, and there is no place to go. At this time, the world announcement that Daowen Sanja Yi officially opened was just a little more time than a cup of tea. However, in such a short time, Zuo Jun Street was occupied by players. Without exception, the players are desperately marching towards Daowen after Zhang San's Huang. Everyone wants to run, but they just can't run. There are too many people, to the point of horror. Screaming, cursing, one after another. Ye Chen glanced at the dense crowd, raised his eyebrows, and then jumped, and instantly came to the sky above the players. Boom! At the moment Ye Chen landed, he stepped on a player's head, and with a random effort, he rushed forward. After a breath, Ye Chen went a hundred meters away. As many as dozens of players were stepped on by Ye Chen. Without exception, they staggered involuntarily one by one, and then bumped into the player behind them. When they returned to their senses from the stunned state, they were immediately furious, and without hesitation, they rushed to the distance Ye Chen and cursed. Fuck! Dare to step on Lao Tzu's head, you and he are impatient. It's him, you get me down, I can't kill you. That kid, if you have the courage, stop for Lao Tzu. The scolding sounded one after another, but Ye Chen ignored it at all, and continued to step on the head toward the Daowen behind Zhang San's Huang. There are a lot of players, but Daowen is just that big, and the number of people who can enter is limited. Ye Chen is naturally impossible to write with these people. As for entering Daowen in advance, Ye Chen had thought about it, but unfortunately it won't work. Even if Ye Chen was the Lord of Yu's Hu, he didn't have this privilege. As soon as the historical plot of Daowen's Three Knots appeared, Daowen could not be entered, and even if it was inside, it would be popped up. This was the case in the previous life, no one could get in and the players who happened to run to Daowen were also bounced out. Only when the historical plot of Daowen's Three Knots is officially opened, will Daowen allow players to enter. Therefore, after Ye Chen arrived in Zhou County, he didn't even think about going there and waiting. Because it's not necessary, just turn it on and then go. If Daowen is full, it doesn't matter, just rush in. Not to mention that during the historical plot, players can attack at will, even if they are not in the historical plot, Ye Chen doesn't care about this. As far as Ye Chen was concerned, the enemies who stood in his way were enemies, so he was not polite and killed them. Ye Chen stepped on people's heads all the way, and more and more people were stepped on, and the scolding became louder and louder. It quickly attracted the attention of the players in front, 
and when a player turned his head to watch, he was in a daze. At this moment, Ye Chen jumped over. The player who discovered Ye Chen's identity immediately shouted, Ye Chen. He is Ye Chen. This shout does not matter, the players who were still scolding just now closed their mouths one by one, and then shuddered abruptly. They were frightened, because no one thought that the person who dared to step on their heads would be Ye Chen. And the player who was just about to yell at him, the same words came back to his stomach. Then pretended to be okay, as if they weren't stepped on. The name of the person, the shadow of the tree, and Ye Chen's domineering, cruel, and arrogant, have long been deep and popular. These players whose heads were stepped on by Ye Chen, no matter how irritated they were, they did not dare to insult Ye Chen in front of Ye Chen. The people who scolded before, were all frightened, for fear that Ye Chen would turn around and kill them. However, Ye Chen ignored them at all. Ye Chen left, and the players who had spoken before finally breathed a sigh of relief, and then their expressions became extremely ugly. That's right, Ye Chen, this bastard, is simply bullying. Yes, isn't it because he is a martial sage or the lord of Yu's Hu? What's so awesome? Humph, this time I chose to stop Uncle Lu Huang. Whatever I say this time, I have to the reward from Ye Chen. I also chose to stop Uncle Lu, so there is definitely no conflict with Ye Chen. Anyway, they are plotting Uncle Lu. Then everyone will take action together, and never let Ye Chen take the bulk. Yes, Ye Chen was too pretending to be too forceful. He stepped on Lao Tzu's head and didn't even say hello. Quickly stop the ink, hurry up, he, I suddenly remembered that Daowen can't be infinitely big, we have so many people here, who can go in and take part in this task. Grass. I hope those people in front can block Ye Chen and not ask Ye Chen to enter the Daowen. That's the best. The players whose heads were stepped on by Ye Chen were discussing with each other, but Ye Chen kept getting closer to Daowen. When Ye Chen saw Zhang San's Zhuangzi, a loud shout suddenly sounded. Ye Chen is the only one, and the opportunity is not to be missed. Come on. Kill him. Killing him will damage his strength and he can't participate in this mission. Yet. Kill Ye Chen. This is a rare opportunity. I missed it, but it's gone. As long as you kill him, the reward for this mission will be ours. Go. Kill Ye Chen. Don't miss this opportunity, everyone. Ye Chen is alone now. If you give him one, you can kill him. No matter how awesome he is, he is also alone. The waves are coming. The troublemakers shouted one after another, they wanted to stir up the players' minds to deal with Ye Chen, and then kill Ye Chen. Ye Chen, who had just jumped up, suddenly opened his eyes when he heard this. I really thought I was alone, they could deal with it casually. Thinking of this, Ye Chen curled his mouth in disdain, and with a move with his right hand, the dark and thick gunk iller appeared instantly. At this moment, the players below Ye Chen glanced at each other, and then unanimously recruited weapons and pierced towards Ye Chen. They wanted to take advantage of Ye Chen's chance to land and kill Ye Chen in one fell swoop. Looking at the players with shining eyes below, Ye Chen curled his mouth in disdain, and slammed the gun with his right hand. Woo! The rapid sound of breaking through the air instantly sounded, and a black light flashed by. Kaka, kaka! Kaka dozens of sounds came. The weapon that attacked Ye Chen was cut off by the killing spear in an instant, and then turned into dust in the sky, drifting away with the wind. When the players who attacked Ye Chen saw this, their eyes suddenly showed regret. They were very excited just now because they saw the opportunity and killed Ye Chen's opportunity. The cruel reality woke them up again. Ye Chen is domineering, arrogant, and ruthless. What's special is Wu Sheng, and he has a gun that can crush people and can really kill people. Someone should be called. This is what they are thinking at the moment. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. 
just when the players who took the lead regretted, Ye Chen fell and stepped straight on the head of a player. This time, Ye Chen didn't continue to use dexterous energy, but stepped on it abruptly. There was a bang. The head of the player who was stepped on by Ye Chen burst instantly, red and white splashing everywhere. Quack, quack, quack. A series of broken bones sounded immediately. I saw that the player stepped on by Ye Chen was killed instantly, and his body was also torn apart by the stepped on. Ye Chen's right hand was right at this moment, and he swung out mercilessly. Woo! Puff, 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 puff. The sound of the body being cut immediately sounded. In the next second, the head rolled, the stumps and arms flew around, and bright red blood splashed out at this moment. Boom boom boom! A series of bursts of body sound followed. As long as the players who were attacked by the killer spear, their bodies were exploded to pieces. Ye Chen's tyranny instantly caused the players to panic, because they all remembered the legend about Ye Chen's tyranny, domineering, and arrogant. Ye Chen is only one person at the moment, but Ye Chen is still the number one strong in the human race, and at the same time the number one strong in the game, it is not an existence that they can contend. When the players were panicking, Ye Chen jumped directly to the player who provoked before. The people around the provocative player hurriedly avoided. They dare not stay there anymore, they are afraid of being killed by Ye Chen. You know, people killed by Ye Chen will die in reality, and the probability is very high. However, what they didn't expect was that when Ye Chen landed, the gunslinger didn't attack them at all, only the one who provoked. Ye Chen was cold-blooded, overbearing, and ruthless. He didn't have any mercy to kill enemies, and he killed many enemies, but Ye Chen was not an indiscriminate killer. For these people who didn't provoke Ye Chen, Ye Chen would naturally not take care of them, let alone kill them casually. Puff came. Killing Spear instantly pierced this provocative player into a huge hole. There was a bang. The player's body was exploded to pieces, blood, internal organs, intestines, mixed with white bones and dregs, instantly splashed on the surrounding players. Ye Chen didn't look at it, and jumped up again, again, and again, until after 36 times, then stopped, and then jumped up again, stepping on the head and rushing towards Daowen. Although these people were far away from Ye Chen, they were all within Ye Chen's Yuanchen's perception. Even if Ye Chen didn't see it, they could still detect who had just made the provocation. Ye Chen left, and the players breathed a sigh of relief. That's all to blame for those idiots, it's okay to brawl, otherwise why would Ye Chen get angry? Fortunately, I'm smart, I never thought about making a move. Unlike those stupid guys who dare to attack Ye Chen, I really thought Ye Chen, a holy general, was so easy to kill. I saw a person who had advanced to a king-level military commander, singled out against a village master, and was slaughtered within three rounds. That village master can't even compare to a third-rate historical general, so awesome. Forced, and Ye Chen can kill even the first-class historical generals at will. Thinking about it, you can know that Ye Chen has changed and changed, how could he have killed Ye Chen? Fortunately, Ye Chen didn't get angry completely, otherwise he gave an order and we don't even want to leave Zuo Jun. Yeah, it's him, there are idiots who want to provoke, brothers, you are welcome, just slaughter him directly, the province will be dragged down by them. Yes, after slaughtering those provocative idiots, they must all be lords. They want to ask us to take action, and they will make a profit. When the players were discussing with lingering fears, Ye Chen had already gone outside Daowen, glanced at the thin shield, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, and then rushed in. Zuo Jun Daowen is in full bloom with peach blossoms, the fragrance of flowers bursts, and the fragrance is pleasant. It is a pity that no matter how beautiful the scenery is, no matter how strong the fragrance of flowers is, it can't conceal the murderous meaning that gradually thickens in the air. At this moment, the number of players in Daowen has reached 100,000, which can be called a sea of people. Of course, if Daowen wasn't big enough, it wouldn't be possible to hold so many players. 
Looking at the crowds of people, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, then leaped, stepping on the heads and rushing in. Although Ye Chen couldn't see the specific situation in front of him because of the shelter of the peach trees, this did not hinder Ye Chen's judgment. At this moment, Uncle Lu Huang and the two people who replaced Guan Er and Zhang San were already waiting there. It's just that the hour has not yet arrived, and once it has arrived, they will formally worship. Stepping on the head and walking all the way, Ye Chen quickly came to the center of Daowen, and then saw the Uncle Lu Huang who was wearing a commoner and had a pair of charming ears. The moment he saw Uncle Lu Huang, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and the cold light flashed away. Big Eared Thief, Uncle Lu Huang, today is your death date. Thinking of this, Ye Chen immediately looked at the two men next to Uncle Lu Huang. The moment Ye Chen saw them, he couldn't help being stunned. Damn it! How could it be Liang Chen, Wien Wen? Ye Chen never expected that Yan Liang and Wien Wen would replace Guan Er and Zhang San. Although these two are not super class historical generals, they are also outstanding among the first class historical generals. According to the historical development, Yan Liang Wien Wen would follow Yuan Shao and be reused by Yuan Shao. Whoever came to think, Lu Huangshu unexpectedly cut Yuan Shao. This big eared thief is really good at fooling people. Without Guan Er and Zhang San, he still fooled into two first rate historical generals. Thinking of this, Ye Chen curled his mouth in disdain, and then moved forward again. After a few steps, he came to the innermost point. Boom! Ye Chen landed heavily. The player who was suddenly blocked by Ye Chen was furious when he saw this, and then he shouted. You and he are looking for death, are you? You dare to block Lao Tzu? Ye Chen frowned when he heard this, and slapped his hand without looking back. There was a pop, and the player who had just spoken badly was instantly kicked and flew out by Ye Chen, and then smashed into the crowd. Swish with a sword light flashed wildly in an instant. Before this player fell, he was cut to pieces by the player below, and then turned into white light and resurrected. Those players who do hands-on do not want to be hit by this player, and serve as personal mets for nothing. You must know that now is a critical period, Daowen's 3G is about to begin, and if he is hit by him, if he is injured, it is not worthwhile to stun him. Who called Ye Chen's slap, not to mention taking this player away, but also taking the old high. Ye Chen didn't look back, but the surrounding players looked at Ye Chen without exception. A person who can slap a person flying away has absolutely no strength. For the players involved in the mission, this is a strong competitor, how could it not be observed? This observation didn't matter, it caused an air-conditioned sound instantly. The players in the inner circle didn't expect that the person who rushed to the front would be Ye Chen. They were still surprised and even ecstatic just now. Because they didn't see Ye Chen here, as long as Ye Chen wasn't here, they would all have a chance to get the most benefit. But not long after this ecstasy appeared, Ye Chen came, and when he came up, he slapped a person away, just like patting a bug, simple and easy. For the players, the last thing they want to see is Ye Chen. Because they are afraid of Ye Chen, they are afraid of Ye Chen. It was also because they knew that as soon as Ye Chen arrived, 100% of the benefits they had gained in this mission would be seriously shrunk. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen naturally saw the player's gaze, and knew what the players were thinking. In addition to fear, they also have unwilling and suppressed anger. No matter what they thought, Ye Chen ignored them all. As far as Ye Chen is concerned, this mission is determined to be won, and it is impossible to give away the benefits. Although Ye Chen didn't know what the specific reward was, Ye Chen was sure that if he succeeded, the reward would be beyond imagination. Central Daowen Uncle Lu Huang looked at the crowds of players with a look of confusion. He didn't know why he bowed to Yan Liang Gwenwen and attracted so many people to watch. He didn't even know why many of these people had killing intent, 
and some of them had good intentions. Although puzzled, Lu Huangshu's face was always the same, without the slightest fluctuation. Big brother, many of these people are malicious, why don't I go and drive them away? Liang Chen glanced at the onlookers, then looked at Uncle Lu, and asked. Second brother, it doesn't have to be this way. This place is Zhou County, and there is a general Huzar here, presumably ordinary people don't dare to wait, we can just bow down. Lu Huangshu heard this, smiled slightly, and said. But these people are too hateful. They wantonly released their killing intent to the three of our brothers. If I don't kill them, I really can't swallow this bad breath. Wen Wen shouted with a furious expression at this time. The third brother, they may have some misunderstanding with us, don't be reckless. When Lu Huangshu heard this, his face changed slightly, and he hurriedly said. In Lu Huangshu's opinion, many of the players felt malicious towards the three of them, and he felt it too. Although he was unhappy, he couldn't say it so bluntly. When he said it, wouldn't it be equivalent to making enemies directly? At this moment, Uncle Lu Huang, because of Liang Chen Wenwen, had just raised his ambitions, but he didn't want to come up with enemies everywhere. Yes. Brother. Wen Wen bowed unwillingly when he heard this. Uncle Lu Huang glanced at Wen Wen and nodded with a smile. At this moment, a loud shout came. Uncle Lu Huang, you have to be careful, General Hyuki Ye Chen, I want to kill you. When Uncle Lu Huang heard this, his face suddenly changed. How could Uncle Lu Huang not know who General Hyuki is? Not only did Uncle Lu know, he was also going to meet Ye Chen. And now suddenly someone said that if Ye Chen wanted to kill him, how could Uncle Lu Huang be calm? What? Liang Chen Wen Wen opened both eyes at this moment, then looked at the player who spoke, and shouted loudly. Ye Chen looked at the player who had opened his mouth to remind Uncle Lu, his eyes narrowed, and the cold light flashed. This player obviously chose to help Lu Huangshu complete the Daowen Three Knots. He didn't want Uncle Lu Huang to be killed by Ye Chen unsuspectingly. Reminders are useless, Uncle Lu will definitely die. Thinking of this, Ye Chen sneered coldly. At this moment, the player who spoke before shouted again. Ye Chen is here. Did you see the man in the black robe? It's just north, that's Ye Chen. Hey! Uncle Lu Huang, Liang Chen, Wen Wen heard this looked straight north, and soon saw Ye Chen. In the next second, Lu Huangshu spoke without hesitation, second brother, kill this man who framed General Hyuki. Yes. Big brother. Liang Chen heard this, then bowed and responded, moving directly to the player who had just spoken. Uncle Lu Huang. Do you want to kill me? I'm on your side. The player who started to remind Uncle Lu was shocked and hurriedly yelled at Uncle Lu. However, what greeted him was Liang Chen's relentless punch. There was a bang. The player's head instantly turned into a popped watermelon, and then turned into white light and resurrected. Liang Chen didn't even look at the player, and went straight to Lu Huangshu's side, and then said, Big brother, that thief has already been arrested. Uncle Lu nodded then looked at Liang Chen Wen Wen, and said earnestly, Two virtuous brothers, let's go and meet General Hussein, he is the of war in our great Han Empire. Liang Chen Wen Wen glanced at each other, and then nodded gravely. Obviously, they are still doing what the player who was killed just now said. The Hussar general of the Han Empire, Ye Chen, wanted to kill the eldest brother they were about to worship. When Lu Huangshu saw this, he hurriedly winked at the two. He wanted to tell Liang Chen Wen Wen not to be so nervous. Although Yan Liang Wen Wen was a military commander, he was not stupid. He immediately realized what Lu Huangshu meant, and then followed Lu Huangshu to Ye Chen Xing. When Ye Chen approached, Uncle Lu Huang bowed respectfully and worshipped. Yuz Hu, Uncle Lu Huang, Lu Suand, meet General Hyuki. Liang Chen, Meet General Hyuki. Liang Chen Wen Wen then bowed and bowed. 
Ye Chen frowned involuntarily when he saw this. What a Uncle Lu, what a big-eared thief, really treacherous enough, really sinister enough. Lu Huangshu asked Liang Chen to kill the player who reminded him, which is enough to prove Lu Huangshu's insidiousness. And now, Lu Huangshu knew that Ye Chen was going to kill him, and even ran over to show his humility, which was enough to prove his treacherousness. All this is to prove to Ye Chen that his uncle Lu Huang didn't believe that Ye Chen would kill him. Of course, this is only one of his purposes. His posture is extremely low, his face is respectful, he can't see panic, anger, and some are just respectful, humble, and worshipful. He was telling Ye Chen that he was just a small person, and a small person who admired Ye Chen extremely. He is not worthy of Ye Chen's killing, and Ye Chen shouldn't kill anyone who worships Ye Chen. He wanted to dispel Ye Chen's murderous intent. Simply put, the player's reminder, Lu Huangshu confirmed the authenticity in an instant, and then made a countermeasure. He is doing this for everyone to see, his uncle Lu Huang is not a big evil person and should not be killed. If the Huzar general Ye Chen wanted to kill him like Lu Huangshu, it would inevitably be stigmatized by people for indiscriminate killing, which would have a great impact on his reputation. Of course, Lu Huangshu still has a little thought in his heart, that is Liang Chen Wen Wen, the two brothers he is about to marry are both first-class historical military commanders. As long as the overlord, no one does not want such a subordinate. And Ye Chen was clearly the overlord in the eyes of Uncle Lu. As long as Ye Chen wants to receive Liang Chen Wen Wen, he has to consider letting him go, Lu Huangshu, otherwise how could Liang Chen Wen Wen choose to follow Ye Chen? This is what Lu Huangshu thought in his heart. It's a pity that all of this was clearly seen by Ye Chen. No matter how Uncle Lu Huang played tricks, he couldn't dispel Ye Chen's idea of killing Uncle Lu. Master Zhou Mu Seeing that Ye Chen didn't answer, Lu Huangshu couldn't help but looked at Ye Chen cautiously and bowed again. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, he glanced at Liang Chen Wen Wen, then looked at Uncle Lu Huang and asked. I heard that you claim to be the queen of Zhongshan Jing. After seeing Ye Chen pay attention to Yan Liang's text, Lu Huangshu was overjoyed. After hearing Ye Chen's words, he was even more ecstatic, and hurriedly bowed in prayer. Enlightened General Hyuki to be the queen of Zhongshan Jing. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Uncle Lu Huang said sincerely, and his words were full of humility. He was showing good wishes to Ye Chen again. He is the Queen Zhongshan, such a noble status, and his words are so humble. If so, Ye Chen would kill him Lu Huangshu, then Ye Chen would be scolded by the world. To kill the royal family members for no reason is to rebel. Liang Chen Wen Wen on one side clearly straightened his waist after Uncle Lu Huang said this. Because the two of them are the brothers of Uncle Lu who are about to marry. In the eyes of both of them, they were able to bow down to the children of the Dahan imperial clan, which was a great advantage. Although it is not clear why Ye Chen wanted to kill Lu Huangshu, this did not hinder their pride in their hearts. Ye Chen heard this, glanced at Uncle Lu Huang, nodded with a smile, and then said, That's how it is. When Lu Huangshu heard this, his eyes suddenly lit up, and he hurriedly bowed and said, Master State Shepherd, Bei is about to bow to two virtuous brothers, and Master State Shepherd will be a witness. Yes. Ye Chen smiled slightly and said without hesitation. Thank you, Master Zhou Mu. When Lu Huangshu heard this, he was immediately ecstatic and hurriedly bowed in prayer. Uncle Lu Huang was so excited. One reason was that Ye Chen didn't question his identity. In this way, his status as the royal family of Uncle Lu Huang would be stronger, because Ye Chen didn't question it. If this spreads out, Ye Chen will surely become his witness to Lu Huangshu. Of course, Lu Huangshu prefers the proof of the royal family, such as Lu Yan. Originally, Uncle Liu's plan was to seek refuge in Lu Yan, not to Ye Chen. Because Lu Yan's weight is obviously greater than Ye Chen's, 
because Lu Yan belongs to the Han dynasty. Another reason why Uncle Lu Huang was so excited was that Ye Chen wanted to be a witness for him and Liang Chen Wen Wen. In this way, the crisis facing Lu Huangshu at the moment will be greatly reduced. Because most of the players present are hostile to him. With Ye Chen, the Huzar general, he will certainly not be in any danger, and even if there is, it will be greatly reduced. Uncle Lu Wang's wishful thinking clinked, why Ye Chen couldn't tell. Looking at Uncle Lu Huang, Ye Chen smiled and nodded. Ye Chen's attitude was obvious, just to help Uncle Lu Huang. Uncle Lu Huang saw this and bowed again and said, Thank you, Master Zhou Mu. Uncle Lu Wang's words were full of gratitude, but Ye Chen, who was extremely sensitive, heard the pride hidden in Uncle Liu's words. Ye Chen glanced at Uncle Lu Huang, and a trace of joke flashed in his eyes. However, the excited Uncle Lu Huang didn't see the flashy joke in Ye Chen's eyes at all. Otherwise, Uncle Lu Huang will definitely change his strategy. In fact, Ye Chen's words are just acting. Uncle Lu Huang can act, and Ye Chen can't. Ye Chen's purpose is simple, to delay time, and to settle the settlement together when it is officially concluded. Because in that case, Ye Chen would get the highest task reward. If you act now, the rewards Ye Chen can get will definitely decrease, which is not what Ye Chen wants to see. Thank you, Master Zhou Mu. Yan Liang Gwen Wen Chi Chi breathed a sigh of relief at this time, and then bowed in prayer together. In their opinion, Ye Chen's performance didn't look like he was going to kill Lu Huangshu. In all likelihood, it was the previous player who was deliberately making trouble. At this moment, the players who came to Daowen exploded. My grass, Ye Chen wants to help Uncle Lu? What's the matter with him? Damn, how do I know, Nima, if Ye Chen helped Uncle Lu, how could Uncle Lu die? It's him, is Ye Chen ill? If you let Lu Huangshu not kill, you have to help him. Isn't Ye Chen going to make himself an opponent, so that he will not be lonely and lonely? This is a bad thing. I knew I had chosen to help Uncle Lu from the beginning. If Nima came this way, wouldn't it be against Ye Chen again? Hey, fortunately I chose to help Uncle Lu Huang from the beginning. When the players discussed fiercely, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, there are still ten minutes before Daowen's three knots. Once the time is up, players outside Daowen will not be able to enter until the end of the mission. The three consecutive world announcements instantly detonated the players in Zhuojun. In the next second, the players who were outside Daowen but could not enter, took out their weapons one by one without hesitation, and pierced towards the thin shield. Puff, puff. The sound of fragments of weapons entering the flesh sounded. A group of players in Daowen soon died, and then turned into white light and resurrected. Daowen, already overcrowded, immediately vacated some places. Seeing this, the attacking players rushed in one by one. However, within two seconds, they were also killed by the player who wanted to enter. When a new group of players entered Daowen, they were no longer the same as the previous players. They did not hesitate to move towards the players further inside. Soon, the fight between the players started, and then it spread to the players in the depths of Daowen. The roar, yelling, and screaming all came and went one after another. However, no matter how the players fight, no one dares to lean on Ye Chen. A little bit of time passed, and when ten minutes came, the protective cover outside Daowen instantly became as hard as steel. Just then the world announcement sounded again. Ding, Daowen Sanja is officially opened. 